Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hello, good morning. Now, uh, it's a fabulous event that we launched yesterday at 3 p.m. It is our Stitch to Impress. Um, now, we have got a fantastic prize draw that one lucky winner is going to win. Um, now, it's worth over £800. Wow. So all you need to do to be in with a chance to win is during any of the live sewing shows, just make a purchase, you'll be entered into the prize draw and at the 5pm show today, Saturday, we'll announce the lucky winner. I mean, gosh, there's sewing machines, there's all sorts in there. Right, l let me just give you a flavour of what you could be winning. Patterns from Simplicity, uh, Sew to Grow and Emporia. You've got search press books. You've got a blouse kit with fabrics. A uh, point presser, fabric shears, uh, pin cushions, a sewing box, wadding, interfacing, um, a multi-tool, a self-measuring tape, hand cream, sewing machine worth £249 and a sewing machine bag and a blankety blank checkbook and pen. Okay, not that one, not that, not that last one. Uh, but it's over 800 pounds worth of fantastic goodies. The only thing you're gonna have to ask yourself is where are you gonna put it all? That's just, that's just say it. But anyway, we'll announce one lucky winner uh, during the 5 p.m. show today. Um, now, without further ado, very excited to be working with our new guest, Becky Skinner. Hello, Becky. Good morning. How are you? I am good. Thank you very much. So literally, we only met like an hour ago, didn't we? we? Did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so we haven't really had much chance to chat. So can you tell us a bit about your crafty background and, and you know, all the, all the bits that go with it? Yeah, of course. Yep. So I've been sewing for about six or seven years. Uh -huh. um, I'm mainly self-taught. So I've learned a lot from YouTube. I think you can learn a lot yes. from, um, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but now I make most of my own clothes. Amazing. So, you know, I, I think I would really encourage anyone just to give sewing a go. I really wish that I'd started sewing, you know, a, a lot earlier than uh -huh. I did. But I think perhaps when I was younger, you know, you kind of think, oh, it's a bit silly. And, you know, people, you know, might kind of judge you in some way. But actually, it is honestly the best thing that I've ever done. It's really stress relieving. Uh -huh. um, and just to be, to have that creativity and be able to create your own wardrobe is amazing. Well, I came in immediately and went, I love your dress. And you're like, oh, yeah, I made it. <laughs> uh, that's so cool. How many dresses have you made or skirts or oh, trousers or, you know? Gosh, um, I don't know. I'm not really a trousers person. Uh -huh, um, I ha have actually made a couple of pairs of jeans, but no, I'm, I'm not really a trousers person. I tend to wear dresses and skirts and that kind of thing. Can't really tell you how many I've made because I've made loads. Wow. Um, but, you know, I, I just enjoy it. It's just amazing. So. What drew you into it then? So you're saying you started about six or seven years ago. Why did you take the leap? I think when I was at school, so all those years ago, I'd enjoyed doing textiles. Yeah. Um, but at my school, I couldn't actually do textiles as a GCSE. So it's always something that I'd kind of wanted to do. Yeah. It's kind of been there in the back of my mind. And I think... I, I just find that when I buy ready-to-wear clothes from shops, they don't necessarily fit me very well. 100%. Yeah, so I, I've got a smaller waist, bigger hips. So actually making your own clothes means you can grade between sizes yes. and you can have something that fits perfectly for you. So that, that was one of the reasons that I got started. But the creative you know, part of it. I just love and be able to feel your fabrics and yeah. choose your own fabrics. And that's really nice. Oh, wonderful. Well, what we've got on the show for you, we've got some fabulous dress patterns. Well, not just dress patterns, but fabulous clothes patterns. And we've also got some wonderful fabrics for you. So we're going to start off with this one. Now, this is what we call, um, it's a five in one. So you're able to make the women's uh, tank dress, the top, kimono jackets, trousers and a skirt. So do you want to tell us a little bit about, you know, th these patterns? How easy are they to do? So this particular one that you just mentioned is actually, it's called easy to sew. So that, that means that it is suitable for someone who's perhaps new to sewing. Great. Um, I would recommend if you are new to sewing, maybe choosing a fabric that's more like a cotton. Mm -hmm. um, in a while, I'm sure we're going to be talking about a lovely cotton that we've got on the show today. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the, the 
a cotton fabric is perfect for making a top like the one that um, you know um, is on the mannequin there. Mm -hmm. um, and there's lots of techniques involved in these particular garments that can be used time and time again as you progress in your dressmaking journey. Yes. Um, so, for example, in the top, you've got some binding around the neckline and around the arm sockets. That's also a feature on the dress. So the dress is basically a longer version of the top. Mm -hmm. So you know, if you can master the top, then straight away you can make yourself a dress. Yes. Um, and there's loads of nice techniques involved in the kimono jacket as well, which is really nice. Um, but if you are brand new to sewing, you're a little bit nervous about getting started, in the same pattern pack you've also got a sash. So that means you can tie it around your waist, use it as a belt, you could use it on a bag or something like that. So you've got lots of different options there. Lovely. I'm just going to point out the sash. It's a lovely little thing, actually. I really like that. It's really smart. I suppose you could make a smaller one and make a bandana. Of course you can. Yeah. 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 Nice. Um, so you're paying, if you're thinking about it, because it's only 9 99 and as it's a five-in-one, what are we saying? Just £2 per pattern really that's fabulous you know with the patterns so just so you know and I, I know the viewers know about me so my sewing journey is only hand stitching mm -hmm. I don't miss machine sew so I might be asking questions that if you're an avid sewer out there it's like Alex that's really daft but just for anybody who doesn't like with the patterns can we reuse them yeah, so if you, if you wanted to, so I would For say... For the templates, I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah, of course, yeah. So if you are new to sew in, I would suggest perhaps folding out the, the pattern pieces, maybe tracing it out initially. That means that, you know, you can have a go at making a practice version before you cut into your real nice fabric. Yes. So you could perhaps use an old bed sheet, something like that, to make your first version. Just That's good. So that you've got your fit right. Yeah. Um, and then if you feel confident, you could cut into the pattern pieces if you want to. But the good thing about having the pattern piece there as the original is that, you know, you can make some for yourself that you can make something for a friend yeah. or your mom or your sister or anything like that because you've got the all of the sizes that come in the pattern pack mm -hmm. so you've got options excellent now speaking of sizes excellent excellent segue there <laughs> right you've got two options so you can either go for sizes 10 to 18 that's one option or you can go for sizes 20 to 28. Now, nearly half the stock of both options have gone um, because you were here last night, weren't you, at 7 o'clock? So, so you may not have been watching last night, so it's lovely to have your company this morning. Um, that is just 9 99 So with this one, would you say just go for cotton or if you're more experienced sewer what other what other fabrics could you use you could use a linen you could use a viscose fabric and um, there's some gorgeous viscose fabrics available um, this um mannequin we've got behind with the um, black and white print that's yep. a viscose we've got a kimono jacket made up here and that's also in a viscose which is a gorgeous gorgeous fabric um, all lovely to work with if you are new to sewing then it's you know it's not that you can't use a viscose I would say just take your time sewing should be something that you really yeah. enjoy you know and sort of you should take your time with it so you shouldn't feel like you're under pressure to get things done so you can use a fabric that does perhaps move around a little bit more if you are going to invest that time in it would you avoid silk well, um, silk is a lovely fabric to use, mm -hmm. but if you are new to sewing, yeah. I would suggest perhaps steering clear of that as a beginner. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so, because that is really sort of movable, isn't it? It can be, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Marvellous. Right then, we're getting really, really busy for this. Uh, details are on screen. It's only 9 99 and you're going to be able to make five different things. I just think that's great. So you're going to be able to make, again, the women's tank dress, the top, the kimono jacket, trousers and a skirt. And, of course, you've got that little sash there. Just 9 99 Can't get over the value. 573-922. And what I think is excellent is the scope for sizes. I really think that's brilliant. Yeah, lovely stuff. Right, moving on then. We've got our skirt. So uh, here you can sort of make, is it, you can make three different size um, lengths, is I it? I think there's actually four different ah. um, versions that you've got in that pattern pack. Oh, so, I guess the one she's wearing maybe. Yeah, the one she's wearing as well, yeah. Um, so I think you've got lots of options here. Obviously, different fabrics that you use can make the skirt look completely different. Mm -hmm. You've got different lengths there. And you've also got one idea of um, including a little panel detail on the bottom, which could be really fun. Mm. Um, I think depending on, you know, what kind of fabric you use this could be a skirt that you might chuck on to go to the beach or yes. it could be something that's you know really quite smart and you could perhaps wear on a night out with some heels I agree or you could wear it into the office perhaps with a nice little um, jacket mm -hmm. so I think you know it's a really versatile pattern I'm just trying to work out what fabric she's got it's almost not lacy I don't know 
I, I really like it because it looks very feminine, very fluid. It does. Um, yeah. And you can just, yeah, like you said, this is definitely for all occasions, mm. just depending on what fabric you use. I think that's wonderful. I like it with the crop top, actually. I think that looks really good. Now, we've got size choices again. Okay, so here we go. Six to 14, that's one option, or 14 to 22 in those skirt options. Once more, 9.99. Item number is 731672. Now, you're already shopping ahead for this next one. Um, so, here it is. Details coming onto the screen. There we go. So, I love it's called Mrs. and Women's <laughs> Button Front Shirt uh, Sewing Pattern. This almost reminds me of something slightly oriental. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I actually think it's a real classic, though, to be honest, that, you know, it's not going to really go out of fashion. Yeah. It's something that you could make, you know, this season and continue wearing for years to come. I really like how it's got that unusual detailing of having the buttons to one side. Yeah. I think that's that's really nice. And, you know, that's, again, a skill that you can pop, pop in your back pocket and perhaps use on other garments yes. as well. Yes, lovely. Um, so what are, what are they showing in the differences there? You know, it says A, B, C, D. Is it the length? Is it the, oh, it's the sleeves as well? Yeah, I think you've got different collar details in there and you've also got different sleeve lengths. Um, uh -huh. You've got the longer sleeve version, which has got some cuffs on there. Yeah. Um, you've also got um, two different collar variations. Um, I think a version B on the pattern pack there looks like it's a small stand-up collar. And then you've got more of a traditional collar on version D. Um, and version C on the model on the on the pattern pack there that looks beautiful it looks a little, little bit longer in its design and that's also got a color love it i am um, my favorite for what i would choose to wear is a um, is b sorry i really like that with the that lovely sort of what, do we call them granddad collars if you know what i mean even though it's not for a lady if you, do you know what i'm saying you know, I'm, I'm not sure but it's something that it, it's lovely it's, it's really feminine to look yes. at. It's, it's really lovely nice i love that right again just 9.99 and you've got some size options once more you can go for size 10 to 18 or 20 to 28 you just choose from the drop down box 9.99 112164. Next then we've got a top pattern. Here it is. Oh, that's nice. So we've got a bit of a cowl on here, have we? Yeah, it's a, it's a cowl neck. And again, you've got different variations in the pattern pack there. I think, again, you've got four different versions in the pattern pack, um, of different neck variations, different sleeve lengths. So again, something that you could make many times and, you know, look like you've used a different pattern, to be honest. Yeah, isn't that clever? I just love the fact, though, like you said, you get so many different looks. Uh, and it's just so nice to make your own clothing. It really is. Uh, right, again, 9 99 uh, Your sizes here are extra, extra small to extra, extra large. OK, 9 99 Item number is 859915. Next then, we've got our jacket. This I really like. It's one of those throw-ons that can look really chic, isn't it? Oh, definitely, yeah. I think it would look perfect over a pair of jeans, maybe yes. some skinny jeans, something like that. Even a little skirt, I think it would look beautiful over. Again, you've got different options in there. So I think you've got four different options in the pattern pack. It's going to look beautiful in a viscose fabric, perhaps. Oh, viscose. Has that got a slight stretch to it? Or have um, I made that up? It, it can have, <laughs> but gen generally it's a woven fabric, right. so that, you know, it's just got a lot of drape to it. Ah. Um, so th these are viscose fabrics that we've got on the mannequins in the studio today, and, and we're going to be, uh, I think, maybe talking about uh, some viscoses. But yeah, they've got a lot of drape, a lot of movement, uh, a bit of a liquid feel, I suppose, sometimes. Yeah, lovely. Um, so again, extra, extra small to extra, extra large. 9.99, item number is 432927. And then we've also got a dress pattern here. Uh, oh, right, yeah, Meg's saying this is definitely a you dress. <laughs> I do, I have to, I, I really like just like bodycon type dresses. I really like those and um, shift dresses. Um, so it's nice and sleek, isn't it, this one? It is, yeah, and it's super stylish, I think. So again, it could be worn for lots of different occasions, I think, depending on the type of fabric that you used for it. But again, I don't think it's something that's going to go out of fashion. Mm. It's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a real classic piece. So, you know what the model's wearing? Would you say that's like a jersey fabric? Could you work with jersey fabric? You could perhaps work with a more of a sturdy jersey fabric, like, uh -huh. a, like a ponty, perhaps, something right. like that. Um, but, yeah, it's, it looks lovely on, on the model. Yeah, it does. see, and the bottom one there, you see, I'm thinking evening wear. I can really see a gown. Mm. And I guess, 
you know, if you're more experienced, can you tailor it to yourself? So if you really want it, because there's a slight, you know, the, the sleeves come out slightly at the bottom, don't they? Could you make them even more extended? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, of course you could. And, and hence with the, with the skirt as well. You know, if you weren't happy with the straight skirt, you could perhaps, um, you know, extend that out a little bit, make it into a half circle skirt or a full right. circle skirt. So you've always got options to hack a pattern, <laughs> you know, so that it's, you know, to your liking, really. Love that. Uh, again, we've got size options 6 to 14 or 14 to 20. 9.99. See, all of these patterns are 9.99, and you get so many variations that you can do. 574.947 is your item number. Then we've got some lovely fabrics. Um, now, this per this one personally is my favourite. Yeah, it's one of my favourites as well. Um, when I was making up the kimono jacket, it yeah. was absolutely beautiful to work with. Um, it also washes really well. Oh, good. Um, and, yeah, I've really enjoyed working with it. I, I love the navy blue colour. I love the mm. kind of flower designs that's on there. Yes. It's really nice. It's really, really pretty. Now, what you've got here is three metres worth. So that's, I mean, three metres worth. Could you make it a dress out of that three meters yeah you could definitely make a dress you mm -hmm. could perhaps make the kimono jacket possibly a little top as well um so depending on what size you're making etc yeah but three meters is lots it is so i think you could definitely get maybe the kimono jacket and um you know perhaps the little sash that we talked about earlier amazing just having a little look at the kimono jacket it looks absolutely beautiful so elegant but i love with those sorts of jackets like i said you just throw them on yeah. and i'm i don't know but am i right in saying that we with viscose you don't really have to iron it too much um, I think it depends. Um, I think it depends which kind of viscose it is and uh, exactly what the makeup of the fabric is. Yeah. I think um, some of them tend to crease more than others. Okay. Um, but the, um, I, th I think if you've got an iron handy, <laughs> that's helpful. Um, but yeah, I mean, they are just beautiful to wear, beautiful to look at. Wonderful. All right then, so that is 100% um, viscose, 3 metres, 32 99 151176. Then we've got the cotton. So you were saying if you're a beginner, this is the best one to start with. Is that right? Definitely, yeah. Basically because it doesn't move around on your sewing machine too much it's a little bit more sturdy um, so when you're sewing it you know you've got a little bit more control as you feed it through the sewing machine yes lovely stuff all right now this is a two and a half meter fabric bundle 100 percent cotton um, and it's 27.99 item number is 520421 then we're going back to the viscose you can definitely feel the difference can't you you can yeah, yeah. between the cotton and the Oh, we're just popping the deep... Oh, sorry. It's coming on. It's coming on in a second. There we go. Sorry. What were you saying then, Becky? Um, I, I love the, the, the pop of the red colour. I think that's really nice. It's perfect for spring, perfect for summer. And like you said, it's really soft. It's drapey. You can really tell the difference between that one and the cotton. But both are beautiful fabrics. Yes, absolutely stunning. Uh, again, this is... Oh, there you go. You can see it on that lovely top. Uh, so you're getting... Two and a half metres of the uh, red floral viscose, and it's 24 99 455105. And then we've got the polka dot, and you were saying earlier, and I totally agree, this is such a classic. It will never go out of date, surely. Definitely, and I think it could be used for so many different projects. I think it'd be really nice for a floaty pair of trousers, perhaps, um, or, you know, a little dress, a top. So many different things. Yeah, love it, and you've obviously popped it on the dress, which we'll see in a minute. Um, but it just looks so stylish. Love that. And again, I see, I see this as a lovely summer's day dress. And you've got your lovely, you know, your big, like, not straw hats, but the wide brim hats. Oh, and yeah. Carrying yeah. your little bag on your arm. And Sorry, I'm, I'm literally there right now. <laughs> <laughs> I am there. I am at the beach. Um, so if you'd like to, I really am. Uh, so if you'd like to go to, uh, for this, two and a half metres again of your polka dot, it's £22.99, 93552 five is your item number remember if you buy anything during any of our live sewing hours so this is of course one of them you will be entered into um, a prize draw with the chance to win over 800 pounds worth of goodies you've got patterns books um, point presses fabric shears pin cushions sewing boxes wadding interfacing tools um, a sewing machine worth £249, I think, and a lovely sewing bag, and randomly some hand cream. Um, why, is it a special hand cream? Do you know at all? 
I don't know, but I love a hand cream. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> so, you know, I, I know personally my hands get so dry, particularly at yeah. this time of year, so any kind of hand cream is, is great in my book. Yeah, uh, there you go. Well, that's part of it as well. All good, all good. Um, now, if you've got any questions for Becky, of course, you can send your questions to studio at thecraftstore.com or you can pop them onto Facebook. All right then, Becky, so what are you going to sew for us today? So, um, we have got um, a sample that we're making here from the Simplicity pattern 4552. Yeah. So, um, this is a pattern which actually all of the samples that we've got made up on the mannequins are actually from today. So I'm actually making the little top. So it's a beautiful little top which I think is really uh, perfect for spring and summer. So this, this is the top here as you can see. Um, it's just perfect for beginners if you are new to sew in. Um, it's got some darts which is just in the front of the top here. It's um, got a binding around the, the neckline. So if you are new to sewing perhaps you're a little bit worried perhaps about making your own binding although I am going to show you how to do that in a second and it's nothing to be worried about you can actually buy shop bought binding instead Fab. you know if you wanted to so what I've done on this version um, which is slightly different to the red version we've got here is I have actually used shop bought binding to go around the neckline just to show you the difference um, and then the binding that we're, we're actually going to make shortly is this one we can see just on the top here so that is a beautiful finish and if you are perhaps a little bit more experienced or you just want to take your time to be honest then making your own binding is a really nice thing to do and yeah. it does look lovely on the inside of the top um, so right so what we're going to do first is um, as you can see hopefully <laughs> this side of the top is finished already so we've got um, a beautiful seam just down there and we've got a really nice cut out detail just at the bottom of the top there mm -hmm. so I'm going to be showing you how to do that so I think that kind of detail really adds something a little bit different to a top yes um, so it's really simple to do I'm just going to turn it the right way so first of all, we're going to add in some pins to the side seam. We're going to be using a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance all the way down. Um, this pattern just tends to use a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance throughout, um, apart from when you're doing the binding, which is slightly less. So um, you can use as many pins at home as you want to. Um, but you know that's up to you. I'm just going to put a few in here for the sake of the demonstration. Now one thing um, that's nice about the pattern is if you do look at the pattern piece it does actually tell you where to sew down to in terms of uh, where the square opening is at the bottom of the top. Right. So if you just look out for those markings on the pattern pieces you'll find it. So I've actually marked it on my top here just with a craft pencil but you know you can mark it however you want. You can mark it with pins or yeah. some chalk. Um, so we're just going to sew that in place and then I'm going to move over to the ironing board and I can show you the next step. So I, I tend to pull out the pins as I go along. Sure. Um, so just do a little back stitch at the beginning as normal. And then sew straight down the side seam. Afterwards, we're going to be um, ironing open the side seam, basically because if you don't iron it open, then it's more difficult to actually sew that nice detail at the bottom of the top. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's worth, you know, just putting in that extra few minutes of moving over to the ironing board. I know sometimes it can seem like a bit of a faff sort of getting the ironing board out and whatnot, but it's, it's so worth, worth it. it in the end. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, my sewing machine's got an automatic cutter, so that's oh, what that's you can handy. hear. But you don't have to use that, obviously, you can just use scissors. Okay, so we're just going to move over here to the ironing board. So, um, as you can see, that's the seam there. So it's really important that you just press that open. Okay. So you've got a nice finish. I should have said make sure that you do um, a back stitch at the bottom as well because we don't want that seam coming yeah. open after we've just sewn it. So just to secure it very just nicely. Just to secure it, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're just going to iron that. So I finished my seams with an overlocker, but I think that's a nice finish. But if you've not got an overlocker, that really doesn't matter. You can just use perhaps a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine yes. instead. Or any preferred finish, to be honest. So let's move that down a little bit. So I always have to ask any new sewing guest, yeah. how many sewing machines have you got? Well, <laughs> um, I've actually got three sewing machines nice. and one overlocker as well. So lovely. Yeah, <laughs> um, I, I bought um, a lovely little sewing machine as my first machine and I just can't bear to part with it. No, it's so, your baby. It's your first yeah, one. Oh, exactly. I love your pin cushion as well. That's too cute. Oh, thank you. I picked it up from a craft fair, actually. People always ask me if I made it, but yeah. um, actually I, I didn't. But um, 
yeah, you, you can make things like this, obviously, which are lovely to work on. Yeah. So what we're doing here is we're just going to put some pins into the bottom of the top, just around that side opening. Then we're going to sew from, hopefully you can see here, from the bottom all the way up, just <coughs> across that square part at the top there, and then all the way back down the other side. You will see this stitching on the outside of the garment. So I'm going to use a pink thread to, to sew mine. Right. Um, because I think there's more pink in this fabric than there is perhaps other colours. So it'll tone. It'll tone, yeah. yeah but you know, you, you want to keep that in mind mm -hmm. for what cotton you use, really. Okay, so we're just going to move back here onto the machine. I'm basically edge stitching here, so along um, the side of the overlocking. So again, we're going to do a back stitch at the bottom. It's going to take our time going up the side here, pulling out the pins as we go. Then what I do is I tend to leave my needle in the machine, I give it a turn, and then drop the needle again. And then again, when we get to the other side of that corner, again, we leave the needle in, we yep. turn, and then we go all the way down to the bottom. It's so easy to do this, but it just adds such a, a nice finish on, on the garment. Absolutely. Okay, so as you can see, that's the side finish we've just got there. Just coming to it. There you go. So, oh, it looks so yeah. professional. It's yeah. good. Good, good. And so easy. I mean, how yeah. quick was that? You yeah. know, so really good. Lovely. Okay, great. Um, so the next thing we're going to be doing is doing the arm binding. Okay. So um, what I've got here, I've actually got the pattern piece just so you can see what it actually looks like. So um, this is what the um, pattern piece would look like. Now, one thing to pay attention to on the pattern pieces is the arrows, which are actually on the pattern pieces. So this one is on the diagonal. That's because we're cutting this on the bias of the fabric, which basically means it's kind of on the diagonal. That basically means that any fabric like a cotton, you're going to get the most stretch, I suppose, out of yep. it. So um, I've actually already cut my binding piece. So um, you would cut this. I'm just going to open it out so you can see. Yep. So it would be flat like this to begin with. Then what you want to do is you want to move to the ironing board and iron a, a crease in that basically all the way down. So the, the nice thing about that is you're not having to sort of push and pull with the, with the binding to get it to lie flat. You know, if, if it's already got a crease in from the ironing board, it's going to work better. Right. Then what I do next is open it up again, right sides together, put the binding together, put a couple of pins in. This is basically so we can create a circle for our binding okay. so that we've got no kind of um, messy bits yeah. you know, in, in the arm section. And then we're going to sew this with a 1.5 centre seam allowance. So again, just line that up on your machine. As usual, we do a back stitch first. And the back stitch at the end. Yeah. Again, just to make sure it's nice and secure. Yeah. You don't need to worry about finishing the seams on the inside of the binding because that's going to be hidden. So right. it, it really doesn't matter about that. Um, I would recommend just cutting off any little bits of extra cotton. Okay, okay. Then one thing that I think is nice to do, just so that we, we reduce the bulk in the underarm, yep. is actually just to move back to the ironing board Lovely. for a second. Iron that seam so it's nice and flat. Fabulous. Are you all right if we pause there for a moment? Yeah, just so of course. I can do a quick recap and yeah. then we'll come and see the next stage. Yeah, great. Excellent. Now, we've got for you this little gadget, self-measuring tape. So, let me get this right. Goes in, goes in there. I'm going to, hang on, let me do it a bit more. Pull it out like that. I'm going to slot my arm in and then, oh, no, oh, Alex, there you go. Um, and so you can... See, I, do you know what? I was thinking about all the times when, because I'm sure a lot of you know I also do a bit of acting, all the times when they've asked you to take your own measurements for costumes. <laughs> There's nobody else around. So you're there with a the tape measure, desperately trying to... And I've sent off the wrong measurement so many times because it's really fiddly with a tape measure that doesn't hold like this. Oh, definitely. And it's so easy for you to kind of get the tape measure partly up and partly down on, yeah. you know, on your waist and whatnot. So having something like that that actually fits into, you know, whether it's your arm measurement you're measuring or your waist or whatever it is, you know, that, that's really nice. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Um, so Lindsay is going to be up. Can you see that? All right. Lindsay's going to be on at 10 o'clock to sort of tell you uh, all about this live from Australia. Oh, oh there we go. I didn't know that. 
Now, this is going to be dispatched from the 25th, was that, or 26th? 25th of May, because it's coming from abroad. But how handy is this? Might get myself one, one of those. It's ever, ever so useful, like that. Right, um, £13.99 if you want your sow to grow. I even love the name of that. Item number is 015267. <clears throat> Right then, so I'll just do a quick recap on the patterns and I'll be back with you, Becky. Okay, so here we've got the five in one. Super, super busy for this, really busy. So you're going to be able to make your women's tank, you've got the dress. Um, what did I say? The women's tank dress, sorry. The top, the kimono jacket, trousers and skirt and even a little bit of sashing there, you know, to pop around your waist. That's really cool. So you're getting all of your patterns here. Uh, just 9 99 super, super busy for this one. Uh, now, don't forget you've got sizes 10 to 18 or you can go for 20 to 28. Over half the stock of each of them have now gone. I mean, just look at these samples. So these are examples of what you're going to be able to make from this set of patterns. Um, and of course, there's no reason why you can't start making to sell because you are doing it all by hand. So there you go. Uh, just 9 99 There's so much scope in here. Just think about all the lovely fabrics you're going to use. And oh, so, so nice. But we are absolutely... This is on fire, this particular... I mean, I hope not, because obviously, you know, it's very flammable. But, <laughs> uh, but it's uh, literally going out the door as quick as anything. Uh, just 9 99 Item number is 573922. <clears throat> now, we've got other patterns. So we've got the skirt pattern. So you can see you've got four different ways that you could make these. And I just love the flow of it. I just think it's so swooshy and lovely. Um, and again, it can be for day wear, evening wear. Just choose what type of fabric you want. I just love it. Um, 9.99, I love it cinches you in on the waist as well. 9.99, item number is 731672. Now the size options here, six to 14 or 14 to 22. Then moving along, we have got, now this is our lovely top, um, and I just, I can't help but see in this particular one, in, in B, I was going to say number B, and I thought that, that isn't right. Anyway, <laughs> in letter B, um, that one I see is sort of having a lovely oriental feel, but it's a really classic, lovely looking um, women's button front shirt. Um, I just think that's absolutely beautiful. Again, just think about what, I mean, to me, um, Becky, actually, it, the one that's on the model, almost the fabric, it looks to me almost like a, 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 like a nice sort of summer coat. Yeah. And there's no reason why you've got to wear that buttoned up. You can yeah. wear it open. Yeah. yeah. Just, just with a little cami top underneath. Oh, like mm. that idea. Like it. Right, 9 99 then. Um, again, have we got size options here? Yes. Right, 10 to 18 or 20 to 28. 9 99, 112, 164. Then we've got the top with the sleeve variations. Here they are. Oh, and that's got that lovely, if you want to have a nice cowl neck, you can. Um, that's just beautiful. So is it, I, I'm just looking actually, is it an additional, is it, an, is, it, is it two separate pieces, that neck piece? I think it would be, yeah. So you, ah. you, would, you would cut out different pattern pieces to add on the, um, the cowl um, to, to, to the top. Yeah. Ah, so, yeah. I was just, I just suddenly realised because it says on the screen and neck scarf sewing pattern. So, but I like the fact because the way that they've done it there, it looks like it's all one piece. It does. Yeah. 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 Lovely. Nine ninety nine and sizes are from extra extra small to extra extra large. Eight five nine nine one five. Then we've got our jacket, beautiful jacket here that you can make it look like a kimono style. I love that it's, um, it's just something you can just throw on. I love the look on the model where she's wearing it with jeans and heels. It looks very sort of um, smart cash. You know when you're going out for an afternoon with the girls and it might, you might end up late into the, later into the evening. So you still cross that. It still works for both an afternoon outing and an evening outing. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, definitely. But I think equally, if you were to use a different fabric, it'd be perfect for a wedding. You know, mm -hmm. like with a nice kind of posher dress underneath. Yes. I think I really like the cropped version with a shorter sleeve. Yeah. I think that's, that's really nice. E even if you were being a bridesmaid or something like yes. that, you know. I yeah. can see that totally. So many different options, so many different looks. 999 432927 is your item number. And then we've got our dress, which I absolutely adore. Again, this could be, like, if it was a, a heavier weight jersey fabric, it's something in the daytime, or you can go right the way through to, I can't help but see that bottom one as lovely evening wear. Beautiful. Uh, 9 .99, item number is 574947. 
Now, something else that's really busy is the uh, bobbin winder. So I know you've just been asked to show us that for a minute, haven't you? Yes, I have. Yeah, so I've got the bobbin winder here. So this is such a lovely um, little product, to be honest. Okay. One of the things as a sewer that I find can be a little bit frustrating sometimes is you've got your machine all threaded up, you're ready to go, you're yep. starting a project, and then your bobbin runs out. So rather than having to unthread your machine and start again, why not just use this little sidewinder instead? Now, one of the things that I really like about the sidewinder here is that you can wind them anywhere, anytime. Right. So it's really, really easy. Um, so all you do is you put on your spool of thread just there. You've got a little um, little eye that you just thread it through. It goes around this section here. So very similar to when you do it on your sewing machine. Yeah. Um, and then you thread the bobbin as normal and then just pop it on there. And then all you do is press the red button and off you go. So that's, it's, that's it's just so, so easy. Cool. Yeah, it means that you can, perhaps if you're preparing to do a project tomorrow, but you know yeah. you're not going to have very much time, you perhaps sat in front of the TV, you're doing something just, else, yeah. you can just do this. <laughs> yeah, and it's also got two little um, areas here, which is kind of storage, so you can wind some extra ones. Yeah. So perhaps you think, oh, well, later in the week or next week, I'm going to be doing this other project and I need, you know, a different colour. Mm -hmm. So you can just wind those and pop them on there as well. Love it. Yeah, it's, it's such a, a good little gadget. Um, I believe it's got AA batteries in as well, so that's often something you'd have at home. Yes. So not, not a, you know, a different kind of battery you might have to buy. Yeah. Um, I know for me, if I run out of that kind of battery, I might take it out of the remote for the yeah. TV. <laughs> so, you know, it's, um, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lovely little gadget and um, just makes the sewing journey just that little bit easier, I think. Excellent. So just to reiterate, I don't think it comes with your AA batteries. You've just got to get them. Yeah, I that's all right. Uh, 19 that one is really busy. It's such a handy little gadget. It's those little things. It's all right. Everybody's fine. Um, right, 146173 is your item number. Right then, should we go back to the top? Yeah, of course. Yeah, let me just uh, move that one out of the way. Okay, so we're back to the binding. So as you remember, we have ironed open our seam here just to reduce the bulk in the underarm seam. So I'm just going to fold that over so you remember that originally we'd folded a line all the way along so that we've created now this nice folded piece of binding. Yep. So what we want to do is we want to match that seam that we've created with the underarm seam of our garment. So this is the underarm seam of the garment, so that's ni lying nice and flat as well because uh, we ironed it previously. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this right sides together. So we yep. need to just fold the top the right way out. And again, we don't need to worry about finishing the seam on the underarm because it's all going to be enclosed within the binding. Yeah. So basically, the binding will be attached. I'm just going to pin this all the way around the edge. We're going to sew that. Then mm -hmm. we're going to move to the ironing board. We're going to flip that over, basically, to the inside of the garment, press it, pin it again and then sew it all the way around and then yep. it's done. Amazing. So it's so easy. I, I know when I first started sewing, I was a little bit intimidated about doing binding because I thought, oh, it's going to be really tricky. But do you know what? It really isn't. Right. Um, and it's something that I probably should have done a lot earlier. <laughs> Um, one of the things that it does recommend doing on this project um, and with the dress actually is stay stitching and um, so that basically means all of the curved edges you just run a straight stitch all the way along um, which is going to be enclosed here so you don't, you're not going to see it just means that the, the, the curved sections are not going to be stretched out yeah um, which helps so yeah so you just take your time with this go all the way around Oh, I'll, just while you're pinning that, yeah. um, we have got some stock updates for you for the five in one. Right now, the size 10 to 18, we are now three quarters of the stock gone. Really, really busy on this one. Now, on the size 20 to 28, we are 70% of the stock gone. Wow. Oh, you're all busy bees. You're all going to um, you're all going to be um, uh, making your own. Please, will you put it onto our Facebook page? Because we want to see you can model as well if you want to. Um, but that would be marvelous. When you get it home, let us know what fabrics you're using. And just we'd love to see what you've what you've done. I'd love that. Mm. Right, sorry, over to you then, Becky. I think it's so inspirational, you know, seeing what other people are making. Yes. It's, it's so nice because it gives you ideas that for yourself as well of other things that you can work on, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, it's really nice. I'm just um, continuing with the pinning. That's Apologies. All right. It takes a little bit of time, but Don't it's important worry. to get it right. Yeah. So, yeah, so you might just um, want to kind of stretch the binding just a little bit just to make sure that you're um, getting it to lie nice and flat all the way around. Um, again, just while you're pinning that, yep. we've got some fabulous, this is a great gift. 
doesn't this look lush like it looks really expensive um, so you've got <laughs> um, so you've got these beautiful gold colored scissors so you've got obviously your dressmaking scissors um, you've got your lovely little embroidery scissors I love the shape of them that always makes me happy they look really traditional and then you've got a thimble lovely gold one and some pearl headed pins that are again in the lovely gold what a lovely set I'm just seeing what's this so I was just wondering about the size of the scissors oh is it it's on screen why do I never look at the screen right so this is 21 and a half centimeters there you go and what's that nine and a half centimeters for the embroidery scissors excellent what a lovely gift that is 22 pounds and 99 pence uh, item number is 080681. I think that's just stunning. Very wrappable, don't you think? Oh, definitely. I think that's a perfect gift. If my mm. husband was to buy me that for my birthday or for Christmas or something, you know, I think it's lovely. Ah, uh, would yeah. you get an extra kiss? Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah. So I've, I've pinned this binding on. So what I tend to do with my pins is I put them facing outwards. That's basically because I find it easy to pull them out as, as we go along on the sewing machine. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start sewing from the underarm seam. That's basically just because we want to keep it nice and clean in terms of you know where the where the sewing is and I like a kind of marker yeah. to know where I'm going back to um, so we're just going to pull the pins out as we go and we're going to sew around so this is actually a different seam allowance to the rest of the garment so the rest of the garment uses a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance and this actually uses just a one centimeter um, which is you know not not too much of a difference but just worth keeping in mind um, so we do a back stitch to begin with and then we're just going to sew all the way around the binding do take your time and make sure that there's no ruffles or you know gathers um, in the under part of the top there shouldn't be, but just make sure as it feeds through the machine. Yeah, just take, take your time, like you say. Yeah, exactly, because you should enjoy this process, and, um, you know, it's important to do that. But as I said, it, it just creates a, a lovely, lovely finish. Mm -hmm. um, I think on the red version we were showing before, um, that's finished with, a, you know, a self-made binding around the neck right. and around the arm sockets as well. Um, and I just think it's, it's really pretty. It adds mm -hmm. a, quite a professional finish. There's a real sense of pride and satisfaction, isn't there, making your own clothes? Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. And, you know, you said to me uh, when we first met this morning, you know, did you make your dress? And honestly, that is like the best yeah. thing. If someone says, oh, where did you get your dress from? And you can say that you made it. You know, it's it's, it's really nice feeling. Years ago, so probably about, I'm just thinking, <laughs> probably about eight, nine years ago, I did start going to sewing lessons and yeah. I did make two skirts for myself. Did you? Oh, I still amazing. got them. They're a little bit tight now, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but anyway, um, but yeah, I still, like, I would never get rid of them because it, yeah. I feel so chuffed that I made them. Yeah. I just, I, I wish I could have carried on going because she, the lady was still holding my hand, if you, if you know, yeah. she was talking me through every every single step, so yeah. I couldn't I couldn't just pick it up now. Yeah. But um, I did really enjoy that process. Yeah, it's, um, it's such a nice thing to be able to do, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we're just going to sew this binding down. Just while you're carrying on there, yeah. uh, just got to do another little stock update. Yeah. Right, so on your five in one again, your eight, sorry, 10 to 18, that has now gone limited. Super, super busy. I think everybody's um, waking up now. Half seven is when I was like, whoo, and now every, all this, um, everything's spiking. So uh, 9.99 then, it's beautiful. But yeah, size 10 to 18, that is limited. Okay, how are you getting on? Okay, great. So we're going to move back to the ironing board now. Sure. And we're going to iron the seam in place. I tend to pin as I iron at the same time. Um, the reason that we want to iron this is so that we get a nice, clean, straight edge, really. So if you were doing this at home, you, you would um, probably use the curve of the ironing board. Um, I know, sorry, it's yeah. a bit awkward because no, of how no, we're no. set up. I just wanted to mention it, just um, probably make it a little bit easier for you at home. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you just iron the curve all the way around. Just make sure that you've got, um, you know, the binding all kind of equal as much as you can all the way around the arm socket. You will see the stitching on the outside of the garment for this section. So just um, make sure that again, you take your time, use a, use a thread that you're happy with to, to show on the outside of mm -hmm. the garment. Again, I'm using the pink. But, you know, you could use a contrast thread if you preferred. Yeah. Is pink one of your favourite colours? It is, actually. Yeah. <laughs> pink and red, I think, probably. Oh, those two. Yeah. Nice. 
I, people often say don't wear pink and red together, but I don't see why not. Really. I have seen some beautiful dresses where you, like, because I suppose in your head you think, oh, that will clash, but actually they've looked stunning. Yeah. In fact, I regret not buying one. It was just out of my price range and I'm forever oh. thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you just um, pin this all the way around. Again, it's... Um, I don't want it to be too time-consuming for the demonstration. That's um, okay because I can do again uh, some yeah. updates while you're great. doing yeah. that. Do you want to do that? That'd yeah. be great. Yeah, that would thank be you. lovely. Now, if you do like the fabric that Becky's using, we have it available for you. So it's this one, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Good. Um, it's this one, which is a uh, hundred percent cotton, and it's one hundred and forty-five centimeters wide, uh, and two point five meters basically. Um, and it's a really lovely cotton. Becky was recommending if you're a beginner start with this one because it's not going to slip and slide as much and it's got a nice nice weight to it. It's light but it's still got a mm, what is the word? A stiffness to it if that's if, a rigidity. No, still not the right word. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you Becky. That's perfect. Right, uh, 27 pounds and 99 pence. Item number is 520421. Next to it, right this side, we've got our navy floral. Oh, that's my favourite. Now you're getting three metres here. What a, oh, I can just see so many beautiful outfits in this. Just look at all the light and shade in the fabric in the pattern. That's gorgeous. Um, now this one is 100% viscose, but it does feel so silky soft. Um, so Becky, what's the, what, what do you like about viscose? What's the benefit in using that? I just think um, the drape, um, you know, the... the kind of the liquid feel I suppose of garments mm. just makes you feel really nice when you're wearing it it feels lovely on your skin yes and um, works beautifully for so many different garments whether that's a dress a top a light pair of trousers for summer oh no like collots collots yeah anything like that viscose is one of my favorite fabrics to work with just because it looks so smart you it know does. to wear nice we're just having a look at the uh, kimono again look I mean doesn't that look so elegant really does lovely right 32 pounds and 99 pence 151176 is the item number for that viscose. Then hopping over, we've got the red floral viscose. Again, this is such a lovely fabric. It's so silky soft. All right, so I can see why Becky's saying it feels so nice on the skin. It's lovely. Um, you're getting a two and a half meter bundle, and that is 24.99. Item number is 455105. And then last but not least, we've got the polka dot. And this is just coming onto the screen. It is a timeless classic. This is viscose, um, and it's two and a half meters. Twenty-two pounds and ninety-nine pence. Nine three five five two five is your item number. Some other items that we found. Um, now this is our multi-tool. This is a six-in-one. Okay, Lindsay's going to show us how to use this at 10 o'clock. Live via Skype from Australia, uh, £17.99, 952001. Now we've also got some other fabric shears. Here we are. Um, and these are £16.99. You've got a little £3 saving. Item number is 442924. Oh, sorry, that's not a happy hour deal. We'll get that fixed. Apologies. Then we've also got... Uh, oh, a presser and clapper. I don't know what this is. Do you know, Becky? It's really a, a great device that you can use for pressing open seams and that oh, kind okay. of thing. So, you know, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to kind of get your iron in there. Yeah. Uh, for darts and things like that, it's really nice to kind of put your weight into that um, presser and just make things li lie sort of really nice oh. and flat. Cool. That's wonderful. I learn something every day. Uh, Fifteen ninety nine. Item number zero six zero five eight three. Uh, back to you then, Becky. How are you getting on? Great, yeah. So what we've done now is um, I have got the binding all flipped over to the inside of the top here. So I'm basically going to pull, pull my pins as we go. I'm sewing on the inside of the garment, but you are going to see the stitching on the outside of the garment. Okay. Um, the reason that I'm sewing on the inside of the garment is because you don't have to do that, but I find it easier to follow the edge. Okay. So that because your binding is obviously all measured out yes. with your pattern piece, so you should get a nice clean look on the outside of the garment. But right. if you prefer, you could do it from the outside instead. But I personally think that this means that you're going to catch all of the binding in. 
Um, so I'm just going to sew this around. So I'm basically edge stitching on the, on the very edge of the binding here. Um, so you just want to take your time as you go around. Again, making sure that you've not got any part of the top caught underneath the binding. You shouldn't have again, but just make sure. Um, it can be quite easy, you know, when you've put it under your presser foot here on the machine, just to get a little bit stuck under there sometimes. But um, it's an easy fix if you have. Just just That's pull good. it away, obviously. So excellent. Yeah. Let's pull this around. I just love this fabric. It's just so summery, and yes. I think it would just bring a smile to my face every time I wore it because it's just so pretty mm. to look at. I think I'd be wearing it every day this week because it's apparently meant to rain every day this week, oh, and I want to feel yeah. like summer. So yeah, this is a sort. I would still be wearing my summer outfits. Darn it. <laughs> Do you know, I, I like to wear things that are pretty even in the house though, yes. and I'm not going anywhere because I think it just makes you feel nice. I agree. It's like when I'm at home on a day off, I'll still put my makeup on. Oh, me too. Yeah. yeah. And I often wear dresses at home because I just think, why not? You yeah. Know, if I'm not going anywhere, I want to get some wear out of them. So. Well, certainly we've not gone anywhere for the last year. So. No. <laughs> I've been wearing my nice dresses at home. <laughs> Um, and if you're wondering where this um, lovely little top from, it's on the screen. It is our five in one, a nine ninety nine. But remember, the ten to eighteen is super super limited. Um, now the size twenty to twenty eight is now approaching limited. Right. Okay. So just cut off any excess thread there. Yep. Um, and there you are. So you've ah. got your binding on the arm socket. So Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it looks really nice on the inside as well. Yeah. So it just means that, you know, if the, the seam moves around a little bit when you're moving around, you've got yep. that really nice kind of pop of colour on the inside of the sleeve as well. Absolutely. So, That's gorgeous. Yeah. What a sweet little top. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. So the only thing we've got left to finish now on the top is actually the hem. Okay. So again, I've actually uh, overlocked this on the bottom of the hem. I find that easier so that you can actually just turn it up, you know, a couple of times and iron it, pin that in place and off you go. Right. But you don't have to do that you could use a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine instead yeah. or you could even if you were you know into making the binding after you've done that the, the top doesn't actually the pattern doesn't recommend this but you could actually make some binding for the bottom of it as well if you wanted to that would be yes. a different finish um, so shall I do the hem now or yes that would be wonderful yeah Okay, great. So um, the difference, I suppose, with this hem um, as opposed to other tops is we've kind of got to stop and start a couple of times because we've got that nice side opening. Um, so that's nice. So what I tend to do is I pin this up. I don't know um, if you um, want me to do this or want when we're talking or um, don't want to take too much time. But um, I'm that's just. That's all right. We, we, we've only got about um, five, six minutes. Oh, have we? Yeah, oh, gosh, it goes very so quickly. Fast. <laughs> Yeah, really fast. Okay, so I probably won't put too many pins in here. I'll just That's try and get right. it finished for you. Um, I've got to do a stock update Great. anyway yeah. because the size 10 to 18, that has now technically sold out. That means uh, all the stock is in baskets. Check out to make sure it's yours. If any bounce back, we will let you know. Sizes 20 to 28, that has now just gone limited stock. Uh, so you can still get it if you're that size range at 9.99. Item number 573.922. Oh, right. Um, Meg's just told me in my ear, apparently you have a YouTube channel now. I do, yeah. So um, you can find me on YouTube by searching for Notes from the Sewing Room. And yeah, I, I, um, I make videos about the things that I make it. Yeah. Sometimes I do tutorials. I share fabrics and things that I've, I've bought myself that I'm going to plan to make things with. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm really inspired by seeing other things that other people make. Right. So I hopefully might inspire other people to will. make something by showing what I've made as well. Yeah. So um, I started it, oh, I don't know, more than a year ago now, but I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying doing it. So. How, how often do you post? Every week, yes. yeah, so sometimes more than once a week, but always once a week. Lovely. Um, yeah, so there's a range of different content on there. So you can also find me uh, on Instagram by searching for notes from the same room as well. Yeah. Um, so you can see, you know, my latest makes and things on there as well. Excellent. So, Lovely yeah. stuff. Okay, I'm just going to sew this. So I'm actually not putting in as many pins as I often would do, just for the sake of the demonstration. But usually, um, you know, pin this nicely. <laughs> and uh, off we go. So again, use a thread um, that you're happy with because you're going to see it on the inside of the garment. I've literally done a double fold on the bottom of the garment there just to enclose that edge so if you didn't want to eat, finish it with any uh, overlocking or zigzag stitch because the edge is going to be enclosed that's right. fine okay just use your iron 
um, and perhaps iron up perhaps a centimetre, then another centimetre, and just turn it and enclose okay. it. That would be fine. Yeah. Um, just, you know, it's personal preference, really. So a back stitch to start off with. And off we go. So I'm literally just um, following the, the edge of the stitch in here, of the, of, sorry, the edge of the hem to go along. But again, this is going to look so nice and, and neat when it's, when it's done. How long would it take you to make this top from start to finish? Not very long at all. No. Yeah, um, you could definitely do it in an afternoon or an evening. Um, or if you're someone that doesn't have lots of time for sewing, like I've, I've got quite a young baby, so I tend to sew, um, you know, during nap time or, you know, if he goes to bed a little bit earlier, things yeah. like that. So just 10 minutes here, 20 minutes there, you know, you can really get a project done in no time. That's good. So you don't have to think, oh gosh, I've not got time, you know. Okay. I'm a busy person, whatnot. You know, you really can fit it in. It's just a case of if you want to, really. Yes. So that's one side. So um, that's all done. So we're just going to repeat the process for the other side. But you saw how, how quick that was that just was to get that finished. Lovely. So um, I'm just going to fold this one. And then I can get this through the machine. But again, I, I would usually pin this. Were you going it for it? I'm going for it, yeah, just to <coughs> try and get it finished during the show. Bless you. Risk it for a biscuit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you can, you can turn it as you go, but you probably would get a need to finish at the end if you um, were to iron it, yeah. etc. Okay. I love working with cotton fabric. I, I often forget how much I, I enjoy working with the cotton. Yeah. Um, just because, you know, it doesn't move around on the machine too much. It's just really nice to handle. It tends to wash well. Um, obviously, for sort of spring, summer garments, it's cool to wear as well. Yes, true. Um, always irons really nice. So cotton tops can look really smart, I always think. Yes. Yes, I, I agree with that. So pretty. I do make sure you're checking out your baskets if you want anything. Are you on again today, Becky? No, I'm not actually. No, I was okay. on yesterday evening, but that's yep. it for me today. Um, so you can catch, uh, catch up on Rewind for 7pm last night. You can really whiz along, can't you? Yeah, so you can. Yeah. quick this is. A lot, a lot of sewing machines have got a different um, you know, speed um, that you can use, but this is... I tend to just whiz along on mine. <laughs> I always think, what's the worst that's going to happen if you have to do a bit of unpicking? You know, that's nice. what happens. Um, now, if you are in the market for a new sewing machine, here's the website so you can see our one day special is on there. So have a little look. Um, it's been very, very popular, our sewing machine. Uh, so check out for the next hour, actually, because you'll see it in action. Wonderful. I think you're going to finish I dead think, on time. Yeah, that's it. We're all done. Amazing timing. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, it's a lovely little summer top that can be worn, you know, any time, really, I think. So I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, I, I think it's amazing. Yeah. It's so pretty. Is it your size? It is. Ah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Perfect colour for me as well. Oh, perfect. That's, I've really enjoyed this out. It's been so nice. Okay then, so coming back to the five and one, which has been like so, so busy. We've already sold out of the 10 to 18. We've got a handful left of the 20 to 28. It is limited, so you're gonna be able to make the tank dress, you've got the top, kimono jacket, trousers, skirt, and also we're adding in, you can do that little sash around the waist as well. Uh, that is just 9 99 Item number is 573922. Thank you very much, Becky. Thank you. It's been lovely. I've it, really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's lovely. Please come back any time. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, you've got some lovely patterns there, and I've really enjoyed working on this today. So, yeah, great. Excellent stuff. Oh, that was such a nice show. Uh, now, as always, we've got the one-day special coming up right after this short break. We are talking Britannia, rule Britannia, yes. Uh, next there, and after that, we have got uh, dressmaking with Montreux Fabrics.
Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me the demonstrator and you the customers and really take our ideas on board. We'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. Make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows. Very good morning to you. I hope you are well this morning. Well, you've picked the right day to tune into the craft store. It's raining out there. Who wants to be outside in the rain when you could be inside in the warm, all snug and getting lots of inspiration and perhaps treating yourself to a brand new sewing machine. This could be your first sewing machine. It might be an advancement in your crafting journey. Now, anything that you buy on the show today, you will be entered into a prize draw. I know it's really exciting, isn't it? We will be drawing the winner today at five o'clock around about five o'clock or during the five o'clock show and you are in for a chance to win oh my goodness a huge prize draw right here look at all of that including a sewing machine you've got a bag to put your goodies in there as well you could use that as a travel bag now we could go on holiday again uh, you've got patterns in there you've got books in there you've got some storage as well I spy some wadding in there too oh my goodness I believe that prize fund is around is it over back over 800 pounds over 800 pounds and all you have to do is buy something within the show that could be the star of the show or it could be one of the different accessories that we've got available for you um, you can have a look on the website now when I say you can buy the star of the show you can't buy George he is the star of the show uh, but you can buy the fantastic Britannia sewing machine that we're going to tell you all about but let me introduce you to George good morning George good morning Morning, Dan. You're right. Yeah, I'm all right. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, all good. <laughs> now, busy launch last night. Yes. Which we're really super excited about. Uh, George, for anyone that's not seen you before here at the craft store, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? So, um, yeah, I, I grew up within the sewing industry. Um, my family are all involved. Um, from the age of 12, I was making quilts, um, free motioning, playing, making all different little bits, bags. Um, wow. And then I moved on to making um, the odd shirt here and there. Yet to make a dress, but that's, that's next. <laughs> Excellent. Um, and just progressed in the business. And also, so I've seen the commercial side of it in, mm. the, in the factories. Yes. And 
and our ambition is to bring that factory quality to the home user. Oh, do you know what? That is absolutely fantastic. And that's definitely what we have here. Britannia, a British brand. And the great thing is you've got the components inside that are going to last. Metal components. It makes all the difference. And when you get this machine home, when you start using it, whether it's your first experience with sewing machines, whether it's an advancement, maybe you're upgrading the machine you've got at the moment, you will notice the smoothness that you've got, the quiet as well, which is so important when you're sewing. And uh, I do need to tell you that 30% of the stock has gone. There are some amazing features to this particular machine and lots of design quality as well, which we're going to take you through step by step. So in your one day special, you are getting your T65 sewing machine. It's never been easier to get into the hobby of sewing. It's never been easier to progress your journey with decorative stitching, the ease of use that you've got here. If you've ever struggled with your buttonholes, this is going to do it instantly for you. You've also got that three-year warranty, which is a peace of mind with that ease of use. Included in that deal, you have your extension table. That's really important for your larger projects. That's normally... $39.99 by itself. So if you're quilting, if you're making larger projects, maybe you are making that dress after all, you need a larger area to work with, you've got that extension table to put onto the machine, but also to take off when you don't need it. On top of that, of course, you are getting the foot, so you can use this to enable your machine in the different speeds. And then you're also getting your accessory pack as well. Lots of items in there. Again, if you're new to sewing, we'll take you through all of the different items we've got in this particular deal. Now, what's really exciting about this is that we can divide the cost over three months, which makes it affordable and within your budget. If you've been thinking about buying a new machine, upgrading a machine, then this is going to be your ideal opportunity to pop this into your basket. $159 pounds and 65 pence today you've got a huge saving 120 pounds on this deal and then we'll take another payment in a month's time and another payment a month after that uh, now your postage and packaging to get all of this delivered directly to your door it's going to be 11.95 if you are a freedom member there's no p and p to pay so if you want to become a freedom member and think about this for a moment. Freedom membership, £7.97. That's for a whole month and it will start today. It means you don't pay any PMP on any of your purchases. And you also have some great discount deals as well. So if it's £7.97 to become a Freedom member, then all your PMP is free and that will start today. And your postage is £11.95. Well, then you make that decision, become a Freedom member. You'll be saving on the PMP, won't you? And you'll be a Freedom member. So it's kind of a why not deal. Um, so those are the details you'll need, including the item number 569982 is your item number. Give us a call or head to the website. And also, please, please email your questions in. If you've got anything you would like me to ask George or anything you'd like to tell us, maybe you've got one of these machines already. The email address is studio at thecraftstore.com. George, right, let's talk around the machine. First of all, it looks absolutely beautiful in its design. That's it. So they've designed it sleek. Um, they've made the bottom nice and wide compared yes. to the top as well. So it's lovely and sturdy on the table. And that combined with the weight of the machine being metal framed um, gives you a really sturdy piece of equipment here. So yeah. when you get the machine home, straight out the box, um, really easy to set up. Okay. So if you're a beginner, no worries at all. So um, first of all, all you need to do is wind a bobbin on the top here. Okay, so how do I do that? Because for me as a beginner, I'd be thinking, right, I'm not sure how to wind one on. Do I need a separate machine? No, no, you've got the bobbin winder directly on top of the machine. Okay. And it, you just flick it over to engage. So. Um, Everything's laid out for you on the machine. It's all, all you have to do to wind the bobbin is follow the dotted line. Okay. So you just take the thread round this hook, round it's, it's diagrammed on here as well. You can't quite see it, but there's a little diagram yep. to tell you to take it under the tension. 
And then um, the lovely feature on this, you don't need to go poking threads through holes in bobbins. You can just wrap the thread around the bobbin on here. There's a li little blades on here as well. So you take the thread round, cut it off, and then press the, uh, the button, and that begins to wind the bobbin. And that's it. And you can either stop it midway through if you're just doing a small project, or yeah. if you want a full bobbin on there, let it go, and it will stop when it's full. Isn't that exciting? Well, that's that done. So now I'm feeling happy, and now I'm feeling confident. And if I'm thinking of upgrading, now I'm thinking, right, I don't need all of that extra machinery and things around me to wind those bobbins. I've got it right there on the machine. What are the next steps to get going? So the next step to get going? is threading the machine up so I'll just whip that out like that and it really is this easy thread goes on to the to the uh, peg there pop that down and then all you have to do follow the solid line two three four five so I'm just doing that one-handed there's no pesky hooks to get through you just follow the track right down to behind um, the needle there and then on this machine you've got the automatic needle threader as well so what that does is it takes all the the hassle out of threading the needle yeah um, it's it's fairly automated as well so you just click that down like that bring the thread round into the hook there cuts off on a little blade at the top do that again <laughs> And then you get the little loop at the back, which you can just pull through. And then you're good to go. And then you're good to go. So next up, the bobbin. So this has a quick set bobbin on there. OK. So all you do, take your bobbin off the bobbin winder, pop it in the machine, round the little track again, all arrow, very, very simple. Put the lid on. And that's ready to go. And we're good you to are go. Ready to sew. You know what I love about this machine as well is the fact that not only do we have the regular stitching, but we've got decorative stitching as well, which I think makes all the difference with your projects because it's the finishing touches in your design. It could be a purse that you're putting together, it could be a pillowcase, it could be a shirt, it could be a dress, but it's those extra details that make all the difference. And when you've got a machine that has decorative stitching on and is easy to program, we'll take you through this next you'll see that this can make all the difference and you get 65 stitches those decorative stitches to play with you'll find your favorite one and you'll find ones that are bespoke to people and projects and maybe if you are making creating and selling you could offer out the different kinds of styles and stitches and let people choose before you make them their purse or their uh, pillowcases or their shirts or their different projects and they can get to choose those wonderful decorative stitches in there so that's a fabulous, fabulous um, addition to your machine. But also with the stitching, can we talk about the different feet that you get as well? Because I know that that's important. Yeah, that's it. So um, the machine itself comes with the five, um, uh, five feet in the box. Um, so you get the um, applique foot. Um, there, which is for all your different patterns, applique, satin stitching, um, and then a blind hem foot. This is for taking up curtains, trousers, um, again, leaving that professional finish so you can't see the threads on the outside. The buttonhole foot here. Now this is important, is it? Because you've got, is it a one-touch buttonhole? That's it, it's a one-step buttonhole. Wow. And it's so easy to do as well. Um, all of these feet, they literally, they just clip on. So if I want to do a buttonhole, I just tap on the back, the, f the, the hook undoes, that comes off, and the button, and this foot just clicks on like that. And now that's ready to go. Should we do one? Yeah, let's do one. Let's do a buttonhole. Let's do a buttonhole. Um, because this can be sometimes problematic, uh, especially to someone new to crafting, new to sewing. Even if you've been sewing for quite some time, people still have problems when it comes to buttonholes and getting them right. This is going to allow you to do it in one setting, in one go, which is absolutely fantastic. And that's what we're going to see now with George. That's it. So what this measures the button for your buttonhole. So you slip 
the slip the button in the back of the foot there you can see it just in there that is now measured this bit just pulls down from the top to gauge the size pop it in and the lovely thing with this machine the button the the standard button hole is just there at the touch of a button okay. um, and bob and winder off and now that would give me the perfect size buttonhole for that button in the back of the foot. And then wow. it will repeat that over and over again, so all of your buttonholes will be uniform. That is amazing. And, and that doesn't take long at all. And of course you can change the size of your buttonholes because you might have larger buttons, for example, duffel coat style buttons, so you'll need that larger or smaller hole. Or if you're making shirts, for example, you'll need those tiny holes for the smaller buttons. But look how easy that was to do in an instant, which is amazing. Now, I do know uh, another issue that people have is tension, not tension yourself when you're sitting down to sew. I would probably have that, um, but the tension on the threads, and that's really important to get that right as well. And this machine can solve all of those issues for people, can't it, George? That's it. So I can go from a standard piece of calico to this crystal organza here, very slippery, um, not easy to put under a traditional sewing machine. With, with these new sewing machines, they can take this fabric. They're made for this slippery fabric as well as the standards. So I can pop that in there. And I'm going to do a round-ended buttonhole on this Ooh. one. So I can just change the stitch by pressing that button there, number 18. And now I'm on number 18 up here. I can see that. Okay, so you've got your reference at the top. We'll take you through the actual um, process of entering into the digital display there, but let's have a look at this buttonhole. That's it. So I can now just press the start button and it goes off. So the automatic tension on this is allowing for this slippery, thin fabric. Um, and you can be confident in the fact that you're not going to mess up your garment because the thing with dressmaking using this sort of fabric so that's just sort of finished there I can just press that the, the thread trimmer and it cuts the threads finished Wow and pull that out like that now when we, yeah we're coming in oh look at that can you and see there's no puckering there's nothing worse than getting because the sewing machine is for the final piece of the fabric yeah. there's nothing worse than getting everything ready pinning it all up and then going to do a buttonhole going to do the seam and it gathers yeah. snags because that sort of thing cannot be unpicked once it's snagged You're it's right. snagged yeah. and and that will be visible for the, for the life of the garment oh. this machine you don't have to worry about that you can you can um, confidently go ahead and, and use it. That is perfect. Now I did notice, I'm standing here in the studio, I'm looking over at George as uh, we're operating the machine, you weren't using the foot pedal, so do we need the foot pedal at all times? What's the benefit of having that in the deal? That's it, so um, foot pedals now are really a personal preference. There's okay. a lot of people um, not using the foot pedal because you've got this start and stop button. So it's um, got a built-in safety feature as well. So here you can see it's shining red. It won't go now because my foot is up. Yeah. Um, but as soon as I put that down, that goes green and I can go. On here as well is the speed control. So. Um, if I were to start the buttonhole now, it goes very, very slowly, and this applies to all sewing. So you can get your bearings with the machine, get with the fabric, and as you grow more confident, you can begin can to speed, speed up. it up. That now, this speed brilliant. control also applies to the foot control, so you can cap your top speed. Yeah. Meaning that um, if you're not used to using foot controls, um, or, or perhaps you're worried that it will run away with you, sometimes you can just surge forward, go yes. too far you can cap the top speed with that speed control. Oh, do you know what? It's like auto cruise in a car. That is fabulous. I remember at school using sewing machines and the one thing that happened, 
um, that happened each and every time. You'd start your project, you'd be really confident, you'd spend ages threading it up. Not with this machine, it's instant, isn't it? And then when you start your project, you just whiz through the machine and you wouldn't be able to get it back and it'd all be gathering up and you'd think, oh no, I've gone wrong again. With that speed element and the control of the speed, you can see the way George was operating the machine with his finger. Finger touching on the front it gives you the chance to sit back and enjoy your crafting and also take your designs a little bit further. Uh, right, can we see how we change the stitches on the display that we've got on the side? Because there's no cranking or turning manually of any machines. This is all done digitally, but it's also done very beautifully and very, very easily as well. And that's something that Britannia pride themselves in and it's the ease of use but with professional finishing so shall we have a look how we program it yes indeed so on the top of the machine here you can see there's 65 different stitches um, and it really is as simple as as putting in the number for the stitch so okay. what Britannia have done is they've given you a lot of different um, uh, different stitches, different uh, things you can do with the machine, but made it easy to get to those bits. So um, I'm going to change the foot here again, just, that just clips off. Now the machine comes with full instructions, <coughs> excuse me, that are easy to read, that are easy to navigate through, and there will be some online tutorials coming online as well. There's also a Facebook page for Britannia, so you can go and put your ideas on there, you can go and be part of the group, which is always nice. So when you start your journey or you're progressing your journey, you've got people there with you holding your hand every single step of the way. You can also watch these shows again. So if you do have any questions, so we can get that particular thing demonstrated for you, email in, it's studio at thecraftstore.com and then you'll have your own personal little video to go back to and watch on Rewind. Right, George, back to the programming. Right, so um, start off with a, with a zigzag. Now, on here, I'm just going to slow that right down. So I can actually change the length and width of the zigzag as I'm sewing. So what you can do is on a scrap piece of fabric, set the machine up for your actual project. So what I'm doing now, I've pressed the length and I've just shortened that right down to a 0 0.3. So I'm coming into a satin stitch here. Okay. Um, now I'll speed that up because it's, it's not going to move very far. Tiny little stitches. And again, I can change the width as I'm sewing. As it's going along. That's... So up and down on there. This this is an effect in itself. Yeah. So because you can you you can play around with the stitches, you can actually get more out of it than than just what's in there. So you can see it's come down. Oh, I like that. It's like a wave. That's it. Oh, that that is fabulous. And do you know what's really good actually? If you were to get a spare piece of fabric and practice the stitching on there. Who knows what you might create and what it looks like. Then, excuse me, you can use that as an applique on a project, maybe. But have fun with this when you get it home and have a look at all the different stitches and do as G uh, George is doing there and change the size of it and the length of it as you're going along in your project. That, I love that idea. Yeah. Yeah, it's unique thing, yes, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so, it really is. Um, so now I'm going to do one of my... Uh, now I'm just going to go through. So this I'm going to do number 34 here, which is um, a little, a little uh, four-leaf clover on there. So oh, that's nice. I'm not actually... I'm not... I don't have to do much with the machine. All yeah. I'm doing is... Oh, I can, I can let it go itself and carry on. It's not going to veer off. So yeah. all I do is just guide it. So if I have a curve I'm going around, if I'm doing some applique, attaching something or following a line, just with the fingertips, you can guide that round like that. That's so easy. So even though it's... Well, even though it's 65 stitches is a lot, but think about your 65 stitches now being a little bit longer. So that's, what, 130 stitches because you're making each stitch a little longer. Then you're going to make each stitch a little smaller. So add another 65 stitches onto that. See where I'm going with that and keep going and going and going. So all of these different stitches will have a different size to them. I don't know whether our lovely Hannah could get closer onto the actual stitching just so we can see 
the different stitches that we've got available to you in the different designs you can see there for all kinds of different patterns and finishing on sleeves for example uh, maybe uh, different patterns going around the edge of tablecloths maybe different patterns going around the edge of napkins as well which would be really nice um, it'll look beautiful on dresses and shirts as well just to have a decorative stitch on the pocket or around the sleeve or around the collar for example if you're making bags small bags just a small rectangle uh, or square bag adding detail like this makes all the difference it makes it unique doesn't it and remember you can make and create and you can sell you can see you can change the length you can change the width you can change the tension all at the push of a button perhaps the only thing this won't do is make you a cup of tea but I tell you what it'll allow you to go and make a cup of tea because you won't be feeling stressed will you you could in fact make that cup of tea as you're sewing just as George was doing there don't have any kettles of course near your machine um, but if I need any help at any time George what can I do I get the machine home I'm starting to play with it I'm absolutely adoring it but I get to a point where I think I need some help what do I do so we are here for um um, for assistance all the time so you can contact us through our website BritanniaSewing.com um, there's an email address there um, or you can give us a call we're, we're on the phone we're on email um, and we try and help as much as possible so uh, we've been utilizing video calls more especially th um, through the lockdown to help mm. people at home and um, you can come to us with technical questions um, just advice on the stitching um, queries anything let us know and we'll be glad to help out Oh, I love, I love that. It's like holding your hand all the way. Uh, a three-year warranty as well, which is a substantial peace of mind when you are buying into what could possibly be a brand new business for you. I say business because Britannia, these machines are used in schools and colleges. They're used by people that are just starting out on their journey into sewing. You know, the first year students. But they're also used by the teachers, the tutors, and also by people that are actually putting together their end project before they head out into business and then they'll continue using these machines perhaps to make those items to sell in their career that price we will divide that into three payments for you so you've got three months to pay there's no interest on those payments at all I was doing my research online and I can't find this machine anywhere for less money do your own research can find it anywhere and remember freedom members there's no PMP to pay become a freedom member today and take advantage of that the postage on this is 11 pounds and 95 pence it's substantial but it does mean that it gets delivered directly to your door but how about instead of in I don't know I, I, should, I, yeah, I am gonna tell them this I am instead of putting that postage 11.95 become a freedom member for seven pounds and 97 pence because then in theory you've only spent seven pounds and 97 pence on the PMP because you become a freedom member and that will start automatically today so then your PMP is included. Everything you need is in the box. Everything you need. You've got the case as well to put on top of it when you're not using it. So that's going to keep that nice and safe for you. You've got the handle on top. So that's going to make it easy for you to carry or get out or place on the table. You've got the light that works with you. So you've got the LED light that will illuminate the area when you are stitching, when you're threading. And it's really, really easy to do that. You open up the top and you can then thread your own bob very easily you can put as much on or as little on as you wish because you might be changing the colors of your cottons or your polyester cottons as you're running through your designs your design 65 stitches but you know what extend that because you can extend the length of your stitches the width of your stitches and the tension as well so very very easy to put together and you've got all of your accessories as well including the extension table that alone is worth in the region of 36 pounds so all of this together collectively my word what a fabulous deal 159 pounds and 65 pence today another payment in a month's time and another payment a month after that let's have a look at the full page features for you if you are thinking of upgrading you might want to take 
take a look at this. And if this is your first machine, wow, you're starting how you mean to go on because this is going to grow with you. 65 stitches, you've got your auto tension on there, which is really important. You've got your simple pattern and stitch control function, very, very easy at the touch of a button. You've got your tangle-free bobbin system and safety guard as well, very important. Look at that, your foolproof needle threading system. That should actually be called a Janice-proof needle threading system. You've got your unique and exclusive instant slow speed button. Slow it down, bring it down so you can understand it. Speed it up so you can quickly get your designs through. You've got your simple quick set button. Bob and, uh, bobbin, bobbin, bobbin system, uh, your LED lighting, we've seen that in action, and that hard cover with the accessory compartment, so everything is self-contained. Let's have a look at some testimonials. It's always handy, isn't it? You can take our word for it, you can listen to what George is saying, but we'll have a look at your testimonials as well. Uh, Sophie, got my new machine yesterday, trying out the embroidery unit, very pleased with the first results. Yes, we've got the embroidery unit for you as well. Um, that's Sophie, so she's very, very pleased with her machine. Do we have some more testimonials? We do, we do. Oh, this is from Becky. My new machine up and ready to use. So easy to set up and choose the various stitches. Really looking forward to getting back into sewing after several years of having a rubbish machine I bought on the internet. Expensive mistake. Uh, do you know what? That is so true. When you're thinking about a new craft, it could be anything. It could be painting, it could be sewing, it could be clay. What happens? You don't want to spend too much money on it because you're not quite sure whether you'll like that particular craft or not but the thing is you're already thinking about it you've already got a desire for it so more often than not that is your chosen craft so if you've been thinking about using sewing machines maybe to make and create your own items for your home and your clothing let's face it we're trying to be more self-sufficient and we're making more items for our homes more items for our families and more items for ourselves as well and Lots of us are making items to sell as well. You want to have the ease of use and the reliability of an excellent quality professional machine. That's exactly what you've got here. 569982 is your item number. Three payments on FlexiBuy. Right, we've got George with us. Uh, George is going to be with us at 12 o'clock today and 4 o'clock as well. So do get your questions in. George, what else can we do with the machine? So, um... So you've got all of these stitches around here to have a play with to begin with. Um, then as I say, you can um, change the length, change the width. Um, but going back to the basics again, um, what I can do on here, if, if I'm just putting that back onto a straight stitch, so we've got all the utility, you've got five utility stitches down the bottom here at the touch of a button. So going back to straight stitch, I can then hit this button here, which is stitches on the spot. Now okay. what that does is it locks the, fat, the, the thread underneath when you begin sewing. So um, traditionally you'd re reverse back and forwards when you'd start. That leaves a bulky start on the machine. Whereas with this um, automatic stitching on the spot, it'll do that on the spot. That leaves a lovely um, knot underneath the machine. I can then stop the machine, press reverse, That will again stitch on the spot, cut the threads there and pull that out and you've got the threads pulled underneath on that side. It's, <laughs> it's wow. difficult to see on there. Um, again, that is that is the quality of the machine. The stitches shouldn't be visible so much. But um, at the start and finish there, you've got um, uh, knots which will keep that thread uh, secure for you but not make and create that mess. And did you hear, well you probably didn't, how quiet that is. It's smooth and that's due to the components inside and the build quality as well. Now when we do get a sewing machine, we'll think instantly about a project. We want to turn our jeans up, we want to turn our trousers up, our skirt, we've got some curtains we want to make. All of those are different fabrics, all of those are different materials and there's lots of different materials on the market now. Different weights, uh, different strengths, different uh, weaves as well. So how about the different fabrics that we can use with this machine? Because for me, I love denim. 
I wear jeans a lot and I do need to take them up because I've got very short legs. It's just the way it is. Uh, so when I do want to buy uh, some jeans, I've always got to pay extra to get them taken up. I want to do it myself. I want to save some money. So with the thicker materials, thinner materials, what kind of fabrics can we use? You can use a wide, really wide range of fabrics, which is what a good quality machine like this brings you. Um, so no hesitations in putting something like this thick denim under there. And um, the problem you have with denim is, is when you come to the seams, you see um, it's riding from maybe th four to eight, three to nine layers of denim. Yes. On this one, that's two, three, four layers of denim in there. So that's, quite, that's thick. That's it. I'm just going to put the normal foot back on um, for this to help it ride up over there. Again, the feet, they just clip on and off like that tuck the thread behind and then we'll just sew along so no. I haven't actually changed anything on the machine uh, the tension handles it all yes. for me um, but coming up to the thickness there so that is now going to go from four to eight layers I'm not forcing it it's doing it oh all itself word. it's pulling that through do you not have to change no the needle at all um, well if I was making something you would always match the needle to the fabric okay um, for demonstration purposes I've just I've just left the 18 needle in there it doesn't require that those thick needles to do it it yeah. will that is amazing, and that, that, that is down to the quality of the machine. You've seen it there live, you know, going through the thickness of the fabric. We also made and created that buttonhole in the organza as well. How incredible is that? That really, really is, and that is a sign of the quality that you're getting. Uh, five at six nine nine eight two is your item number. Three payments of £159.65. We're spreading the cost for you over three months, but we're not spreading the contents. You are getting them all at the same time. So all of the accessories in there you've got the extension table as well you're going to need that for your larger projects and you've also got the speed control foot as well you don't always need to use it but it's in there uh, you're saving 120 pounds on that deal 65 stitches as well you've got your also threading you've got the ability to load your bobbins up very very easily as well you've got your LED light in there and the components inside to make sure that this machine runs smooth and keeps running for you time and time again uh, very easy to control the LED display as well. You've got full instructions and backup to boot. Uh, right, now something else we've been busy for on the show is the embroidery extension. Now what I love about this is that you can buy a separate machine for your embroidery. So that's another machine that you need to learn how to use. The controls you'll need to know how to master. This gives you the capability of turning your Britannia sewing machine into an embroidery machine, a professional embroidery machine. Now, already on here, you've got 150 designs to start working with. You also have a USB port, so you can extend that and have more designs for you to make and create. Maybe your own designs, depending on the software you're using. So those instant embroidery shapes and patterns and designs are going to be at your fingertips using a machine you already know how to use. 509464 is your item number, saving six pounds, 16 pounds on this deal, but we're going to divide the cost. 166 pounds and 63, uh, 23 pence today. Another payment in a month's time and another payment a month after that. Now, the embroidery part on itself is 499.99. So this is going to give you that superb deal to start making and creating designs that perhaps you've only dreamed of doing because you didn't want to have to fork out something like 1400 pounds for a brand new embroidery machine this is going to go onto your existing machine and we're going to find out what machines this will work with when we go back to George those are your details any questions please do email in but let's take a look at the embroidery extension so George what machines can we use this with you can use this on the full Britannia range of sewing machines. Okay. So they all come um, with the little slot on the, on the back here ready for the embroidery unit to be attached. 
Brilliant. Right, let's see how we attach it to our embroidery machine we've got today, uh, the sewing machine we've got today. No problem. So it's really, really simple. So all you have to do is um, you, you screw on this um, uh, embroidery foot um, that screws on nice and tight rather than clips on so there's no movement at all in there and then what you do simple as switch the machine off slide this unit on and plug it in so it's powered from the machine itself the machine is plugged in so that's where it gets the power from it draws the power exactly yep um, so the machine powers the CAD and the CAD tells the machine what to do so that is on now. Now it's given me a warning there and I uh, forget to do this so it says have I dropped the feed Ooh. and no I haven't so I'm gonna um, take that off again. Well that's good at least it gives you that warning and it's thinking for you every single step of the way and I like the fact that you don't have to have another plug socket it plugs into the machine itself. So now I've switched the, uh, the feed down that gives complete control to the CAD on here. So switching the machine on, I can now confidently say, yes, I have dropped that um, feed down. Little set up there, and now it's ready to go. Oh, let's, you know, I do love watching embroidery machines, just the way that it puts um, all the patterns down. And just to show you, there's a lot. There's a lot of pre-loaded patterns in there. Something for all occasions, whether it's floral, whether it's sporty, whether it's industrial, and you've got the full instructions as well. So plenty of stitches to get you started. Love these, I'm gonna have a peruse through these, amazing. But of course you can add to it as well. So let's have a look at it in action, George. So. Now I've got this screen on here. So um, the, the beauty of this is the machine, very, very simple with the with a single screen on there. This um, now takes control on this much bigger screen here, which gives you all the options. Um, Britannia have thought about this. So rather than just leave the screen here, that will get covered up by your fabric. So I can pull that out like that. Oh, wow. Um, and now my controls are away from the sewing area so I can stop the machine, change things as I'm actually sewing. So on the screen here you've got the, the patterns in the book that you can have access into there. Okay. You've got four different built-in fonts on this machine. How fabulous. I did see the fonts actually. Um, so they're there. You can create um, sentences. You can do scripts. You can... Um, uh, yeah put wording to any of your projects. Well, that'd be nice. Um, I could possibly cheat and pretend I've done some cross-stitching, but actually I just used my embroidery machine uh, to put that together. It might be a personal poem um, that you want to put onto fabric, which would be really nice, especially putting it onto a cushion or in a frame. So think about that with uh, the fonts, and you've got lots of fonts to choose from as well, some really nice decorative uh, fonts in there. Just push that forward like so. Um, and then you can actually type in what you want to say. I think that's amazing. Amazing, George, and I think that is a, is a really good feature of the embroidery machine, isn't it? That's it, yeah. So I can type in what I want to say, and then I can save what I've typed in. Can you? If I want to repeat it later. Do I need a, a USB stick to save it onto? It comes with a four gigabyte USB <gasps> stick. Wow. And so on the, sc on the screen here, what I can do is it's got the USB. So that's just in the other side of the machine there. And I've got all these... Um, uh, patterns that I've loaded on, downloaded. There's so many free patterns out there yes. now. Uh, but not only can you download patterns, you can create your own patterns. You can um, now uh, really easily get someone else to create your own patterns if, yes. digit if, if computer software isn't your thing. Um, but the, um, it gives you access to so much more. Um, so coming out of there, um, I can then choose a pattern on here so um, let's have a look through so all of these here again you can reference the instruction book as well that shows you the colors it recommends the yes. color order as well um, but for example so all of these on here 
Oh, they're so lovely. Those two musical notes there. And you can change the size of the embroidery as well. Exactly. Wow. So when I when I click onto this pattern, it gives me a standard size. So this is going to be 7.5 centimeters by 7.2 centimeters. So let's press OK. Select the hoop size. So uh, different hoops are available. It yes. comes with the largest hoop, uh, but you can get a 10 by 10 centimeter hoop or a 5 by 4 centi centimeter hoop. Better for smaller motifs, names, um, if you're using delicate fabric as well, um, this will handle it. So I'm going to select the large hoop on there, set it up in the center, and now it shows me where it's going to be on the screen. I can then move that around on the on the screen like that. Um, and if I press P on here, what, what that is going to do is is move the embroidery unit around and show me where it's gonna when it where it's gonna go. Oh I see oh look at that. You know, it looks really easy to navigate through that menu. It's almost like uh, some of the older smartphones that you used to get, or maybe a if you've got a printer at home and you navigate through the LED uh, LCD menu, then that's how easy it's going to be to start putting together your designs in this embroidery extension. And I think it is a superb idea to be able to use this with a machine that you're already familiar with. Why buy another completely different machine some go up to the cost of £1,400. Do your own research, you probably get them, you know, around about £1,000. But you've already got your sewing machine that's substantial, that's quality. So why go and buy a separate machine? Have the extension, it's a fabulous idea, and we'll work with most of the Britannia uh, machines on the market. Uh, so if you do want to go for this, pop it into your basket. It is available on FlexiBuy. And if you want to go for this and your machine, you can buy them both together on FlexiBuy, 509464. Should we have a look at it in action? Indeed. So I've hooked up the um, my material here. And so included in this bundle, we're also putting in backing. Now backing is really important to support fabrics. And the rule of thumb is the, the lighter the backing, the lighter the fabric, the more backing you put on there. Okay. And you can just layer it up to support. Again, have a play on a scrap piece before you go on to your finished garment. Make sure the tension's all lovely. Talking about tension, that's where this automatic tension comes yes. in again. Um, so it will... Um, detect the thickness of the fabric and adjust accordingly. Oh, okay. So let's slide that on there and it just hooks in. So you just clip it in like that. That's now set up. Um, so if I'm happy with the placement on there, um, I, can, I can go ahead and start sewing. If I wanted to move the pla placement, I've got this grid on here. Um, which has the uh, centimetre marking, so I can put it exactly where I want it to go. And where do we get that grid from? This comes with the machine as wow. well. Is that come with the sewing machine or the embroidery? With the embroidery with machine. With the embroidery. With the embroidery unit. So with that in place, I can press the marker button and see exactly where that's going to go. That gives me the outline there. So if I'm happy where that's going to go. So I just take this out and press OK on the screen here. Um, OK. Now it's reminding me, put that foot down and you're ready to go. So I can just start stitching like that. And that is a way. So um, I can literally leave that now, um, and it, and it will do it all for me. So if I'm if I've got a multicolor design on yes. there, what it will do is it will do all of the um, the blue, the red, the pink, and then it will stop, cut the threads, give a little bleep, and then you know just to change the thread because of that quick threading system. Just whip that off, whip a new one on take it through the system there um, and press go again and it will finish off. Isn't that amazing? So you can do multicolored designs. The design is, is just set out for you. Really easy to navigate around that menu and then go and make yourself a cup of tea and then when you come back 
you'll have your design. Now, if I was in a rush and I needed to speed it up, could I do that with the embroidery or is it on a standard um, speed? Yes, so the speed control for the machine applies to the embroidery unit as well. So at the moment, I'm, I'm going top speed on there, um, 800 stitches per minute. That's a lot. Um, now, I can also slow it down because okay. it, when you start to get really adventurous and you want to go on corduroy, on denim, yes. leather, um, all these different fabrics, you can, uh, when you're just trying it out, you can just slow it right down. Any, th any problems occur, if, the, if, the, um, if you need to override that automatic yeah. tension, you can do. So I can have it on just nice and slow like that make sure it's all looking good before I then go and speed that up. Now I'm also thinking with the different designs that you've got on there, could you embroider onto organza? Yeah, um, again with the right backing with you can right, set yes. this machine up. It, you need a good quality machine to yes. do those sort of lightweight fabrics and this is capable of wow. doing it. Wow, so I was just thinking, I've seen techniques where people embroider onto organza and then they burn the organza away, they heat it away leaving the stitching as an applique. So think about that, maybe it's something you've always wanted to do, give it a go. You need the quality of the components to use all the different fabrics. You can see how quick it was to do the music notes that we've just put in there and how lovely that particular design is. This could be on your designs because that is already available for you within the machine. 150 designs all ready to go and easy to navigate through. You can have a look at them all in the book first of all and then you can navigate through the different menus. You've got fonts in there available to you then lots and lots of different images just opening those up. Something for all occasions. Imagine trying to embroider something like that yourself now you've got the machine to do it for you. So whether it's something to do with travel, arts, whether it's something to do with pets or dresses uh, or Christmas or birthdays you've got um, lots and lots of different appliques in there to select and embroidery designs. Absolutely love that. Remember, this will work on your Britannia machines, but will work perfectly with your one day special that we've got available for you. So it means you can buy the whole system today and you're all good to go. Let's have a look at the features of your embroidery extension. You've got over 100 built-in embroidery designs. I think I said 150, so over 100. But of course, you can add to that with a USB stick. You've got four embroidery fonts in there. You've got your seven and a half inch hoop area to work with. You've got your USB port. It's in the DST format. Fully automated tensions or fully automatic tensions. One size fits all, so perfect for workshops. Yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, maybe a couple of you are buying the machine today and you could split the costs for the embroidery units. Entirely up to you, but it could be a good idea. Um, so those are your main features, and it also comes with your USB stick as well, a four gigabyte one. Now, I want to draw your attention to this. This has been busy. Great little tool, automatic scissors. £159.99, saving £9. Uh, 319-738 is your item number. Now, I've not seen these in action before, but what we're going to do is take a look at this now with our George. Uh, I believe you've got one of these over with you, George. The That's electronic it, yeah. scissors. Um, tell me about these. Why do we need these in our lives, in our craft workshop? Okay, so anyone who uses scissors um, knows that they can slit, they can do all sorts of things on lightweight fabrics and then on heavyweight fabrics. So if you like bag making or quilting and you know the pain of crunching through layer after layer after layer of denim, vinyl, um, all the canvas, these thick fabrics, these take that pain away. And not only that, but you can do straight lines very easily and also curves. Okay. So I can I, I can't see this. Uh, oh, we'll just get the monitor swap. Exactly where pointed where we to. Are. Yeah, we'll do. But just holding it in my hands there. Well, oh, that's... so you, wow. so curves as well as straight. Really, really easy. Multiple layers. So there, I've got two layers. Are you are you pressing? A so button there, or does it automatically go, ah, oh, yeah, there is a button, so you press that and then that just glides through. That is like a hot knife through butter. That is, exactly. So, right, this is three layers there. Absolutely oh my easy. Can you go four layers? 
Let's <laughs> 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 try. I'm running out of scrap. Well, so you've got to give it a go. So let's give have a look. So we've got Carefully four fingers. layers in the middle there. Oh yeah! Like that. Look at that. Let's go eight. No, I'm only kidding, George. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Uh, what kind of fabrics then? So that was faux leather. What else can we cut? We've got organza here. Ah, now this is interesting so. because fixed through leather. Yes, but now we've got the delicate cut of organza. You know how difficult that can be to cut. So. Because of the, the movement, so these blades are moving at 6,000 cuts per minute. No, wow. Exactly, yeah. Um, and so uh, there's no slipping. It, as it's like butter through there, so straight or curves on any sort of thickness of fabric. My word. Now, I'm looking at the one I've got here. Yeah. I've got two blades here. So are these two different blades or are they the same and you've got one and one spare? You've got one spare. So if, if you make the unfortunate mistake, and any dressmaker will know, but if you hit a pin with a pair of scissors, Ooh. then that's okay, you've got that second set. <laughs> um, Try not to hit any pins. Remember, the, what is it, 800 times a minute? 6,000 times per <gasps> minute. Now, it's only now that the technology has got wow. there to move that fast. It was a few years ago we were looking at getting these scissors, yeah. but there were only 2,000 stitches per only minute. Only 2,000? Oh, that's no good. That is not <laughs> enough. Um, so the other wow. beauty of these as well is I've got mine wired in because yeah. I'm close to a power source. But if, if I'm um, away from a power source, or um, want to do it outside. Yeah. I've got the um, the battery pack as well, so I can charge that up. It's, it's, it's cordless. Exactly. So your one there has got the battery pack in. Um, game changer. That that is a game changer because you know what it's like in your workshops, and also with your fabric. Because when you've got large fabric and you're trying to cut through it, and you've also got a wire there, that's not a good thing. Now it's wireless. You've got the capability of charging up the battery. The battery just goes onto the bottom there, and then that's it. You're good to go. It gives you flexibility. It gives you movement, doesn't it? And it gives you reassurance that you're not going to go through the wire. You know what it's like. You know when you're cutting the lawn, for example, you've got the wire trailing behind you. <gasps> It's a worry, isn't it? So, you know, it's always better to go um, with your battery operated device. I, I just think that is superb. 6,000 cuts per minute. 6,000 cuts per minute. Wow. Um, and don't think that's unsafe because. Oh, no, what are you doing? It is very, very safe. So, you're not going to cut yourself, you're not going to hurt no. yourself. Don't do this at home. No, but don't. It's stop. not going to. To injure you, you're not going to get little fingers caught in there. It's it's um, very safe piece of kit as well. Wow! Please don't try that at home. Uh, George is a professional magician. No. <laughs> um, don't try that at home. But he did show how safe that was. Wow. Um, okay, that is an amazing deal. It really, really is for any professional or anyone wanting to become a professional list. Professionalist, yeah. Uh, three payments of fifty-three pounds and thirty-three pence. You can, of course, add this to your one-day special if you want to, uh, and the price of that is also divisible into three payments. Now, let's recap your one-day special for you. We have been busy, busy, busy for this, um, and I'm, I'm so happy for you. I really am. If you're starting your journey into sewing, because you've seen many of the sewing programs we have here at the craft store, <clears throat> maybe you've seen the sewing programs on television, and you want to do it yourself. You want to have that makeover, not just of yourself, but of your home, and maybe of your business as well. This is going to give you the capability of doing that. It's a professional machine, but it can be delivered into the hands of a novice and you'll be able to grow with it. Now stock-wise, 40% has gone. It's a great deal. It's an incredible deal. Go and do your own research. I don't think you'll find this cheaper anywhere else. Three payments of £159.65, not just for the machine, which is feature-packed and very, very easy to use. The components inside are quality. Britannia, a British brand, been with us since the late 1800s. You've got that confidence to start your career in sewing. You've also got the accessories. This is important. This is something you don't have to go and source once you get your machine home. It's included in the deal. You've also got your foot pedal as well so you can control the speeds with your foot but you saw the demonstrations there George was just using his finger on the machine and the machine was doing the work for him you've also got your casing as well and in the casing you've got an area 
to put your accessories. So not only are you going to keep your machine nice and safe, but you've also got your accessories right there to hand. An incredible deal. We're very, very proud to have Britannia machines here with us at the craft store because we want to offer variety. We want to offer quality. We know how important your crafts are to you and we know how important it is to encourage you within your crafts as well. We've got about a minute left, George. What would you say to anybody that's sitting there, they're thinking about getting this machine but they're not quite sure? Yep. I would say always invest in quality. I've seen so many customers who had their fingers burnt by getting machines online from a supermarket. Um, these, these are sold in sewing machine stores. They are sold by professional sewing machine users. They're backed by engineers. That is um, definitely the reason. And then not only are you getting the quality, but you're getting all the features with the machine as you well. You certainly are. Oh my days. Right. If you want to join us again at 12 o'clock, we'll have more demonstrations for you. If you've got a demonstration you would like us to do for you or bring information out so that you can have a better understanding, then please do email in or message me on Facebook, uh, Janice Phillips on the Craft Store TV. Um, and I'll be there to take your questions and give them to George. Thank you, George. Thank you very much. Uh, right. Time for a cup of tea for us. Go and get the kettle on but stay right where you are. Do check out your baskets if you've got your machines in there and we'll be back in a few moments' time. Right, dressmaking with Montreux Fabrics is coming up next. Dressmaking with Sew to Grow after that and then we're crafting with clarity. Have a lovely morning, everyone. Stamperia are an Italian company. Uh, they launched in 1995 with stamps, stencils, paints and an incredible product, the world famous rice paper. They were actually the first company to print on rice paper and they're now absolutely renowned for it. The product range that Stamperia offer is really diverse. They bring us incredible stamps, obviously uh, the world famous rice paper, but they're always trying to bring new techniques as well. So they'll bring different mediums, um, beautiful moulds, so there's always something for every type of crafter. They will definitely have something for you to craft with, and everything you craft with will be top quality and beautiful. So make sure you don't miss the Stamperia shows. Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri show. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dies and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows.
Yes, we are in our Stitch to Impress event. It launched last night at, well, last afternoon, uh, yesterday afternoon, in fact, at 3 p.m. Put my teeth back in, why don't I? And it's going through, uh, the final hour will be at 5 o'clock this evening. Now, um, during the event, on any of our live sewing shows, so this is one of them, even though it's a happy hour show, because we've got loads of lovely fabrics, if you purchase something off uh, any of our live se sewing shows, you will be uh, entered in into a prize draw and one lucky winner will win a prize worth over eight hundred pounds and that's what we're looking at right now look at all those goodies we've got a sewing machine we've got a sewing machine bag we've got uh, from memory there's lots of um, patterns on there there's just absolutely all sorts Do you know what there's even some hand cream that's been thrown in for the sewers I know it's amazing isn't it so basically we'll be announcing the winner at five during the 5 p.m. show this evening uh, but now of course this is a happy hour Yes, as it says, we've got a lot of happy hour deals. We've also got some seven day savers on the show. We've also got some dress patterns that maybe you missed out on this morning. Uh, but we're going to start off with our happy hour deals. Now, if you're new to us here at the craft store, a happy hour, literally what it says is that you've got one hour only. Here we go. The clock's going to start jumping in. There it is. It's on screen. Uh, so you have got one hour to get these deals before they go back up in price. Uh, so let's get started. Oh, I'm going to do my usual because when I'm on my own, I always say, well, I'm not on my own because obviously I've got Jimmy and Ross in my ear. Yeah, there we go. I wish we had a uh, gallery cam. That was good. Hello. We used to, oh, there you go. That was Jimmy. <laughs> we used to be able to wave to them in the gallery, which was quite nice. But anyway, um, uh, as I'm on my own here on the floor, well, I'm not because actually I've got Ryan and Janice is still here. I will get started in a minute. What I was going to say was, I would love to send you to send in your pictures. Um, let's keep it to sort of sewing themes then as we're in this event. So if you've been making any dresses, but it could be quilts, um, it could be anything that you like. It could be a bit of hand stitching that you've been sewing. Why not? We'd love to see what you've been doing. So you can send your uh, pictures to studio at thecraftstore.com. Right. Okay, we're going to start off with some fabulous fabrics. Now, I love the feel of this sort of fabric. This is your cotton t-shirt shirt jersey fabric, and it is so nice. So lovely to wear. It's so soft. It really is. And I feel like it keeps you warm a little bit which is really nice. Um, so you've got uh, different choices, of course, of your colours. Um, but lovely, lovely, lovely for your T-shirts. But not just that. I reckon you could do a pair of, like, loungewear trousers in these. Just to, you know, just to chill out in your lounge. I mean, the weather, hate to be the bearer of bad news, from what I've seen on my app, uh, it's not great today, and it's not really set to be great for the rest of the week. Sorry to bring that. I mean, I'm not an official weather person. I wouldn't mind having a go, though, I have to say. Um, but, yeah, I'm just thinking about, you know, with the rainy days, you're thinking, ah, oh, I can't be bothered to go out. Just lounging around in something like this, in this beautiful material, would be wonderful. Now, you're getting a metre of any of these colours. OK, so you've got your white... You've got then that beautiful turquoise. Oh, um, Jimmy really likes that. By the way, it's got a little bit of a give, which means nice and stretchy. Mm, oh, Jimmy says he's a fan of blues. So it's nice and stretchy. So again, it's very comfortable to wear like that. You can go for the yellow. That's kind of like a really nice canary yellow, isn't it? Like that. Then we've got our blue. Uh, this one's our royal blue, just so you know. Then we've got the red. Then we've got the orange. It's like a tangerine orange, this one. Nice. Then we've got our beautiful pink. Oh, I love that pink. Of course I do. Are they calling it cerise? In fact, I would totally call it that. That's put in fact, because I'm wearing a couple of layers. That's pretty... That is pretty spot on, isn't it? Cerise, there you go. Then we've got purple. Lovely purple. Now, the emerald green, I really like. This green, for, for me, is really hard to find, so it's lovely that we've got it here. And then we've got the black. Right, so I'm just going to open this up. Let's open one of these up. Hang on one sec. Oh, is it pinned? Has it been pinned? Oh, I'm going to have to unpin it. Oh, it's stuck under the bottom. Hang on. Hang on. Come on. 
Oh, no, it's not that one. Oh, this is all going to plan so well. Oh, there we go. Right. Okay. Brilliant. Brilliant. But it's a nice big piece. Do you know what else this is nice for? It really is, because I've got something very similar to this. Um, it really is nice for a little shawl to throw over. Yeah. No, but uh, what I like to do is, I've been talking about this a lot, actually. So, you know, when the weather changes, and maybe you, you sat outside, but the the sun starts to set and it just gets that little bit chilly at this time of year just to throw something like this on it's quite stylish really do you know what i'm going to trot out here what about you could pop some little tassels on the bottom you wouldn't even have to do much to this nice little tassel at the bottom i'm looking i mean it's been cut and i don't really think it frays or anything like that but very nice and very nice and comfortable really lovely to wear and it does have a bit of warmth to it as well. Um, so any of those options, remember you've only got this hour to get them at this price, which is 11.99. Oh, right, the width, just so you know, is 145, are we saying? Yep, and it, so it's a meter by 145. There you go, pop that back. So you've got all of those beautiful colors. Um, Jimmy, which colors would you go for? The, the turquoise, okay, Ross? The emerald green, um, Ryan? The yellow. Oh, he likes the yellow. He's going bright. He's going very bold. Love it. Uh, right then, so it's just 11 .99. Got a £3 saving, 958-944. Remember, it's just for this hour. You've got 53 minutes remaining to get uh, this lovely set. What they were saying, this is a Paola colour. Yeah, Paola's great in red, isn't she? She's great in red. Red, red and black. Well, funnily enough, look, that's what I'm wearing today. Right, yeah, I, I am now Paula. <laughs> well, hey. um, right, so 958-944 is your item number. Okay, then we go on to um, some, this is like a viscose jersey fabric. I believe it is still jersey, it's just coming onto the screen. So that's, it's a viscose jersey mix. So what I'm feeling about this is this is um, much lighter than the previous one. So this is much lighter, so it'd be more... It would be lovely for the summer weather, so you're not getting too hot. Um, and it's also slightly softer than... The other one is still soft, our T-shirt jersey, but this viscose jersey is um, even softer. It's more silky, I would say. Um, again, you've got this on a happy hour deal. Now, with this one, you're getting two metres of it. Again, I'll open it up in a second. So, you can go for... Your navy, which I think is really classy. I love navy. It's just that alternative to black that isn't as harsh, but still looks really classy. Then we've got um, the teal, or the jimmy, jimmy saying, yeah. Okay, then we've got charcoal. That's another one that I think is a really great alternative to black. If you just want something, it's still smart, but it's just not as harsh as black. Okay. Yeah, so this one is white. Yeah, this one is white because the ivory looks very similar, but it isn't. So this one is your white. Oh, it's so soft. Then the next one, obviously, we've got the black. Then following that, this one is the ivory. It might not look... Well, you can see the difference on screen. Yeah, yeah. It's just a very, very subtle ivory with that one. Then we've got... What have we said? Said it again. Surfers in the waves. Oh, that's what they've called it. Or just blue. And then last but not least, hey look, I am matching this again pretty much exactly. It's as if it was meant to be. Now I'm going to open this one up. Now this is another one. Actually, I'm going to say even better. Oh, I look like a bullfighter. It, this one is even better for a lightweight shawl in, in the summer evenings. I genuinely have an exact shawl like this in this material at home. Yeah. It's really nice. I quite like it. There you go. You can just use them like that. But, um, but then again, you can make your T-shirts out of them. I reckon I'd go be more inclined for the T-shirt cotton one to make some like lovely jersey trousers because they're a heavier weight. Whereas these ones, um, like I said, they're slightly lighter. So I do think a nice summer shawl would be good. Right, let me try and pop this hang on. Um, and it's very soft, very soft. And you've got a really big piece here. I mean, look at all of that. So you've got two metres there. Um, lovely, 
uh, fabric, really tactile because it's so soft. $15.99 then for any of those options. Let me just try and, I've done a bad job as normal. Uh, remember, just for this hour, prices will be going back up. Sorry, Ryan, you might have to tidy this up a bit. I do apologise. Um, prices will be going, that looks terrible, back up at the end of the hour. Um, you've got £4 saving there. At 731235 is your item number. Lovely. Now, we've got some more viscose jersey fabrics, but this time we've got some patterns on them. Let's have a little look. So this is the Blue Daisy. Again, this is so, so super soft. It really is. So pretty. Nice. Let's have a look. Oh! Um, right, Ross is saying a, a wedding dress. I mean, not a wedding dress. He said a, a dress that, you know, anybody else could wear. Especially a summer wedding dress to go to a wedding. So, because it's very fluid. Actually, I was chatting to Becky this morning because we we're on together at seven o'clock and she was saying how much she loves viscose. That's one of her favourite, that and cotton, one of her favourite fabrics to work with because it flows so much. We're going to have a look at some patterns in a short while. And um, um, she, there was, there's one on there that's a kimono that just looks absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful in this type of viscose fabric because it's, it's got a really nice drape to it, hasn't it? So it just um, just flows. Um, so this next one, this is the navy hibiscus and uh, Jimmy's just been saying in, in my ear that he, his other half would really like this one. Yeah, so pretty. It's um, a really, really lovely touch to it. Very, very classy in its look. Uh, again, it's another two metres, were we saying? Yes, two metres in length. So it's a very, very nice fabric indeed. Again, that would make a lovely, I think, a lovely maxi dress to swoosh about in, give it a nice long flow. Gorgeous. Then, um, so are those both options there? Yeah. Okay, so under the same item number, you've got a £5 saving. It's just £19.99. Item number is 429, sorry, 171. Next then. Right. Now, you have to look closely because it's black, taupe and white spot. So the black is in the background, but you can just see the difference. It's very subtle. That, that's a taupe one and that's the white this is, um, as Ro uh, Ross has just said in my ear, which I agree, this is very classy, it's very timeless. Again, if you go back to, um, if you go back to the seven o'clock show and have a look, Becky had a dress, Becky had a dress behind her from one of the patterns, which sadly is now sold out. And that was in polka dot, but it would look equally as lovely in this type of spot. Um, it's gonna be something that just is timeless for you to have a little look at. Yeah, you can see the taupe through there. It's a bit different, actually. Right then, uh, now this one's got a really good saving, only up until the end of the hour. A whopping £9 saving. It's just £15.99. Again, you're getting that two metres in length. 502187 is the item number. Now, this is lush. This is herringbone fabric. And it's a really... Ooh! We've got some tassels on here. Um, so, this one, now they're calling it, are they calling it black and white, really? Mm, I'd sort of call this black and taupe, really. It's very soft. Two metres again, this one I am going to open up. You know what I'm seeing here is a really lovely winter skirt. Nice little winter skirt. Or, um, See, now, um, Catherine, I think, has got, she wears sometimes a lovely little jacket on air in something like this, from memory. Um, but it does have a, oh, strobing somewhat, though. Um, it, it's got a very, very nice weight to it. So it would definitely be for a winter something, whether it be a winter, um, it could even be a winter poncho. Do you know what I mean? Just to throw on. But I, for me, anyway, I can see a really nice winter skirt black tights I know you can't see me wearing it but um, maybe some with some black tights underneath wear it with boots that's where I'm going with that one but yep lovely fabric let's pop this back down badly um, so if you want to go for this one your white and uh, your black and white herringbone you're saving four pounds it's 15.99 item number is 9.81101 
Do we reckon we've got this the right way round? Because this looks black and white to me. Mm, hang on, we think we might have just, because that, that's what I was saying, because, yeah. Yes, I think this is the, okay, right, this one. Okay, let's put, what we do now? <laughs> right, so I think this is the item number for this one, because that would make total sense. A brown and cream tweed, I reckon. Mm, we're just having a conflab here to see which one's the right one. Mm -mm -mm. Talk amongst yourselves, we'll just try and work this out. Okay, so I'm just going to show this next one. Here we go. And we'll sort it out. There we go. Um, this. Do you know this one? I'd even maybe use this into, into um, uh, upholstery, a little bit of a... put. Can you imagine this on the top of an ottoman or something like that? That would be good. Uh, again, it's a nice big piece, two metres. Lovely. Okay, we're still sorting that out, so apologies. Okay, one second. Let's move on to here. Okay, so what's the next one? Oh, this is soft. Let's get this out. Is this another viscose, I'm guessing? Ah, I'm getting to know my fabrics. Okay, so this one is another viscose. What do we reckon, a nice blouse? Maybe, with that sort of fab, with that sort of pattern on there? Oh, um, right, so again, we're going back to this again. But to be fair, it is either side, isn't it? So, because of how that drapes, that pattern. There you go. What do we think? Actually, I quite like that. That's my favourite out of all of them. Because that works really, really good. It almost looks like sleeves. In fact, you could make it like that, couldn't you? You know, if you made like those um, batwing sleeves, or I don't think they're called batwing sleeves, are they? I forget what they're called, but you get the idea. I think that looks quite nice like that. And then there's a little bit of drape and flow. Mm. And then it just goes black there at the back. That looks meant to be a jacket, specifically for my shape, can I just say. It does look really, it doesn't really fit well, doesn't it? Okie dokie. Right then, so that is 19.99. Um, you've got, what, so what, 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 five pound saving there. Uh, item number is 074296. Okie dokie. Uh, so those are all your happy hours. That's what we've got on the show for you. But we do have more. We do have more on the show. Um, so we're just going to tell you a little bit more about Flexi Order if you're spending over 60 pounds. <laughs> What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Okay, now we've got some patterns on the show. So these aren't happy hour, ha happy hour deals, but we thought we'd um, show you them just in case you weren't up at seven. And if you weren't, I don't blame you. Okay, so I'm going to start off with, this is a fabulous skirt pattern. Um, do go back to uh, Rewind to see the 7 a.m. show. Now this is really nice. So with your skirt pattern, you've got sort of um, you've got four different ways that you can make it. Now this is one of the ones that... Becky was saying would look really good in viscose because of the flow. I mean, you can see the flow to this um, on the model here. It just swishes, doesn't it? And it's one of those skirts that you can have for the evening. Could you imagine a, the longer length one in like a silky satin type fabric, but then for daytime going out in the summer, just a really lightweight viscose. Um, so you can see the different designs, the different ways. So you'll get the pattern in there. Uh, there's also different sizes. Uh, so we've got two options here. So 6 to 14 
or 14 to 22. Um, so those are your options. You just choose from the drop-down box. Uh, and that for that pattern, it's just 9.99. 731672. Now, there are such good prices for these patterns, considering how many ways that you can make these. Next, then, um, we've got our lovely little top. I forget which type of top we call this. Mm, yeah, button front shirt. That's it. That's it. Uh, was he? Adam was a fan of this. Okie doke. Again, you've got four different ways or versions that you can make it. This one is my favourite one because this one reminds me of being slightly oriental and I really like the collar and I'm a big fan of um, short sleeves. Uh, this one is nice because you've added a collar in. Uh, apparently Adam really liked the bottom one because uh, we're then adding in some sleeves uh, but we've got that collar and then on the model we've added in sleeves but we've got the normal collar if you know what I mean. Um, so again, this range is in size. It'll swizzle round in a second, I think. Right, so you've got 10 to 18 and 20 to 28. There you go. Again, brilliant price, just 9.99. Item number is 112164. Then we move on to, I forget which one we call this one as well, but it's got that, um, the, yes, the Mrs. Top, that's it. Um, and it's also got that extra neck scarf but see when i first looked at the model i actually thought that it was a cowl jumper that that you actually sew on but it's not it's an additional neck scarf but it's just that they've done it in the same colors so actually when you you look at it first hand it looks like it's all one piece but it is separate which is quite nice because if you get hot you can just take that off you know that's really great so again you've got the different ways of making it the one where you've added the cowl, the one where it's got that slight slit at the top. Uh, you can add some buttons. And this time we've got some little um, puff sleeves with the cuffs. Um, and then this lady here, she's added that she's got, so a version of this, but adding then that lovely little neck scarf. Extra, extra small to extra, extra large are the sizes. And it's 9.99. Item number is 859915. Then we've got the jacket. Now, this is gorgeous. Becky had um, a version of this on a mannequin this morning. She'd made one, and it was beautiful. Again, this is what she was saying looks really good in viscose because it just drapes and it hangs well. Um, so, so, yeah, some of the fabrics that Ross is saying that we've got on the happy hour deals would look really good in this. Now, this style, depending on what fabric you, could, you use, would be really lovely for a jacket at a wedding. Um, that's what I'm seeing. If you've got a nice satin finish and you've got a beautiful dress underneath. This one again, oh yeah, great for a cruise. Ross said, oh, will we ever be able to go on cruises? I miss those. Um, so this again, another great one to throw on. And then we go slightly longer length. You know, this is for, and there are a lot of ladies that say this, if they want to cover their bum up, which is true. So that's, that's what, you, you know, people feel comfortable with. So that's another great one there. Um, extra, extra small to extra, extra large. It's 9.99432927. We're actually busy for this one, very busy for this one. And then Meg saw this and instantly went, this is a you dress. Um, because just the shape of it, no, you did not think that was me. No, that you didn't say is that, Alex. Anyway, I'm not that tall. I'm not that tall. I'd love to be that tall. <laughs> Anywho, I, I was just thinking for the daytime, if again you've got a nice jersey type fabric, a heavyweight one, so it could be the, the first happy hour that we've got. I think that would make a fab dress in this. I love a good halter neck. I absolutely adore that. And this one, this is an evening gown for sure. Again, if you're more competent at sewing, could you imagine that as lovely satin dress? That would look beautiful. Um, okay, 9.99. Um, your item number is 574947. Do we have sizes on this one? Okay, 6 to 14 and 14 to 22. Just 9.99. Item number is 574947. Uh, we can also take you through some of our seven-day savers that we've got on the show. Uh, actually, thinking about it, Saturday, um, they'll run out tomorrow at 8 a.m. So this is the last day, really. Okay, we've got some yarn balls. Oh, I haven't said that for ages. I haven't said that for ages. 
Right, so we have got a set of 10 50 gram balls. It's 55% polyacrylic and 45% polyamide. What are the care instructions? So wash at 30 degrees. You can iron it, but don't tumble dry it and dry flat. It's very, very soft. Um, once more, it's great because they're all coming from the same dye lot, which means that, you know, because sometimes people buy a ball of wool and then they run out of the ball of wool, so they go back to get another in the same colour, and it's, sli it's dyed slightly differently. It's just the nature of the beast. So it's great to have the whole collection here for you. Um, super soft. Now, so this one is the sunshine colour. There is another colour on the website, which is the blue it's nice. It's nice. It's like a baby blue. I feel like um, I feel like we're missing a pink version. Do you know what I mean? Because that would be nice. Now, have you seen that ridiculous saving? You are saving seventeen pounds and fifty pence. That is a huge saving. It really is. Um, so, if you want to go for this, it's nine ninety nine. I'm not going to miss this, aren't I? Hey! Uh, so we, we, uh, we had a lot of fun yesterday. We had a wonderful wool happy hour. And, well, I don't know, actually, if Ryan had a lot of fun. I was just chucking balls of wool at him. <laughs> Apparently, we love playing catch. To be fair, it was quite fun. Um, but this is the blue option, so it's nice for you to see it there. It is a lovely baby blue. Right, 9 99 that's all you're paying for 10 balls of this lovely yarn, yarn balls, 50 grams in each ball, a £17.50 saving, and it's just 9 99 000 612. Zips then, another set. Oh, this has been nicely displayed. So we're thinking colours may vary, but you might get something like a fabulous purple, um, um, a really useful sort of charcoal. There's a blush colour. Mm. Oh, apparently colours aren't going to vary. Oh, good, that's good, that's good. Uh, then you've got the emerald green, <coughs> bright yellow. I'm noticing that some, in fact, I pretty much all of these would tone with the fabrics that we've got as happy hour deals. Mm. Uh, and we've got like a nice beige one there. Um, now you've got five metres on each of those zips and you've got 60 sliders. So again, that's going to keep you busy. Um, so lots of projects that you can do with that, with your zips, whether you're bag making or whatever it is that you're doing. That yellow is so vibrant. Look at that. That's so bright. It's almost like neon. Now again, the saving is absolutely bonkers. You're saving £36 in total, just £23.99. But remember, these will be going back up at 8am tomorrow. Your item number then is 805415. Right then, so next we've got another seven-day saver. Okay, these are your um, steel tailored scissors. They look amazing, don't they? They just look serious piece of equipment. Um, and you've got a five pound saving. Do we know how long these are? Oh, 10 inches, it says on screen. I said this earlier, I really should look at the screen. Um, so it's 10 inches of your steel tailor's scissors. So maybe yours have got a bit blunt um, and you're just in the market for another set. Then here we go. And you've got five pounds off. It's just 9.99. Item number is 634005. We've got some more seven day savers for you. Now, Jelly Bean Crafts, uh, we've got uh, 12 by 12 rainbow card. Right, 235 GSM, which is a uh, good weight if you're going to be constructing. Uh, you've got 50 sheets, look at that, with all of those beautiful colors. It's an absolute rainbow. Um, and a massive 21 pound saving. Just 9.99, just 9.99 for those. 050707. Next then, we've got some Silky Smooth A4 card. This is in the bright white. 100 sheets in total. That is a fabulous weight. 300 GSM. Wonderful for your gift boxes, um, which I, you, as you know, I love to make. Now you are saving more than you are spending because you're saving 14 pounds. It's just 11.99. Do stock up, stock up on your consumables. Works out at just 12 pence per sheet. Item number is 990325. Another one then, we've got uh, Pink Frog double-sided foam pads. Oh, you get loads on this roll. 1500 that'll keep you busy you could mat and layer to your heart's content 
you could literally layer up like 50 if you wanted to that would be one well you, you wouldn't be able to post it would you uh, but it there's a load on there uh, 1500 per roll it's 15.99 item number is 103564 and then oh i love these pink ink designs oh we've got the woodland fairy which i adore oh it's wonderful right so um, six hand illustrated sheets um, their imagery is always phenomenal so is the packaging to be honest they put loads of inspiration on the packaging um, and here you've got it for just 9.99 item number 249140 now uh, these aren't seven day savers these were we just thought it might be nice to show you them because they were on the 7 a.m show these are a lovely gift um, it, it is a dressmaking gift set and you've got these beautiful scissors that have that gold colour. Um, now the scissors are 21 and a half centimetres. You've also got those really pretty embroidery scissors. They're nine and a half centimetres. And then you get this really cute set of um, pins with the gold heads and a gold coloured thimble. Oh my gosh, Ross just started singing in my head, gold thimble. Actually, it was, it was all right, Ross. I, I'll, I'll go with that. That's all right. I like that. But what a lovely gift in a very wrappable box. Um, Becky was saying this morning she'd be super happy if somebody bought her this as a gift. It's lovely, isn't it? Uh, £22.99 is the price. Item number is 080681. And then, now this is cool. Now this is going to be featured more um, on the next show at 10 o'clock. But um, I was saying earlier that, because um, I do also, and I still do a little bit, um, I originally trained as an actress, and sometimes people would phone you because they want your measurements for costumes. And if you're on your own, with a normal tape measure, it is ridiculously hard to try and take your own measurements. There's no way you can do your legs. You end up sort of trying to stand on it, which is pointless because then you, your trousers are going to be well out. Um, so this is great. This is the Sew to Grow. So... You pull it out like this and it will just stop then there's a little slot here I'm just gonna pop my wrist through hang on and there you go you've got your you've got your measurements it is it's a really clever device this oh yeah um, if you're trying to lose weight they're saying it's good for sort of seeing how how you're going with you with your waist lines and everything else but I just think that's really handy, isn't it? I'm not going to do my waist because you're not going to see that. I'll just do my arm again or my wrist. How good is that? So it's just really fabulous. I wish they could do something like this for jewellery, for bracelets. Have you ever tried to put a bracelet on by yourself? It's ridiculously hard. <laughs> lovely but that is a really impressive tool very very handy it'll be featured a lot more in the next hour um, that I think really is a lovely essential and actually look it's got on the back about um, you know where obviously you'll know but look it even gives you the places where you ought to measure yeah hips bust thighs etc mm, very good I like that Okie dokie, that is $13.99. It really is a fabulous little tool. 015267 is your item number. Now, if you are new to us here at um, the craft store, nearly. Oh, I've been doing so well all week. If you're new to us here at the craft store, you might ne yet not... <laughs> You might not yet know about our joining our Freedom Club. So uh, here's Leonie to tell you more. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away, or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888, and join Freedom today.
Yes, we are in our Stitch to Impress event. It launched yesterday afternoon at 3 p.m. and the final hour will be at 5 p.m. when there will be one lucky winner that's going to be announced. So, in order to be in with a chance of winning, you need to make a purchase during any of our sewing shows, um, this being one of them, and you'll be entered into the prize draw and at 5 p.m. we'll announce one lucky winner who will win over 800 pounds worth of fantastic goodies look at all that from what i can see you've got a, i mean flipping neck you've got a sewing machine which i believe is worth 249 pounds you've got uh, sewing patterns i think there's some interfacing on there a uh, search press books there's a wonderful bag um there's an iron sewing box and you even get some interfacing and you even get some hand cream randomly but you've got to feel comfortable when you're sewing why not so I'm um, it'd be really nice to see the only thing I was thinking of for whoever wins this where are you going to store it that would be well it's not an issue because it's lovely to have everything that you've won but yes amazing now of course uh, it, we are in a happy hour so let's let's play the promo <laughs> There we go. How much have we got? 23 minutes remaining before uh, these happy hour deals go up. So we'll run through the happy hour deals once more. OK, so on screen, what you've got, this has been really busy. Uh, it's a metre in length. You've got different choices in terms of colour, but this is your cotton T-shirt jersey fabric. Um, now, this is a nice, this has a nice weight to it. We've got another jersey fabric in a minute, but this one's a slightly heavier one. So I'm thinking, because I've got some, um, like, lot style jersey trousers at home in several different colors and that's what I lounge about in I can't for me personally like you know when you're in relaxed mode I can't lounge about in jeans I can't do that oh oh there's an immediate yeah yeah in my, uh, okay what do you lads lounge around in okay so Jim is saying comfy joggers yeah stretch ones Ross is saying, I do appreciate this, Ross is saying the earlier he can get into his pyjamas, he does. To be fair though, having said that, when it's winter and it like gets dark at four o'clock, I'll, I'll be in my night clothes, just chilling out, love it. Anyway, what I was saying was, during the day, if I'm not going out, and like I said, I'm not a weather reporter, but from what I've seen on my app, it, it ain't going to be too pretty this week. Although it's good for the gardens and good for the farmers, so that's all good. There's always a positive. However, I can't stand rain. Uh, so I'll be staying in quite a lot. Um, but I've got some really nice sort of collotte style trousers and all different colours that I, I love to just lounge around it because they're so comfortable. And that's what you've got with this fabric. It's got a little bit of stretch to it a little bit of hang on if I come down here a little bit of give so it's just really really lovely I think also if you like to do a bit of exercise again this sort of you know trouser is really nice because it's breathable and it's movable movable is probably the op operative word okay so each option you've got a meter in length so you've got your white option next is the turquoise then we, that is a bright yellow. That's Ryan's favourite. This one, of course, was uh, Jimmy's favourite. Um, then we've got our royal blue. Then we've got the red. Next, we've got the orange. That's a real tangerine colour, that. Then we've got the cerise, which is a beautiful pink. I'd probably go for that one. Then we've got the purple. Ross loves the emerald, and I love the emerald. This is really hard to find for my skin tone. So that's but. Trouble is, I need someone to make something for me because I can't yet make things. But anyway, um, so we've got the emerald and then we've got the black. Again, I'll just open up the black just so you can see the size of it. But yeah, it's got a nice weight to it. It is soft. It is very nice and soft. But that is the size. Can you see that? Yeah. Oh, should I do a magic trick? <laughs> yeah, I can't do a magic trick. All right. Um, so each option, 11.99. Now, you don't have long remaining, remember. You've got 20 minutes, I believe, before the price will go up. Um, so you've got that nice little three pound saving. We are very, very busy for these. They have been flying out the door. They're just such handy fabrics. Oh, OK. Um, Ross is saying, guess what the busiest colours have been. OK, I'm probably going to guess wrong. Jimmy's, Jimmy's saying emerald. Um, has black been the busiest? It's not. Has the teal, the turquoise? 
I'm just going to go through all of them, aren't I? Uh, has this one been the busiest? Or this one? Oh, the one that I least expect. The white. Oh, fair enough. Well, I suppose... Wait a minute, can't you... Can you dye jersey fabric? I'm just trying to think. I know you can dye cotton. Can you dye, Sergio? Um, answers on a postcard, if you know. Hmm. Oh, but the, apparently the white has been the most popular option. Mind you, do you know what? If you're making T-shirts... Oh, good, right. Ross has just looked up. I digress. Um, apparently, jersey fabrics just fun really well to dye. But what popped into my head was, if you've got one of those cutting machines, you know, like the Cricut, you could be doing what the lovely Emma does, and you could be making your own T-shirts, popping on a logo because you've cut it from your Cricut or your Scan and Cut and all of that, and then you can personalise and you can make to sell. Maybe that's why you're going for the white. Mmm. Let us know. I don't know why I did a sort of weird Yoda then. Yeah. <laughs> no, that just sounded like a horse now, actually. Right, so 11 for any of those metres of fabric. 958944 is your item number. Then we go on to a different type of jersey because this is a viscose mix. And this is much lighter and silkier in feel. It's, uh, honestly, you, you won't help but stroke this. It's really, really lovely to the touch. So then, you're getting two metres this time, so a really nice long piece or large piece. You've got your beautiful navy, which is just so classy. Next then, we've got, are we calling this teal? Yes. Teal. Then we've got the charcoal. Next then, we've got the white. Oh, so soft. Then we've got the black, we've got the ivory, this one's the surf, <laughs> and then we've got the red. Again, I'm just going to, sorry Ryan, because uh, this is just perfect. Oh, he's tucked it under again. Hang on, it's not your fault. Hang on, let's lift this up. Yeah, <laughs> they're saying yeah, that, was the, that was the side he didn't want me to take it. But this is so lovely. I genuinely have, and I think it's this exact fabric, several... Um, of these as a, as a little throw, little shawl, and I just love it. It's just got such a lovely drape, such a light weight. It's really nice. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give us a try. Oh, I've just taken it off. I feel like I'm Wonder Woman now. <laughs> um, right, so for each of these options, two metres, that's a lovely large long piece. Um, it's £15.99, you've got £4 saving and you've only got mm, about 17 minutes to get it at this price. Item number is 731235. Um, oh yes, we do have more fabrics, don't we? I've forgotten, we've got the patterned ones. These next two have been extremely busy. We've got the Blue Daisy and the Navy Hibiscus. Let's have a look at the Blue Daisy. Isn't this pretty? What lovely fabric. This, again, I can see a really nice maxi dress in this fabric. It's beautiful, really beautiful, and so super soft. Righty-ho, let's open this up. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Yeah, definitely. Or, you know that skirt, the pattern, the skirt that I showed you? That, that would flow really nicely. I know you can't see because it's behind there. But it's, um, it's got a really lovely flow to it. And as I said, Becky from the 7 o'clock show was saying how much she loves working with viscose. It's very pretty. Mm, oh, sorry, they're having a little conflab in my ear about, about masks. But we don't, think, we don't think it would be that great. Yeah, I think, you need, I think you need cotton so it's more breathable. Anyway, it was worth a thought. That's all right. <laughs> Russ just said, don't ever suggest something that stupid. They are, look, they're like a married couple, these two. They really are. Love it. <laughs> right, um, and then you've got that beautiful navy hibiscus. Isn't that lush? Um, so both of these have been very, very popular. Um, I mean, this one's got a nice, um, bold pattern to it. It's not in your face, but what I mean, the size of it, it's, it's just a real looker, I think. So each of those options, just 19 dollars 49 is the item number. 
Next then, we've got the black taupe and white spots. Uh, so basically it's got that black background and then you've got the taupe spots and the white spots. Shall I open this one up? Why not? Why not? Because we've only got not too long left on the show. Hang on, 12-ish minutes. There you go. This is lovely. This is a really um, timeless design, isn't it? That's really pretty. What they're saying, space. Nice little, nice little dress in this. Yeah. Be lovely for a what? A cruise. He's going on about cruises. Are you, do you, are you desperate to go on a cruise, Ross? Oh, you've never been on one. Oh, I used to work on a cruise ship many moons ago. And I've also been on you know, those weekend cruises. Oh, is that sounding really dodgy? Oh, I don't mean... Oh, let's just move on, because this is just going to get out of hand. All right, uh, right, 15... You'll know what I mean. Um, 15 pounds and 99 pence. You've got a two metres of that fabric there. Uh, item number 502187. OK, so we fixed this. Apologies about this. OK, so we think what happened was the names had got a bit mixed up uh, or the colours on the website. So this one is your herringbone, but we've changed the name now to brown and cream because, look, say what you see. That, to me, is definitely brown and cream. Let's open this one up. This one's the one that's got a really good weight to it, really good weight. So this is going to be either... Um, like a, um, a jacket for the office, but in the winter. Sorry about the strobing, can't be helped. Or I was going to say a winter skirt where you wear your thick black tights and boots. That's how I see this, because it's, it's got, it's really lovely a weight. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. I stifled it. I'm sure that's probably not good for you. Oh, Jimmy was ready for it, he cut my mic. I swear this, this studio makes me sneeze so much. Sorry about the mess, Ryan, but yeah, okay. <laughs> um, then the next, have I given you the details? Right, 1599-981-101. Two metres in length. I know, I'm sorry, this is all rumpled up. He's like, Jimmy's like, no, I can't take a shot of that. Right, then the next one, we've got the black and white tweed. There it is. Again, that's got a really nice weight to it. Two metres in length. Uh, it's 15.99, and you've got that four pound saving. But you've got to be quick for any of these because they're going to be going up at the end of the hour, not long at all, about 12 or so minutes. Item number is 027294. Um, right, Jimmy really likes this next one. I'm just going to cover. I'm I'm just trying to cover up my mess with the other one. Does that work? Does that work? Is that more presentable? <laughs> Ross just said, paint over the cracks. All right. Now this, so yeah, Ross did say, wear this as a shawl, and it works really well. So bear with me while I open this out. Yeah, it's got the Jimmy seal of approval. But just because of how this works with the, where the pattern goes, so if I put this over my shoulders, it's, it's spot on. Absolutely spot on. So hang on, let me get this correct. So look at that. There you go. And then just one side, the other side. Yeah. <laughs> um, Jimmy's saying it really suits me but I just think that's lovely yeah it's got a really nice flow again to it okie dokie um, now that is one meter is it feels like it looks like it's longer but anyway it's one meters um, and it's 19.99 five pounds saving item number is 074296 now did you know we are apparently a platinum trusted service Jimmy. Exciting news. For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 the craft store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. You were right, Ryan. <laughs> he was scrabbling about trying to sort out my mess. And that was also hilarious. So I was like, Platinum Trusted Service. And then Ross went, throw, Jimmy, throw. <laughs> this hour is seamless. Seamless, though, seamless, seamless. 
Thank you. Seamless link uh, to our sewing shows. Right then, so this is your Sew to Grow. It's going to be featured a lot more in the next hour, which is only 10 minutes away. Um, but it has been very busy. If only I'd known about this years ago, this would have saved so much of a hassle and faff. So this is how you can do your own measurements. So you don't have to have anybody else doing it, really. Um, well, you can, but it's just helpful. So you pull it out like this. It'll stop. Obviously, you can do this around your waist, uh, waist as well and, or anywhere else, but I'm just doing it like this to show you. Press the little button and then it will go in perfectly so you know what your measurements are. Because I, I don't know if you've tried to take your own measurements with just a regular measuring tape and it's so difficult. It's just you're faffing about, you're standing on it, which will take you up to the waist, but it'll still give you the wrong measurement. So this is really handy, but it's been very, very busy. I'll do it again, pull it out, slot that in. Perfect. Really like that. It's very, it is, it's very satisfying. I just keep playing with it. Um, but that is $13.99. Item number is 015267. Okay, some of the patterns. Where did I put them? Do, do, do. Yeah, I've got them, I've got them. I've just hidden them because I've made a mess of the pack shop. So I'll just, what, shall I whiz through these really quickly? Okay, so um, I've got them in a different order now. So we've got our fabulous little dress. Well, it's quite a long dress. You could make it into a little dress. Now, for your dress, and of course, you've got the different uh, ways that you can make this. You've got sizes 6 to 14 or 14 to 22. Thank you. Um, 9.99 then for that pattern. Item number is 574947. Next, we've got our lovely little kimono jacket style. Um, again, you've got four different ways that you could make this. So that one covers your bum if you want that. Well, some, some people do. They don't, they don't like it. Um, this one is our lovely sort of kimono style. looks really pretty. Uh, this one doesn't have as much of a... It, it's not, not as much length. And this one almost goes to like a... Not quite short as a bolero, but a really nice, probably waist-length jacket. And I could see... Depending on what um, fabric you make this out of, I could see this as a little uh, stylish jacket over a dress that you might wear to a wedding. 9 99 uh, it goes from extra, extra small to extra, extra large, 432927. Next, we've got um, our lovely little top that comes with the extra neck uh, piece, neck scarf. It's called a Mrs. Top. I don't know why it's called that. But again, you've got those four different ways that you can wear it. The scarf is separate, but I like the fact that it's been made in the same colour on this photograph because then it looks like it's all one piece, it looks like it's a cowl. So you've got all of those different uh, designs there. Four different ways you can make it. Extra, extra small to extra, extra large. 9 959 951 Next then, um, we've got the button top or jacket, to be honest. Um, so which one did Adam like? The bottom one? This one here. Ah, he really likes that one. See, I like that one. That one's for me. 999 Item number is 112164. Oh, yeah, two sizes. 10 to 18. Or 20 to 28 and last but not least I think we've got our skirt again you've got different sizes here you can make four different ways um, and it's 9.99 again what were the sizes Ross 6 to 14 and 14 to 22 731 672 is the item number. Do have a look at the website because we've got loads on there. Um, and of course, we've got our happy hours that are going to run out very, very quickly indeed. You've only got about six minutes remaining to get your fabulous happy hours. Um, but they're really lovely fabrics. Um, and they've been really super, super busy. They really have. Oh, yes. And by the way, we've got the portable bobbin winder. Becky was showing me how to use this. And I have to say, it's a lovely little gadget that's going to save you a lot of time which is also what we want. Right, just for the last few minutes, we're going to remind you of our happy hour deals. So this is our T-shirt um, cotton, no, T-shirt jersey, apologies. And is white still in the lead? <clears throat> yeah, let me, let me stop again. So it's cotton T-shirt jersey, that's it. I was getting myself befuddled. You're getting a metre on each colour, and uh, white is still in the lead. Can you say what's the second popular? Second popular... Tied between the turquoise and the royal blue. There you go. 
Uh, but then you can also get a meter of that very bright yellow. That's a nice sunshine yellow, isn't it? I'm liking that. But here you can see that lovely royal blue. Then we go on to the red. Next is orange, or I'm going to call it tangerine. Then there's the cerise. I love that pink. Purple. Emerald, which I adore the emerald as well. And then you've got the black. Um, 11 .99. item number is 958944 and we've just about got time to show you the next jersey but this is a jersey viscose mix lovely so soft I can't help but stroke it no it is though when you get it you're not going to be able to put it down you're really not it's a beautiful fabric and now this time you're getting two meters in total two meters that's a big piece I wonder what you're going to be making with yours. Again, send it in. So you've got your navy, you've got your teal, you've got the charcoal. Next is the white. Then we've got the black. Ivory, there is a difference. It just might not look as much, but it's very subtle. The surf, and last but not least, we've got the red. Which one's in the lead out of this set? Hmm? Tied. Oh no. Oh no, it's the navy. That is the one that's in the lead. Um, really, really lovely fabrics. Okay, you've got a four pound saving. It's just fifteen ninety nine for any of those two meters. What am I wondering to? Oh, okay, we're doing this. So if you want it, seven three one two three five. Why am I walking like this? Here you go. Oh, it's because I'm trying to look in the monitor and see where I'm going. Because we are in our oh. Where did it go? Um, because we are in our Stitch to Impress uh, event. Uh, now, I'm going to hand over to the lovely Janice, um, and we've got more lovely sewing shows coming up for you after this short break. <music> Dressmaking with Sew to Grow is coming up in three minutes' time. After that, we're crafting with clarity, and then we're back with the One Day Britannia Sewing One Day Special. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows. on Friday the 7th of May at 3pm to Saturday the 8th of May at 6pm for a chance to be part of our Stitch to Impress prize draw. Place an order for any item featured within any live soft craft show during this event and you will automatically be entered into the prize draw. Prizes will be added within each live soft craft show so keep watching the shows as the prize grows. Everything could be yours. Good luck! Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you, to be educational, and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration.
A very good morning to you. I hope you're having a lovely morning with us. It's great to have you company. Uh, we've got an event running at the moment. I'm really excited about this. It's called the Stitch to Impress. And uh, I think we're going to impress you right now. When you buy anything in the shows, where you see this logo, we tell you we've got the event running. Anything that you buy in the show, your name will go into a prize draw. Uh, we're not waiting until Monday or next Thursday to draw that prize. We're doing it today in the five o'clock hour. And I'm really excited to tell you that that particular prize fund is over £800. And we are including in this show from from Sew to Grow, these two marvellous patterns. You've got the Bondi Top and you've got the Bondi Top Extension Pack. Um, this is a fabulous deal and it's going directly into that prize fund. You can buy this if you want to, um, but it is going into that prize fund. And you'll also receive, if you win, my goodness, you've got patterns from Simplicity as well. Emporia is in there. You've got search press books. You've got a blouse kit and fabrics. You've got a point presser in there. You've got fabric shears in there. You've got a pin cushion. You've got a sewing box. You've got wadding in there. You've got interfacing. Multi-tools are in there. You've got self-measuring tape. You've got hand cream even in there. A sewing machine worth £249 and a sewing machine bag as well. My word. Isn't that fabulous? And all you have to do is buy something from the show. Uh, it doesn't matter what you buy, your name will be entered <clears throat> into that drawer and then we will be announcing the winner during the five o'clock show. Whew. Right, now, I'm not alone. Well, I'm kind of alone in the studio, but I'm not alone within the show because live, and check this out, live from Australia... And I always go to say Australia, and I don't know why, but I did live in New Zealand for two years, so do excuse me. Live from Australia, we've got our Lindsay. Good evening, Lindsay, to you. <laughs> Hey, Janice. Good to see you again. Yeah, it's really, really good to see you. How is Australia? What is the weather like? What have you been up to today? Well, it's been cooling off a little bit, which I love because I live in Queensland and it's just been hot and muggy. So having the relief from the heat has been wonderful. I can like wear a cardigan finally. Um, and then today we've just spent the house really nothing too exciting but the weather has been oh I'm, I'm so chuffed for you um wearing a cardigan is like a bikini here in the uk that's what we have to wear because we're so cold all the time um it is great to have your company i know we've got a wonderful show lined up um if we haven't seen so to grow before maybe you know we've got new people joining us all the time can you tell us a little bit about yourself and about the company lindsay Yes. Well, I'm originally, you can probably tell by my accent, I'm not originally from Australia. I'm originally from a little small town in East Texas. Uh, but I met this really cute Aussie on the beach one day and we got married and moved to Australia about 10 years ago. But I have loved doing sewing and working in the sewing industry since as long as I could actually work. Uh, so during that time, I taught sewing and would teach young adult classes. And that's when I really found this passion for sharing my love of sewing with other people. And that is what led me to launching Sew to Grow. So Sew to Grow is planting the seeds to grow the future of our craft. And I believe so passionately about giving the gift of sewing to others and helping you build a perfectly fitting handmade wardrobe. So what you'll notice with my brand and my designs is that they're an easy fit that they're not too complicated because I really want to teach you a new skill and help you build that confidence. Because I think the way we wear our clothes and walk through life, you know, it makes your shoulders go back and your head go up. And so I want to build a range that teaches you skills, builds your confidence, and that you can have a handmade wardrobe that's perfectly fitted for your shape. You don't need to fit into clothes. Clothes should fit you. And that's what I'm all about, teaching those skills and building tools and techniques and tutorials to help you on that journey. Oh, I love that. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Now, that leads us very, very uh, conveniently into our self-measuring tape. Now, I do remember the last time we had this on the show, Lindsay, we sold out very, very quickly. 
Can we take a look at this to show everybody at home? We're already busy. 015267 is your item number, £13.99. pence. If you haven't got it in your basket already, just put it in there because I know you're going to love this. Uh, Lindsay, can we have a look at how this works? Of course. So how I was mentioning about teaching workshops and teaching people to sew. Well, before COVID, I used to travel the world teaching my fit to bladder workshops. And everybody would ask me, well, that's great to be able to measure, but how am I supposed to measure myself at home? I don't have a partner to ask to help me. And God forbid I ask my husband, like, that's just too much trouble. So I wanted to come up with something where you could get perfect, accurate measurements you know, not pulling it too tight or too loose, um, and that you can do it yourself at home. So that's the self-measuring tape, and it's just a little device, and you can see it's both in inches and centimeters, so you can choose what size or what metric system or imperial that you do. It goes all the way up to 60 inches, and what you'll notice is that there's a little tab, and that is going to go into this little hole here. So it doesn't start at zero, it actually takes into account the distance here, and this is curved, which is gonna fit the curve of your body, and when you press it, it's gonna go in like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the hole facing up towards us. We're gonna go around our back, make sure it's not twisted, and then we're going to click it into place like this, and then push the button, and let it contour into our body. So you can breathe, relax, and then when you're ready, when it's all straight, and I like to just double check myself, make sure it's straight all the way around, and then you're just gonna grab the edge, pull it out, and have a little check to see what size. And I don't even take it out of the hole. I just wiggle it down to my waist, push it in, don't suck it in, <laughs> and then you add your waist. That's so perfect. It's just, easy it really is easy to do and you're quite right it does contour um, and it's easy once it's on there to take it off and then just simply take that back in we are so so busy I do need to tell you that a third of the stock has already gone we bought a huge stock of this to run throughout the whole event we were featuring this in other shows and on the website but a third of the stock has gone we're busy on the phone lines do bear with us we will get through your calls we're two and a half minutes long the best way to order if you've got access to the internet get online pop this into your basket and check on out have a look at the patterns we've got available for you as well I just think this is an absolute genius idea and this is one of the prizes in the prize draw so whether you are measuring your waist your legs your arms for example this is going to be perfect for you and it's really really easy smooth action as well and it comes in this beautifully packaged box so if you're giving this as a gift to somebody my word what a fabulous gift that is 015267 is your item number very very busy for that 13 pounds and 99 pence i don't know where that came from uh, but i'm just excited i'm just excited whenever i work with lindsay now something else that you're already going for is your six in one fashion multi tool and this is a must have it really is it's a great price 17 pounds and 99 pence but it's a six in one tool so imagine buying six separate tools how much that would be 952001 is your item number. Uh, with this, you can do a whole variety of different uh, patterns and create. And our Lindsay has got this now. Can you talk us around this, Lindsay? Because this is very, very useful, isn't it? Yes, I'm all about creating different tools that are going to help dressmakers. And so when I designed this, I wanted to be able to put everything into one convenient device so that you could then take it to class or just have it with you on hand when you're sewing. So you have your French curve, which is great for your necklines um, and tracing out your design. You have your point turner for poking out, you know, your collars and things like that. You have your seam gauge that you can easily mark your distances. This is also for hemming. So all of these distances are different widths. So you can easily mark your hems. You can mark your buttonholes. You have your bias to be able to do um, and mark your bias. And I even put a convenient little hanging hole oh, right well at the top for it at home. 
I love that. Um, any tool that makes life easier, any tool that gives you a sense of accomplishment, making and creating fantastic designs is a must-have, isn't it? Nearly a quarter of the stock has gone already. A really beautiful um, tool that's put together for you, a six-in-one. 952001 is your item number. Now, the dispatch date for everything is the 25th of May because, of course, it's coming to you from uh, Australia. And I must say, Lindsay, I love the design of the packaging that you have because it reminds me of the vintage style um, patterns that uh, one buys, which, of course, gives you the sense of quality as well. I really like the packaging that you've got. Thank you. I spent a lot of time designing everything. I do all of the design work myself. Every illustration you see, um, all of the packaging, even some of the photography I've done myself. So it is, um, you know, a small business and I work really, really hard to make sure that I'm producing quality things that I know that you guys are going to love. Love that. Um, now, can we have a little demonstration with this? Because we are getting busy and it's nice for people to see how to use it, Lindsay. Yep, I'll get all set up for you. OK, brilliant. Uh, oh, we're now approaching a third of the stock gone. So your point turn, your French curve, your mitre corners, your seam gorge, gauge, gorge, gauge? gauge yeah uh, you mark button so marking buttonholes as well really really important and if you want to put your buttonholes on effortlessly and easily then check out the one day special that we've got available for you we've got a fantastic Britannia sewing machine so use this in conjunction with your Britannia sewing machine and come up with the most delightful designs um, but if you are hand sewing as well you can use this in various different forms nine five two zero zero one is your item number let's see the multi-tool in action with the multi-talented Lindsay. All right, so here is the tool and you can see that all the different edges have their markings on them and they all do different things. So the first thing I want to show you is how you can mark out your design. And when it's somebody like me who's designing, I use a French curve to create all these curves. So what makes sense is that the thing that's used to create the curves is also the things that's used to manipulate them. So that's why your fringe curve is so extremely important when you're designing. So here I have a bodice and I just wanna go ahead and mark out the design, which I've done already. So I have all my little markings. And then literally I take my fashion multi-tool, line up my marks, And then here's my armhole. So you can see that no matter what direction I'm going, everything lines up. Yeah. And then I also have straight edge. Now, the great thing about this is because it's used to, to do all of these curves and lines, it's also what I can use to manipulate them. So let's say I want to bring the neckline up. Maybe that's just a little bit too low for you. So we can go ahead, use our seam gauge to measure up an inch. And I like to go out about a half an inch so that I have a flat edge here. And then you just take your French curve, line it up with your shoulder, and then redraw your neck. So if you have a problem with necklines, you need a French curve to be able to move it up and down. Or let's say your armhole. You can hold it here at your shoulder and move the armhole in, move it up. You can bring it up that little bit. And then bring this up. So there's so much that you can do with it just using this French curve part. Now I'm going to flip the paper over and I'm just using paper because it's easier for you to see um, on the film. But if I was going to do a hem, I, all of these, okay, let's put it on paper. There we go. All of these are different widths. So this is a half an inch, quarter, quarter, three eighths, five eighths. So each one of these is different. So I can easily just put this on the edge of my paper mark slide mark slide mark slide so then i have something to fold for my hems and i have the exact line that i need so no more measuring and marking the other thing i love is that you have your point turner right there so if you have your collar you can just turn that right side out and use the edge of this to poke out your corner. And then my favorite bit 
is that you can then slide it along the edge so that it presses out your seam before you go and go and press this. So I love being able to do this. And you see how nicely it presses out that seam just by using the edge of your multi-tool. And then finally, your buttonholes. So all of these distances are a quarter inch evenly spaced. So if I was on the edge of a shirt, I can make sure that I was five eighths of an inch in, and then I can mark my buttonholes, skip half an inch. So now I have perfectly distanced marking mark buttonholes, the exact distance I need it from the edge of my garment. So I know where my beginning and the end of my buttonhole is, and it's as simple as that. So it just, it does so much, and you just need the one tool. That is an amazing design, it really is, and so useful. And like you say, Lindsay, one tool at hand all the time to go from one job to another, perfectly spacing those buttonholes, adding that French curve to your neckline, the neckline that you want, the neckline that's comfortable for you. Mitering your corners and also having your point turner in there as well. You've got the tool, it's a six in one and it's £17.99 and we are very busy, nearly six, well no, 60% of the stock has gone. It is going very, very, very quickly. Uh, if you want to add this to your basket and you want some of the patterns we've got available on the show or you want the self-measuring tape, you're more than welcome to keep adding to your basket. If your basket comes to £40 or more because you're helping yourself and you're treating yourself, guess what? We'll treat you. We'll We'll divide the cost into two payments, meaning we can divide the cost interest-free for you. Your P&P &P will be on your first payment, but if you're a Freedom member, there's no P&P &P to pay. I know, it's exciting, isn't it? If you want to become a Freedom member, triple eight, triple eight in your basket, £7.97 a month, no P&P &P to spend. So think about how many items you buy from us a day, a week, uh, a month, add that up, and if your Freedom membership is better value for money, go for it. Give yourself a treat. Right, so that's your fashion multi-tool. Let's have a look at the patterns we've got for you on the show. Uh, and we'll start with the Cindy shirt dress. Now, Lindsay, when you get a top that fits you perfectly, you often think to yourself, oh, I wish I had this in a dress because the top fits you perfectly. And to have that extension into a dress, it's a lovely way, like you say, of extending your wardrobe, but with clothes that feel comfortable and bespoke to you. That's that's exactly right. That's why I designed this pattern is because I wanted to be able to give you variations and options. So over here, you can see I have here, I'll bring it into screen so you can see a little bit better. I love that this one has so many options. Let's move her over here. There we go. So I love that she has so many options because you don't have to put the collar. Okay. So many people are afraid of the collar. And the way I do this method, it easily just gets sewn in with the facing. So if you don't want to do a collar, you don't have to, but it is the easiest color method that you will ever do. So I really want this to be a beginner friendly pattern. You don't have to do the pockets. You can also see this looks completely different than the one we were showing earlier. So you can have it where it's up like this with a v-neck or out like that. So it gives it a completely different look. This one's just a simple dress with the cuffs. But then I've also have it just here in a plain linen with the pockets on it. Oh, that's nice. And you can nice. see it has the, but this one, I didn't have enough fabric, but I love the fabric so much. So I eliminated the collar, eliminated the pockets, and I was squeezing this out. So I did a contrast <laughs> for the cut. That is like, fabulous. It certainly is. And you're quite right. When you have that fabric that you love, but you don't have enough to complete that particular outfit, what a great way of doing that by just missing off the collar. The collar, for example, this could be the top that you wear to go to work because you want something that looks a little bit smarter. And sometimes when we're wearing collars and shirts, you know, we feel like we're there to work. I do anyway. Um, and that's a really nice way of having an outfit. But then sometimes you might want to have the same fit because it feels nice around the tummy, feels lovely on the shoulder. Shoulders, the sleeves are just the right fit for you then you can have it without the collar so this could be a dress top and when you have it without the collar that's when you can start to add your scarves your chokers and your necklaces as well so then it turns into something that's quite dressy but the most important thing is you know it feels comfortable it's the fit 
that you want and that's really really important and sometimes you know if you go out buying clothes you see a top and you get and you go why didn't I buy two of those why did I buy it in different colors because that fits me so well and I really like that and we do need to feel comfortable in what we wear being able to take this from a shirt into a dress as well because you've got the information and the pattern here is a fabulous fabulous way to do that you can have that tie around the waist if you want to um, and I'm sure you can adopt and adapt that as well. Turning that round, you can see you've got your different sizes there from extra small all the way to extra large or four extra large. Uh, so you've got your pattern in there and the patterns, I've got one here, I'll just open this up for you so when you get it home you can open this up and you can see here, watch it, I feel like I'm in a tailor's shop, this is brilliant. And then you can, you can feel the quality of the paper as well, even though I've just dropped that on the floor, beg your pardon. Uh, so let's pop that there. I won't open all of these, but I just wanted to show you. You've got all of the detail on there, and that's how you've got all the different sizes as well. So it's self-explanatory. All the information is on there, and you've also got the back chart as well to start creating those fabulous clothes. And of course, this isn't just a, a one-time make. You can carry on making um, as many as you like, as many as you like. And if you make one and your friends like it, make them one as well. You could even give it as a gift, which would be nice if you've got birthdays coming up. So let me just fold that back up for you. There you go. Yours won't be unfolded by me. Yours be a brand new one. Don't worry about that. Uh, so there you go. That's the Cindy shirt and dress, the perfect fit for you, the perfect design for you as well. £16.49. 304518 is your item number. Now I've got an update for you on the multi oh on the multi tool. It's limited stock. I didn't realise it was going that quick. Limited stock. We just had a surge for this. Oh my days. Um, I'm just being told how many of you are going for this. Wow, that's a lot. The call centre are getting through your calls. They're working so hard this morning. Bless them. Uh, 952001 is your item number. And the call centre's right here in the building. They're upstairs. So maybe I'll have to go and buy them some donuts because I know they're working very, very hard. Right. That's if I don't eat them all on the way up. Right. We've got another pattern for you here. Um, again, this is a lovely, lovely addition to your wardrobe. If you're wearing a, uh, a singlet or if you're wearing a T-shirt, for example, and you need that extra warmth or maybe you need something just to look a bit smarter when we go back into those restaurants again or whether we're sitting outside or going around to see a friend or going into work. £16.49, 768400 is your item number. This is your bespoke blazer pattern from sizes extra small to four extra large. Now, this is a lovely design design Lindsay and something that I think if you made in a lightweight fabric you can have with you just folded in your bag if you've got that nice linen style and you can just get out and throw it on in a summer's evening. That's right the, the whole reason I designed this specific blazer is because I wanted to give you something optional, optional that you could making different fabrics and you could wear it different ways so for example i have one here made in a blue velvet so if you make it in something like this you're going to look really sharp really snazzy it's going to hold its shape and be really really classic sort of feel then i also have one in a lightweight lawn oh beautiful. so this is a jacket Danny, but like you said, it's lightweight. You can just chuck it on or chuck it in your bag, and it will just be nice and easy and breezy. Rayon would also work perfectly for this design because there's no zips, there's no closures. It's just a really quick and simple design with a beautiful little inset sleeve. And on the back, I've put these little princess themes that kind of contour to your back and it has a little nice lower hem. And then I also wanted to show you, this one's a bit special. Oh, I'm let's have a look. In a leather with a Liberty on the inside. Wow. Oh, so wow. Exciting. Now think so, about how think much, think about how much Lindsay you'd pay for that. If you were to buy that from a designer store with your Liberty fabric, I think it'd be a little bit I, more than 16 pounds and 50 pence, don't you? That's right. And I've made this jacket so many times and it just, it always looks different in the fabric that I make. And I love wearing it over little dresses because right now we're transitioning into the cold. And I find that that's my go-to jacket as the days are kind of cold, but then it heats up in the middle of the day and then kind of cools down at night. 
I'm always grabbing my bespoke blazer. Oh, and do you know what? It's the same here in the UK in the summer, but it still goes a little bit chilly in the evening. So it's nice to have something to sit outside with. Maybe you've got your T-shirt on, your singlet, or maybe your dress. This will work perfectly with a dress as well. It's not just with trousers. Uh, lots of the youngsters are wearing shorts. I think it'll look great with shorts. It definitely would. Um, going to a wedding, for example, you know, having the photos taken outside, it's nice and breezy. You don't want to be too hot. But then later on, when you're going outside or you're just mooching around, you want that uh, smart. Or even going into the church, you want to look smart, don't you? Uh, a fabulous design. And again, you make it bespoke to you. You've got those lovely darts, those princess seams in the back. So you can um, have those as wide or as narrow as you like, uh, which is a really nice way. Maybe add a little addition to the back, you know, like, um, like a little sash at the back with two buttons each side would look really, really nice as well. Um, because they are customizable, of course they are. You've got your fabric suggestions on there as well, and also the fabric requirements, which is really handy, knowing how much fabric you need before you even set off and start your project. £16.49, and pence, a lovely, gorgeous little jacket to wear. And of course, you can make it as heavyweight and as substantial as you wish. Maybe you work in an office, maybe you're back at work and you want to look smart you know we've been working at home for all this time wearing our pajamas um, and then of course a shirt on top so nobody knows that but now you want to look smart back in the office now you've got a chance to make a couple of these so you'll always look spot on but feel spot that's more important isn't it um when I say it doesn't matter what you look like, you know what it doesn't? It's how you feel. If you've got some clothing on that makes you feel good, your confidence rises, and it's just a lovely way to be. £16.49, 768400 is your item number. We've had a sellout. The multi-tool has technically sold out, which means it's in everyone's basket at the moment. Well done. Gosh, we had a big stock of that. Uh, 952001 is your item number, but I don't know why I'm telling you that because it's gone and sold out. It's like automatic. It's just like automatic. Uh, right, let's move on to the Charlie Ann wrap dress. I do believe we've got one of these in the studio. Um, do you know what I love about this, Lindsay? I love the bo I love, first of all, the fact that you can wrap it round you, so you've got that adjustment in size and comfortability but I really like the bottom of this and the shape and the detail that you've added to it yeah so that's called a tulip hem and I wanted something that's really figure flattering that makes you just feel stunning and gorgeous um, and that kind of high low so you have a little peekaboo of your legs but not a lot showing because it's a little bit lower in the back and they also have that option to be able to do the frilly sort of sleeves. I know so many women, when I teach classes, they're like, oh, Lindsay, make sure you design things that cover our arms because a lot of us love covering our arms. And so I, lo I love to listen to people and what they want. And so this has a beautiful flutter sleeve. Um, and like you said, because it's a wrap dress, it's adjustable. I'm wearing one um, in a top because I think it's just such a great design. I love wearing wrap dresses as tops as well. So you can see that I just cut it off where I wanted it to be, rounded off the little edge here, and that's it. So now at the top, you can make it into a dress. I've also taken the bottom and just made it into a skirt. So you can just use that beautiful tulip pin, add yourself a little bit of a band and tie it, and then you're gonna have a beautiful skirt. And you can also make it sleeveless. So there are just so many options just with one pattern. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. And what's nice about this, we can go to the beach here in the UK again. So we're really excited about that. Many of us are going on staycations. It was announced the other day, certain holiday destinations that we can go to as well. So if you are lucky enough to go somewhere that's warmer in the summer, whether it be the beach or whether it be abroad, something like this, if you've got a swimsuit on, um, just to wrap around you to go and have some lunch or something like that is a really, really good idea. Or maybe walking down to the beach or to the pool so you look nice and smart being able to take those sleeves away is fabulous being able to add them as well because sometimes we just want to cover up the top of our arms you know for various different reasons it's all about how you feel it's all about feeling comfortable and being able to make the clothes yourself means you're going to feel comfortable because you make it bespoke to you really nice little tie around there as well so very very easy to wear love this 382210 is your item number and remember you've got those sizes from extra small to full 
four extra large. So maybe you want to make one for yourself, one for your daughter, for example. Um, you can do one for yourself, one for your mum, if you want to, maybe one for your grandma. Uh, right, we're moving on. We've got another pattern for you now. Uh, and this is, oh, this is beautiful. Fall in love cardigan. And uh, I think we've got a familiar face on the front of the pattern here, Lindsay. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I do it all. <laughs> I'm happy to be the model if, if, if we're short on staff. I think, uh, you know what, you look amazing in this. And I like the look that you've got with the jeans and the white T-shirt and the necklace because all of a sudden you've got something that's casual, but it looks smart. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking when I designed this. Is I wanted something that was a great basic introduction into working with stretch fabric because I know so many people who shy away from working with stretch fabrics because they're a little bit scared. So the whole front page of the pattern is telling you how to set up your machine, how to work with stretch fabrics. And I love that you can change the direction of the stripes so that it creates a completely uh, new and unique look. Um, Actually, it's such a simple design. My grandmother loved it so much. She made one for me, all my cousins, all my aunts. Um, we all have matching cardigans. She made them all in one weekend. She loved it so much. Oh, isn't that lovely? If you want to as well, I guess, Lindsay, you could put a little clip at the top just to keep that together. Maybe a couple down the front. You know, those little eyelet clips um, that just keeps that together if that's something you choose to do. Or you could have it just flowing out to give you that nice what I call wudgy effect, a nice little comfortable wudgy, you know, wudgy, cuddly uh, effect. It is your fault. No one's heard of that saying. I think it's a Leicester thing. Uh, it's probably a Janice thing, yes. Uh, £16 and 49 pence. Let me just turn the pattern around because you can actually put a little tie on the back of this as well, which again will change it. So you can have the tie coming all the way around um, or not. You can leave that off. You can tie it around the back as well. So it just adds that lovely, uh, gentle detail to that. So you really will fall in love with this cardigan. I can't guarantee, Lindsay, that people will fall in love with our customers when they wear it, but let's hope they do. I think they will. I think they will. I think they will. Uh, £16 pounds and 49 pence. You're falling in love with that price, that's for sure. 679 652 is your item number. Again, extra small to four extra large. Lindsay, can you get ready for a demonstration, please? Of course. Yes, I would love to. OK. Right. Whilst Lindsay gets ready, we've got some good news for you. <gasps> We've got it back. We've got the multi-tool back. Oh, I'm really, really chuffed. Um, so uh, because Lindsay has had to order some more of these, it's going to be dispatched on the 1st of June, but at least you're going to get it. Everything else is on the 25th of May. £17.99, 952001. It's a six-in-one one tool system. Uh, so it's going to be perfect for you, for your French curves, your hemming, your buttonhole placements, your seam gorge, your mitering corners, and your point turner as well. It's all there. Um, I'm so happy we've got these back. We're already busy for it. £17.99, 952001. And if you're going for this and this only in the show, you'll be entered into the prize draw. We're going to announce the prize draw in the five o'clock show today and you are in a chance to win over £800 worth of sewing goodies. Look at that. If you're thinking of starting up uh, soft crafts, there it is. There's your craft stall right there. Oh, my days. Uh, you've got a sewing machine in there worth £200. You've got uh, £249 to be exact. You've got a carry case in there as well. You've got sewing books. You've got sewing patterns. You've got interfacing in there. You've got wadding. You've got tools as well. My word. And patterns and books as well. And that wooden tool, do we know that that's really, that's really important, actually? Point presser, that's it. That is amazing. And that's included as well. Uh, £16.40. 49 pence if you want to go for your so to grow fall in love cardigan and that is exactly what we're going to take a look at now live on skype all the way from australia um, over to you lindsay thanks janice so i wanted to walk you through all of my tips for working with stretch fabric because it's not as scary as it seems now my first tip is picking your fabric. And the way I do it is I use my knuckle, I do the knuckle test, and you wanna make sure that your knit has good recovery. So when you stick your finger underneath and you push it up, you can see if there's a little bump in the fabric. So this one has great recovery because you can't see the bump, whereas this one is completely 100% cotton 
And when you push your finger up into the fabric, you can see that it holds its shape. So if you're making the fall in love cardigan and you have your elbows and you're always, you know, flexing your elbows in and out, it will have that little pucker in it. So you want fabric that is four way stretch. So it stretches this way and along the grain. And then you want to make sure that it has good recovery. So that's my first tip. The second one is for you to use the correct needle. So make sure you're using a ballpoint or a stretch needle. The reason is, is because the tip of the needle is actually slightly curved. So it's gonna go on either edge of the fibers rather than actually piercing through them. So it's gonna give you a much nicer stitch. So a ballpoint or a stretch needle. And then you also wanna use a walking foot. So something that's going to help you evenly feed your fabric from the top and the bottom because you don't want your knit fabric to wave and stretch and just store out of proportion. So I always like to put it on a walking foot or an even feed foot on my machine when I'm sewing stretch if I'm not using an overlocker. Now the next thing is making sure you're using the correct stitch. So when working with stretch fabric, you want to make sure you're using a lightning bolt or a small zigzag stitch. Now you'll notice this one I have done with my lightning bolt stitch. Can you see how it moves and flexes oh, when I yes. pull on it? Yeah, we can. So that's what, now here's a straight stitch. Now if I pull that, did you see it pop? It rips, it just completely pops. So if you made yourself a pair of stretch tights or some sort of garment with a straight stitch, all your stitches would just pop when you go to pull them. So make sure you're using a small zigzag or a lightning bolt stitch. I also like to use clips rather than pins because sometimes pins can actually pierce through the fibers um, and create runs. So I tend to use clips when I'm working with knit fabrics. Also, some knit fabrics are quite chunky and can actually bend your needles. So I like to use these little clips. And then my final tips are sometimes knit fabrics can kind of stretch and distort, especially around the neck or in the shoulders. So if you can do use a stay stitch, or this is called stay tape, one side's fusible and the other side has a little bit of a twill, or if you can just get some twill tape and stitch this into your shoulders, it's going to help maintain the integrity of your knit fabrics so that it doesn't droop and stretch and distort out of proportion. And then finally, I also love to use this stuff and it's called um, Heat and Bond Soft Stretch Light. And this is what I use for all of my hems because I find hemming knits to be the most challenging to get correct. So when I'm hemming my knits, I, I just iron that on and then peel it off. So then that's the sticky part. And then when I fold up, and press it again, it stabilizes the edge, but it's stuck. So it's basically like I've already hemmed it and then I could just use a twin needle or just a regular needle and then stitch my hem, but it's already pressed and it's already stabilized. So you're not gonna get any rolls or puckers. So those are my top tips to make sure that you have professional finishes when you're working with stretch fabrics. I love that. And you can see just how easy that is to put together. So the pattern for your fall in love cardigan, you will fall in love with it. Uh, 16 pounds and 49 pence, 679652. And you know something, if you make this and you wear this and somebody does actually fall in love with you for the first time, let us know. We'd love to be part of your love story. Uh, right. Talking of love stories, my word. Your self-measuring tape, we've been extremely busy. This was designed by Lindsay, everyone. This has been designed by Lindsay. Let's just turn that around so you can see there. Designed by Lindsay Marsh. And it is a fantastic, I think, must-have item. The way that you can effortlessly self-measure the parts of your body that you need to start creating your designs is fabulous. 13 pounds and 99 pence. Uh, you've got your tape with centimeters and inches on both sides. So whatever you're measuring in, whether it's inches or metric, you've got the button that just simply takes that back in. And then this is key because you can lock that and then you can just simply take that and pop that into place and it locks it around your arm, around your waist, around your bust area, around your bottom, uh, around your legs. Uh, 
that even around your head if you're measuring um, for hats you could uh, and then all you have to do is simply take that out and once it's out you press the button and that slides back in so measuring that goes to the curvature let me show you so um, I'll take this and I'll measure uh, myself so let's take that around there really easy don't need anyone else I can simply pop that into place which is great I can pull that press the button I'll just pop that there there you go let's show you that again so just take that pop that in there and you can see uh, you're like oh well hang on a minute we just simply where am I let me do that uh, press the button under there are you ready for this oh sorry no start again get it in there build take that round pop that in there and when it's in there you just simply pull that push that button and then it stays in place and that curvature don't look at my measurement don't suck in everybody let it relax oh bit of a bit bit of a bulge there uh, and you can see uh, my measurement 29 not too bad that's quite high I'm probably not measuring that correctly and I've got a jumper on as well um, and then you take that out pull that around press the button and in it goes that's how easy it is uh, to measure yourself which is brilliant isn't it um, because you're making clothes for yourself and sometimes you just want to have that privacy to measure certain areas or just measure yourself in that way very, very easy to use, but we're over half of the stock gone. £13.99. pence. We bought a huge stock of this as well because we wanted to feature it on all the shows. Get in there before anyone else. Great gift for somebody as well. Fabulous gift for yourself. 015267 is your item number if you want to go for your self-measuring tape. Great price. Right, Lindsay is with us live on Skype from Australia. We're heading back to Lindsay now for a demonstration. What are we going to have a look at now, Lindsay? Well, I would love to show you how easy it is to put on bias binding because if you're going to make the trolley and wrap dress, it has quite a lot of bias binding going around the entire edge. And I want to show you just how easy it is to attach and to join it together. So when I'm doing bias binding, you can make your own, but I cheat and I love buying pre-made bias binding because, you know, sometimes I just don't have quite enough time to do everything I'd like. So this is a great cheater method. And, you know, I'm here to tell you it's okay if you can cut some corners but still have a great finish. So this is a two-inch strip that I've then pressed into half. Um, and you can obviously join your pieces together. So you just put them one side facing up, the other side facing down and then sew them on the bias to create one continuous bias strip. So you're gonna need about three to four meters, uh, well, let's say about three meters to go around the entire um, Charlie Ann wrap dress. So once you have that all ironed and cut, then we are going to take a look. This is, this is a little faux neckline, just so you can see how it's going to come together okay. um, in the small screen. So, First step is put a pin in the center, and I like to go about an inch to my right and put a green little pin, and then an inch to the red or to the left to do a red pin. So green means go, and red means stop. So this is how I teach when I'm doing a workshop. And then what you're going to do is you are going to lay your bias here at the red, but then start pinning here at the green because we want to leave a gap between here so that we can join it when we come back together. So we're just going to pin all the way around our neck back to our red and we'll start sewing at the green and then stop sewing at the red. So that's your step number one. I'm gonna flip this around so you can see step number two. So you'll see that I've already sewn this on all the way around and here I have my gap and here is my center pin. So what I'll do is I'm going to lay the bias over my center pin, open it up, take a water soluble or a chalk marking utensil. So here I have nice pink chalk and I'm going to mark my center line. Then I'm going to do the same on this side, lay it over center, mark my line. One, you could also even fold them like this and go to your iron and give it a little press so that you had a line. So either way, you're just trying to find where that center line is. And then you're gonna take, match those lines together. Make sure they're matching on both sides. And then we're gonna sew on this line. So that moves us on to step number three. So you can see here, 
I've sewn on my line and then I will just take some scissors and trim my seam allowance. And what I like to do is just give it a nice finger press open. So I just get in here with my nails and kind of push, 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 push. And then you're going to finish stitching from here to here. So we're gonna close up that gap. And then once you've done that, this is the biggest tip for bias. We're gonna roll over with our fingers and press over. And I don't like to use an iron. I like to just use my fingers and roll and roll until I can see the outside towards the inside. So you can just see a little bit of the tip and then put the pin along the edge. So again, I'll show you roll, roll, and then you take a pin and put it on the edge. So once you've done that, I like to use an edge stitching foot. So an edge stitching foot has a little guide and I'm gonna sew really close to this inside folded edge. And then once you're done, this is what it looks like. So nice and neat, really super simple. The way you join it, you could even, before you sewed it down, you could even pop yourself a little sewing label Aww. in there as you stitch by. It'd be so cute. Like any of these would just be so cute to just stitch in there. And then you're just gonna stitch all of this down and that's how you do your bias binding. On most of my patterns, this is the technique and especially for the Charlie Ann wrap dress, it's so simple. Love that. And again, it just goes to show how easy it is. So you're not going to be stressed making your own clothes and you get excited, don't you? You've got something new to wear. You love it. Do you know what? I want to make another one. I found some fabric you can do because you've got the pattern to build and create. £16.49, 382210 is your item number for the Charlie Ann wrap dress pattern. Sizes from extra small to four extra large. Just turn that around so you can see that information there for you on the back and you've got the measurements there for the extra small so your extra small uh, there we go we get a closer so I can read that for you your extra small just to give you an idea from the bust 33 to 34 inches your waist 25 to 27 and your hips 35 to 36 moving along if you're a medium 37 to 38 inches in the bust waist 31 to 33 hips 39 to 40 then moving along if you are uh, a extra large 41 to 42 36 to 38 or 43 to 44 going all the way to four extra large 47 48 in your bust size 33 to 44 these are inches your centimeters are underneath in brackets and then your hips 49 to 50 so you've got all of the different sizes that you can make so you feel comfortable wearing the design of dress you know that when it's made as well all the right elements are in the right place for you to feel comfortable uh, now we've had a question in Lindsay and it comes to us from Claire thank you for emailing in Claire she says, loving the program, Lindsay has inspired her to get dressmaking again, which is lovely. But she's got a question for you, Lindsay. If she wanted to yes. change the neckline from a round neckline to a V neckline, how would she do that? And that's on any of the it's, patterns, I think. Yeah, it's extremely simple. You just want to mark where you want your V neck to stop. And then I like to use my French curve and then just do a slight curve. So I don't do it two angles. I like to do just a slight curve down to where I want that V-neck to be so that it has a nice angle. I always suggest making a mock-up and testing what you'd like um, before you actually cut into your nice fabric. Because once you use it, you lose it and you'll chuck it into the you know, into the naughty pile and you'll never wear it. So make sure that you make yourself a mock-up, draw, test it out, make sure it hits where you want it to hit, use your fashion multi-tool or a French curve to go ahead and mark that V-neck. And then the biggest thing is doing a bias binding on that V-neck, but using your miter corner so that you get a perfect V-neck when you stitch down at the bottom. 
Oh, thank you for that. I know the naughty pile too well. I was thrown on it several times as a child, and I still am. Uh, right, this would be a good addition, actually, to your crafty stash to help you develop those lovely necklines. 952001, that's the item number for your six-in-one tool. We sold out once. It's back on extended dispatch. The 1st of June, that'll be sent out to you. Everything else is dispatched on the 25th of May because it's coming to us from uh, Australia. £17.99. Thank you very much for your question, Christine. If you, oh, sorry, it was Claire, not Christine. Beg your pardon. Um, <laughs> um, but if you want to send in a message, you've still got time towards the end of the show. We're ending this show at 11, but we are carrying on. Um, the email address is studio at the craftstore.com. Um, I do want to remind you of the self measuring tape. This is so busy. And this has been designed by Lindsay. I think this is absolute genius. I really, really do. Now, if you are making and creating, you're on your own, you don't have anyone to help you hold that measuring tape, this is going to be perfect for you. If you want to measure on the go and you want to do it in the privacy of your own home or in an area you don't want anyone else to see, um, then this is going to help you as well. It's a great design. Okay, so you've got the button on the back that allows you to pull that out. You can lock it in place just by pulling it like so and you've got centimeters on one side you've got inches on the other now this is the key because that can pull round and then you can quite easily if I just twist that round there pop that in there like so and that locks it into place whether you're measuring your hips your bust you could be measuring your head or your leg or your arms and then you can just press the button and draw that in so it gets a little bit tighter and it curves to your body so let me show you that again so I'll take this if I wanted to measure uh, my waist area uh, let's take that round here so it's easy to do them on my own it's fine it's fine we'll pull that out um, I'll pop that into place and I'll pull that just press the button and it pulls it into place so now that goes to the curvature of um, me and I can see what the measurement is, which is perfect. And then it's really easy just to take out. I can press the button and that comes back into place. And if I want to keep it in the box, I can do. Uh, beautifully designed. And so many of you are going for that. £13.99, 015267 is your item number. But nearly two thirds of the stock has gone. It's a huge stock as well because we wanted to include it on other shows as well. So I'm glad you've joined us in this hour. Do we have another hour with So To Grow today? No, we don't. So um, I keep saying so a lot. It's a sewing show. Get it in your basket. £13.99. Right, let's head back to Lindsay, live in Australia on Skype. Uh, we've got about three minutes, Lindsay. What can we have a look at? Uh, oh, I'll talk really fast then. I just launched new garment labels, and I know that there are a little add-on that you can have. So we have Fabric Nerd, Kiss My Sass, Sparks Joy, and I just think that this is a great finishing touch because we're not making a size we're making a U size. So the back of the label should be something that inspires you and gets you excited because you just made an awesome garment. So I just wanted to show you how I put these in. Um, I just use a little bit of a glue, like um, glue stick that washes out with the fabric. And I just put that in before I do my facing or anything like that. And so I can position my little label wherever I want so that when I do go to put my facings together and sew it, that they won't move or shift on me. And I also like to put a little clip or a pin and just double check that I'm not going to run into any of the design. But all of the designs are far enough down that even if you did a 5 8 inch seam, that you're not going to run into your cute design. This one says, I rock this frock. Oh, so I love that. Yeah, and this one is sewing seams and chasing dreams oh. crafty and a bit smart assy and then this one is be beautiful so lots of different things so that you can really showcase who you are and what you're about in your clothing love those and you will be offered those labels when you go do, when you go do when you go and check out your basket <laughs> um can i ask you lindsay if i wanted to make and sell with any of your patterns or indeed add any of your labels what's the angel policy on that that's such a great question because i recently had this come up on instagram and i am more than happy because I'm all about empowering women to build businesses and do things on their own. So if you want to take one of my patterns like the Bondi top and make it to sell at markets in small quantities, I am all about it. Just make sure that you 
call it the Bondi Top. Don't change its name. And if you tag, like if you post on social media, just make sure you tag and credit me as the designer. Um, don't take the credit for yourself. <laughs> and be like, I it. Oh, um, oh thank, thank you, Lindsay. That's lovely. I tell you what, we've got about a minute left of the show. Can we have a look at the self-measuring tape? Because you designed this, didn't you? Well, this was actually inspired by something that's already in the fitness industry. And um, so I wanted to bring something similar to the sewing industry. I thought, that's not fair that they get perfectly accurate measurements and all they're doing is like lifting weights. We need to be able to measure ourselves perfectly for the clothes that we make. So I wanted to bring this to the sewing industry so that we have something for ourselves. Um, and I just wanted to show you, I love doing arms because if you try to measure your arm yourself and put a measuring tape around your arm, you could not do it. But this, you just slide it on, push the button, boom. Perfect. Done. Love it, love it. So yeah, you can just pinch that. And when you're making the bespoke blazer, you can make sure that the arms are gonna fit before you make it. So you can always check your bicep measurement and then just compare that to the pattern and make sure, I always like to say, make sure you can pinch an inch underneath um, and that makes sure that you're gonna have enough room through your jacket to move and feel free and easy. Uh, I'm just measuring uh, my bicep that's flexed. I'm at uh, 11 inches. Nice. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> so easy to use as well. And it's really handy to be able, like you say, Lindsay, to have that privacy of measuring and also measuring on the go. If you're out shopping, for example, and you need to find a size that fits you, if you're buying something rather than making it, this is a really handy tool to take with you. £13.99, 015267. Uh, Lindsay, we're coming up to the final seconds of the show. Thank you so much once again for joining us here in the UK. Thank you so much for having me, Janice. It was a pleasure to be back. I always love being on the show and talking to you and talking to everyone in the UK. It's such a great honor that you asked me to be on here. Oh, well, hopefully we'll see you again very, very soon. Enjoy your evening and the rest of your evening over there in Australia. And we'll talk to you very, very soon, Lindsay. Thank you very much. I will. Thank you. Good night. Bye, everyone. Oh, good night. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Isn't it fantastic? We have guests from all over the world. It's fantastic. We've got your company as well. Uh, do check out your baskets and we'll see you guys in a few moments time. Right, Crafting with Clarity is coming up next. It looks really interesting, everyone. Uh, Britannia sewing machine one day special. That's an absolute bargain. And then we're dressmaking with the avid seamstress. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection, and this was down to Josie, hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. You'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce 
and it's all very much mixed media so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows with Stamps Away. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs. We've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. Still good morning. I have to think about it. I have to think about it. It's 11 o'clock and we have got a fabulous collection for you on the show. Of course, we're talking groovy. Now, we're going to join Paul just in one moment, live via Skype. But want, uh, what I wanted to tell you was we have got a complete collection of the ultimate groovy mini starter kit, which is really, really cool. But there's savings across the board that I just wanted to make you aware of. And then we'll go through it in a little bit more detail. So we're going to start off over here here with our groovy mini starter kit. I absolutely adore this. We'll go through what you get. Obviously, you've got your plate mate. You've got the black um, pad, I should say. Um, you've also got your four groovy plates. You've got some parchment. You've got your embossing tools. Now, on that, you have got an £11 saving. So please remember that. Whoop. So we're going to take that and carry it over to the complete collection. Then, Moving along, we have got, we'll just come to it in a second, we've got the Room with a View. Again, they're the lovely mini plates. I adore these. They're such beautiful, beautiful plates, aren't they? So they're ten and a half by ten and a half. And again, we'll have a look at these in a little bit more detail. But I <clears throat> just wanted to say you've got another £5 saving, whoop, which we're going to carry over. So, so far, we've got £16 saving rolling over. Then, moving along, we've got Man's Best Friend. I love this. There's so much that you can do with all of these groovy plates. Again, we've got a further £5 saving, which we're going to take with us. So that is what we're now up to. We're now up to £21 that is rolling across. And then finally... We are breaking it down into our fabulous perforating kit. Um, details just coming onto screen and another £6 saving is carrying over. So if you add all of those savings carrying over, that's £27 in total. Then, for the complete collection, which is everything I've just shown you, we're going to give you a further £27 saving. So, yes, that is two lots of £20 savings that you are getting. That is absolutely incredible. Um, so, please bear that in mind. It's only £52.17 for all of this and just two payments of £26.09 for all of this. This is a steal of a deal. Gosh, I think we've got to go through to Paul live via Skype. Right, Paul, how are you for a starters? Good morning, Alex. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I feel like it's been ages since I've seen you. It has indeed. Um, and what a way to come back and meet up again yes. with a fantastic offer like this. I don't know. I genuinely don't know how you are doing it, but we're very, very grateful. So, I mean, two lots of £27 savings. Uh, so it's only £52.17 and pence, and it's on FlexiBuy. For everything that we see here is just phenomenal. Um, so, Paul, I just wondered if you wanted to take us through what we've got, basically, so we can have a lovely look in yeah. more detail. Absolutely, Alex. So, if, do we want to go to the counter and I can talk it through? Yeah, that um, would be marvellous. That, that might be easier because I've got mine all spread out all over the place. So, when we look at the mini starter kit, yeah, when a lot of people will be familiar with the larger starter kit, which holds uh, larger plates, but sometimes you, you want to sort of have like a taster. You want to give something could go before investing a lot of money. So this is where the mini starter kit came into play. So it's half the size of the original starter kit. Yeah. You've got the same plates, including we've recently added in the beautiful butterfly plate. So you've got everything in there. If you just wanted to go with that starter kit with the £11 saving, that's it. You're good to go. Yeah. You've got beautiful designs in there. You've got your parchment, your tumble dry sheet. You've got your inspiration guide. The plate mate, which houses those little A6 square plates, which we'll explain about 
what is a plate mate and why do we need it? Yeah. So th that's the key to the whole thing. And then I thought, since sort of lockdown, a lot more people have been getting involved in Groovy or they've shown an interest, but they're still not sure. They're still on that fence. So I thought what we would do is we'd put this, these other plates in with it as well because it's sort of more generic as well. So we've got the beautiful Room of a View collection. Yeah, Now, just coming these on were to designed that. by um, the lovely Mel Turner. And it's, they're panoramic. So it's all about being in the countryside. And they all tessellate together. And what I mean by that is that the scene continues. Yeah. So you can take them as individual or you can build your scene up to have one really nice long display. And as you know, Alex, with the groovy system, you have that option of picking and choosing the elements from it. Definitely. So when we look at these plates, you'll see it's as if you're looking out of a window, so mm -hmm. you're going past on a train or, or you're looking out of your bedroom window and that's what you can see in the distance. Yeah. But again, you can take those little panels as well. Mm -hmm. Then the other collection we've put together, Man's Best Friend. Yes. Um, sort of a bit <laughs> stereotypical, but you've got beautiful sort of walking the dogs, people meeting up outside, um, sharing the dog. The houses, you can use the houses and the shops just on their own. I mean, look at that. I mean, as you know, Alex, with the groovy system, Barb's always described it as being on like a bus journey. Yes, I love that. When we look at, when we look at these samples here and you think, oh, there's no way I can do that. The whole principle of the groovy system is just being able to trace out a design simply but effectively mm -hmm. and quite quickly. And then you decide whether that's it, I can stop there. Because that's what that the groovy system gives you, that instant artwork. Then in addition to that, if you want to go for where you go for the ultimate collection, Indeed. we've put together We've put together the little A5 black super foam, which is 10 mil deep. Okay. We've got the Pergamano one needle bowl tool. And then you've got the two little mini grids, the straight and diagonal. And we'll have a look at why we call what, the purpose of those, because there's thousands and thousands of drilled holes in those. And you can emboss them, you can perforate them. So it's good for adding patterns mm -hmm. and backgrounds as well. Marvellous. So again, I just for all of this that you've just gone through, I cannot believe the price. I mean, if you think about it, you're saving more than you're spending, which is just f amazing. So if you carry over all of those savings, this £27 from all of the bundles, plus that further £27, then you've got it on Flexibuy. It's just phenomenal value. Um, would you like me to show some samples, Paul? What do you reckon? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, perfect. Okie doke. Well, we're having a look here. I mean, like you said, the possibilities are endless. And of course, you can also add in some some of the designer parchment papers and really take it to town, can't you, Paul? Absolutely. And what's great about the groovy system is that if it's a new craft and you're thinking, oh, where do I get started, etc., etc., you can do something start off small you don't have to fill a whole sheet of a5 parchment yep. start off small get the confidence and then as that confidence grows you want to learn i mean look at that that little petite size it's one cute, that's just it? using one of the trees from the starter kit on some beautiful designer paper there there's no anyone at home can do that if they're thinking oh you can Absolutely. it really is Beautiful. So like you were saying though, Paul, what's great about this kit is it really is good for those people who maybe have been sat on the fence for a little bit, but it's like this then makes it achievable and, may I say, portable. Absolutely. Because also on the counter, Alex, we've got our little A5 mini um, lightweight panel. We do indeed. And as, and as part of that bundle, you've got the A5 light wave panel. Okay. You've got the white super foam A5. And then you've got like a, a carry case for it all. So what I tend to do is when I'm traveling is I'll have my light wave in there. Mm -hmm. I'll put my super foam and then I put my little mini starter kit in there because it will all go in that case that comes with the light wave panel. Uh, amazing. So look, we'll just show this lovely little light wave panel. There it is. Isn't it? So I have to say, I'm, I'm, I've got a penchant for all things Diddy. And this is so sweet as well as being very useful. 
Absolutely, because again, I mean, if you are going somewhere, I mean, we've, we have the larger A4 panel available on the website, but sometimes you just want to work in a small area, or you, you're, maybe you're going, um, you're going out for the day somewhere, and you know you've got to get on a train, and you want to go portable. So this comes with a, a micro USB cable. Okay. There's no plug attached to it, um, but, but it's just a normal USB plug that you, I mean, if you've got some of these modern um, phones, yeah. it has like a USB plug, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, if you've got the previous Lightwave panel, then that plug will work for that perfectly as well. Excellent. So do you know what I'm thinking, Paul? When I look at the price here, it's as if thinking, well, you know all those, 20, that, those savings that add up to £27 that you've saved, you could put towards the light panel. Or another way of uh, thinking about it is if you're going for the ultimate collection on FlexiBuy, it opens up the FlexiBuy basket, so your light panel is only going to be half the price today for your first instalment at £13.50. So in my mind, it's win-win-win, both in terms of your spending and also in terms of your enjoyment. Absolutely, because I mean, once you you give Groovy a go, as you know, Alex, it is so addictive yes. and so enjoy, enjoyable, <laughs> and it is all downhill from there. Because <laughs> once you get that addiction, you think, oh, I need this, I need that. Yeah. But you don't need to to start off with. We've given you everything in that complete bundle that will last you for for months. Uh, for a long time, yeah. but I know from experience that you'll get this home, you'll get it out of the box, you'll have a go, you'll see how easy it is, and then you won't put it down. Amazing. So we're just going to have one more look at everything that you're getting, which is just phenomenal. You've got the perforating tools, you've got the d man's best friend, I nearly said dog's best friend then, that's the man. Um, and then you've got um, the room with a view and of course the mini starter plate. Again, I can't stress enough what um, an amazing hobby this is, but an amazing value at just £52.17. pence. And of course you can spread the cost. So your first instalment today, just £26, there it is, and nine pence, you'll get everything you are seeing here it is great value 362 362737 is your item number as always you can call us 01733602000 or go to our website thecraftstore.com right then paul are you happy for me to hand over to you absolutely thank you very much alex okay so let's have a look I, what i've done i've got a couple of little pieces here that i've just traced out on the clear parchment and you can see how effective, I mean, it's Diddy. I mean, if you look at the size of my hand, I mean, it, it's Diddy. Yeah. And it's, it's a nice way to start off with. But with the groovy system, as I say, you can break it down. So you've got that gorgeous little butterfly that you can do something with. You've got the, the reef that you can use separately. Yeah. Or if you pop that over the top, you can see exactly how that works. One of the great things about having the perforating grids in there as well. It would allow you to sort of build patterns and borders as well. So it gives you, again, it's that another sort of level of sort of just adjusting and taking, I've just noticed I haven't cut that one out there. <laughs> um, but again, it gives you that confidence to be able to do different things. So let me show you how it works. If you're tuning in for the first time and you're thinking, what's Groovy all about? Okay, so we spoke about the little plate mates, didn't we, Alex? If I go that way, there we go, we can see that. So the plate mate, what that does is it houses all of the little plates, okay? And it gives you that larger area in which to work. Because if you take a piece of parchment and you sort of try and, you've got to attach it, and then it's, you're gonna crease it and it's not very friendly. Whereas if you have the plate mate, what you do is you attach your parchment to it and then it's nice and secure. Perfect. So in addition to that, obviously you've got, I say in addition, you've got your uppercase alphabet, you've got your lowercase alphabet. These are fantastic for learning when we come to do the writing because when we're working with parchment, we're working on the reverse, so we have to spell backwards. So the little letter boxes are great for working out your spacing and your positioning of your words as well. So let's give this a go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show the, the little light panel just to show the difference. I mean, you don't need it. It's not essential. But once you have it, it it's great. And you'll see that if I take my plate 
it fits on there perfectly. Okay, so if I take, I'm just going to plug in a cable. So I've already got one rather than sort of stretch on the floor. So if I take my little connection, um, we'll pop that in, make sure it goes in the right way. Put my glasses on. There we go. So you've got three different levels of brightness. If I come in on this camera, you might be able to see that a little bit better. So you go one, two, and three. Okay, so it can really help as well, sort of illuminate, especially if you're using um, some of the designer or the darker colored parchments as well. So what I've done, I've taken a piece of designer parchment just to show the effect that, so if you think, oh, I like it, but I'm not into coloring in. Uh -huh. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, again, you don't need it for this particular designer parchment, but I'm gonna keep it nice and easy. And all we're going to do, I'm going to take some groovy tabs that comes in the accessory kits. I mean, you can use low tack tape if you have that as well. Um, but the, so groovy, the gonna... groovy tabs are brilliant because they don't leave a residue either, do they? That's right. So again, it doesn't leave any residue. They're repositionable so you can use them again. And oops, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. So you can use them again and again. Then what we're going to do, we're going to take our tumble dry sheet that comes in with the mini starter kit and we wipe over. And what that does is it allows the tool to glide more easily over the parchment because with the, the groovy plates, they're laser etched. And what that means is that when I take that tool and I push in, it stretches the parchment. Right. Okay, and by stretching the parchment, what it's doing, when I turn this over, we're going to get a really nice, crisp white line. Lovely. Okay. Yeah. So, and if you jump out of the grooves, nothing's going to happen. Thank goodness, because there's nothing worse than ruining your work, is there? Absolutely. And that was one of the things when I tried parchment craft traditionally many years ago, was it was a skill that you had to learn to get the right pressure yep. to be able to to get the beautiful embossed white line. Yeah. So now if I bring in my little black mat and we'll turn this over and because it's attached to my plate mate, if I lift this up, I can turn it over. Oh. And we can see we've got that beautiful crisp white line. It's so now, white, as you can see. It is. It's magical. It really is. Yeah. And what I love about the groovy system is that I haven't traced out any of the middle of the butterfly. So this is where you have options. If you want to add the detail that's on the plate, you can. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to if you don't want to. Now, if I'd missed a bit, by having it attached to the plate, mate, what it means is that if I bring the light panel back into play, I can pop it back over the top. It's slotted back into place exactly where it should be, and I can carry on again. Excellent. So, so again, if I I've, when I've, I put the pressure on to trace out, if it wasn't crisp enough, I'd missed a bit because I hadn't put enough pressure on. Yeah. Then really, I would be able to go in and just complete the design. Look and look okay. how quickly you can complete it, which I love because I'm it... I'm quite an impatient crafter. <laughs> Absolutely, I am as well. And we're not saying that it's a race, you no. go at, at 90 miles an hour. I mean, when I first started, I, I went a lot slower than this. But as you can imagine now, Alex, I've been doing it for many, many years. Yeah. And it's, it gives you that confidence. Um, and you can get, create a card quite quickly mm -hmm. using the groovy system. See, and then we'll just trace out... So really, I just wanted to just showcase just how you can do it, especially with that little butterfly plate yeah. that's in the in the big bundle or in the mini starter kit. Yeah, I, it's a beautiful yeah. image actually as well. There we go. So, and it's one of our oldest designs. It Is was, it? It was, yeah, and it, it's still so popular. Yeah. There it is. So beautiful. There we go. Yep. So did you want to have a quick recap on what I'll do? I'll get ready for the next demo and show um, so we'll go through some other tips and tricks and different techniques. Sounds wonderful. Thank you, Paul. And um, so that's Paul live via Skype there. We'll be back with him in a moment.
Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through everything again individually and build up to the ultimate mini collection. Uh, but again, if you're just joining us, I just want you to know how much you are saving because of all the um, savings that they're carrying over. They're incredible. It's, it's one of the, for me personally, it's one of the best deals I've seen with um, our lovely groovy system. Right, so here we go. We start with the mini starter kit and... Um, as Paul was saying, you know, this is everything you need in here to get you started if you just wanted to go for this. So you've got your four little mini groovy plates, which are fabulous. You're also getting the plate mate with the black mat. You've got an inspiration sheet. You've got some parchment, uh, 20 sheets of parchment, in fact. Uh, and you're getting the two ball tools that have a different size ball if you will uh, each side you know what I mean um, and then you're also getting the tumble dryer sheet which obviously makes it nice and easy for you to um, glide over the parchment lovely so that has if you were going for that an 11 pound saving so you might just want to stop there but 11 pound saving we're going to carry over then we go to that beautiful room with a view I love that now this has been really busy individually so you may have missed out on this uh, and on a previous show so we've got this now a third of the stock individually um, has gone but you've got those beautiful scenes and you can mix and match so you can take one house from one plate add a fence from another plate I think look add that car from that plate so the possibilities of how many different designs are endless we've got a lovely little design of this one let's take a little look oh isn't that so pretty look at that and that's extended Look how cool that is. And that's what you've got. They've got tessellation, tessellation properties to them, I'm going to call it. So with your room with a view, £14.96, and it has a £5 saving, which now carries over. So we're now up to £16 savings with those carrying over. Right, then we go man's best friend. Um, and I love this. Again, you can extend these. You can make a whole town if you're wanting to. Um, they're such beautiful creations. They really are. Look at that. Oh, and the pico cutting here is absolutely exquisite, isn't it? But like Paul says, you know, it can be where you want to get off on the bus. You, you can just trace out the lines. You can then add some perforation or then you can start pico cutting. It's totally up to you. Again, you've got a further five pound saving that we're going to take and carry over. Um, so what are we up to now? £21, aren't we, saving? And then last but not least, we have got the perforating essentials tool. So obviously you get your perforating tool, you've got your two lovely plates, and you've got your mat, which is perfect for perforating onto. Lovely. Um, so you've got the diagonal and the straight, I believe, there. Lovely. Uh, so if you want to go for that, it's £19.42, but you've got that £6 saving, which again carries over. So you've got 6, 5, 5 and 11 on your savings. That's £27 that carries over to the, com the ultimate complete collection. And then on top of that, you get a further £27. So you do the maths. Even better, we have spread the cost on FlexiBuy. I mean, what an amazing deal. Your first instalment for £26.09 and, and you're getting everything that I've just gone through. That is crackers. And then, oh, okay, we are 20, I'm not surprised, 20% of the ultimate collection gone in just 20 minutes. So I really think you can see the value, but of course the joy, the joy of what you're going to be able to create. So again, let's pick up some beautiful samples. Now I must name check. Um, so this is by Tina. Uh, lovely Tina Cox. It's got that little bit of sparkle on there. But just look at this. And and this wouldn't take, like, like Paul says, though, it's not a race or anything. But um, if you did want to create a card, you know, in a, de a small amount of time, then this would be great. I mean, look at this one. Isn't that stunning with the sunset? So again, just so simple, but so effective. Oh, look at this. A note card. Oh, who is that by? Sorry, that was by Glynis. Um, we've got a lovely little post-it note holder. Oh, I just think that's absolutely glorious. What a wonderful personalized gift this is. This one is by Glynis. Now, you know, we're saying how they can carry on. You can carry them on. Those lovely room with a view plates and of course, the man's best friend. Um, this one is by Josie, and we've got a whole scene happening here, which is beautiful. Uh, this one is taking the, the man's best friend. This one is by Carol. So we're adding a bit of pico cutting here, which is beautiful. 
Uh, also colouring the dog. I like the way she's coloured the dog because if you look closely, it really, really looks like, like fur. You see, she's done a beautiful job there. That's really nice. And then this one is also by Glynis. Oh, sorry, I winged that in there. We were on a close-up. Um, again, you can see all that beautiful pico cutting, but look how you can extend all of these pieces. And then last but not least, this is phenomenal. This one's by Glynis. And wait, wait, wait. It opens up. How cool is this? Ah, oh, we're sharing the cats with the dogs, I think. There you go. All right, so remember, 2 times 27 are your savings that you are taking off. That is just crazy. Um, so when you think about it like that, you're saving more than you're spending. And you can spread the cost on Flexibuy. So just for £26.09 today for your first instalment, we will ship this out to you. You don't have to wait until you've paid your second instalment. 362737. Now, we are busy. Now, that lovely mini light wave as well. So this is 26.99. So one of your £27 savings, you could put it towards this or... Or, if you think about it another way, if you're going for the ultimate collection and you've opened your flexi basket, then this will be spread as well. So today, your price will be £13.50. So again, I mean, you've got £8 off here as well, which is crackers. Uh, 790771 is the item number. Um, right then, uh, Paul, are you happy for me to come back to you? Absolutely. Thanks, Alex. I, when I was working on the pricing, when we put the shows together, the saving of that £27, and then I didn't realise that I, it, the light panel was £27. Yeah. So really, as you say, you're saving it there. So if, if your budget allows, then it makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And especially with the opening up the flexi basket. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, I mean, you've obviously got to pay in two instalments. Yes. But for £26 for that big bundle to get that home and get going, yeah. it's really, yeah. It's fantastic. I, I think you were having a mad moment when you planned it, Paul. <laughs> yeah, don't tell Barbara. <laughs> okay, I won't. Nobody tell Barbara. Nobody tell Barbara. Um, right, where would you like to uh, carry on from then, Paul? Okay, so what we're going to look at, this sample here, the lovely Karen Jackson did, and you can see how you can really break down the design. So Karen's used one of the, the plates as the main focal point, and then it's sort of like a, a sampler of all the, the sort of the dogs walking around the outside. Yeah. So it just shows the different things that you can do with it. I like that. And you get confident. It's really clever, isn't it? Yeah. And then we've got this one here. This is the one we're going to look at. I absolutely love the Room with a View collection mm. because it's sort of, you could be on a train journey looking out the window. You could be in your bedroom window looking out into the distance. You've got the sunrise or the sunset. Just magical. It sort of takes you away. And you see this little pattern in the background. Yeah. That's created using those, um, the grids, okay. the straight and the diagonal grids that we've got available separately or as part of that bundle. So we're going to do all little bits and pieces just to show you what you can do if you choose to. Fab. Sounds good. So where do we start? What I've done first, I've taken our Pico dies. We've got the circle Pico dies on the show uh, that comes with a groovy plate. Now, you don't have to do this. You could just use it on a normal... Um, square of parchment or an A5 or an A6 piece. But what I've done is I've die cut and it gives me the effect of pico cutting around the edge. Now, the coordinating plate, when you position that on top, it allows you to put that double edge that gives it more of a... If you was doing pico cutting traditionally, you would have a, a solid line that you would perforate up against. Okay. So it gives you that instantly. So now I'm going to bring in my little, I love this little mini one. It's, it's cute. Just absolutely perfect. And then what we're going to do, we're going to position, you could take, what we're doing here, you can do with any of the plates, with the room of a view or the man's best friend. It's the same principle. Yeah. It's just a different design. So then I'm going to take my circle that I've cut out and I'm just going to have a look. I'm just going to sort of position it by eye. It doesn't need to be perfect but you can see there where we're just lining that up okay yeah so i'm going to hold it down with my groovy tabs now in the accessories kit you get the groovy tabs you get some more parchment but you also get the groovy guard i love this which really is fantastic now we were talking about or i say we 
You were talking about the two different tools that comes in the starter kit. Yes, not very well. Um, I do apologise. <laughs> no, no, no. It was. I forgot to mention those completely. So you can see here, they're all numbered. Yeah. Number one, two, three, and four. And the reason they're numbered is because they have, let me, there we go, am I going the right way? There we go. They have, number one is just like a stylus. Yeah. Number two has a, a little ball on the end. And then number three and number four have larger balls on the end. Yeah. Okay. And there's, they, had, they serve purposes. So for tracing out, we would use the number one and the number two. And then when we want to learn how to do white work, we would use the number three and the number four. Okay? Yep. So just to keep it simple, I'm going to go nice and easy with the number one. And all we're going to do is decide what we want to trace out. So just keeping it nice and easy, I'm tracing out. This is the, the outer part of the frame. Okay. And then we go in and then we start to build up our picture. Now, all of the parts I'm tracing out, it's up to you whether you want to include those. But you can see how crazy easily, yes. crazy easily, that's not really. Oh, that's, that's all right, I'll go with that, finish, Paul. <laughs> but you can see how you can start to build up your design. Yeah. And these, these uh, the room with a view are great for like a new home, for men's cards. You know us men are really hard to make cards for. These are perfect for yeah. that. And you can see we're just, I'm not even thinking about what the design is. I'm just letting the tool do all the work. This could yes. be a flower. I'm really not thinking about what I'm doing. Yeah. All I'm thinking about is that I've got to push into those grooves to transfer the design. Yeah. Now, if you're worried about how much pressure do you need to put on it, there's no rules to say that you have to get this crisp line the first time by passing the tool over the groove. So, for example, if you think I, I haven't got much pressure in my hand, I can go over it very lightly yeah. several times. And what that does is it slowly breaks the parchment fibres. Right. And it will still give you. So if I go over, let's just do this one here. I'm going to go on lightly. Yeah. Okay. And if I turn that over, we can see how that's a little bit freddy. Uh -huh. It's not as crisp as the rest. Yes. Okay. But if I now pop that back in place, and again, I just go over very lightly again. See, in the plate mate, this is where the plate mate's key because mm. it's not going to give me that shadow effect. Yep. And I can go over it several times. So now when I turn this over, I've now got my equal whiteness. Lovely. Um, Paul, may I do a quick stock update? Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Wonderful. Just very quickly, because we are over a third of the ultimate mini collection gone. Please check out your baskets. It's very, very busy out there. Remember, you've got all of those savings that carry over, which equates to £27 plus a further £27 off. So I'll let you do the maths. Um, so it's just £52.17 pence for everything that we're panning across now, or two payments of £26.09. pence. But we are over a third of the stock gone. Uh, phone lines are very busy so please do go to our website at thecraftstore.com thank you paul back to you thanks alex okay so we would continue on with our design okay and rather than sort of spend a lot of time i wanted to get as many little techniques in just to if people have maybe people have already got the starter kit at home already and then they're thinking well oh, what do i do I know from experience people buy stuff and then they get it and it just sits there and then they forget about it. So what we're going to do now, you can see I've already started to add the rest of the circles in. If I bring in the, the finished piece. Yeah. Okay. So we've got our image traced out completely, but now we want to, this is all flat. It's all on in one piece. It gives the illusion that we've done several layers, mm. but it's not. It, it's ma it really is magic. So if I bring in the Pico circle plate that we were talking about earlier, yep. and then all you do, you'll find that it slots back into the grooves. So we're going to hold that down again. Yep. 
and then I'm going to take my groovy guard and then we can continue tracing out. Now you could do one line, you could do two lines, it's entirely up to you. Make sure I'm getting the right one, there we go. Nice and simple. Mm -hmm. And we'll carry that circle round. See, if you was doing this traditionally, yeah. you'd have to trace this out. This The plate would be a black and white printed pattern. You would have to trace it out first with a white pen or pencil. And then you, the skill was then to get a beautiful crisp white line yeah. of equal proportions. That's hard. And that's where... It, yeah, it is, and, and it's. That's why I gave up, Alex. Because, oh, really? I, well, I couldn't get an equal. I suppose it's like anything. If you persevere, something, then, then it will happen. But I, I, I wanted it instant. Yeah. <laughs> and that wasn't the case. So now the groovy system gives me that instant artwork. Now, when we look at that, I mean, again, just by putting those extra circles in, mm. it really does change the look of it. Okay. So I thought what we do now, we'll add a little bit of colour. Now, we obviously do coloured parchment, uh, which is available on the show. We do the A4 two-tone parchment. There's 18 different options to choose from. You've got like light blue, dark blue. You've got teal, yeah. light teal nutmeg and peach there's beautiful colors on there Lovely. and they were really popular when we did the one day special last week oh, okay uh, yeah. earlier this week um so again it's just nice to if you think i'm not into coloring in there's no way i want to do that then that's where you would bring in the colored parchment yeah alternatively we have the designer parchment you know that little piece on the butterfly um that we did oh yeah i know we've got the screen there there we go on the screen now we've got details of the two-tone parchment you're going to get 10 sheets in there yeah and you'll get five of each tone so if you go with the blue you'll get five light blue and five dark blue etc okay. and it's really there we go we've got loads of different color options on there wisteria and iris bottle green and cranberry rich lush colors but we've also got the designer parchment as well which we did the little butterfly on so these were all designed by barb and they're eight by eight in size. If I bring my folder in, let me grab a folder from behind me. That would be cool. Let me just find. Here we go. So if I bring this in, so this I've got. It's a pick and mix option. You choose any two packs, and you get the folder as a bonus. Yeah. Okay. So when you look, you've got beautiful, beautiful colorways. Look. Oh, I, I love, love that. that and the more you look so, into them, you can see different scenes, like your imagination takes you places. Absolutely. And that's the way that Barbara created her. I mean, this one here, you can see this is the bushes. You've got the lake at the bottom. So, again, we've done the, I say we, Barb's done the work for you. So if you're not into colouring in, but you want to have a go at the groovy system and still get some beautiful artwork, mm. then this is where the the designer parchment comes into play. Lovely. Okay. So um, just what I'd... Oh, sorry, Paul. Yeah, yeah I was just going to ask you, um, we've had a, a question from the call centre. Um, apologies, we don't know your name, but um, a customer's asked about keeping parchment paper flat. They're saying that when they're using Groovy, it crinkles. I mean, I, I would say they need the Groovy tabs. What about you, Paul? Okay, so there, there could be a couple of reasons. I, I think rather than crinkle, I think it's probably sort of warping. Oh, okay. okay, yeah. And there'll be a couple of reasons for that. One, um, that your hands are, are really warm, so the heat ah. from your hands can cause the parchment to curl, just like paper can as well. Yeah, yeah. So that's one of the reasons why the Groovy Guard is really good because it helps protect the heat, but it also protects the parchment from the natural oils in your hand as yeah, well. Yeah. Another reason it can sort of warp, so to speak, is that if you go too fast, oh, okay. okay, so if you're yeah. doing a, a detailed area and you're going really fast, 
you're not giving the parchment time to sort of relax, if mm -hmm. that sort of makes sense. Yeah. So although I've done my one quite quickly, it's not very detailed. But I know if I was to do that butterfly really quickly, without using the groovy guard as well, then I could get some wall pitch. Or if you're working on, say, like thin pieces, helps you remember, like thin pieces of parchment. So if you was doing a bookmark, yeah. Um, I've got a bookmark. Let me see if I can grab a bookmark. Where did I put that? Because that's quite thin. And what happens is that when it's thin and you're doing a lot of work on it, it can curl up. Okay, so let me just, I found it. Oh, uh, bless you. Thanks. So there we go. So this is a piece we're, this is a piece we're working on in our Groovy Tuesday on Facebook Live every week. Lovely. But you can see how it's sort of starting to sort of curl. Uh, yes, I because, see. But all you need to do, if that happens, then what I would do is I just put it under a heavy book overnight. It's okay. not going to damage your embossed line, but it's a good way of just, but there will be a couple of things that could be causing it initially would be those couple of options. Lovely. Thank you. I've learned something there. That's brilliant. Thank you so much, Paul. And thank you for your questions as well at home. Always send your questions in. Um, now, uh, actually, Paul, do you know what? Great time for a stock update because we are now over half the stock of our ultimate mini collection. I love that it's a mini one. So in this collection, you've got your perforating set, you've got your two plates, your perforating tool, and you have got your mat. And then moving over, we have got man's best friend, those fabulous four plates. Love those that you can, of course, extend. Then moving over again, we've got our room with a view, those wonderful four plates, which you can extend as well. And then last but not least, we have got the starter kit with the four extra plates. You've got your plate mate, the black mat, inspiration, 20 sheets of parchment, your two ball tools and your tumble dryer sheet. Now, you can buy them in the individual bundles. So if you did, you'd save £11 from here, £5 from here, £5 from here and £6 from here. So all in all, that's £27 saving, which carries over to the ultimate collection. Plus, you get a further £27. So I'll let you add that up and do the maths. Um, and then, of course, you can spread that cost on FlexiBuy. Just two payments of £26 and nine pence. But we are now over half the stock gone. Um, don't forget as well, it's worth it. If you use that saving, that first saving, you can then uh, buy the uh, Lightwave the mini one um, or of course using the flexi buy option on the ultimate you can open your flexi basket and get that for 13 pounds and 50 pence today obviously you've got to pay that second installment next month but um, do you know what I'm thinking as well Paul is that um, yeah some people might be um, uh, seasoned um, parches if you will with the groovy system but they might be thinking that the ultimate collection is for maybe their son or daughter or granddaughter or grandson to get them started as well what do you think absolutely I mean we know from the groupie system that it's opened it up to a larger age audience so yeah. we have children of five years upward using it I mean obviously some supervision may be required but it's great because when you see a young child and they can trace out easily and they turn it over I, I've been there and I've seen the look on their face and it's just wow I've just created that stamping sort of painting that there are other skills but that take work to do as well yeah. but with the groovy system it's sort of that instant line art it really is and also to have the smaller starter kit it's great because i know and if you go onto groovy worldwide um on our facebook page there'll be a lot of um our viewers out there that will mm -hmm. say i've got the large and i've got the small yes and because they serve different purposes although it's the same it, they do serve different purposes you may think oh i don't want to get out the big starter kit i just want to work on a small piece uh -huh. and when i'm working i work on my lap in the living room yeah and sometimes, like to, when I was prepping for this, I only needed the little starter kit. I didn't need the larger one. Mm -hmm. um, so you have those, those options as well. Love it. Well, Paul, I reckon we've got about 14 minutes or so. Are you happy to carry on then? Super duper. So we was going to add some colour, wasn't we? Yeah, lovely. So let's have a look. So 
And when I bring this sample in here, you can see we've got this sort of green hue of colour around the outside. But it started off as just a clear piece of parchment. Now, if I take a piece of our designer paper and pop that on there, the colour of the backing paper comes through. So again, you don't have to colour if you don't want to, but this is a really nice way of adding colour quite quickly to larger areas. So we're going to work on the back, and what I'm going to do, I'm using our Perga liner pencils. So we have these available on the show. You get 36 pencils in the set. 16 of them are what we call a B pencil, which is sort of like basic. They're a wax-based pencil. And then you've got 20 of the watercolour pencils. Now, what I'm going to do, when I first started colouring in on parchment, I, I didn't have pergoliner pencils. I just had normal colouring pencils. And my colouring in was absolute pants. It really was. <laughs> you wanted to it, say it, something it, it else was. then. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, it was rubbish. It looked as if a five-year-old had just coloured it in. Because what I thought I had to do, and I'm going to do it, I'll just do it on, um, let's just do it on a bit here. Because what I was doing, I was going on really heavy with my pencils. Right. Okay. So it looks nice when you colour it in and you go on heavy, but you don't get any sort of like natural blends of colour. Yeah. So if I turn that over, you can see, yeah, it's nice and green, mm -hmm. but it didn't look very nice, if you know what I mean. It was just solid colour everywhere. Right. So with the, the wax-based pencils, what the idea is, is that you go on very, very lightly. Okay. Okay, so I've, I'm just scribbling there. And if I put this piece of white paper underneath, you can really see the difference. Massive difference, between yeah. Between where I've got. But that's all you need to do with the pergoliner pencils. You don't need to go on heavy and you don't need to apply a lot of colour. But to do larger areas, all you're going to do, I'm using the side of the pencil, okay, just to infill. And I'm not worried about going over the lines. Because again, one of the benefits of working with pencils is that they're magic. Yeah. Okay, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Oh, magic, magic. So, magic, magic. See, groovy, parchment, it's all magic in it, its own little way. <laughs> yeah. So you can see that I have really haven't put much colour on there at all. Right. Okay. So then what you do is you take a mix mat, which we've, we've got on the show, and some dorso oil. The oh, dorso oil comes my, with dorso My favourite, favourite. I want to wear this as perfume. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest that it's okay to do no, that. No, I know, I know. It, it just smells so gorgeous. <laughs> it does. Oops. Uh, we're going to put some, not the whole bottle. <laughs> That's way too <laughs> Sorry. much on there. I, I, I put got you carried on. away there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and then what we're going to do, we're going to take a tissue... And this is called what, uh, in a traditional method, is called dorsing. Right. And you fold your tissue up like a, an ice uh, piping bag if you was going to do icing. Yeah. Okay. And what you do, you sort of, you create an, an area, okay, on the tissue. Now, I know uh, I've got way too much on there already, so I'm just going to, you just need a little bit on there. If you have too much oil on there, what happens is it will just lift that colour off completely. Yeah. So I'm going to pop that mix mat to one side. The other option is I could have scribbled the pencil on the mix mat, yeah. blended it, and then transferred it with the tissue or a blending pen. Cool. Now, I'm going to bring a piece of clear parchment in, and I'm just going to go on here because I know I've got too much on there already. Yeah. And then all we're going to do is just work... Oh, look at that! Uh, magic, we can see that on screen. Yeah. And I'm just working in a circular motion. And what it's doing is now breaking down that pigment, but it's colouring in the larger area very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. Now, I've gone over the edge. I didn't really want any green in here. And I wasn't, I wasn't fast that I'd gone over the line. Because all I'm going to do now is take a, a rubber and rub out where I've gone over the lines. Fab, so you can fix it easily. Absolutely. <laughs> Even over here, where I put the, the green in the heels, I can go in. I probably won't be able to remove all of this one because I went on, oh no, it's doing it. Yeah. So even there, I can go in. So if you think you've gone on too heavy, then 
you can remove the colour. Great stuff. Okay, so here's what I, I made earlier. <laughs> so yeah. it, was, yeah, it was just to, to show that technique. So we can see now how we've got a really nice soft blend of colour yeah. around the outside. Okay, so what we're going to have a look at now. So now we can have a look at the, this detail in the background, this Fabulous. beautiful patterning. Yeah. So what we're going to do for that is I'm going to bring in, where's it gone? It's here in front of me somewhere. There it is, it's hiding. So in the um, essential kit yeah. for the um, perforating essential kit, you've got your A5 black super foam. Okay. Yep. And then I'm going to bring my plate mate, which sits on there perfectly. And then this is where the grids come into play. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the straight one and we're going to pop that into place. Now, if we want these, uh, the little grid plates, they're drilled all the way through. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're precision drilled. And we, when we have these manufactured, we have to send them off to be manufactured and we pay per hole. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's crazy. But that's the way in which the, that particular manufacturer works. So then what we're going to do is we can take our design and we can line it up. Now, I can see here in my studio the, the pattern quite easily. Yeah. However, if I was at home and I was doing this, this is where the light panel really comes into play. Because if I swap this out, and I put my little light panel in place. Now, if I put the black on there, I'm not going to see anything. So that's why with the little light panel, you get the white super foam. So if I go one, two, three, pop that on top now. Oh, yeah, it's, you can really see that. So we can, it's a lot easier now to see mm -hmm. all the holes. Yeah. So just to show you exactly how that works, all I'm going to do is just line it up to where... I'm happy for it to be. I'll use my groovy tabs just to hold it. And then I'm going to use my number two tool this time. If yeah. I use the number one, it will actually puncture it. And I don't want to do the puncturing at this point. So I'm just going to do a series of four dots. So you just press. I'm going to miss four. One, two, three, four. And again, this is quite relaxing as well just to do this you need to be able to see i've gone wrong there but i'm not worried okay because i can correct this by doing the embossing part first yeah if i go wrong i can correct it and i'll show you what i mean so instead of that being four i've turned it into a six okay okay and then oh no i've definitely gone wrong on that one because what i needed to have done was that 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 see talking and counting at the same time on live TV doesn't really work. No, I can't but, do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but what this allows me to do now is to show how I can correct this. OK. OK. So we'll just do that little area there. And you can see I've definitely gone wrong because these four dots here yeah. need to be perforated. But I've embossed them. OK. So now when we come to do the, the perforating, if I turn this over, you line up the dots of where you've just embossed. Okay. Because we always perforate from the front. So let's just get that. I'm just going to bring my head over slightly just so I can make sure I'm in the, the right position. There we go. Tape it down using your little groovy tabs. Okay, and then we're going to bring in the, the number one bowl tool that you get. Okay. So we're going to just perforate, and it's not going to damage my light panel underneath because we've got the super foam underneath. Yep. And I'm now going to perforate in alternate boxes. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to go in here. Now, you remember this one here where I said these ones here needed to be perforated, but I embossed them? Yep. By doing the mistake there... I can now go in and perforate those embossed dots. So you'll never know. So you'll never know. So if I had done my perforating first and I'd gone in the wrong place, 
then I wouldn't be able to correct it. That's right. So, there we go. So now I've corrected that. That's perfect. Just, Paul, I, I... just to let you know, you've got two minutes. <gasps> okay. Wow, Sorry, crazy. Paul. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, where do I go? Okay. Let's just recap then on what we've done. So I'll pop that out of the way. Okay. We'll bring the finished sample in and we'll just sort of talk about the different things. Lovely. So when we have a look at this, if I bring it in on this camera, so now when we talk about it, you can see how we've built up this pattern, can't you? Yeah. Okay. And then it's just a case of then just perforating. So again, if you don't want, you could do that to get a really nice effect. And we've given you the equipment to be able to do that by, with that perforating set and the little grids. And when you look at the diagonal one, you'll get a different finish as well. Mm -hmm. Then the only other thing that we've done in addition to that, I mean, obviously we've colored in our design. Now the coloring in, again, you saw how we did the, the circle around the outside. Yeah. But you can also do that in smaller areas. And all you do, you just need a little bit of patience and a, a smaller head on the tissue mm -hmm. to do the smaller areas, but quite quickly. But then you would use a blending pen to go in, say, on the fence posts, uh -huh. in the windows, that type of stuff as well. So it's a really sort of nice way of, again, it's being on that bus journey and yeah. just learning the various different skills. Lovely. Thank you so much, Paul. Um, so you're going to be back a bit later, is that right? I'm back at three o'clock. We're completely different. We're going die cutting at three o'clock. Oh, lovely. But we're, but we're looking at Room with a View, Comfy Cats and Man's Best Friend. Sounds fabulous. Thank you, Paul. I've really enjoyed working with you. I've missed you. See you soon. Likewise. Thank you, Alex. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Uh, so that was Paul, of course, live via Skype. Now, we have been extremely busy for our ultimate mini collection. Good grief. We are now 70% of the stock gone. I think you can now appreciate how much joy you get from using this groovy system, how sort of mindful it can be, what results you can get, you know, without it being a race, but at least quicker than you would if you were traditionally parching. Um, it is just a joy. And don't forget all of those savings carry over. Over. So if you were to break it down, you've got an £11 saving on this bundle, £5 on this bundle, £5 on this bundle and £6 on this bundle. So that adds up to £27 and then you get a further on top of that £27. So uh, you can spread the cost as well. Two payments of £26.09. Uh, 362737. And don't forget, if you wanted to, because you've opened up your Flexi Buy, you can add your mini light panel to that as well which is 27 well 26.99 so it's just food for thought for you um, so do give us a call 01733602000 or check out on the website at thecraftstore.com still got to think about it still got to think about it yeah please do join paul at three o'clock because as he said it's a completely different show so that will be well worth tuning in for right thank you for keeping us company but don't go anywhere more after this short break We have now got our Britannia sewing one day special, followed by dressmaking with the avid seamstress. Ooh, that sounds lovely. And then we're eating. Well, we're not, but we're cooking for you. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. 
The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. We'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. We aim to inspire you, to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Good afternoon to you. I hope you're enjoying yourself today and I hope you're well as well. It's rainy outside, so it's great to have your company here at the craft store. Lots of shows to inspire you today. And we've got a great event running at the moment. And with the event, you are in a chance to win an amazing prize. So anything that you buy in any of the shows featured in the Stitch to Impress event, your name will be added to the hat. And then we're going to pull a winner out in the five o'clock show and your prize pool currently stands at over 800 pounds there it is we've got a sewing machine we've got storage we've got wadding we've got fabric we've got patterns we've got hand cream we've got books we've got tools for you my word there could be a brand new business for you there could be a brand new craft room for you and everything will be delivered directly to your door. How exciting is that? We are in the midst of our one day special and we're looking at that fabulous brand of Britannia. Right, we had a very busy show earlier on today. Almost half the stock has now gone of your Britannia sewing machine. It is an incredible deal. Whether you're starting your journey into soft crafts, it's great to have the right platform to begin on, but then also the right platform to continue, to have a machine that's going to grow with you. Rather than growing out of your machine as you quickly develop your skills, this one is going to grow with you. In fact, they use the Britannia brand in schools and colleges, not only for the people learning to sew, but for the people then leaving the college with their projects ready to go into business, but also used by the tutors as well. It's an incredible price, and we're going to divide the price into three monthly payments. So we're going to make it affordable for you. With it being a considerable purchase, it's always nice to divide that cost interest-free. It's not just the machine. It's an incredibly well-built machine. You've got metal insides to this machine, which makes it run very smoothly and very quietly as well. There's lots of features that we're going to run through with our lovely guest George in a moment's time. Not just the machine though, you're also getting the extension table. Now this is worth $39.99 and your extension table is going to give you the opportunity to work on your larger projects. So your quilting, your curtains, your bedspreads for example, dresses, shirts, clothing, to have that larger area to work with, to extend it out, that's there for you. It's the right one that works perfectly with with this machine. You're also getting your accessory kit as well and this is worth $59.95. Can you see the value building in this particular bundle? You're saving £120 so it's almost like you're getting those thrown in for nothing. 
And they are accessories that you will be using, even if you are at the very start of your journey. You've got the pedal included, and you've also got the case as well. And the case houses your accessories at the top, so they're going to be with you at all times. Your stitching available to you, 65 different stitches. You've got the combination across the top, but you can make them bigger, you can make them wider, and you can change the tension as well. So those stitches, even though you've got 65 designs, could then go even more because you're going to stretch them out. We'll get great demonstrations throughout the hour. A nice little carry handle on there as well so you can move it from one area to the other. You've got your LED light. We'll go through all the features but my word we're getting busy already. Now the postage if you're not a Freedom member is £11.95. So here's the thing. It's going to be delivered directly to your door. How about becoming a Freedom member? Now, if you're a Freedom member, you don't pay any P and P. And to become a Freedom member today, to take advantage of that free postage, it's seven pounds and ninety-seven pence. So it works out, doesn't it? That means you're a Freedom member for a whole month. You don't pay any P and P on any of your purchases. You do the math, work it out. How much do you buy from us? Do you stock up every month two or three items? Do you buy one item a week? Even if you buy two items, it's going to be well worth becoming a Freedom member because you don't pay any P and P. And definitely with this deal, not only are you saving the £120, if you become a Freedom member, you're saving a little bit more, aren't you? Uh, because you're not paying that P and P of £11.95 pence. Right. Oh, my goodness. We've got so much to tell you. If you've got any questions, please email in. It is studio at thecraftstore.com. But I'm not alone. We've got George with us. George, how are you? Yes, I'm very well, thank you. We had a busy show this morning, didn't we? Yeah, it was wonderful. Yeah, yeah, lots of people up early. Now, if you did miss the show earlier on today or miss the launch of the show yesterday and you've not seen George yet, George, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, indeed. So I grew up surrounded by the sewing industry. I um, started off making quilts to begin with, then moved on into little bags, um, little bits and bobs, um, just having a real good play around with the machines. And then um, from there, I've made a few shirts um, and, and just love the whole sewing community getting involved. And now what I try to do is to bring the factory professional finishes to the home sewer. Also the convenience. And then not only that, but we like to get out and do shows and be there and talk to you guys to get your thoughts so that we can... Um, uh, improve the products for you. Oh, well, hopefully we'll get back to those live shows. Now, with the sewing machine, you get a three-year warranty. A three-year warranty is a peace of mind, of course, but no company will give you a three-year warranty if they weren't confident in the build quality of their design. Britannia, of course, been going since the early 1800s, so lots of heritage uh, and lots of people using Britannia machines as well. They've got a Facebook site. You can go on there. You can go and have a chat with everyone else that's there. You can go and do your re own research. I've had a look around. I I can't find this machine uh, for any less money. So you're also getting all of your accessories with this particular kit. Right, George, let's talk about the novice. Somebody new to soft crafts, they want to have a machine that they can grow with because let's face it, you will develop beyond just taking a pair of trousers up. You will develop with your craft. But can we take it back to basics and see how we get this out of the box when we first start using it? Yep, yeah, no problem at all. So um, you can use this straight out of the box. So if I just switch it off and then switch it on, that is now set up. Um, it sets the needle in the correct position. Everything's ready to go. So the first thing you want to do yeah. is wind your bobbin. Okay, do we need something separate to do this? Something separate. No, it's on top. It's got an automatic bobbin winder. Okay. So it switches over to that bobbin winder um, automatically. And it's all laid out on the machine. So you just follow the guides. So from here, I just pop the thread onto the spool peg. And then I go round, um, following the dotted lines, round into the tension. And then for the bobbin, traditionally, you'd have to take the thread through a little hole in there, hold it tight, um, and that could slip. On this machine, I just wrap that round there four or five times, cuts off on the underneath, and then press the start button. And that's it. And that will begin to wind. And then I can either let it wind and get a full bobbin, or yes. if I'm only doing a small project, just a quarter of a bobbin, half of a bobbin, whatever's necessary for that job. And then what I do, flick that back, take the bobbin off, 
and put it into the bottom of the machine. Now this is another fantastic design element to the machine and that's the threading and the cutting of the thread which for somebody new like me to sewing I used to get myself into right pickle at school trying to it really did stress me out trying to actually thread the needle on the machine it should be really the easiest part and you know what it really is with your Britannia machine can we have a look at that? Yes indeed so to take it through the track here so this is all reinforced as well so it's not going to wear as you're using the machine um, or doing embroidery on the machine as well so I can go down here behind this guard here and then what I do there's no, there's no fiddly movement at all it's just straight down okay and then I just hook the thread round here into the hook feel it's on there cut it off at the back and now that's threaded there Wow, and so just by pressing it down, that cuts off the thread and then you're good to go. That's it, yes, yeah, so I'll do it that again. So, so simple. Can do it blindfolded in there, feel it, it cuts off, and now that's threaded, good, good to go. And then we're ready to go for our first project. Now, if I want to take up a pair of trousers, that's great. I could just get on with it because it's a straight stitch. But there's also the uh, tension that we do need to make sure we get right because if that goes wrong then the project can go wrong so with the tension I know that on previous machines that I used to use at school I'm going back to my school days so probably a very long time ago uh, we used to have to change the tension and it just used to get very very complicated but in the machine that we've got here with your Britannia it makes it really easy isn't it that's it so you've got a fully automatic tension on this now not only that but you can also override that so if you okay. are experienced and and you want to create an effect by pulling the fabric uh, by pulling the thread tighter you want to do bobbin work you can override that automatic tension Brilliant. as well so it gives you again when for the beginner it makes it easy for them but for the experience and they can grow and and add their personal touch. I like that I like that um, with it, stitching as well I mean I spoke about that, uh, the first thing I do when I get machine home I take a pair of trousers up because that's the thing that costs me the most money I buy jeans I buy trousers I've got short legs, it's just the way it is, so I take them up, or rather I send them to someone else to take them up. Um, but yeah, it can range anywhere from £10 to £15 to take those trousers up, because people know you've got no other option. Um, so I would do that first of all, but we've got so many different stitches on here that we can use decoratively, or stitches that we can use to enhance our projects. And they're all in the lid at the top. We've got 65, haven't we? 65, 65 individual stitches. So you've got your utility stitches in there. They are going to be used. They're, they're about the first, they're the first few stitches on there. They're going to be used uh, most often. And then also you've got your buttonhole stitches, applique stitches, um, and then all of the other decorative stitches after that as well to choose from. Now your buttonhole, which is on there, this is a really, really easy way of adding a buttonhole. I know you're probably sitting at home thinking, no, it's not easy, Giants. I've got to measure it all out and I've got to stitch it. But this does it, it's, it's almost like a one touch, isn't it? That's it, Can yeah. Can we do one? It measures the buttonhole, indeed. So um, I've got the buttonhole in the nice accessory tray that comes with it. Um, and what you do to take the feet off on this machine, you just press the hook at the back and that drops off. And then to put the next one on, you just drop it into there like that. So what I want to do is make sure that the buttonhole is perfect for the size of my button. So I just pop that in the back there, squeeze that up onto it, and now we're going to get uniform buttonholes perfect for that button. Okay. So, um, if I, you can put it on heavyweight fabric, lightweight fabric. So if I start off with a bit of denim. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. We were sewing this morning on organza, on denim. You've got your faux leather, your leather. There's all kinds of different fabrics that you can use. Not leather, but faux leather. That's what I mean, the faux leather, because it's softer to stitch through. So, again, on here, I can... Um, uh, it, it's because I haven't got the foot control yes. in. It's literally touch and go. So just press that button there. Uh, select buttonhole, and just push that button there. And now that's going to do the whole thing for me. 
Do you know what? I love that. The fact that you just let it go and you sit back and you relax and you watch it. You're not using the foot pedal, but the foot pedal is included yes. uh, if you want to variate the speed, I guess. Well, that's it. But you don't just have to variate the speed using the foot control. You've also got the speed control up here as oh, well. Right. So if I'm not using the foot control, I can just slow that down to halfway. If I want to slow it right the way down, there's the little tortoise button on here, yeah. which I can just press and that slows the machine right down. And not only that but it also does half a stitch at a time. Why would we want that? So if I'm doing a decorative stitch and I want to get the full pattern out and end on the full pattern I yes. can just press that button to make sure it ends at exactly the right point. Oh do you know what that is so handy especially if you're doing border work or you're doing any kind of accent work to your details that is absolutely brilliant I love that. We'll do some decorative stitching in a moment's time but can you tell me about when we finish the product how do we cut that thread to to then move on to another project or give that project to someone else? Well, on, so traditionally you'd, you'd have to take the threads out, yeah. pull them both underneath, knock them all off. On this one, it's got an automatic locking system, first okay. of all. So um, by um, pr highlighting um, the button on the control pa panel over here, I can um, get that to do that and then when I've finished I've got this button on here with a pair of scissors above it and it cuts the threads pulls them under and leaves you with two little tails on the back oh, there all yeah. knotted in isn't that so so easy and it's going to save you time as well especially when it comes to buttonhole making you can change the size because sometimes you've got larger buttons to add to your project smaller buttons as well so it's good to have that professional finish to your garments, that professional finish to the cushions that you're making with the machine that you're buying today. Now it is available on three payments, so we're dividing the cost, there's no interest to pay, and this gives you the opportunity to make the first payment today of £159.96. If you're a Freedom member, there's no PMP to pay. The PMP on this is 11 95 but if you become a Freedom member today, you won't be paying that, and the Freedom membership is £7.97, so it kind of makes sense to become a Freedom member today. Remember, you're getting all of your accessories as well. Let's have a look at the features, if you have just joined us. Uh, right, you've got your 65 stitches. Remember, you can make those stitches larger. You can uh, um, make them wider if you want to, so you've got lots of elements within those 65 stitches. You've got that auto tension making it easy for you, especially if you're a beginner to soft crafts. You won't be going through that conundrum of sorting out your tension, it does it for you. Simple pattern and stitch control function, very, very easy to use from the off. Your tangle free bobbin wind system with safety guard as well. So if you want just a little bit of cotton or polyester that you're using on your bobbin, you can do, or if you want to do the whole bobbin in one go, that's available to you as well. You've got a foolproof needle threading system. I think we should change that to Janice proof needle threading system. Uh, you've got your unique and exclusive instant flow speed button, so you can slow it down, you can speed it up. And you've got your simple quick set bobbin system. The LED lighting makes it easy. It's really good, isn't it, when you've got that extra lighting to see. And you've got your hardcover with accessory compartment on your Britannia InStyle T65. What an amazing deal for you. It does have that digital control. It is very, very, very easy to navigate round and follow. You've got your full instructions that it comes with and there are tutorials online. I've got a sample of some of the stitching on here that you can see, which is a really nice example. So this could be the finishing touches to the purse, the cushion, to your curtains, to a piece of clothing that you're putting together. Remember, you're getting 65 stitches that will do it automatically for you. All you have to do is choose them and there they are on the top as your reference. And changing the length, changing the width and changing the tension is easy to do as well. And do you know what? It looks lovely. It really, really does. Right, let's talk about the safety aspects of a sewing machine because let's face it, it's mechanical. We've got a needle in there as well. We're using it sometimes. We've got our hands at each side. So can we talk about the safety elements of the sewing machine? Um, this one, again, for the new user, um, you, this one will help to prevent you from making mistakes. So one thing you don't want to do, for example, is sew with the foot up. So when the foot is up on this machine, 
the red light is on and not only is it on to warn you not to press the button it's not ready to go but it won't actually function either um, but as soon as you put that back down goes green and you can sew straight off from there I love that can we do one of the stitches is that okay if we can just do one of the stitches one of the fancy ones one of the fancy ones yeah no problem at all because there's fancy ways of doing fancy stitching as well our george did a demo this morning it was very impressive we did a wavy stitch didn't we george that's it yeah so that's the uh, satin stitch yes. so uh, all that is doing is taking the zigzag shortening it right down um so if i just select the zig zigzag on there um, and then start the machine off. I'm just going to slow that down. So I'll take the length, shorten that right down to begin with. Now that is going to give us a lovely satin stitch. And then what I can do is change the width actually as I'm moving the machine. Wow. As I'm sewing. So make that wider, right up to a seven mil, uh, six mil feed on that uh, width on there as well. Do you know what I like about this? Just the way that you're pressing the button, the machine's just carrying on for you. You don't need to put your hands at each side. You've pressed the buttons, you can see there on the screen, it's just continuing on its journey as you're just selecting from the side. In fact, George is standing up as well here in the studio, not having to sit down under any incredible bright lighting or anything like that because you've got the light to guide you on the machine. Standing up without the foot pedal, how easy is that? Exactly. You can let the machine do the work for you, so there's no forcing, tugging. It goes through, rides up over seams, goes down seams, absolutely no problem. My goodness. Now, if you do have any questions, if I'm not asking the questions you'd like to know, please do email in. It is studio at thecraftstore.com because we are live. Oh, my goodness. Right, we've got some testimonials for you. And this one is from Becky. My new machine, um, sorry, my new machine up and ready to use. Uh, so easy to set up and choose the various stitches. Really looking forward to getting back into sewing after several years of having a rubbish machine I bought on the internet. Expensive mistake. Do you know what? Don't make that mistake. People do buy machines and then they outgrow them and then they're buying another machine. So add that up. You've got one machine that's going to continue on your journey from a novice to intermediate to a professional. And you've got it right there. So thank you for that, Becky. Uh, the next one. Um, always a seven day saver. We've got some of those available online actually. You might want to have a look at what we've got available. Um, Sophie, got my new machine yesterday, trying out the embroidery unit. P very pleased with the first result. So that's incredible as well. So great um, testimonials there from people who have bought the machine, which is great. Now, if you want to go for your machine, we are getting busy. We do have another show again at four o'clock, but over half the stock has gone. And traditionally, with something like this, with it being a considerable purchase, some people will buy it, they see it, they go, right, that's the one I want, I've made up my mind. We're all different, aren't we? And some people tend to make their decision maybe at the end of the hour or in between the live hours. So, um, I wouldn't wait too long. But make your own mind up in your own time. Uh, but the price will be going back up by £120 at 6 o'clock. So to enable you to not only get the sewing machine, but the extension table and the accessory kit, my word, and that three-year guarantee, uh, it's a good idea to pop that into your basket and divide the cost over three payments. Right, so we're progressing on and we're expanding our soft crafting. We've gone from the sewing machine, we love it, we love all the decorative stitching as well, but now we want to get into embroidery. We don't want to have to buy another machine, because sometimes embroidery machines can cost anywhere up into the range of £1,400. But because we've got the Britannia machine, we know how to use it. We're comfortable with it. We've got our confidence. So how about adding on your embroidery unit to the machine you've already got? Now, whether you're going for the one-day special or whether you've got another Britannia machine, this is going to work for you. It's incredible. So we'll go through the features of this, but just to let you know what you're getting, you're getting the embroidery add-on, you're getting the hoop to keep your fabric sturdy, you're also getting your backing fabric as well to keep your fabric still as you are putting the embroidery on there. You're also getting your measurement mat as well, very, very important to go inside your hoop, and then you are getting your bobbins included, you're also getting a USB stick. I think it's four gigabytes on there.
there of your USB stick. Um, and then you've got inside, is it 150 designs already, or over 100, or over 100 designs already to go. Let me just give you uh, a cup, uh, just a sneak peek of some of the designs in here. I love these. So whether you're doing something for a birthday or a special occasion, maybe someone is into sport, for example, um, and then we can turn that over so you can see you've got some nice art designs as well. Uh, so lots and lots of designs, over 100 in there for you. But remember, you've got your USB stick so you can add designs so you can expand and expand and expand your embroidery experience. We're going to see how this works in a moment. But remember, this works with your Britannia machines and it also works with your one day special. And you can divide the cost over three months. Interest free payment. It's a great deal. There are your details, £166.63 pence today. Uh, and then another payment in a month's time and another payment a month after that. But of course, if you're combining the cost, you can also combine the cost and divide that over three payments as well. Here's a testimonial. Oh, we're going full page or testimonial. Oh, sorry, we've got an email just sent in. Now, Michelle has just said she wanted to contact to let us know that she's got the machine and she's got the embroidery unit and the embroidery unit cost her double what we've got it. The embroidery unit cost Michelle double what we have, the embroidery machine and the one day special on at the moment. Wow. She can honestly say that the more expensive machine is never used. She uses the Britannia one. It's far superior. It's a great machine and it will sew anything. And the price is excellent value for money. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you very much for emailing in. That is a great email. I've had lots of great comments as well on Facebook uh, with people telling me how great this deal is, but how wonderful the brand of Britannia is as well. It's a British company with heritage. Um, and that speaks volumes, doesn't it? Especially when you get your three year warranty as well. Uh, your features for your embroidery unit. You've got over 100 built in embroidery designs. We had a sneaky peek. It's more like 150, but you can expand that you've got your USB so you've got other designs that you can put on there it's a very very easy uh, system to follow as well if you can uh, work a printer or a smartphone you can work this you've got four embroidery fonts as well so you could do your own front font and print out items you've got your seven and a half inch hoop area so the hoop comes with it your USB port it's a DST format but you've got your USB um, stick that comes along with that You've got fully automatic tensions, fabulous, we love that. And one size fits all, so perfect for workshops. So if you've got your friends and they've got Britannia machines, if you've got a couple of people you know going for the one day special today, you can share the unit if you want to. I don't want to keep it all to myself. Um, but it is robust enough to share, which is great. Great for workshops, isn't it? It really is great to share. So let's see how easy this is to attach to our machine. George, let's run through the process of attaching it and then let's see some embroidery. Indeed. So um, what you do, take the uh, tray off of the machine. So you've just got this free arm out. Um, you just screw on the embroidery foot onto there. That okay. makes it nice and secure. So you've got no sideways movement, up and down movement. Right. Um, this, so we've, we've put in with the uh, embroidery unit five pre-wound bobbins. Now you can use the thread you're using on the top as well. But if you're doing a design with multiple colors, we recommend just to have the, the white thread or black thread underneath. Um, so put that in there, um, set that up on there, and then literally all you do to get the embroidery unit on is slide it on like that. Plug and then you it plug into it into the, the, machine, the machine, so there's no second plug. No. To put, now that that is really helpful because sometimes we don't want to have all of those plugs or sockets plugged into one socket, and we don't always have extension leads as well. So being able to have that powered from the machine, I think, is a great bonus. Mm. Yes, that's it. So um, this, the machine and CAD talk to each other in harmony. So um, when I first switch it on, again, it's given, it reminds me, because I forget to do this yeah. sometimes, to drop the feed on there. Yes, I've dropped it. So I press yes on here. Excellent. And then is it ready to, can I 
set up that CAD, make sure it's got plenty of space there okay. as well so um, it knows it's ready to go. So what you do um, to begin with is start hooping up some fabric. So okay. I would recommend um, a standard weight fabric to begin with to, okay. to have a little play around on. Um, we've put in with the embroidery unit as well a roll of backing. Okay. Now that supports the thread and gives you a nice flat embroidery. And you get 25 metres of that, so that's a lot. Can we use that if we're embroidering onto uh, organza, for example? That's it, yeah. Yes. So you can layer it up. Um, to So for very lightweight fabrics, you can support those really well just by layering up the, uh, the backing. You don't necessarily need these very thick ones. So... Um, this hoop, it just slots on like this on there. Um, that is now clipped on, it's not going anywhere, and it's ready to go. So they've thought about this as well, so the screen now is, is obstructed by yes. the, 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 the fabric. So that what you do is you just, oh, that's it, little clip there, and you just pull that right the way out. Brilliant. And then you can see your screen oh, no. if you've got larger fabric to work with. That's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah so where the machine by itself, really simple to get onto the patterns, yes. this is where you get into the exciting part. Oh, this shall is we where... choose a pattern to do? <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> yeah, go Come on, George, it. let's do it. So, so you've got your book here as well. So let's have a look through the patterns built in. Okay. So I'll do something that hopefully we can get finished nice and quick on here. So you can scroll through and see. Um, I'm going to go for number uh, number 81. Stick with a, a music theme on there. So 81 brings up, highlights that yes. pattern, gives you the size of it as well. So it's 9.2 centimetres by 4.3 centimetres. Can we make that larger or smaller, George? Exactly. So yes, you can. So if I click on that now, I've got the large frame in there. and I can enlarge that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you can see that going and getting bigger. Because, you know, we see the designs that we've got in the book and we might not want the size that it gives us. So being able to make that larger gives you freedom of creativity. And we all love to be creative. I love that. That's it, yeah. So now I've, I've selected the size of the pattern, I want to place it. Okay. So I've got this grid on there, you can see that really well. So you've got the markings on there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this down in this corner here. Um, as you know, I'm going to put it up right up the top there. Okay. So. Um, now we don't sew through this grid, do we? No, you no. don't. No. Do be aware of that at home, you don't sew through yeah. the measuring tool. <laughs> no. <laughs> So I'm going to move that over here, over to the right like this. And now just to make sure before I sew, I'm not going to overlap, I'm not yeah. going to go out the area I want. I press the P in the middle and what that does is it gives me then the outline of where that is going to go. I see. So it gives you the most extreme points yes. in the corner. So that's going to be there. So now I just take this grid out. Like that. Always remember to do that before you do that, so that's easy to do. Yep. And um, on here now, so I've got a few more options I can do with it. I can mirror it. Um, so do a mirror image. So if I want to sit in reverse, I just press that. It lets you know that you're now mirrored. Love that. Um, I can save it onto a USB. So if I've resized it, changed the angle, um, played around with it, I can then save that onto the USB that comes with it. Perfect. Um, I can rotate the the pattern as well, so I can rotate it by as little as one degree um, at a time. Wow! Um, five degrees for bigger jumps. You know, um, this is so easy to use at your fingertips. Again, if you've used a printer, for example, uh, just to load uh, a print to do a copy, it's a similar interface, really easy to navigate around. Don't forget you've got your full instructions that come with your embroidery machine or your embroidery extension. I can't believe how easy this is to use. And it gets perfect results time and time again. And we're going to um, do a little bit of embroidery now, aren't we? Yes, indeed. So now that I'm all set up, just press OK. Again, it gives you that instruction, so I just need to drop the foot in yep. like that. And now I'm ready to go. So I can just start sewing. And it's away. 
Um, so as I'm sewing here, I, I, you know, you can walk away. Yeah. I like to stay and watch. Yeah. Um, uh, but um, what I can do is I can um, speed it up, slow yes. it down instant, instantaneously on here. So, um, again, when you're getting more adventurous doing it on corduroy, yeah. denim, yes. vinyl, yeah. all those sort of fabrics um, in upholstery, um, I can just slow that down just to make sure the tension is nice. Yes. Um, as I say, so this has got the auto tension on there. Brilliant. So um, for most fabrics, it will automatically align. But as you get more experienced, more adventurous with the machines, yeah. you can just adjust that tension with it with a plus and minus button. How fabulous being able to do your own designs. I really like the mirror option on there as well because if you've got, I don't know, let's say you've got a riding school for example or you're a dog walker and you want a dog at each end of some writing and they're facing each other, um, that's great. You can do that because you've got those mirror images. I really, really like that idea. But you've also got the opportunity to put text in as well. Uh, and with that, you could do clubs and teams, or it could be, you know, if you do have a small business, like a dog walker, for example, or you know someone that is, maybe you could make and create for them. Maybe you could advertise the fact that you've got an embroidery machine and start a business so if somebody wants a t-shirt with a logo on they can ask you if someone's got a small team uh, maybe a bowls team for example and they want uh, a name putting on they can't find that name anywhere they've got the fabrics maybe you're making their t-shirts on your machine and then you're embroidering them as well how cool will that be uh, it gives you the opportunity to have that creative flair I love the fact that this will go on your Britannia machines. You might have a Britannia machine at the moment. If you're a little bit worried, thinking, will it work, will it not work, email in, we'll find out for you, or you can head to the website. Now, can I ask you, George, what is the guarantee that we have, the warranty on the embroidery um, extension add-on? So you get a two-year warranty with okay. the embroidery extension, three years on the machine. Yes. And if we want any further help and advice beyond the instruction booklet, where would we go? So um, uh, we have a website, BritanniaSewing.com. Yes. Um, you can contact us through there by email. Give us a call. We love speaking to the customers. Um, uh, we we now are doing more and more video calling, so you don't have to send it away. We can just be there with you to oh. help you. Oh, I like that. Now, whilst that is stitching away. Is it possible to set up another project? Do we have to wait for one project to finish? That's it. So you, you, you let, let it do this project. Yeah. Um, it, it gives you a countdown. It will tell you. So, um, so this screen is very important. I'm at the moment just doing stitches with one colour on there. Yes. But um, if, I, if I had more colours, I could scroll through, see when they're going to come. Ah. And, and it sure stops automatically, doesn't it? And tells you to change the colour of your thread if it needs be. Exactly. Because of the built-in thread trimmer in the machine, it stops automatically, cuts the thread again, draws them underneath as well, um, and then it, it bings at you to then change the colour. So we're almost coming up to complete completion on there. Uh, now my brother had an embroidery business for many many years and as, as a child I used to go around with him to all the different factories pick up fabrics and watch the embroidery machines go and they were very loud albeit industrial but he also used to go to people who had their own embroidery machines and they were loud I remember that and being very very noisy. That's an embroidery machine. That's an embroidery machine. Normally, they're very, very noisy. This is nice and quiet. And I find that very soothing. Normally, if we've got machines in the studio, we have to cut mics and, you know, we have to be quite far away from the machine itself because it's noisy. That's, it's starting, it's starting to go a little bit faster now, but it's not elevating in noise. It sounds like a really nice, smooth sewing machine. So having something like this, if you've got kids in the house, or pets, for example, if you've got a Jack Russell dog that just bounces at anything, anything she hears, um, this will be nice and soothing. It'll be nice and soothing for them. Um, but again, you can see the ease of use as we're putting together that design on there. And I don't think it's far away from finishing, is it? No, so now we're just doing a, an outline around the edge on here. So um, uh, it's that's why it's speeded up. So yeah. the smaller the stitch, the faster it's oh, going to go okay. on there. Um, yeah, and. And the light shows you exactly what it's doing. You can see there the stitching going in. And that's, and that's, is that, wow, look at that outline going around there. 
And you can see the difference on there as well between the thread I used earlier, which was um, uh, more of a sewing thread, whereas yes. this thread is an embroidery thread and it has that oh. luster to it. And so, so I, I guess with embroidery threads, they can be um, a little bit more shiny, a little bit more show off. Exactly. Yeah. Or, or that, it, it depends on the effect you're looking yeah, for. Of and not only it's not only the type of thread you use. Um, as you as you uh, find more designs online, yeah. as I say, there's so many designs. There's infinite designs out there. Yeah. Um, it's the way it stitches as well. So, oh. for example, you can get a cross stitch effect. Yeah. You can get a shading effect. I was um, going to say about the shading. If we wanted to do a different colour to go around the outside of this design, uh, we could just change the thread. So we could outline it in a different colour, maybe? You could pause it at the right moment and change the yeah. thread, indeed. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing stopping you from, again, overriding the machine and, yeah. and changing the thread yourself. I love that. And it's just perfectly, perfectly putting that design together. And think about the different things you're going to do when you get your embroidery extension home. What's the first thing you'll do? What's the first thing? Will you do the notes? Will you do a design that uh, appeals to you? Or maybe you'll do your name because you can do that because you've got the fonts to choose from as well. Um, so when you get your embroidery unit home, have a look, have a peruse through the booklet. If you're new to embroidery, you can see how easy it was to set up. And you also have font as well. Now, let me get to the font to show you because you've got a selection. Let me just go back. There you go. Uh, so you've got font and numbers as well, font and numbers. So maybe the first thing you'll do is your name. And you've got the full instructions there on how to select those embroidery letters as well. And then you've got your USB stick, four gigabyte USB stick. So you can add designs to that and then add designs to your um, embroidery machine. Those are your features, over 100 inbuilt embroidery designs, four embroidery fonts. You've got your hoop area, your seven by five inch hoop area, but you've also got your hoop as well. Um, you've got fully automatic tensions, you've got a USB port, you've got a USB stick that comes with it, and you've got your one size fits all. And by that, we mean this will fit to your other Britannia machines that you've got at home. If you're a bit worried and you're thinking, oh, will it fit my machine? Just email in and we'll find that out for you and we'll give you the details. So absolutely uh, perfect for that. And remember, you can divide the cost into three costs. Uh, right, I've got an email. I'm just grabbing my glasses. <clears throat> They're only cheap ones. Uh, right, this is from Catherine. Oh, thank you, Catherine, for email. Oh, no, it's not. It's from Michelle. Oh, yeah, of course it is. <laughs> because it was, it was, sorry, yes. It's from Michelle. It's from Michelle. <clears throat> I told you these were cheap glasses. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, I just wanted to contact you to let you know I have this machine and the embroidery accessory. I also have an embroidery machine that costs me more than double the cost of these two items together. I can honestly say that my more expensive machine is never used as the Britannia one is far superior. This is from Michelle. It's a great machine and will sew anything I throw at it. And the price you have is excellent value. And that's from Michelle herself. So thank you very much for sending that in. Isn't it lovely when people feel passionate about products and they know it works and they know they love it and they want everyone else to know just how good that is. I know it's coming across very, very well here on the shows, but it's always nice to hear from others as well. Isn't it exciting? really exciting to get the value for money that you've got here oh my days and you can divide the cost into three payments so if you're thinking now I want a sewing machine I've been watching those programs on the television I've been watching the craft store I've been seeing what Haley's creating and making I've seen what Tash the beautiful fabrics that she brings I want those fabrics in my life but I can't do anything with them now you can you need that starting point in your life but you also need the progression that comes with it. When you get your sewing machines home, you're not just gonna do a straight stitch, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Once you know how easy this is to use, once you get over those obstacles, your confidence starts to build. And then before you know it, you're making dresses and tops and cushions and bedspreads, oh, and curtains and, and blinds and all kinds of things. You're making them. And then if you're going for the extras, like the embroidery, you're embroidering them as well. Let's talk about your one day special. Very, very busy for this now. 60% of the stock has gone. That saving of £120 you're making now 
is going back onto that price at six o'clock tonight. We don't want that to happen. It's a considerable purchase, so let's take you through what you're getting. The machine itself, it's a beautiful design. You've got the heritage of Britannia. It's a British brand, been with us since the late 1800s. You've got the metal or um, you've got the metal components inside. It makes a difference. You've got that quality. You've got that lovely silence to it as well. You've got your digital display that's easy to program. If you've used a printer or a smartphone, or even a remote control. You can use this, you can. You get your full instructions as well. You can go faster or you can go slower. You've got the ability to do that. You've got your lights and the automatic cutting of the thread and it's easy to thread and also create your bobbins as well. You've also got the handle on top in case you want to take it from one area to another. But I just love the design of this. I really, really do. Now, you've got your accessories that go with that. You can buy a sewing machine. It's great. You'll get it home. But then what? You need to get your accessories. We're including those with it. Now, they're worth 59 95 so you've got your extra needles and your feet and your bobbins, so you've got everything you need there, including making and creating those button holes. You've also got your extension table. That's worth 39 99 Now, you're going to need that if you're doing larger items like curtains or bedspreads, for example because it gives you a larger area to work with and that just simply goes on the end of the machine. So maybe you've seen demonstrators doing a bit of quilting and they've had a larger area on their machine, that's all it is. But they've had to buy theirs, this is included in the deal. It fits perfectly because it's made by and made for Britannia. You've also got your foot pedal but you've seen George standing up just pressing a button and the machine is working, but you've also got that foot pedal there. We've included that. Uh, you've also got your fabulous casing that you put over your machine and the area in front to put your accessories. So they're always there. And you've also got the little carry handle at the back as well. So you can pick that up. Superb value for money, saving £120, all the extras included. Your first payment of £159.65. pence. Then another payment in a month's time and then another payment in the same third month after that. If you become a Freedom member, no PMP to pay. The PMP is 11.95. It's packaged and delivered directly to your door. Freedom membership, £7.97. That is a lower price than £11.95. So become a Freedom member. Just do it and have Freedom membership for a month. Uh, 569982, that's your item number. Go to thecraftstore.com or give us a call and we'll talk you through the process. It's really easy. There's no forms to fill in. In fact, if you're on the website, you just press the button for FlexiBuy and that's it interest-free, three payments. It makes it affordable. Um, and who knows, you might have made some items and sold them by the time your next payment comes through. Now, if you are thinking about doing things on a professional level, or maybe you've got dexterity problems with cutting or anything like that, this could be the answer for you. This is your electric scissors. You, it comes with the plug, but do you know what? It is cordless as well. Doesn't that make it easier now, navigating through those larger pieces of fabric? This is also available for you on FlexiBuy. Your first payment of 53.33 today. You've got two blades included. Um, so that is a great start. It's ergonomically designed. We're going to have a look at this in action with George. 159.99 if you want to pay for this in one go. But of course, you can add this to your basket if you're going for your one day special or just buying this on its own, divisible into three payments. Now, this is quite a machine. But my goodness, it's like a hot knife through butter when we see it demonstrated. George, let's talk through this, shall we? Right, yes. Yeah, so these are professional grade scissors, again, for the home user, um, and factories use them as well. Um, so these do 6,000 cuts per minute. Wow. Now, that is essential because you need that speed um, to, to go through the heavier weight fabrics yes. and also the lightweight fabrics to prevent slipping. Actually, that's a really good point. So you can go from organza, getting that perfect cut, to, and this morning, I challenged George a little bit, we went through one piece of faux leather, then we folded it, went two, and then we did three, and I go, and go on, do four. And we did, didn't we? We went through four pieces layered up on top of each other, perfectly cut. Yeah, that's it. So I'll go into the demonstration. So, yeah. Um, so not only straight lines, but curves as well with this, and not only curves, but tight curves. So very easy. You see right up at the edge of the fabric there, and it's not flapping about. Okay. And then, um, you see, you can get tighter and tighter and tighter on this. So for armholes, 
uh, for shoulder for the curve again wow, on there. Look at that. And do you know so, what's great so about easy. this, George, as well, is the fact that it's not a rotary blade. It's yeah. a scissor blade. So it cuts beautifully, but you don't have that rotating blade, which can be kind of dangerous sometimes. It's it, essentially electric pair of scissors, 6,000 cuts a minute. Yeah. That's incredible. That's it. And, and um, yeah, and, and that's why they can go from um, just a piece of a canvas there to denim here. So here's actually four layers of denim. Wow. Up into eight layers of denim as well. Oh, now you're just showing off. And it does that so, <laughs> so easily. Um, again, you can do your, your dress linings, acetate satins, and you can go as, as fast or as slow as you like. You've yeah. really got a lot of control on the scissors. You can practically go sideways with them. Wow. Wherever you go, it will cut. And you've got that straight edge or that curvy edge perfectly. Perfect. Exactly. Love like that. that on there. I mean, I guess if you've got some stencils that you're drawing around with your heat erasable pens, for example, maybe some of the stencils have got some curves in there. You can be adventurous now. You can cut round, which means you can start cutting out your appliques, your different patterns. And if you don't like using a rotary blade, because sometimes it can be quite dangerous, it's very, very sharp. Um, you don't have to lock these off. These are essentially a pair of scissors, but they're cutting 6,000 times a minute. You can see all the different fabrics that George is just sailing through with this particular uh, electronic scissor device. And uh, you've got two of the cutting blades for you. So you've got one. They're going to last a long time, but you do have two. So if you did damage it in any way, I don't think you will, but you never know if you do, you do have two of those cutting blades available and they're really easy to put on as well. Looks like two little crocodiles, don't they? So there's one. There you go. And there is the other. And it's cordless as well. It's there's cordless one. as well. You even get a screwdriver as well. Now we're also, oh sorry. Ah, oh, there you go. There's and then, <laughs> and that's going through the vinyl. And that's vinyl. So that was two layers and then easily four layers as well. Wow, look at that. It just manages it on there. Uh, um, and do you know what's great? You're using your hands, you're just holding the vinyl still. You didn't need to clamp it down to cut that straight line, did you? No, no, that's it. You, it, it again, you can go as fast or slow as you like. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, you'll get beautiful results with these. Scissors. And being cordless as well, that is so handy because then you've not got the cable wrapping around you. You've got that big, larger fabric that you're cutting through. And when you're doing those different shapes and designs, you don't want the wire around you. And that's why you've got that rechargeable element and it becomes battery operated magical isn't it i just think it's absolutely fantastic uh right there it is for you 319738 is your item number on 159 pounds and 99 pence saving nine pounds on that particular deal which is brilliant uh you can also pop that into your basket if you're going for your one day special it comes with full instructions uh lots of people are going for that this hour oh i'm really chuffed i'm really chuffed i think you're thinking about uh maybe the professionalism and the results of your projects maybe you are upgrading your machine and you want to become even more professional than you are right now. Um, and that's why you're going for these great tools we've got on the show. Uh, right, let's head back to the one day special. Remember, we've got one more live hour with Adam at four o'clock today. And then you've got until six o'clock to get your deal because at six o'clock the price goes back up. We launch a brand new one day special. I think this is marvellous. And if you've been on the fence for quite some time about buying a new machine, you've been umming and ahhing and you've been going online, you've been looking at the... I don't like to say cheaper variety, more cost effective variety. The ones that will turn up your trousers, the ones that will make, you know, your envelope style cushions, for example, the ones that will do your hemming. Um, that's great. But then you progress, don't you, from turning up your trousers. Then you think, oh, I'd like to do some of the templates they sell on uh, the craft store. I'd like to make my own clothes. That's when you'll then have to think about buying another machine. This machine goes with you. It starts beautifully as a beginner because it gives you the elements to start and build your confidence up. It's really, really easy to use, but you've got some great points in here to work with. You've got your bobbin. 
so you can simply make your bobbins as much or as little as you like and when you are putting your stitching together you can stop the machine change your bobbin and change the color which is great for your decorative stitching 65 decorative stitching all um, achievable by that display and very very easy to set up you can change the length you can change the width and you can change the tension so you've got your stitches right there always at a reference at the top of your machine so you can just open that up and have a look oh my goodness over 60 percent of the stock has gone the build quality is second to none you can see the design of it first of all the three-year warranty that comes with this gives you confidence in the machine that you're buying because of the metal elements inside and also the beautiful quietness of this machine you've got your extension table that's worth 39 pounds and 95 pence that's included and that fits perfectly you know you bought the right one because it's included that's going to allow you to extend your table to build and create those bigger designs then you've got all your accessories you're going to need these these this this is worth 59.95 you're going to need the extra needles. You're going to need your extra uh, feet that are in there. The buttonhole maker as well. One touch buttonhole. Perfect. So all of that is in there. So that's ready to go as well. Think of this as a gift for somebody. It's a whole complete craft room for them. You've got the pedal, pedal as well. You don't have to use that. We've seen George just standing up, pressing the button and off it's gone. Uh, but you can use your foot uh, pedal there as well. It's a choice for you. It's included. Then you've got your hard casing as well because it's really important to keep this away from everyone else and keep it nice and tidy. But you've also got the elements in the front to put your additional pieces in. It comes with your full instructions, online tutorials. There's a Facebook group as well that you can join. Oh my goodness, you're going to absolutely adore this when you get this And I'm really, really pleased that we've managed to get this incredible deal with all of the accessories as well. 569982 is your item number, £478.94. pence. That's a reduction of 120 but we'll divide the cost into three payments. Interest-free, 159.65. And to get round that £11.95 postage and packaging, which is a great deal when this is delivered directly to your door safely, all packaged beautifully, become a Freedom member for £7.95. You'll have free membership for a whole month. It's a great way to do it. Uh, look at the T's and C's on the website. Let's head back to George for the remaining uh, minutes of the show. Uh, what are we going to have a look at now, George? So I'm just going to recap on what oh, you are please. getting with this um, with this deal. So. Um, Easy, easy, easy bobbin thread on here. Just wrap that round a few times and press go, and that starts to wind. Now, when that's finished, take the bobbin thread off there, and you've got this quick thread bobbin system in here. So, literally, just drops in like that. Take it round the little track, and it cuts off there, and it's ready to go. And finally, the um, the threading on of the machine on here. This easy to use needle threader and that's so important because that's your first hurdle isn't it once you're over that your confidence is just yeah I'm ready to go now that's it so then um, the uh, the start and stop stitch so I'm just going to do a bit of quilting fabric here so highlight that stitch on there and it will do those stitches on the spot when you begin tuck the uh, the fabrics underneath and then when you come to the end, press the reverse. Well, actually, when I come to the end here, again, I can slow it right down using that tortoise button. Yeah. Really, really good to get your eye in. And then when I stop it, if I'm a couple of stitches from the end, I can just bring it over by hand like that. And then finally, when I'm finished, press that reverse button. It will do those sti uh, stitches on the spot and then cut the threads like that. Everything's neat. Pulled Look underneath that. like that. And do you know what I love about it as well? You know, George is, is, is an expert in this field. He knows his stuff when it comes to the kind of technology that's inbuilt into the machines, but he also appreciates crafting as well. But look how relaxed he looks. There's no <laughs> huffing and chuffing and puffing and getting things wrong and forcing things through. The days of that are gone. The days of that have gone. It's now time to get creative and use that brain power to be creative. Uh, George, we're going to see you back again at 4 o'clock today. Yep, indeed. Brilliant. Thank you very much for all your demonstration. You see, he's carry on crafting now. He loves his craft. Uh, we'll see George back at 4 o'clock today. Thank you so much for this show. It's been a real pleasure to do the two shows with him today. Uh, please do check out your baskets. Don't miss out on this deal. If you do need to go and have a chat with somebody, we appreciate that you can still buy after the hour. But stay where you are because we've got more coming up for you here on The Craft Store. 
Right, we've got dressmaking with the Avid Seamstress. Coming up next, we've got Crafty Kitchen, and then we've got Crafting with Clarity. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. Did you know you can continue watching the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, good afternoon. Yes, we have got our Stitch to Impress event, which launched yesterday at 3 p.m. And it runs through the final hour, will be 5 o'clock this evening, so not long now. Right, if you make a purchase, or you have been, in fact, on any of our live sewing hours, you will be entered into a, an, an amazing prize draw. We're going to announce the winner during the 5 o'clock show this evening, where you could be in with a chance of winning a massive sewing bonus bundle worth over eight hundred pounds how amazing is this right we've got so we've got a sewing machine worth 249 pounds we've got a sewing machine bag we've got interfacing we've got patterns we've got uh, search press books fabric shears pin cushions uh, wadding gosh multi-tools and it goes on and on and on and don't forget the hand cream which is Fabulous. You've got to have a bit of hand cream when you're sewing, don't you? Um, all righty then. So please do make your purchase. You've got this hour to make a purchase. And of course, um, how many other sewing shows have we got today? Of course, we've got the one day special, the final call. Um, four o'clock and five o'clock, lovely stuff. So it's been a real, it's going to be, well, it is a really nice event, but for one lucky winner, it's going to be a really nice event. So without further ado, let me introduce you to Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Hello. Hi again. Hello. <laughs> now, is it Lisa Falconer? Am yes. I pronouncing that correctly? 
Yes, yes, Excellent. that's correct. <laughs> so, Lisa, I'm, I, first off, I know this is your company, but I'm very intrigued. I love the name of your oh, company. Thank you. I love the name, The Avid Seamstress. <laughs> thank um, you. Where did that come from? I actually need to credit my husband because ah. he is the avid gardener. Oh, fair so, enough. <laughs> so when we were looking for um, my company name, it just seemed um, the perfect choice. And I love it too. Yes. Um, so I'm very happy with it. Well, it's very catchy because yeah. I immediately <laughs> went to it and, ooh, yeah. I wonder what sort of patterns we're oh, going to get. Thank you. Um, so also, how long has your company been going for? So it launched in 2015 in November yep. at a show, actually, at a big um, show. And it's just been going ever since. So, so when you say at a big show, do you like to do, when we can, do you like to do all the sewing shows like at NEC and all of that sort of thing? Yes, I do. I think it's such a great way to meet the customer mm -hmm. and people can see the garments. Yes. Um, they can chat about fabric and if they need any help on any of the garments. So I love the shows. I love meeting yeah. uh, customers. It's actually the only way we can really meet them because I don't have a store. I'm, I'm online. Right. So it's a really good way for me to have that interaction. And how long have you been dressmaking for? Has it been a passion since you were little? <laughs> yes. Since mm -hmm. I was about seven, um, I started sewing, and it's been the love of my life ever since. I'm always sewing. I've always had sewing machines, and obviously, so this is a dream come true for me oh. to have my company as a sewing pattern brand. Lovely. And now you're with us on the craft store, yes. which is excellent. <laughs> so you've brought for us, um, you can buy these in different configurations, but we're going to go straight for our lovely mega bundle. So you're going to get all six of these fabulous patterns. So you've got the A-line dress, you've got the raglan t uh, dress top, you have got the day dress, then moving along you've got the blouse, you've got the pyjama bottoms, and then you've also got the uh, sundress. There we go. Oh, it's in here. Sorry. There you go. It's just over here. There you go. That sundress. There we go. Marvellous. There you go. That's the complete collection. So you're going to get all six of these. Um, now, you can spread the cost. Two payments of £46.47. Um, item number is 016211. Five. Lovely stuff. So in a moment, we're just going to, I think she's ready, lovely. <laughs> we're going to go through each of these sort of, in, you're going to talk us through these, but if you do want to just go for them, just go for them. So we're going to start though with the A-line dress, so we're going to break it down. So can you tell us a bit about this pattern? Can you tell us how easy it is to make? Just talk us through, and what about even the inspiration? I mean, she looks really stylish. <laughs> Thank you. So I think the most important thing to note is that our sewing patterns are designed for beginners to intermediate. Great. We have got a, one or two that is more advanced. Okay. Um, but we love beginner sewers. Um, so the thing that we focus on the most is really good instructions. Mm -hmm. So even though these are different levels, we do um, promote that even a beginner could make one of our intermediate sewing patterns yep. because our instructions are going to take you through absolutely every step. They are also all designed for woven fabric, right. so non-stretch fabric, and you are spoiled for choice. So you can either choose a, a thin a cotton or a yeah. heavier weight, and it really does work in most of the sewing patterns. Amazing. So the A-line dress, we have the one that is on the cover of the envelope. Okay. Is the longer dress version. Oh, so you can you can. Yes. Tailor it to you is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> there are two uh, dress or skirt lengths. Yeah. The one on the pattern envelope is the longer skirt mm -hmm. and then we've had this one made up in the shorter skirt and you've actually got the fabric on the show yes, for this for one. This. Yeah. Um, so the difference between the two is, um, I mean this is, this is a cotton and um, it's not super thin but mm -hmm. it does give the garment a bit more shape. Yes. And then we've got a seven berry fabric which is really beautiful and makes it a lot more kind of luxurious. Mm. So uh, wedding outfits, evening outfit, day dress, um, yes. it's up to you. Got a lovely V neck that is finished with a facing. Okay. Um, these pieces and the front of the skirt are cut as separate pieces, but they can be cut on the fold. Right. So if you choose a fabric that is um, has kind of a big print, or you don't want a pattern match, then you could just cut both of these on the fold of the fabric. Okay. Um, they have an invisible zip at the back. Well, I can show you on this one. Oh yeah, sure. That's um, great. So there's an invisible zip. We love an invisible zip <laughs> because you don't see any stitching. Absolutely. And our tutorial on doing an invisible zip is really detailed so um, do not be afraid of zips. I was gonna say because so many people go oh my gosh is it but absolutely it's, even I have put one in yeah. and because I used to I was just saying actually this morning on one of our other sewing shows um, my hand was held if you will by the lady <laughs> running the class but I put one in and I went 
actually that's not terrifying. Yeah. It, right. it really isn't. And actually, often with the invisible zip, it's the preparation of the zip. Yeah. So you iron it and it's quite flat. Mm -hmm. And then if you have an invisible zip uh, presser foot for your sewing machine, yeah. I mean, you can put an invisible zip in with a standard zip foot. Okay. But having an invisible zip foot makes the finish absolutely incredible. So, you know, when you're doing the zip, um, oh, up, look at that. you know, I mean, you just can't see it at all if I can get that back up. That's it. <laughs> there we go. Um, so the skirt is really pretty. Um, it's lovely and full. But I would say on the bodice of the A-line, we always suggest that people make a twirl first okay. um, with the A-line just of the bodice because the waist is actually around about here. A size 12, did you mean? No, no, um, a 12. Oh, so 12, like a sorry. Of okay. the... It's because we're apart from <laughs> yeah. each other. Yeah. Um, so I would suggest making a twirl of the bodice okay. of the A-line just to see whether you need to um, lift up the the bodice a little bit. Some okay. people like a shorter bodice on the A-line. Right. Um, so worth mentioning that on that one. Okay. Um, and like you were saying, is what I like about this dress is it comes in at the waist, it's lovely yes. and fitted. Yes. Uh, and then you get that lovely flow, a yeah. little bit of a flow. Absolutely. And also, like you're saying, um, it depends on what fabrics you use. What fabrics do you like to use for this sort of dress? I actually like fabric that has a bit more weight. Okay. So these are my types of fabric. This is a seven berry, so it's still a cotton. Yes. Um, but it's just got a bit more weight, so that's what I tend to go for when I'm sewing. Nice. Um, but I've seen this made in so many fabrics. Um, you know, really the, the Thin Liberty cottons mm -hmm. right up to denim. It oh, looks wow. beautiful in a chambray. Yes. Um, and, I mean, you spoil it for choice, and that's the beauty of sewing. Absolutely. <laughs> you can go and choose your fabric, um, so just no stretch. That okay. for our patterns. And a beginner could do this one? What do you reckon? <laughs> Probably not beginner, beginner. Yes. So, um, like I was saying with our instruction books, they are very detailed. Lovely. Um, I would suggest if you are at a beginner stage is to not sew directly onto your main fabric. No, go practice sheets, practice, right? Practice, we buy um, extra wide curtain lining. Yeah. And we make all our twirls out of that. Um, it gets you to road test the instructions. That's really good. And then builds up your confidence. So, I would say... Preparation is key and it's something that we focus on the most as long as you've prepped everything and mm -hmm. cut it out beautifully What you take to the sewing machine is going to be your experience. Yes, so if you rush that beginning part Your sewing machine is going to be like sorry hey. can't help you <laughs> Fabulous. All right. Thank you very much So I will just give you the details here for the a line dr uh, dress pattern uh, So by itself it's 16 pounds and 49 pence. Uh, you've got sizes there 6 to 22 again. I'll just Turn this around you can see you've got uh, details on there as well um, So you've got the front and the back You've got all those different sizes and measurements on there. Um, and it is really a beautiful, beautiful dress. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, also, what I like that Lisa's done is she's popped on here suggested fabrics. So, like we've just been chatting, lightweight to medium weight fabrics, wovens, chambray, crepe, silk, viscose and cottons. So it's all on there, very detailed. In fact, if anything, I wouldn't mind just showing you. If I pick up, look, you, you get such a lot in the this pattern pattern. It's all there for you, really. And I have to say, it's very, very good quality. You know how you've printed it and Thank everything? You. It's luscious. So you've got, you're going to have all of your patterns there. It's all in there for you. If you do want to go for just the A-line dress, £16.49. pence. Item number is 864769. Again, we'll just recap the details of the Mega Bundle, where in it you'll get that A-line dress we've just talked about. You'll get the Raglan dress slash top. You'll get the pattern for the day dress, the pattern for the blouse, the pattern for the pyjama bottoms, and the pattern for the sundress. And they're all beautiful. Mm. So we are going to go through every single one of these patterns for you, and then Lisa's going to explain a little bit more. Uh, so if you want to go for that, you can spread the cost. That's for the Mega Bundle. Two payments of £46.47, 016215. OK, so Lisa, we've got the Raglan dress slash top next. Yes. Do you want to talk us through that? Yes, absolutely. Uh, this is our bestseller. Right. Uh, the Raglan dress. Um, it is such a great show for everybody <laughs> especially after lockdown um, it comes in different options so you have um, a short sleeve then a long sleeve version which I'll show you that's on the okay. um, rail yes but the beauty of the dress is that although it has a very wide skirt mm -hmm. it's really fitted on your bodice okay. so you don't feel like you're wearing a tent um, <laughs> you feel very comfortable in it yes. um, 
It's good for winter, summer. Again, you can wear it with tights in winter. Mm -hmm. So this one flies off the shelf. It seems to be our bestseller. Um, so with this one that's on the mannequin, we have an inner pocket. Are you, right? Are you comfortable there? Yes, I'm good. As long as you want me to move this a fraction. <laughs> that would be brilliant. Thank there you. you go. There we go. <laughs> um, okay, so we have inner pockets with this one, and this one is showing you the short sleeve. Yes. Um, it's a lovely raglan sleeve, which I is like so that. easy to sew. Okay, good. So I would say if you are a beginner, it's a great pattern, and you haven't maybe set in sleeves before, this is a really good pattern to go for. Right. It also has um, the invisible zip, <laughs> our favorite at the back. But um, let's say you were not ready to do invisible zips or zips yet. You could just put a simple um, little button and tie. Right. In okay. The back. So we can turn it into the top. Then. You can turn it into a top. Yes. There is a cutting line on the pattern sheet. Okay. Um, and if you didn't want to do the invisible zip, you could just do a little button tie at the oh, back. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So you just keep a bit open and then have a little close there. Nice. So again, it's up to you. Mm -hmm. You know, not to be afraid of the invisible zip. Here is the long sleeve version. Okay, lovely stuff. And this one has outer pockets. Oh, I like. I do <laughs> love a pocket. We all need pockets. Yes. <laughs> so it's all included in the one pattern, yeah. the raglan. And I know that you mentioned the pattern sheet. So we print on a 60 GSM okay. paper, which so it's is gonna beautiful. Last oh my goodness, beautiful to sew with. Yes. Cuts out, it doesn't tear very easily, and you can iron it on a hot iron, uh -huh. and it pins beautifully to the fabric as well. Do you know what I think about, probably one of the one of the reasons why this dress is, you know, such a bestseller is that I feel like it looks so forgiving. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. And it, like you said, it looks very comfortable. I yes. can see this. Um, like you said, yes, of course you can take it through the seasons, but as we go through into summer, Summer, I really feel like yeah. it's going to be quite a cooling dress. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, and it's, it's all about the fabric that you choose. So yes. if you choose a really lightweight fabric, this is going to just be so breezy in summer. And again, in winter, you go for a nice heavyweight yes. and wear tight. So um, we've seen so many versions of this pattern. Um, nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, individually, actually, we are now very busy for our raglan dress slash top. We are a quarter of the stock gone individually. That's how much everybody's liking it. So again, you've got your sizes. Uh, so we've got sizes 6 through to 22. Um, again, it's all on the back for you. And obviously, you get the full, um, uh, what am I trying to say, full instructions in there. Very, very detailed instructions indeed. But yes, <coughs> oh, excuse me. This one is absolutely flying out the door. Very, very busy. Um, just £16.49. Now, remember, you can get it as part of the mega bundle. But if, you're, um, if your funds or your budget can't quite stretch to that, then just go for this individually. Lovely stuff. So here's the mega bundle de details once more. You're going to get in it, you're going to get the A-line dress, the raglan dress slash top, the day dress, the blouse, the pyjama bottoms and the sundress. You can spread the cost on flexi buy. Um, it'll swizzle around in a minute. There you go. Two payments of £46.47, 016215. Now, we do have a slightly smaller bundle, should you wish. So this one will include the raglan, basically the th first three, the raglan, the A-line, and the day dress. So if you just want those three, uh, then it's £45.47. And, and again, you can spread that cost on Flexi by two payments of £22.74. 048217 is the item number. So next, we're going to talk about the day dress. So tell us a little bit about this and the fit and everything. Okay. Um, so the day dress has a fitted bodice. Yep. And then a gathered what's well, a gathered in skirt. Um, again, we have an invisible zip at the back. <laughs> you can see a trend here. Lovely. Um, it has inner pockets as well. So with this dress, um, this panel of the skirt is a rectangle. Okay, so some people prefer not to have such a tight gathered waist. Okay. Um, what you can do is you can pleat the skirt, which I've got here on this one. If you can see, that's beautiful. I love um, the fabric. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see. So this is a really lightweight yes. fabric, and again, that's a, a heavier weight. Mm. Um, but it, it's up to you. 
So you can either do the gather, the tutorial in the book will show you how to do the gathered waste. Yeah. Uh, we use elastic, so we actually put a piece of elastic across the panel. Okay. And then that just gathers it in beautifully and evenly. Um, but we also, on our blog, we have a tutorial that shows you how to pleat the panel of the skirt. Right. This dress looks amazing, um, lengthened. Okay. So you could um, add as much length on as you like. Um, we also have some extra tutorials on our blog that show different uh, sleeve versions. Yes. Lengthening the sleeve and then putting some little bows and sorts of things at the end. Uh, we have bust darts on this one and uh -huh. quite a high neck. So yes. we like the really fitted bodice on this one and then the skirt is nice and loose. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I was going to say something <laughs> then and it's just gone. Oh, oh, it was head. to do with sleeves, but I can't remember what I was going to work. Oh, I know, I know. Could you do? Could you extend the sleeves? And you know when you have those lovely little cuffs and then it's slightly pleated? Yeah, absolutely. Do you know what I mean? So this is the beauty of sewing, is that you have a base and you can then start to tailor and do pattern hacks on the pattern. Um, we're also very happy to help people. So if anyone says to us, um, we love the day dress, we want to make the sleeve into a balloon sleeve or, uh, you know, have a cuff at the end, yes. we will show you how to do that. So we love that kind of connection with our customer as well. Uh, now, okie I will have to shout a little bit because <laughs> my mic has now gone, so we're just going to cut to a freedom video while this gets sorted. <laughs> it's coming. Any minute. Have you heard of freedom? Did you know that as a freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Thank you very much for your patience. It's just one of those things. The mic lead went, there you go. Um, anyway, but we're coming back to the day dress, if you want this individually, which we've had a nice little talk around here. Um, now, size-wise, we are size 8 to 18 on this one. I mean, I think it's, again, they're all so flattering. All of these designs are just wonderful. Um, for any body shape, really, I think. Uh, again, let's turn this around so that you can see all of that detail. Once more, look at these instructions. I mean, this is great. I'll just wing this in so you're going to get all the patterns there full instructions and it is absolutely excellent um, here we go uh, so that is 16 pounds and 49 pence item number is 015501 um, again let's go back to the mega bundle 
Here we are. Remember, you can get all six of these patterns. So again, just running through, you, we've talked through so far, we, the royal we, our Lisa's talked through so far, the A-line dress, the raglan dress, which can also be a top, and also, hanging on, there's your day dress. So we're about to move on to um, our lovely blouse. Uh, then a little bit later, we'll talk about the pyjama bottoms, which looks so comfy, can I tell you? And then the sundress. So if you want all six of those, you can get them in the mega bundle that we've got. Details, right, now we've put the details for the blouse on screen at 15.99. Uh, over to you, Lisa. Again, this looks so, do you know what? I can see this in so many different occasions. Again, depending yes. on the fabric, like this could be smart office wear. Absolutely. Could be evening wear. I Absolutely. think it's beautiful. Well, that was the intention with the blouse. So we wanted to, um, we wanted to do a shirt, but then we were not wanting to do something so formal as a shirt. So we yeah. were thinking a blouse would be a great option. Um, we love wearing a blouse. We love wearing jeans and um, heels if we go out. So um, super comfortable. I've got the blouse on at the moment. Um, but because we've got kind of a complicated collar and you're doing buttons and buttonholes, we wanted to keep the rest of the blouse really straightforward and simple. Yes. So there's no dots in the blouse at all. Um, it's quite loose, so there is one on another mannequin. Um, it's quite long as well, so you can wear it loose if you want. Mm -hmm. um, the sleeve has just a little elasticated finish, uh, which is so, so easy to put oh, in. Nice and comfortable but, again. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the sleeve is three-quarter. So I've extended the sleeve on the one that I'm wearing, mm -hmm. um, but on the pattern it does finish at a three-quarter. Yes. So with this pattern you are learning how to do buttons and buttonholes. Again, once you have the correct settings on your sewing machine yeah. and you've done some tests, you keep testing on your sewing machine on some scrap fabric. Mm -hmm. um, once you have a beautiful buttonhole on your um, test, you then move to your garments. So again, it's not to be afraid of buttonholes and buttons. It's all in the preparation. Yes. You're doing a mandarin collar. We'll show you how to do that with every step. Love and that neckline. Oh, thank you. I love that neckline. <laughs> so the book, uh, the images that are in the book are photographs. Right. And what we really focus on is that each step is one instruction. Mm -hmm. We also um, use a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance and one centimeter seam allowance in yep. our sewing patterns. So we'll tell you at every step which um, seam allowance to use for that step. So that's kind of the main thing about the instruction book is that it really is slowing you down yep. and working on one part of the pattern at a time. Um, we also do block fusing with the uh, collar. Okay. So we say don't cut out the collar when you cut out the blouse. Right. Put that piece of fabric to one side. Uh -huh. Then you would interface that whole square or rectangle. Yep. Um, interface it, get that piece of fabric beautiful just before you're about to sew the collar in. Mm -hmm. Then you cut it out and you have a beautiful crisp shape to work with. <laughs> Otherwise gorgeous. a frayed piece of collar, you're like, oh, it's not going to go through the sewing machine very easily. Yeah. Um, but again, this suits a viscose, mm -hmm. something that's soft, a silk, something that's going to flow. I was going to say flow. silky, yes. yeah, something that's going to flow nicely. Um, we have seen it again in a chambray. It has, does give it a bit more structure, but because this part of the blouse is quite loose, yes, um, it it gives it a bit of a shape. If you use something that's a bit thicker, mm. um, and then the back, I'll show you the back. Yes, the back is absolutely plain. Um, and the length of the blouse probably comes down to here, so it's got quite a long mm -hmm. length in the blouse. Um, but a great make. This pattern is having an incredible moment. Yeah. Um, and we've seen a huge amount of makes. We also do a pattern of the month on our social media. Okay. So you can actually go and see what the community is making and the fabric that they're using. Mm. Um, and we have an Instagram page that's dedicated to our makers. That, that's wonderful. So that's just got all of their makes on there. So yeah. if you're looking for different fabric options, you can go and have a look there first and then buy yeah. your fabric. <laughs> are you, well, what sort of skill level are we for the blouse? I would say uh, skill to me is a difficult one because I, know, I, I, I don't um, like to brand skills. Right. I think once you are using your sewing machine mm -hmm. correctly yeah. and you're using the guides on the sewing machine to feed the fabric, right. you can really make anything. Okay. Okay. It's when you're rushing through the sewing machine and you're, you're not using the guides and you're not cutting things out. So I would say if you know how to use your machine Got you. and you can sew in a straight line, yeah. you can really make anything. Wonderful. Um, so I would say beginner, if you're confident and mm. you want to try something new, 
the blouse is a good one to go for. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Oh, I just cannot help but see this in a lovely silky satiny yes. material. Yes. yes, I think that's really glam. Yeah. Could you even um, add, if you wanted to, like some sort of bow detail to it? Absolutely, what do you think? yes. Mm. We've seen uh, someone that has put like a little ruffle at the top. Uh -huh. um, so they've obviously cut the collar in two pieces. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's up to you. I mean, you can, you can play around with it and uh, do what you like, really. That's yeah. the beauty of sewing. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Lovely stuff then. I will give you the details of the blouse. Here it is. If you want this individually, it's just £15.99. Uh, item number is 882. Uh, 892 again you've got those sizes 6 to 22 so Lisa really gives a lot of scope here uh, if you have got any questions for Lisa as ever oh have we got a question okay let me just listen to what this is um, so this is from Karen what did she say okay so um, Karen is asking we'll just come to you in a second um, are the patterns full size does that make sense? Uh, in terms of the size range? We believe so, because that's all she's put at the moment. Uh, Karen, are you able to maybe clarify? It, or maybe are you asking to see the pattern itself? Should we open one up? Yeah, yeah. Okie dokie. All right. Let's see. Now, I'm sorry about all the scrunching then that's going to go <laughs> on here. Um, and you said this is like a good weight of paper, that's didn't you? It's a beautiful weight um, to work with. Sorry about the scrunching. Hang on, we weren't expecting to do this. <laughs> but hopefully this is sort of what you mean. So it's got, it'll have all the cut lines for all the different sizes, yes, won't yes. it? So yep. what we say is give the pattern sheet a good iron before you start working with it. Have yep. it really nice and crisp. And um, then you'll look at your finished garment measurements that are included with the patterns to find your size. Yep. Um, something that's really important to note because it comes up quite often is although um, most of our patterns do go from a UK 6 to a 22, we actually don't like to refer to those standard sizes. So above all of the UK um, numbers yep. is a number from 0 to 8. Okay. So once you find your size, we say please don't assume that you're a 12 and cut out a 12 yeah. because we use a different body measurement chart as does every sewing pattern company. Uh -huh. um, Rather, ignore those UK sizes for the moment, take your measurements and find the corresponding number from 0 to 8, and that's going to be the one that you look for on the pattern sheet. Okay. So we don't say UK 6 to 22 on the pattern sheet, we right. go from 0 to 8. Okay. Um, so that just kind of avoids the assuming which size you are and then just cutting it out. Yes, lovely yeah. stuff. So Karen, sorry about the scrunching again. So Karen, hopefully that's answered your question. If it hasn't, um, <laughs> just email back in and we'll... We'll see if we can find the answer. I'm just going to put this over here, excuse me, because <laughs> that's a lot of scrunching. Thanks, Matt. Um, right, uh, so we are now coming on to our mm. fabulous pyjama bottoms here. Yes. I think, did you say these are quite new? This pattern released yesterday. Oh, very new then, very new. <laughs> so we actually timed coming on the show um, with the release of this pattern um, because the last time we were here, we were just kind of finalizing everything. Uh, we are so, so, so excited about this one because this one is aimed at beginners. Oh, good, good. So this can be the first garment you make. And um, what we've done with this instruction book is we have um, the first 10 pages of the book really, really go into detail on everything you need to know about preparing your garment to sew. Good. So we talk about fabric, lay plans, grain line, um, pinning, cutting, uh, they all sorts of tips in the book. Yep. Uh, so the first 10 pages, and I think the beauty of that is there's so much knowledge there that you'll be able to use going forward. So it's a really, really, really good starter pattern. And um, the uh, rest of the book is done as drawings. Yeah. Um, but again, on our blog, we'll do video tutorials and more tutorials showing nice. people. Um, there is a big difference between this pattern and our others. Uh, that's worth noting. So we use an overlocker. Mm -hmm. um, and what we tend to do, and we say this with all of our other patterns, is we... Um, we cut out all our pattern pieces yeah. and then we overlock them. Okay. And we like, that's how I like to sew sure. personally. Um, but with this one, because we know that most beginners don't have an overlocker, yeah. we assume that they're going to be zigzag stitching on their sewing machine. But sometimes when you zigzag stitch, um, unless you have a specific foot, mm -hmm. um, it can distort the edges of the fabric. Right. So what we've done with this book is we have said, 
um, and I'll just go to one that's going to show you exactly. So what yep. we've done is we've told you to sew. So we've said sew the pocket bag. Yeah. And then we've illustrated when to zigzag stitch. Mm -hmm. So we take you through each step as though you are using a zigzag stitch. Um, so that's why it's such a good pattern for a beginner. Good. Um, we're not assuming that you're going to overlock first. Yes. Um, but yep, super excited. This one has um, a lovely elasticated waistband. Nice. Is that easy to put in as well? It is. And I'm actually going to do a tutorial lovely. on um, some top tips. Yes, that would be <laughs> and great. And then also another option of how to do the waistband that great. is also quite easy. Um, we've got inseam pockets here, mm -hmm. um, which are really, really easy to put in. And it, it has a tie. But the beauty of this one is it's a mock tie, okay? So we do oh. create a little buttonhole there. Oh. And then the tie kind of feeds. It's a long tie, and it feeds from the one end through yep. to the other. And then you just tie it. Oh. Um, or if you don't want to do the buttonhole, you could just sew the tie mm -hmm. onto the waistband and just have the long straps. Yeah, just a or nice you, feature then. Exactly, or you can not have the tie. At all, yeah, it <laughs> so Just skip that part completely. Yes. Um, I'm going to... Try to turn it around just to show you the back. Back is nice and plain. Yeah. Um, full length, so quite a wide, relaxed fit, um, but just perfect, perfect for beginners. And I also like the shape of the leg. It just drapes yes. beautifully, yes, doesn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Really comfortable. Um, they are quite high waisted. I like that personally. <laughs> Yeah. So for me, that's an issue <laughs> because they come up too high. So we do show you in the book how to decrease um, the rise, so how to make that adjustment so that you can have a, a lower waist. Yeah. And we also have two lines on the pattern sheet that show you where to shorten the leg. Wonderful. And we show you how to do that in the book as well. Excellent. So we've covered everything. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, cool lovely beginning. Um, Karen, thank you so much for emailing back in because we want to answer all your questions. Um, so Karen is also asking, um, should you trace the patterns? Good, really, really good question. I think that depends on um, how you feel about the pattern. Okay? okay. So if you feel like you might make a few adjustments, um, for example, with a sundress that has a really fitted bodice, yeah. um, yes, absolutely trace it. Okay. Um, then you've still got your kind of master. Um, there's no harm in tracing it. And also if you want to make other sizes. I was going to say, So yeah. um, absolutely, you can use uh, tracing paper and, and trace it off. Um, so, yeah, it's up to you. Really. Excellent. Great question. Thank you, Karen. You've still got time. Um, for anybody else out there who'd like to send in, to, in, send in any questions, you can send them to uh, studio at thecraftstore.com. Right, let's wrap the pyjama bottoms up then. If you want them individually, ah, now a quarter of the stock has gone. Uh, these are brand new, launched yesterday. They're beautiful, aren't they? I think they just look so comfortable, but they also look extremely chic. Loving these. Uh, so it's sixteen pounds and forty nine pence. Um, item number is five zero nine six nine zero. Again, it's part of your mega bundle. So once more, I'll run through. Yeah, if you're liking everything we've seen so far in the mega bundle, you're going to get your A-line dress, raglan dress slash top, uh, your day dress. You're going to get the blouse. You're going to get these fabulous, the pattern for the fabulous brand new pyjama bottoms. And then, last but not least, we're going to talk about the sundress. If you want to go for the mega bundle, you can spread the cost to payments of £46.47. Uh, item number <laughs> Item number is 016215. Uh, do go to the website to see everything else that we've got. Here we go. Because so, we have got so much more to see on the website. There we go, some beautiful, beautiful patterns. Oh, and don't forget, we've also got some fabrics. We have got the Ditsy Florals, we've got the polka dots, um, we've got the lovely sort of viscose. Um, oh yeah, we've also got the books, some books on the show. There's loads on there. Oh yes, of course. Now remember, if you buy anything during this live hour, because it's one of our sewing shows, you will be entered into a big prize draw. And one lucky winner, the name will be announced during the five o'clock show in a few hours time. And you can win all this. Yes, over £800 worth of goodies. There's a sewing machine in there worth £249. You've got the sewing machine bag. You've got interfacing, wadding, patterns tools for your sewing there's all and some hand cream i have to keep adding that in uh, right so you'll get that uh, somebody will win that which is just a really substantial prize and crazy right 
So um, the sundress. Let's now talk about the sundress, if we may. Yes. Oh, this is my, this might be my favourite. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, a really pretty dress. We wanted a, a super pretty dress, but again, this one you could wear to work with a little blazer. Yeah. You. This is a great wedding outfit mm. or picnic outfit. Um, so we have a fitted bodice. Uh, we do have a little dart in there, and a button down front. Um, wide straps, but again, if you would prefer a thinner strap. It's up to you, you just put a thinner strap in. Um, a very pleated skirt, so this on is so floaty and, and summery. We have pockets, of yep. course. <laughs> we do love a pocket. Um, now, this mannequin's a little bit wobbly, so I'm not going to try and turn it around too much, but there is an invisible zip at the back. Okay, lovely. However, you don't have to put the invisible zip in if you can if you're putting the button front okay um, and you can pop it over your head oh, um, right. but some people like to not do the button holes and they like to sew the button front closed so you just sew a row of stitching down here mm -hmm. and then just pop some buttons on so it still looks like you have a button front yes and then you would need the zip in the back um, so a really pretty dress um, a little bit more complicated because we've got the bodice here, this panel, yeah. but and it needs interfacing, so we do um, show you how to do the block fusing again, which yeah. makes a huge, huge difference, and a one centimetre seam allowance here, so mm. a little bit more technical sewing, yeah. um, but our instructions are super, super detailed for this pattern, so we do take you through every, every step. Um, so that's one of our favourites too. <laughs> I was just thinking, I reckon this would also look nice with just a, you know, a thin belt around yes, it. absolutely. Just absolutely. as a little accessory. Yeah, yeah. Such, and such a good time of the year for this dress as yes. well. I think on the sewing bee, there was a big focus on button-down oh, front right. dresses, okay. so that's having a bit of a um, Revival? focus yeah, yes, yeah, at yeah. the moment, the button-down sundress. <laughs> uh, nice, but it's beautiful. I like Thank the flow you. to the skirt as yeah. well. Um, I would say with this one, for everybody is to make a, a twirl of the bodice. Now tell me what that is. Okay, yeah. so um, you're going to find your size and cut out your pattern or trace it. That's yeah. up to you. But you're basically making it out okay. of a scrap fabric but the fabric that you make it out of needs to be a similar weight to the fabric you're going to be using right okay. okay so it's to test it okay to test the fit um, perhaps you might find some gaping at the underarm or it's a little bit tight or loose on the bodice so yeah that's really to show you how the fit is going to look and then nice. you start to make your adjustments to the pattern sheet before you cut out your fabric so right. that's just to avoid disappointment yes and uh, there's nothing worse than cutting into beautiful fabric especially mm -hmm. if it's expensive and then the fit isn't quite right yeah. so with this one because there is so much um, going on with the bodice yes. we do suggest that people make a 12 first Wonderful. Thank you very much. So yeah. if you would like to go for the sundress individually, that is £16.49. Uh, again, you have got your sizes 6, till 20, 6 to 22. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Again, if you've got any questions, you've still got time. You've still got time to send your questions to studio at the craft star craftstore.com oh apparently we have had lots of questions come in um, <laughs> lovely stuff so um, uh, Ross is going to tell me so just while you're demoing maybe I can ask you if yeah, that's alright that would yes. be lovely um, right so what would you like to demo ok so I'm just going to take this one off the off the rail ok um, so I would say especially if you're a beginner um, and I keep focusing on preparation because that is the absolute most important thing with sewing. Okay. Um, I, I kind of grew up wanting to just sew. Right. So I skip past all the preparation and okay. I just quickly cut out my pattern and um, often had disappointment. Because so you things learned the hard way. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so that is something that I focus on a lot. And especially if you're a beginner with the waistband, because the thickness of the elastic that we use um, is three centimeters wide, yep. um, you know, it needs to fit in to the waistband, okay? So with this, you can't um, sew wobbly or you can't sew over the seam allowance yep. that we've given you, otherwise the elastic isn't gonna fit. Okie dokie. May I ask you, Lisa, yes. just for camera purposes, yes, of course. can we swap what your, where the black trousers are yes. and sort of shuffle everything this side yeah, and then course. so the trousers that you're working on can go the other way? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is that all right, our director? 
A little bit more, <laughs> she's saying, if you possible, if possible. Oh, let's get that hanger out of the way. Thank you. Sorry. No, that's okay. This is the thing with um, our new our restrictions, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. There we go. There we yep, go. Yeah, perfect. Amazing. Thank you. Thank okay. you, Lisa. All right. So, um, just some tips when you are at this point of the garment. So, um, when you cut out the waistband, make sure that it is cut out really accurately. Okay, so you have a beautiful cut out waistband. And seam allowances are key here. And on your sewing machine, I know it's difficult to show you, but you have um, seam allowance guides on your sewing machine. And as long as you're using them to sew an accurate seam allowance, then yep. your waistband is going to fit in beautifully. Okay? Right. So um, with the waistband, you have um, joins. So you have your side seam joins, mm -hmm. and then the center back is joined. So you're going to join your waistband together first. Yes. Um, so it's really important that you're using the seam allowances that are in the sewing pattern. Okay. Um, and then you're going to sew, oh, sorry, you're going to fold the waistband in half. This is before it's attached to the yep. garment. So you give a nice fold. So you've got a nice folded edge on your waistband. And then I will just skip to this point. Okay. So your waistband... Do you mind if I turn these inside out? No, of course not. <laughs> While you're turning that inside yes, out, we have, we have had a question, a question come in. Um, so from Penny, hello, good afternoon, Penny. Now, she's asking for the um, pyjama bottoms, does the pattern tell you how to lengthen as well as shorten? Yes, it Excellent. does. Excellent. It does. There's a whole page dedicated to um, trouser length and rise length, so we will yeah. show you both. That's good. So if you're a leggy bird, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so... You would, at this point, you would slide the waistband over onto the trousers, so the, it's right sides together, and you will join up the, um, you would fold the seam allowances of the waistband yep. and the trousers so that they match up together. Okay, so these are all the parts that if you just really slow down, you're going to have a beautiful waistband. Yes. So when you sew the waistband in, it's a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. And this is the most important part, this very first stage here mm -hmm. of the waistband, because if this is sewn in accurately, when you come to finishing the waistband, it will sew beautifully. Right. Okay? Yeah. So we don't want to use a different seam allowance or kind of start on one and it's just then not going to work. So Firstly, you're going to sew 1.5 centimeters mm -hmm. all the way around. And then you will, on your ironing board, and again, I'm going to have to turn them <laughs> That's all right. the other way around again. It's all good. No, so, it's nice to have such an in-depth explanation. You yeah, know. I think because this is the part that um, it's important and yeah. it's going to really make a difference to how your waistband looks. Mm -hmm. So I would actually slide this over onto your ironing board. Okay. okay. So your ironing board's in there. And then you're going to use a measuring tape. And you're going to iron over 1.5 centimeters. Okay. As you're working your way around the waistband, keep checking that your measurement is 1.5, so it's accurate all the way around. Yeah. Because what's going to happen next is, I'm just going to see if that's the best way to show you. You see this line of stitching that we did in the previous step okay? yeah what we're doing is we're ironing the um, seam allowance mm -hmm. up towards the waistband so right. you're going to give that a beautiful iron and then this folded edge that you've just ironed mm -hmm. is going to fold over so that the edge is just on top of the stitches got you okay yeah so then I'll just pin this quickly to show that's you. a big needle well the beauty the of pin, these I mean. yeah. <laughs> pins is that you can, because they're so long, you can see them right, from good. the other side. Because you're actually going to sew the waistband on the right side. Okay. okay you're not going to sew it on this side. So we would say first um, line up all your joins. Mm -hmm. So the join of the waistband to the join there, the side seam join of the trousers. Yep. And then you're going to pin that in place. But you want to see the kind of the head of the pin sticking out the top yeah okay because you're going to be sewing this from the right side so really take your time here can you see because i've ironed it so well mm. it all just kind of sits, sits in nicely place. yes um and as long as your edge of your waistband is just on top of those stitches and you're putting pins to hold it in place when it comes to the sewing it will sew in beautifully yeah beautiful. so these pins become anchors yeah so now what you'll do is once you've pinned it all the way around you'll turn it over mm -hmm. and you'll sew on this side that's it yeah. there we go yeah 
yep. sew on the side. So your row of stitching, and I would say to increase your seam, your stitch length, mm -hmm. so you don't want a tiny little stitch, I would increase it so you have a beautiful big stitch, and you're going to start sewing just two, three mil millimeters away from that edge okay. there. Yes. And then you're sewing all the way along, working on a small piece at a time, um, and just checking that everything is nice and flat as you're sewing. And then hopefully you have a beautiful waistband. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, but that's kind of the top tips for that, okay. getting the waistband. But again, our instruction book does take you through every step. Um, Lovely. Okay. I should just do a quick recap. Yeah, now, absolutely. If I may. Okie doke. So we've got on the screen for you, um, if you want the pyjama bottoms individually, so this is brand new, literally launched yesterday. Uh, it's Look how comfortable this looks. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, I'm just going to check if we've got any more questions as well, because that would be cool. We've got about 10 minutes left. Okay, so we've got these uh, wonderful pyjama bottoms for $16.49, I believe that was. But however, you can find it in the Mega Bundle, now where you're getting every single pattern. Uh, so we've got the A-line dress. Uh, you've got the raglan dress slash top, the day dress, the blouse, next to the pyjama bottoms, and then finally we've got the sundress. So if you want to go for the whole collection, uh, you can spread the cost to payments of £46.47 and, uh, and your item number is 016215. Lovely. We've had another question from Christine. Hello, Christine. She's asking about the blouse. How do you alter the sleeve length? Oh, uh, super easily. Um, the sleeve length is when you have the pattern piece of the blouse out, the sleeve is straight at the bottom. Okay. So actually, all you're doing is just adding on the length that you need okay. because it's all gathered into the elastic. So. Um, there is another short and lengthened line that you can use, uh -huh. but um, so, so easy oh, that's to good. lengthen the sleeve on the blouse. Um, and it's all in the instructions, yep, it's all fine. Absolutely, all and we're there. here to help if you need help. Nice. <laughs> okay, so we've got less than 10 minutes left. Did you want to just show something on? I noticed you picked the, the black yes. trousers up. A uh, couple of things just on the pyjama bottoms. Sure, yeah. Um, I know that we have called them the pyjama bottoms, but they actually don't have to be only pyjama bottoms, so they yep. can be trousers too. Yep. Um, so here we've made them in a beautiful black um, fabric, which is not great for TV, but um, here we've made them without any tie. Okay. So they also make a gorgeous pair of trousers. And if you aren't a beginner, they will just come together so quickly. So yep. if you're looking for a quick sew um, and something light for summer, it's a really good one. Um, just a quick one on the waistband. If you are feeling a bit intimidated mm -hmm. by how to put the waistband in, we will be uh, offering another tutorial on a, another way of putting the waistband in, oh, which great. is where you're not actually turning in. There we go. Oh, perfect. Thanks. Um, where you're not turning in the waistband like I've just demonstrated. Uh -huh. You're just um, folding it over, and then it's called stitching in the ditch. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're just sewing from the right side a line of stitching in there so mm. it ta just takes it down another notch in terms yeah. of ease um, so that will be on our blog as okay. an additional tutorial too excellent so i think it might be worth we've got a few minutes left um, am i right in saying that that is the a-line dress yes. behind you should we uh, if if anybody hasn't seen yet yes. um, maybe we could quickly talk through that lovely dress okay Doug. so this one um we have a beautiful v-neck um it comes into uh skirt lengths so this is the shorter skirt yeah um it's important to note that um We've got fabric that matches oh, yes, this, of course, so um, yeah. you can make this in lightweight or heavyweight. A really lovely wedding dress outfit. Um, it does have an invisible zip at the back, which we will show you how to do. Nice. Um, really easy. Uh, it has got an extended bodice, so uh -huh. if you want a shorter bodice, you can take some That's measurements good. off the... And inner pockets <laughs> and a lovely flared skirt. Yes, beautiful. Thank All you. righty then, if you would like to go for the A-line dress individually rather than in the bundle, then we can do that for you. It's £16.49. and pence. It ranges from size 6 to size 22. Um, and, of course, you can lengthen it. So on here, you've got the longer length. And obviously on the mannequin, we had the shorter length. But I think individually, very affordable prices. Um, so the item number that you'll be needing is 864-2242.
01484 Next then, we come to, like you said, um, the bestseller. <laughs> and it's no, it's no exception here, yeah. we're being told. So this is the raglan dress that you can turn into a top. Absolutely. Um, so there's a cutting line for a top. I would just check your measurements to make sure that it is long enough for you. Yeah. Um, and obviously add some on. We have a bust dart, but a beautiful fit. So a raglan sleeve really does bring the bodice in mm -hmm. on your um, bust and is so, so easy to put in. We actually also have a little dart on the sleeve, which yeah. just kind of makes everything a bit more fitted. Um, this dress has inner pockets or the option to put outer pockets on. I like that. Yes. See that? <laughs> and uh, a longer sleeve, again, it's three quarter, mm -hmm. or a shorter sleeve and um, the top version. We do have it finished with an invisible zip, mm -hmm. but if you don't want to do zips, you can do just a little button close at the back. That's so, lovely. Um, a beautiful sleeve to work with if you are a beginner. Why do you think this is such a bestseller? What do you reckon? I think it's the fit. I think yeah. that it, it's forgiving, but you don't feel like you're wearing an oversized dress. Yes. You know, it's, it still has such a lovely shape. Mm -hmm. um, and because the weight or the, the kind of fullness of the skirt is distributed evenly, yeah. um, it's not kind of that shape. Right. You do feel like um, you're wearing something full, but not full. Yes, I know what you're saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? I do. Um, so, yep, I think that's what it is. And it's versatile. Mm -hmm. You know, you can wear it in winter and... Uh, summer and you can make it into a top so you know this one is just such a great pattern excellent thank you right then so for this pattern individually uh, it is 16 pounds and 49 pence this has been so popular individually um, you are ranging from size 6 to size 22 on this one uh, 1649 item number is 687879 Lovely. Next, then, we're coming along to the day dress. Do you want to chat us through this? <laughs> I do. We have a mannequin that has a life of its own. Oh, so dear. I'm gonna just I hold on. It's going to be all right. <laughs> um, so a beautiful fitted bodice on the day dress. It has a higher neckline. But mm -hmm. again, you can decrease the neckline if you want something. Um... <laughs> Sorry. Is this one of ours? It's mine, actually. Oh, um, so a pleat, well, a gathered skirt, but again, this is a rectangle. So if you wanted to pleat the rectangle to fit into the bodice, you uh -huh. can do that. Yep. We have a blog tutorial that shows you how to. Um, we've got the inner pocket. Yep. And so. this dress looks so beautiful, lengthened. Right. So right down, um, you know, to your ankle. It's just such a beautiful summer dress. Um, again, it has an invisible zip at the back. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you don't want to do the invisible zip, you can finish it with a little button close. Yeah. Um, so really pretty dress. It summer. is, isn't it? <laughs> Lovely stuff. Uh, right, so then for the day dress, if you want to go for this individually, £16.49 once more. It is a beautiful little dress, isn't it? So sweet. We're ranging this time from sizes 18 to... No, 18. From sizes 8 to 18. That's better. Um, and your item number is 015504. Then, moving along then, we've got the blouse. I love the blouse. I just, and I love it. In, <laughs> what material have you used there? Um, so this is viscose. Yeah, it's, um, it's got such a lovely flow it does. to it. It really it? does work with a, a soft fabric. I mean, I'm, I think this is just also a viscose. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen it in a chambray though, um, and it just totally changes the style of the pattern. Yes. Um, really simple. You know, the rest of the pattern is um, simple because we want to focus on teaching you how to do the mandarin collar and yep. buttonholes. Um, so please don't be afraid of buttonholes. You know, once you have the setting correct on your sewing machine, mm -hmm. you'll be surprised at how easy they are. Um, we have additional tutorials on buttonholes and how to put them in. Um, Three-quarter sleeve with an elasticated finish. Yep. Um, but again, you can lengthen the sleeve. You can put a cuff on if you like. Mm -hmm. um, it is quite full. Yep. So, you know, when the pattern is opened, um, you, can, you can do what you like, really, with the bottom. Um, nice and loose, so it works really well tucked into jeans or yep. on its own. We've also seen someone extend it into a dress. Oh, amazing. Yeah, so we were like, oh, we need to make one. Yeah. <laughs> See, but it looks incredible, and I don't think they did any alterations because you have um, the bottom of the blouse is quite wide. And then I guess so you could put a little absolutely. tie belt around. No, it looks incredible, uh, yeah. so maybe we'll do that as a pattern hack. Sounds good, sounds <laughs> good. Uh, £15.99 then is the price. 
882892 is your item number. Um, are we able to see enough of our lovely pyjama bottoms from there? What do we reckon? Yeah, yeah, lovely. We can do this because we're quickly running out sure. of time. So, so this is our, our new, new release, yes. just released yesterday, aimed at beginners, um, but also a quick make if you want to make them. Um, not only pajama bottoms, you can make them as, you know, loose linen trousers. We've got inseam pockets mm -hmm. and an elasticated waistband. Yep. Different options of putting in the waistband depending on, you know, which one you want to do. Uh, a mock tie, so you don't have to have the tie yep. or you can use buttonholes to put the tie through. Um, but lovely and loose, we're going to teach you how to decrease or increase the rise. Yeah. And also uh, the leg length. So to shorten yeah. or lengthen. So really, really, really good pajamas, yeah. bottom beginner pattern. Amazing. <laughs> uh, Sixteen pounds. Are we going to do it? Do you reckon we can do it? Sixteen pounds and forty-nine pence. Then item number is five zero nine six nine zero. Um, last but not least, I tell you what. Just while they're being swapped out, I'll give you the details of the next one that we're going to have like about twenty seconds to talk about. <laughs> um, but this is um, the beautiful, beautiful sundress. Right. So we've got twenty seconds, Lisa. Super <laughs> quick, um, lovely bodice. Um, I think if you can see, it does have a little panel. So um, it, I would suggest making a twirl of the bodice to check the fit. Yeah. Um, but we have beautiful button down front with an invisible zip at the back. Yeah. We've got a pleated skirt with inner pockets. Amazing. You don't have to do the button down front. You can just sew that closed and have the zip at the back. Excellent, <laughs> excellent timing. That's brilliant, Lisa. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Been, been a pleasure. Oh, um, don't forget, you can go for the big bundle. Just check out on the website. Oh, next, the studio is going to start smelling absolutely divine because we have got our crafty kitchen. I uh, can't wait to, well, I can't wait to smell these gorgeous sauces. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace. And so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia. And along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers. And that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. On the Dreamies shows, we hope to further inspire you with all the techniques and tips that we can offer, hopefully getting you to use all of your inks, your flower making techniques, and really build on all the skills you probably already have. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dies and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows. A 
very good afternoon to you. I hope you are well. I have been so excited for this show. I really, really have. I can wax lyrical about these products because I've used them at home. And I know what you're thinking. I'm one step ahead of you. You've got, oh yeah, of course you're going to say that. You work on show. I generally have. Check out my social medias. Uh, there we had a um, Curry Nights and I've had some of the sauces. Uh, they were on the dining room table. They were there. We've used them. They are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, once again, just give me 15 minutes of your time. I know this is something slightly different, but it's different in a good way. I'm now thinking giftables for that certain person that's hard to buy for in your family. I'm also thinking about those bottom drawer gifts that you don't really know what to get someone. Or now we can start inviting people round in the garden, I agree, but soon we'll be able to invite them indoors as well. What a way to open up your home with a taste sensation is what you're getting here all in. Maybe you've just got into cooking. Over lockdown, you've just started the wonderful world of cooking. Um, I have. I've just started um, learning how to cook properly and cook healthily for myself. Once again, there's no added extras in these. So they're nut free, they're gluten free, they're wheat free, they're vegan friendly as well. I want to get that out straight away. Okay? And they're authentic. We'll tell you more as we go on. They're not filled with water to bulk out the packaging or anything like that. I didn't touch a thing. Did not touch a thing. Why I sort this, let's introduce our guest for the hour. How are you, buds? Hi, uh, yeah, good, thank you. You? I'm really, you really well, really well. Once again, as you know, because we spoke off air and we, we spoke in the old social medias that we've got I there. I did. Um, I love what you bring us and I love the product as well. But let's take it all the way back for those people that may be join, just joining us for the first time. Because this all started from your mum's recipe. This is a genuine yeah. recipe. This is, um, this is exactly what we used to, what my mum used to send me. So the sauce is here, this is what I used to get. So what happened was I was, um, I was at university, um, Stafford University. And um, mum, mum would send me up these these packages. You know, I, was, I said to mum that I really want to. I'm missing homemade food. I'm missing the proper stuff. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna try and yeah, multitask here, Adam. So you go just away. so people know, I'm, I'm using. You go I'm just gonna it. marinate some chicken while we're talking, guys. Um, so what we did was I um, just popping this in here. Um, mum sent me this um, these containers of curry sauce up for me to use. As I as I did that. Um, started making it, my friends sort of cottoned on to what I was doing. They then said, yeah, good, just have a bit of that. And, and I ended up, um, yeah, I ended up, they ended up nicking it from me, so I ended up <laughs> selling it to them. Um, and that is how, that is how um, Punjabin was born. Um, so that was, uh, that was 10 years ago now. Um, Mum, it's still that same recipe. It's still that same homemade magic. Um, it is, yeah, it is. I mean, when I say... When people say, well, it's just a jar of sauce, to me, I've physically seen firsthand that this is my mum's experience of all those meals all over the years that she's cooked for us as a family that's been passed down to her is, is all in this jar. All this magic is in there. So it's not just a curry sauce. It's my mum's curry sauce, and that makes a huge, huge difference. And it's authentic as well. When we talk authenticity, it is authentic. As we've just said there, it is one of these things uh, that has been passed down. And this is not made in, uh, and in bulk. And you know what I mean by that? that you are still relatively a small company, yet yeah, you are growing and you're getting bigger and bigger because you're now in farm shops and things like that and you go round the country uh, with your little stalls that you've got there, which are for, you're in over 400 stores alone, but you're still, there's only six of you in the business that put all this together. That's right, yeah, absolutely. So I feel like we're in, we're in exactly that right, that, right, that right kind of space um, where it's not mass produced, as you say, but we, you know, we sort of, we found our feet where we know what we're doing. I'm just doing this marriage, so I've just added some of the, uh, the cream. The so marriage. what have you added so far? So you've added the chicken, you've added some of the cream. What was so, the paste that you so, put in there? So I put the, um, I use the garlic, this one's a garlic one. There's the three types as we know, but um, this is the garlic marinade. All I've done is a packet in there, um, a bit of cream and a bit of chicken. Simple as that, and I'm just, and I'm just whisking. One thing I want to say to the viewers and to you, Adam, yeah, is a little disclaimer. Oh. I can't cook. I've put oh, okay. on a cooking show. This is going to be good. So anybody who's watched the shows before, 
uh, loads, my lovely wife Simran is normally on with me. And so we normally, she'll be doing the cooking and, I, and as you can obviously tell, I'm not short of a word. So I do the, uh, I do the talking. So this one, um, I'm, they've, they've been very brave in letting me do the cooking. So if you, if you, if you need, need £250, <laughs> Record this, you'll be able to send it to you being framed after. <laughs> they did tell me this in production that you're on your own today. I was like, really? really? He's cooking on his own. <laughs> so this is gonna, this is, um, yeah, this is, uh, it's gonna be interesting. But the idea being, if I can do it, guys, you can definitely do it. Well, that, and that's the thing, isn't it? and uh, I know we talk quite blasé about it as well, but if we can do it live in the studio, and if you're not really a cook, so far, it's just a case of um, putting sauce into a bowl with a bit of chicken. If you don't like chicken, you could use something else if you're a vegetarian and things like that. And we've just added a bit of cream. And so far, that is our marinade. Now, with the marinades, do we need to let them sit? Do we need to let them sit overnight? Do we get a better flavour with them? Or is it because that flavour is so intense in the packet, we can use them straight away? You, you can absolutely use it straight away. So minimum, um, minimum kind of, if you just let it sit for, say, five minutes like I am here, it tastes beautiful. It really, really does. If you're slightly more organised, then you can say, well, actually, I know dinner tomorrow is going to be a barbecue or on the... Then brilliant. Then it, 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 it does give it another level if you can obviously let it sit in the flavour and stuff. But if you, by equal rights, if you're getting home and you think, I'm just going to use that marinade today, it comes out beautifully really as nice. well. You'll see, you'll see as it comes. What are we up to now, then? So Multitasking I'm, now. Yeah. So I'm going to um, just pop on um, some of the butter. So I'm just, I'm just pre-doing what I'm going to do. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put in some oil into the pan and I'm just going to uh, pop the tikka masala sauce into the pan here. Okay. Just, so, um, just to let it heat up. Now, there is a slight difference, um, and this is, this is sort of going back to the authentic way, if you like. Normally, if you buy a jar of curry sauce uh, from one of your supermarkets, what it will say to you is, fry your chicken off first and add your sauce. Yeah. As far as I know, and I don't want to offend anyone here, but that's sacrilege. Oh, really? What that does is that seals your flavour out. Now, oh. what I want to do, or what, what I think the authentic way is, is to cook your flavour in. And I so, never thought of this So before. this is why. So what we do, and this is where it comes back to, we don't add any water. So you'll have enough of a body in the sauce itself to be able to pop in. So if I, if I start, if I add this in here, and if you can see that there... There you go. That's a good that. view. Um, so you can actually see the onions, the ginger, the garlic. You can actually see that in there. It's not a, um, a soupy sauce. I'm just going to add a little bit. I'm going to let that heat up for a minute or so. While we let you heat that up, yep. we are going to quickly go through the... We are busy already on these. We're changing piece slightly on this because we are ridiculously busy. And I want to let you know what you're getting. So... Your mild option that we're talking about, so this is your mild option so far. Uh, you're getting uh, the jars themselves that we're going to go through now. So you're getting your classic sauce uh, that's already in there. So this is in the mild, so you're getting your mild classic sauce. Uh, which is there. Then you've got your Bombay potato uh, curry sauce as well. Uh, then the best-selling butter chicken curry sauce that you've got in there, which is my favourite by far. I absolutely adore it. Bro, I've been doing it the wrong way. I cut my chicken off first and it goes sort of white and then I put it in. Uh, yeah. But I'll be trying something different uh, when we get home this evening. Then we move on to the marinade itself. Now, you've got your classic marinade. Uh, which is in the middle. First time I've seen the marinades on the show. I've not seen them before, but then you've got your marinades uh, on there that we can use for your barbecue as well. Uh, but from then, we go back to your chutneys now. <gasps> this is where I get excited. And if I wouldn't get told off, I'd be opening these now. Uh, this is, because we really would, uh, this is your uh, Papa Dom chutney, and you've got your sweet mango, uh, sweet mango chutney in there. They are literally... The, the best chutneys I have ever tasted. And I'm going to put that out there. And it's not one of these things that you say lightly, when, especially when you're doing a job like this. It's very rare that you just go out and go, it's one of the best I've ever eaten. It really is. And then we've got the handmade, handmade naan breads, which is you've got your tandoori and you've got your garlic and coriander that's in here as well. Now, you know they're handmade, and I asked the question before, I was like, was the first time I've seen these um, naan breads? I said, uh, uh, 
Well, how do you do them? They're, not, they're handmade, Adam. Of course they are. I said, look, they can't be all handmade, surely. He said, the easiest way of telling them, they're all sort of different size. If you look at naan breads in your supermarket stores, they're all exactly the same size because they've been put through a machine. These have been handmade, so they've been pulled on their own. So each single one has been made, then popped in uh, to the container, into the bag itself. Uh, 18 pounds, and look at that price. 18.99 for three meals, two chutneys, four garlic breads, and you also get your marinade in there as well. Give over. All dispatched to you on the 17th of May. And as my nana always says, a good things are all worth waiting for. Uh, so this is what you're getting in your mild. Now, I'm a mild. 10% has already gone in the mild. I'm a mild sort of boy. I don't like anything too spicy. For me, all these were fine. You know what I'm like with spice. I'm not a big spice fan. Uh, but I was fine with all of this combination. Absolutely adore it. And for barbecues and things like that, you are good to go. Right then, let's move on. If you're thinking, maybe you've tried your mild before and you're thinking, I'd like the mild. I wanna, I'm going to test my palate. I'm going to push myself that little bit further. You've got people coming around. You're doing a big old meal and you want different meals. Well, let's go for the mild. Now, your, uh, your medium, sorry. This is your medium option uh, that we're looking at now. So you've got your medium classic curry that's in there. You've got your Bombay potato again, which is from the mild collection. So that one's, uh, so you're going to get one of those as well. Then you're getting your tikka masala in your curry sauce. Oh, it's beautiful. Then, you're, now these are slightly different this time. You're getting your papadam chutney that you you got in your first one but this time you're also getting your mango and apple once again mango and apple another one of my favorites i can literally sit there uh, how bad does this sound of an evening with a little packet of chips you know like the, the dorito ones with one of these open before i know where i am i've demolished the jar it is literally gone they are they are beautiful then We've got a different marinade in here as well. This is garlic infused uh, tandoori marinade. If now think about your barbecues, start thinking about your skewers that we're currently making at the moment uh, here in the studio. The smells are divine. They really, really are. And then you've got the same naan breads in there, your tandoori, and you've got your garlic and coriander breads as well that's in there. Remember, you're getting two of your naan breads, which I absolutely adore, 18 pounds and 99 pence, 864065. Each one has got a separate item number that's already on there. Uh, your dispatch date of this one is the 17th of May once again. Remember, your health and safety notice, um, they are gluten, dairy and nut free as well. Uh, so they're vegan friendly, they're dairy free, nut free, veg uh, wheat free, gluten free and there's no added sugars thrown in. So there's good for everyone. Oh, that's only in the sauces. There's a few in the chutneys, uh, but I'll tell you that as we move on. Let's move on now to our final option. This is the hot that we're looking at now. Now in this one, you've got your hot classic curry that's in there. From your hot classic curry, we move on to your Bombay potatoes. Uh, that's a repeat that's in all of them. Then from there, you've got your nada chili curry sauce that's in there as well. That is your really hot one. You've got three chilies uh, on the bar. Uh, you've got different chutneys thrown in with this one. You've got mango and apple uh, chutney with this one is what we're looking at with this. And you've got your lime pickle as well. You're getting a marinade thrown in. You're getting a marinade thrown in with all of them. Uh, this time, though, that smells delightful. Uh, this is uh, your nana chili infused tandoori uh, paste that you're getting in there. And you get the, gar uh, the garlic and coriander naan. And you also get the chili naan as well. 864065 is your item number for this one. 18 pounds and 99 pence is what you are looking at uh, for all of these. Um, it's worth having a little look at all of them. Go for where your flavours, where you flavour best, as it were. If you're not really the big old chilli fan that you've got there, I would personally go for the mild, if it was me. Um, um, the medium, sorry. I'd be going for the medium. If you like things a little bit spicier, go for the mild, or you've got the very hot as well. Uh, it's neck and neck between the mild and the medium. People are being adventurous out there. That's what we like. Uh, as I said, it's something slightly different. It's a slightly different hour than we normally have for your crafting, but cooking is a craft. Cooking is a something that you can lose yourself in. The same as card making. You lose yourself into another world, or some people lose their world in the kitchen as well.
Uh, right then, let's go back uh, to Agoshi to see where we're up to. So, so far we've marinated the chicken, um, we've put the sauce in the pan, what are we up to now? That's right, so I've all I've done is just added a little bit of, um, little bit of water into our tikka. So we've just got this really nice, uh, kind of lovely consistency here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a double bubble there, Adam. I'm going to give you a double bubble. I am going to add in the marinated chicken. So if you buy one of these packs, everyone's getting the marinade. So you can do this if you like. I'm going to put, actually put in the marinated raw chicken into the, into the pan here. Okay. And then you're getting double bubble flavour. So you're getting all that that marinated flavour, you're getting all the flavour of the sauce there. Um, just give me one second to do me out. Um, so, we're going to get amazing, amazing flavours from this. So in there you have, so what I've also, just a little tip here, we only ever use chicken thigh really. We never use um, chicken breast if we're doing chicken, because that's, that's where you get, you get a lot of flavour. So at the same time, so that's going to now just bubble away. It's as simple as that. Um, I'll add a bit of coriander to it. I'll add a bit of cream to it. And I've, I've just done some, um, some grounded almonds. All different options. But you're right, you can really lose yourself in this kitchen process. You can really say, well, actually, let me express myself through my cooking. That's true. There's nothing saying, well, I've added my chicken and my sauce. Well, maybe you like it slightly more um, with a bit more coriander. Maybe you like it with a bit more paprika. Maybe... If you've been experimenting through lockdown, you can really express yourself through these recipes. Let me play devil's advocate. I love this game so far, playing devil's advocate. Yeah. I've played it every day so far. Uh, let me play devil's advocate and sit on the fence for the people at home. Maybe okay. you're not a meat eater. Maybe you're a vegetarian. And the minute you say, I'm a vegetarian, you go, OK, where do I go now then? Because everything, so it's all meat-based and things like that. What other things can we add to the sauces if we don't eat meat? So one thing, one thing is, is really um, important here. I think, I think the statistic, now I can't, no, I can't really uh, tell you the exact statistic, it's something like 75% or more people in India are vegetarian. Okay. So we've got, to, we've got to know a good veggie curry. So this is vegan. These are all vegan as they are. Now you could do chickpeas, you could do kidney beans, you could do um, potatoes. So I'm going to make up a Bombay uh, potato and spinach curry um, in this session. So that would be a nice side dish or a main, depending on however you wanted to that, the possibilities are endless, really are. Um, we, you know, there are so many different styles um, that you can take this. It's not just a jar and a sauce and, and add your meat and that's it. And if I don't, if I, you can really use this to, to express yourself in, in either veggie, vegan options or meat options. Can we throw in, if we wanted to, sort of things like noodles and things like that, if we, were, if we wanted to be a bit more adventurous and we didn't want to put the meat in there, so we wanted the meat and we wanted to make Could we use it like one of those sauces that you can see in the shop? Absolutely. So we've, um, noodles we've done before, pasta salad's one of my favourite, Bombay potato in a pasta salad. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Um, I don't know, you haven't seen this, have you? No, I Sorry, I'm going off camera here, aren't I? Why don't we do this now, just so we're um, a Bombay potato pizza, tandoori chicken pizza. Give away. How about that? That will be my lunch. So let's have a, let's have a go here. Not that I'm going to eat anything. Um, so what we need to do is I'm just going to coat the pizza. Oh, my word. Look at this. I'm just going to use this. The I'm reason gonna... I asked about noodles, it was more for me. Because <laughs> uh, I'm yeah. a big fan of it's quick and easy. You cook your chicken, you throw your noodles in, you throw your sauce in. It's a nice in. I've just found this, if you put peanuts in as well, it makes it even better. This, this is an absolute beautiful dish, just for and and, and quite quirky dish. Uh, either, even if you've got guests coming around, but I'm thinking, imagine you've had a hard day at work. It's quite you know, you just need something really quick. I can make this in ten minutes. So what's that? You, is that one of the naans you're using? So this is the naan bread that you're getting in the pack. Okay. This is the Bombay potato that you're also getting in the pack. And now I'm just going to pop on some um, some. We get the Bombay potatoes in every kit, so we can do this so far. So far, so good. Absolutely. This is what I was thinking. So um, I'm going to pop on some, um, some veggies. Okay. I'm going to also use the chicken, the marinated chicken from here. Oh. And I'm going to make a tandoori chicken pizza. I mean, it's different. It's, you know, you can really try different things. Um, it's, you know, that's, that's the way, that's the way it oh, should be, this eh? This looks amazing. The smells in the studio are phenomenal.
They really, really are. They're absolutely beautiful. Look at this, a splash of colour. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go without the cheat, because I'm actually dairy intolerant myself. OK. So I'm gonna, I might eat this afterwards, Sam, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go without the cheese. <laughs> I don't think you will. <laughs> You've got to beat me to it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that's, yeah, so that's literally, that's it there. I'm just going to wait for the chicken to be um, sort of cooked a little bit more. We've got my tikka masala here. Now, in the tikka masala... We've had some questions in. Yes. Ah, Christine. Morning, afternoon, Christine, even. I hope you're well. Uh, thank you for emailing as well. Anyone can email in, studio at thecraftstore.com. Uh, she wants to know the shelf life of the products opened and unopened. So let's go with unopened first. Yeah, so unopened, you've got um, until, you've got a, at least 18 months on them, probably more, minimum 18 months. Um, you've got until the end, I think it's December 2022 on this batch here. So you've got, you've got a long time. Now, people say, well, they must have artificial... Um, ingredients in them must have an artificial preservative in it's not the case we use fresh spices and fresh spices were made to preserve things that was that was always the idea yeah so you know in in the hotter countries you know back in the day that's how they preserve things and that's how we so that is why it lasts so long um yeah and once you've opened it you've got sort of three days on the jar if i'm completely honest i can't recommend anybody else does this but we use them up to six seven days as a family. I can't recommend anybody else does it. No, that's fine. But is that's it different for do. the chutneys to what's in the jars? Absolutely. So the chutneys last slightly longer? <laughs> so, yeah, so chutneys, um, again, similar sort of time unopened. Um, but once you've opened it, you've got a, a month to use them. Yeah, um, they'll, you know, they'll keep for absolutely ages, to be honest. Again, that was kind of the function, a bit like a jam. Yeah, Same true. as a chutney. My like, chutneys you know, lasted, well, I say they lasted for ages. One went in an entire night, to be honest. Uh, me and a bag of crisps, I involved a lot in an evening during one episode of a programme, to be honest. I was starving. Uh, but I really don't. Uh, like that. Uh, couldn't stop me. That's how nice they are. They are so Moorish and they can be used on their own. So if you want like dipping sauces for parties and things like that, uh, especially like the poppadom chutney, you haven't got to use it for poppadoms if you want. You can use it as crisps and dips. Uh, mango chutney, you can just sit and divulge on your own if you wanted to. Um, did we have another question then, Mag? No, I just totally forgot it. Oh, yeah, we did. Um, I knew there was a question somewhere. How many portions do you think we can get out one of the taller jars, roughly? So, roughly, you're about four portions, um, you know, average okay, so family, like family of four. Yeah, you know, if you've got, if you've got um, mum, dad um, and two growing kids, you know, you, you're going to be at least four. Um, I would say, you know... It might depend on how you wanted to do it. Now, this is what, this is what the, the water, you know, it, as we don't add the water, it allows you to control the consistency. So you might say, I really like a thick curry. I really want it very kind of um, powerful in the flavours and I don't add any water. You're obviously going to get a bit less. You might add a bit more water and a bit more potato and a bit more spinach and so a you're bit bulk, bulk it out. out of it. And you're probably going to six people out of one jar. So it completely depends on how you want to use it, your family circumstance, and you can do it all. How about batch making and freezing? Is that possible with well, your that's, sauces? That's how it started, Adam. Yeah, that's what happened. So mum made it for me. I, um, I, put, I popped it in the freezer. My, my friends went, oh, what, what's in there? We'll have them. And we'll have, a, we'll have a bit of that. I sold it to them for a pound each. And that's how we got started. So that, yeah, so the, we know it freezes really well. Um, so now you can make and you can make and go. So you can batch make of the weekend if you wanted to. And then you've got all these flavours uh, that you've got. Pizzas. Like, literally, what you've got in the kit. Look at that. Oh, well, oh, that judge was, me. It was fine. It's all right. <laughs> You're fine. Put it in the oven. We're because in, we're we're, in. We've only got less than 30 minutes left. And that looks delightful. Yes. Is that all we've got left, is it? Well, yeah, it's 25 nice. past already. Uh, yeah, when you're having time, fun. Time flies when you're by. Fun. Um, we are very, very busy, is what we are. Uh, let me show you what you're getting in each kit, and then we'll go back for more demonstrations as well uh, to see what we're up to. So, in your mild option, uh, which is the one I would go for, you're getting your classic curry sauce in the mild as well. Uh, you've got your Bombay potatoes that we put on top of our naan to make the pizza. You've got your buttered chicken curry sauce as well, my favourite, and it's always your favourite as well. I absolutely adore them. Uh, then you've got your classic marinade that's in there. You've got your poppadom chutney and you've got your sweet mango chutney as well. And then you've got your tandoori naan and your garlic and coriander bread as well. That sounds delightful. It really does. Garlic and coriander. Oh, uh, then you've got your medium, 
I want the whole counter. I really do. Uh, you want your medium package. So you get your classic curry sauce in medium, and then you're getting your Bombay potatoes. Once again, uh, that's your mild. That's your hot one. Let's go back. Uh, so that's your hot that you're looking at at the moment. Let's go back to your medium. So you've got your Bombay curry sauces. You've got your uh, tikka masala curry sauce in there. You've got your garlic um, marinade in there. You've got your papadam chutney. You've got your mango and apple chutney. Once again, nice little dipping sauce. Really is nice little dipping sauce with a little sangria on the go. Drink responsibly. Don't spill it. Uh, I know. Look at me. A little bit of Spain. A little bit of India there. Oh, I'm all over the block. Just then... Top it off, battered sausage from Britain. Uh, then a tandoori naan bread and a garlic and coriander bread as well. That wasn't a euphemism. Then your final option is your hot pack contains uh, your classic curry uh, sauce in hot. You will, we will ask how hot is hot in a minute. Uh, Bombay potato curry sauce. Then you've got your naga chili curry sauce in the main. You've got your naga chili marinade that's in there as well. You've got your mango and apple chutney. You've got your lime pickle in there. Then you've got your garlic and coriander bread. And then you've got your chili naan as well. In the lead, it's the medium so far, uh, which is the uh, middle one that we're talking about. How hot is the hot? So, um, how, yeah, it's, very, it's a very it, difficult it's question, isn't it? It's hard to say, but... So what I would say is, if you're considering the hot, if you're um in an hour and thinking, mm, should I go for that hot one? If you're considering it, you'll, I think you'll be fine. Okay. Um, obviously, you've got to like a spice to it, um, but it's not the hottest thing you'll ever eat in your life. Okay. It's not crazy. One thing, there is a common misconception that, you know, real Indian curry is hotter and it's actually the other way around. Oh. And I always put it down to, in a restaurant, they, you know, they make more money out of beer than they do the curries. And so in a restaurant, in this kind of, um, what you'd call the British kind of uh, uh, curry, if you like, they're obviously trying to sell a bit more beer. What this is, Mum's made it, you know, it's, it's Mum's recipes and she's giving you as much flavour as possible, so it's all going to work together. We're more talking traditional with yes, these. Yes, that's what we're the idea, It's yeah. a traditional family meal. Yes. That when you were little, this is what you would have sat down and you would have had as a family, a Correct. hearty family meal. Exactly right, yeah. This is, this is what we, you know, this is the way we would eat on our dinner table. That's, that's at the heart of it. So if anybody's ever... Um, if anybody's thinking, well, yeah, I you know, I've had the restaurant stuff, but I want the real, I want the real thing. I want, I want proper food. You know, if I went, to, we can't go on holiday to India, unfortunately, at the moment, with everything that's going on. But, you know, if you could bring India to you, you know, you could, you can, you can bring those real, authentic flavours to, you, you know, to your door, um, and and do it properly. If you went to India, uh, I can hand on heart say, in the northern region, this is how they eat. This isn't a watered-down version. This isn't, this isn't a, a version where, yeah, it's kind of Indian, but we've had to change it here and there. This is real. This is how we eat. That's amazing. So in theory, it's like we're all coming around your mum's for tea. Correct. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. In theory, it's, it's what we're roughly saying. It's like we're popping around to mum's for tea is where we're going because it's authentic. Is what you're getting in a jar. This is an authentic curry in a jar that you're getting. They're authentic marinades that you would find in the packets. Each naan bread has been handmade with love and care and packaged in the beautiful packaging that you've already got there. You will see, you may see these in a town near you, and there are over 400 stores, uh, UK, across the UK. Uh, but we have the best price of them all. £18.99 is what you're looking at for these as well. Uh, dispatch date 17th. Not that long to wait at all, to be honest. Uh, 864065 is your item number. How are we looking? Where are we up to? Right, so I'm just dishing up the tikka masala here. Um, so I've just done that there. Um, so I've just, uh, yeah, done the tikka masala. Now we're just going to keep an eye on our pizza because that's, that's big risk time, that is. You know, when you've got burning pizza. Okay, so we'll make sure... Um, right, keep so, your eye on the pizza, right? So, what should, we, what should we do next? Shall we do the Bombay potato Yes, let's spinach? do Bombay potato, because yes. that would go lovely for that my lunch would go wouldn't it? Um, so, look at that. That's absolutely delicious, isn't it? That's a... Uh, I mean, ha if you had smell-o-vision... Oh. If you had smell-o-vision... Oh, it I'd smells delight. It really We'd be does. winning, wouldn't we? Um, right, so on this one here... Now, what we've done is... Um, we've just pre, just parboiled the potatoes and some turmeric, just because we thought it'd be quite boring TV that, just watching some potatoes boil. No, well, so. it wasn't. In my ear, my producer thought it was a tub of butter. Oh, 
like cubed them up. We're like, that's a lot of butter that's going into these pans. Uh, like, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> indulgence, bit of indulgence. No, um, the clue was in Bombay potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, this is, um, this is, yeah, this is uh, potatoes here. So the parboiled in some turmeric to give it a lovely colour, a little bit of flavour, um, and it's easy as that. So all you need to do is... Um, so these are pre-cooked? These are, yes, so these are pre-cooked. Um, we've just done it, you know, my Blue Peter moment. This is something, yeah, I've, done, no, this is something I've done earlier. I'm just going to warm them through a little bit okay. um, just to get this, get this going. And then we're going to use our Bombay potato uh, sauce again. And, and it's going to, it's so easy. I mean, I've, I've obviously done the tikka masala there. We've got the pizza cooking here. We've got the Bombay potatoes and we're going to do some naga. I mean, to do all that in an hour from somebody who can't cook, it can't be bad, can it's it? Good. It can't be bad. Do you have a favourite out of the range? My favourite um, is probably the naga. Is the oh, spicier is the spicy one. one? Because I feel like it's it's so balanced. Again, it's not the hottest thing. You know, I'm not. The, I don't eat hugely hot things, but the flavours, everything you can eat, even though it's warm, even though you've got a nice spice, you can still taste what you're eating. You could tell if it's lamb. Sometimes I've been into a hot into a, a restaurant that had a hot curry before. And it could be anything in there. It could be true. chicken, lamb, or, or, or beef, beef or, or anything. Way, yeah. yeah. Um, this you will you will taste all of the flavours. So all of the spices are individual, and they all come through. So there's no chilli powder or curry powder in this. Nice. This is uh, fresh chilies, fresh spices, fresh ingredients. And which is good because if you're scared of going to that spice rack, which m most people are, we've got we've all got one lurking around in a cupboard or on the side, and we just use it to make it look pretty. No one ever uses them because you don't really know what you're doing with them. I'm speaking for personal things. I don't know what I'm doing with them. You look at them, you go, yeah, I'll put some of that in, I'll put some of that in. I don't really know, I don't really know how much I'm putting in because I don't measure anything. And then you just go, yeah, it was all right. With this, it's all been done for you. Everything has been done for you in all these. I absolutely, as always, I said, I've had some of the jars, I've taken them home, I've cooked them for the family, I've cooked them for myself, uh, especially for the chutneys. No one got a look in uh, when I bought those home. Uh, 18 pounds and 99 pence across the board. All you need to pick is mild, medium, or hot. Same item number, 864065 is your item number. You're getting the three of the jars, you're getting your chutneys, and you're also getting your paste, and you're getting four of your naan breads in there as well. And the medium, the one you're looking at the moment is what everyone is going for so far. Right then, where are we up to now? So, I'm gonna, while we're just waiting for these Bombay potatoes, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show you what you can do and how nicely you can present um, a nice sort of, a, sort of wrap. So a, a tandoori chicken wrap. So if oh. I just pop some in here, um, we'll add a bit, of a, a bit of coriander and a bit of salad. Um, and a bit of uh, lemon juice. So it's so easy to do. So I've already done this. So I'm just using that same chicken and how we can utilize um, this. So imagine, I'm going to give you a nice. Oh. Once again, there's so oh. much that you can't, can do. Can't, mul can't multitask, can I, Adam? <laughs> in, the, in the fridge. Um, I'm just going to give you a little tip as well as to how to make. You know, when you go to the um, restaurants and you make that lovely. Um, you make that lovely kind of uh, mint sauce that you have. Yeah. Um, yeah. You. This is how. This is how a lot of them do it. Oh, really? And it comes out beautifully. So if you've got guests over, and you're just trying to. This do is like another chutney. This is. I like that mint sauce. Is it? Oh, is it just oh, mint yeah. sauce? It's just a bit of mint sauce. Yeah. I'm just going to. I'm just going to tip it in. Now, I don't have a spoon handy, so I'm going to whisk it through with this. What mint sauce and yogurt? That's it, bit of mint sauce, and this is um, natural yoghurt, natural Greek yoghurt. And I'm going to whisk it through. It's not... And, you, and that's beautifully done. That's as easy as it is, and you just pop it on your, on your tandoori. Oh, look at that. On your tandoori wrap as well. There you go. I've had to use the end of the spoon there, but... That's that, fine. that was clever though, because I never thought did, that. That did, was good. I like I mean, that. I was thinking, yeah, I've like, got, got a spoon. Got a spoon what can you use? Any yeah. of the wooden spoon. Um, so let's pop that. Let's pop that next oh, to the dishes. My word. How good is that? Right. So you can do the um, yeah. So it is, as, is watery. easy as that. I mean. Again, my my wife would have made that look a lot better, but it no, is I think so it delicious. Nice. You think that's all right? Good. So if, this if is the. The Bombay potatoes. 
So this is your Bombay potatoes here. So it's, it's as easy as popping in your potatoes, again, with a little bit of water, because as we've mentioned, we've, we've not added any water to this. Um, so, so because we haven't added any water, you're adding, you're adding it yourself and it is gonna, it's going to give you more for your money. Every, every time you get a jar, it's going to give you more value for your money because there's no water added. Um, so we're going to pop in um, the, uh, the sauce and the thing there. So we're just waiting for that. That Bombay potatoes looks beautiful already. It really does. And I think oh. we're about there. Now, I've done quite well here. One of the, your lovely production team have got some vegan, ch um, vegan cheese, which I you buy. don't get these days. So... I did actually manage to put some cheese on it, so it looks and it, it's going to taste absolutely oh. stunning. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Oh, my word. So that... So that, that was the Bombay potatoes curry so uh, sauce, the garlic and coriander naan. That's right. Um, and the chicken that you marinade at the top of the show. Yeah, with the garlic infused uh, marinade. A oh, um, few veggies, a little bit of veggies and a bit of... And a, and a bit of cheese. That's literally it. Oh. Uh, everything, you, you know, it's as easy as that. Can you imagine getting in from work and just be like, I just want to quickly bosh them in together. And, and it's as easy as that, guys. Well, it is, because you go, you go out and you go and buy a pizza these days, one of the more expensive pizzas I'm talking about now. You get one delivered. You're literally paying for the, for the guy's petrol to come and deliver it to you. Um, you're paying so much more. You're paying, yeah, literally 18 99 you're paying for one pizza. And that's no, you go and do your own research, this out there. You really, really are. Right then, there's three options for you to choose from. You've got mild, you've got medium, or you've got the hot. By far, the, uh, the medium is the busiest so far, but the smells and the aromas that are currently circulating around the studio are absolutely phenomenal. You are getting so much and the value for money that you are getting in these kits are outstanding now one of the sources alone so one of these jars alone ignore these for a moment so one of these jars alone you're looking at a family of four two adults two children quite comfortably if it's you and your other half you could go half and half on the jar you have Three to, three to four days. Maybe this is going to be a meal that you do one night and then you make it again with another meat on the second night. Maybe you're going to start batch cooking. Maybe you, maybe you do shift work but, and you're tired of eating. We do shift work here and last night I got in and, my, I, and it is really bad and I, so, and I know it's bad. I had cheesecake and a packet of crisps. I hold cheesecake for six people. Uh, but... Uh, no word of lie, and that's what I had because I got in at nine o'clock. I couldn't be bothered to start cooking again. Because you didn't want to, I didn't want to get things out of the freezer, get it defrosted, and I didn't do it while I got there. So I literally had a cheesecake for six people and a packet of crisps, and I went to bed with a cup of tea. I know the life of a presenter. But what we're talking about now is I could quite easily go home and create one of those pizzas. I could go home and take one of the naans that I've got here, take my Bombay potatoes that I've got in as well. I could go and cut some vegetables that I've got in the bottom of the fridge and throw it in. If I didn't want the meat, I don't have to have the meat. It could just be a vegetarian pizza. But I know it's a hearty, healthy meal that I'm getting. I know that's in there. It's authentic flavours that I'm picking up. It's vegan-friendly. It's gluten-free. It's dairy-free. It's nut-free in there as well. The sauces have no added sugars in there. You are totally in control what you want to put in to your, in theory, your body and your family's body. You are in control of what their diet will be. We have give you all the ingredients that you need. It's a new hobby, maybe for him, maybe for her, maybe for the, grand, maybe for the teenage kids. Maybe they're going off to university. Maybe they're at school at the moment and you're thinking, are they eating right? I know my family still worry about me if I'm eating right. But with this, you've got the family cooking together. You could all create that pizza. You, in theory, you've got four pizza bases that you've got in the kit for £18.99. And remember, it's a family recipe. This is not something that has been thought of and knocked up overnight and gone, yeah, we'll put that in a jar and we'll sell it. It's not. This is from Mama herself. Is Mama watching? 
Or is she busy at a stall? Yeah, mum, mum's actually doing... Um, everyone's at a show at the busy, moment. See? I, got the, I got the best. The, the, mum and dad are in the coast somewhere doing a, a little show. Um, my wife's doing a, a, show, a market stall. My sister's doing a market stall. And I got to come inside. So I've got the best, especially on a day like this, guys. Oh. You do, but that's how busy you are, and that's how busy yeah. the company is getting. It is 400 stores yeah, in, throughout the United Kingdom is what we are, but we've got the special prices. We have got the special prices with the big bundles as well. Let me run through the options with you. First of all, you've got your mild. So you've got your classic curry sauce in there. You get your Bombay potatoes in there as well is what you're getting. Uh, you're also getting your buttered chicken curry sauce in there. You're getting your classic marinade. You're getting those chutneys, your poppadom chutney, which is beautiful with... Uh, those sort of Dorito chips uh, that you're looking at in there. You get the sweet mango chutney and then you also get your naans in there as well. You're getting traditional naan bread and then you get your garlic and coriander bread in there. So that is your main. Now moving on to the most popular by far is your medium at the moment. Your medium, you're getting your classic curry sauce in the medium flavours. You're getting that Bombay potato curry sauce again. You're getting tikka masala curry sauce in there. You get your garlic uh, marinade in there as well. Imagine a bit of lime in there and your prawns. Imagine doing those in prawns and seafood. Um, it would be beautiful crayfish and things like that. Uh, you get your poppadom chutney, you get your mango and apple chutney as well. Uh, then we talk about your hot. Now, as Gajit said, your hot is not actually your hot. It's that if you like that bit of a kick, it's got that bit of a kick to it. But remember, it's authentic that's in there. It's mama's cooking is what we're looking at this. Uh, classic curry sauce is what you're looking at in there. Uh, your Bombay potatoes in your curry sauce as well. Uh, you've also got your naga chili sauce, uh, your chili curry sauce that's in there. You get your naga chili uh, marinade that's in there. You get your mango and apple chutney, and you get your lime pickle in there. Your garlic and coriander bread, and you also get your chili naan in there as well. Uh, eight six four zero six five is your item number. Eighteen pounds and ninety nine pence a cross is what you're getting. But look at what you can create. We have made pizza with this, with garlic marinated chicken on a Bombay potato base with a um, garlic and coriander naan. Add your own veg sprinkled with coriander on top. Then we've got the wrap using the surplus chicken uh, that we had. We've got the wrap with that beautiful Greek garlic uh, minty sauce that you've got on there. Um, imagine just making the sauce and the chicken and just pulling apart that naan uh, that you've already got, which I absolutely adore once again. How beautiful are those? And then you've got the Bombay potatoes thrown in. We've just plated uh, the Bombay potatoes up. Absolutely beautiful is what you are looking at with this at the moment. Uh, £18.99. And how much did your takeaway cost you last night? How much is your takeaway, your Indian takeaway, going to cost you tonight? How long do you have to wait for it? Saturday night tonight? You're ordering a takeaway? Easy. It is going to be easily over £20 is what you're going to be looking at for this. And maybe not as nice. Maybe it's going to be full of the fats. Maybe it's going to be full of the... Uh, you know, you sort of get that film on the top that you think, it'd be all right, I'd stir it in. Uh, that... Well, where's that fat going? It's going inside your body. At least with these, you know what you're getting. You know what you're getting when you start cooking them. £18.99. You've got your medium, you've got your mild, and you've also got your hot as well. Uh, all dispatched to you on the 17th of May is what you're looking at. In previous shows, we've made things like burgers that you've got in there. We've done wraps that we've done in there as well. We've done your traditional curries. Once again, if you don't like your meat, swap it with your chickpeas that you've got running through. Imagine putting it on the barbecue. If you've got one of those snazzy barbecues when you're cooking outdoor uh, that you're getting there, um, imagine the aroma that you're going to be getting outside in that beautiful barbecue that you're getting. Remember, you're getting your three sauces, whatever kit you're going for. You're getting your three sauces that's in. You're getting your two chutneys. You're getting your marinade. And you're also going to be getting your four naan breads in there as well. Uh, 864065 is your item number. Remember, it's vegan friendly. It's dairy free. It's nut free that's in there. It's gluten free that you're looking at as well. You can use meat, fish, veggies, whatever you want to put in you can put in. Let's go back over to see what we're up to now. Here we go.
Hey, Adam. What are you up to? <laughs> hey, go right. I'm going to do some um, some Naga prawns. <gasps> yeah, we're going to have. Oh. oh. Yeah, I think so. We've got some jumbo prawns here. Yes. Some uh, king prawns. I'm just going to with these ones prawns slightly different. I know I said I'm going to contradict what I said earlier and say okay. well. You know, you put your meat in first. But with prawns, I think we just slightly saute them off. OK, They're so slightly, slightly different. slightly different. Yes. You just want to just slightly, just get um, just get a bit of brownness to the prawns. Um, so we're going to just pop them in there nice and easy. They look absolutely delicious. Um, they do look amazing. They really, really do. Yeah. So just a really nice, we're just going to let them sort of saute in the pan for a, for a minute or so. Um, and then, so you can do anything. One of my favourites is to do it with, um, to do salmon as well. So we do salmon in the Bombay potatoes, actually absolutely delicious. Um, so yeah, so we're going to do that as well. Um, so I'm just going to, just let that, just let this saute off, as I say. Um, we're going to pop some, we pop some, um, some, some Bombay potatoes, which we've already done before. So we're going to, these would go amazingly well together. Yeah. And side by side. So yeah, you can see these just getting a bit of colour now. Um, yeah, and then, and that's it. So that would be, what would that be, five dishes in five, an hour? In, and we've still got uh, nearly 15 I think minutes. I think You've done I'm, well. Yeah, I think I'm going to be done perhaps five minutes ahead of time. So, I love it. And I mean... Love it. It's, I mean, yeah, it's 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 ahead of where we thought we'd be. My my, my wife thought I'd be burning the studio down. She said, she said, I can't believe we're letting you out on your own. And it, it just shows how easy these products are to use. If you're daunted by curry, if you really think, well, I really want to make an authentic bit of curry, but I don't know how to start, this is how you can start. And when push comes to shove, if we're generally going to be honest about it, the only thing, and I can say this hand on heart, the only thing that was pre-cooked were the potatoes. Everything else has been cooked live in the last 47 minutes. From a self-confessed non-cook. A non-cook. So, in theory, you can be doing these at home as well. You wouldn't be batching up five meals. You'd probably be doing one of them. But you can see how quick and easy they are to get. From frying off your chicken to frying off your meat to frying off your lentils or your chickpeas that you're going to be doing in there. Uh, to pre-boiling your potatoes that you've got to make that beautiful uh, talent. Look at that. This is the bowl that will be filled that's very, the, very soon. That's the and one. And that will be Adam's lunch right there. Uh, <laughs> then you've got your wraps. Then we've got the pizza, which I am dying uh, to get hold of. But for health and safety reasons, we're not allowed. Uh, Eighteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Eight six four zero six five is your item number. All you have to do is pick your favourite one. I've been quite contained this hour as well. I normally have jars open galore uh, by now as well. I've been very, very good. Very good. So what are we up to? Absolutely. So, just just literally putting the. Um the nugget, it's as simple as this one, is just putting them together, making sure the flavours go, go all in together. And, and it's as easy as that, Adam. It really is. I mean, it's, they're gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free, no added sugar, no E-numbers, no colours. So when I say I've put the sauce in there, that's all I've put in. I haven't added the nonsense, I haven't added in the rubbish. Um, you know, if you get some supermarket jars, we've all done it before, you turn, you turn the jar over and you think, what's that? What's that on the back of there? I wouldn't use that at home. I wouldn't use that. I don't know what that ingredient is. Or, do you know what I mean? The long list of ingredients that you get with this, you can see the flavours are just... You can see, almost see it on the camera, can't you? Well, you how can't, how authentic I, that is. And all the jars that I've roughly got here, you're looking at... If you, and if you don't open them, obviously, if you're saving them for gifts and stuff, you've got things like 2023 yes. before anything actually happens. So you've got... A long old time. Some of them are April. Uh, most of them are April 2023 uh, to look on the backs of them. And then uh, some of the chutneys are January uh, 2023 as well. Uh, so you've got a long shelf life on these. Uh, and once you open them, I know the chutneys will last that little bit longer. Uh, like we open it, like an apple sauce. When you open apple sauce, you don't have it every week. Do you? you open it once, use a teaspoon, put it back in your shelf. Uh, these are going to be the same. They're the same sort of chutney uh, that you're getting in there. But obviously your sauces, um, if you've got a family four, you're going to be using a whole jar uh, anyway with them. They are absolutely beautiful. Uh, they're suitable for all dietary requirements as well, except for the nines. Obviously that contains gluten, I'm guessing the naan breads do. The naan breads contain gluten. We, um, we have looked, I mean, the thing is, we ha we're not, although some of these are free from, or well, these are all free from any nonsense, but we're not actually a free from company. 
you know these things that you get, there's, it's free from, uh, dairy free chocolate. Yeah. It, it just happens to be free from because it's made properly. That's it. So the naan breads naturally contain gluten. So that's what we've done. Um, the, uh, the chutneys naturally contain sugar. That's what we've done. But with everything is done absolutely authentically. And that's why it doesn't contain the, the It's not like your mum's gone out of her way to make a sauce to go, right, this one's not going to contain nuts and it's not going to contain this. Exactly. It just happened to fall in the way when she was sending you food to university. It just, that's how she naturally cooked. That's, that's exactly it. And so for that reason, that's why you can think, well, actually, I'm going to get all the, all the authenticity and I'm going to get none of the compromise. That's true. I'm going to get all of that... All of the, uh, you know, if, if I've got allergens, I'm going to get, we have to feed all of my family, but without any compromise. I mean, that's just win-win. That's just win-win. Um, so I'm pretty much done. I'm just going to add a bit of lemon juice to this one, Adam. Just okay. a bit of the, uh, that will go lovely with the prawns. In one live hour, in 50 minutes, we have lost 50% of the medium stock. And we have a vast amount of stock. 50% of the medium okay. stock has now already gone. Uh, this is the last... You've only got one live hour today, haven't you? This is it, yeah. This is Just what? one live hour that we've got. Uh, nearly a third of the hot now has already gone as well. It's creeping up slowly. Literally, uh, I only had 50% a minute ago. Then all of a sudden, you all came in for that hot one. Uh, a third of the stock of the hot now has already gone. 864065 is your eyes on the Nice to see people being a bit adventurous. Maybe I need to come out of my comfort zone a little bit more. Maybe I need to start pushing the boundaries. All right, let's go and look at these. Let's go quickly look at the prawns. Prawns are now in. It's got some lovely prawns there. Uh, loving the look prawns. These. Look at these. Oh, absolutely beautiful. I mean, <coughs> excuse me. I'm, I'm thinking, uh, yeah, me and, me and Adam are going to be tucking into these. I think. For, li for, for legal reasons, we, will, we won't be eating anything no. in the studio, and not so ever. Uh, everyone will be standing at a distance. We'll all be just looking at the food, um, looking and salivating. Not, not one prawn uh, will pass my lips. Uh, but. <laughs> Maybe what? Uh, 18 pounds and 99 pence. Not for the prawns, though. You can create your own prawns. You imagine doing your prawns that you've got there. Maybe you're going to use other fish. They may even cray tails uh, that you've got using in those. Uh, breaking up that seafood, then bits of haddock that you've got lying around. A uh, little bit of white fish uh, flaking through there would be absolutely phenomenal. Uh, from your prawns, we move on to Bombay potatoes. Oh, my word. Imagine doing these. Could you do these sweet potatoes with uh, sweet potatoes? Absolutely, yeah. Sweet potatoes are absolutely awesome with them. Oh, so I, nice. one of my favourites is um, you do your Bombay potato with um, sweet potato and chickpea. Um, so, Ooh. yeah, so it gives it a really nice zesty kind of feel to it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's worth having a look at what else, what else we've got there. What else? Do we see them all then, Jim? Yeah, should we, should we go through them? Oh, we saw them all while I, I was chatting. Oh, then we've got the pizza. I'll just quickly see the pizza because I like the pizza. Look, at, Look that. at that. But it looks, it literally looks shop bought. Yeah, it looks like you just, that's a naan bread, that's hand stretched naan bread, um, together, handmade naan bread together with some tandoori um, chicken and some, and some cheese, and that's all that is with a bit of veggie. You've got your, um, your marinade. Now, this one, obviously, you need a lot of, uh, you need a lot of chicken to fill that. I just use the, the, the remainder, so add as much chicken as you like on this one. But, um, that's it, and all you need to do is wrap that up. I would wrap it up, but I don't want to ruin the display. Oh, I like uh, it. Yeah. I, well, I would, I would, you know, go on, wrap it. Go Shall on. I? Shall I yes, try and wrap it? Go on. Yes, I don't know if it'll. Just wrap sort of it, put and it in then the it'll be now, easier for me to eat later. So you can, like, uh, so. So you can have it as a oh, wrap, like, like this, can you? Look. Can you imagine doing that? And then just in there, look, look at that. <gasps> you can see that oh, there. look. Oh. Get your, yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely awesome. That, absolutely. with a bit of chutney. Look at that, mm. yeah. Just, you could get that down. Yeah, a bit of chutney. Which, which one would you have, Adam? Uh, I would go for probably uh, sweet mango. A sweet mango. Or poppadom. I'm easy. Let's put this on here. I've been told. I'm just going gonna, gonna to make your ideal dish just to tease you a bit more there, look. Bit of, oh. bit of poppadom chutney. Look how nice that is. It's got a serious, really nice consistency. It's got your onion seeds in there. That zesty tomato flavour in there as well. So that together, dip it in there. 
Delicious. Really, right, and let me go through your options one final time that we've got for you. So, your mild option, currently down the end, you've got your classic mild curry sauce that you've got in there. You've got your Bombay potato curry sauce. You've got your buttered chicken uh, that's in there. Then you've also got your chutneys. Uh, you've got your Papa Dom chutney and your sweet mango chutney as well. Uh, we've also then got your classic marinade, which we'll see shortly. And then you've got your naan bread, you've got your gar garlic and coriander, and then you've got your tandoori naan in there. You get two naan breads, and each naan bread is hand made, hand pulled, I found out. Uh, medium option, uh, over 50% of this stock has now already gone, so you've got your medium uh, classic curry sauce in there. Uh, you've got your Bombay potatoes in there as well. Uh, you've got your tikka masala uh, that's in there. And then your chutney-wise, uh, you've got poppadom, and you've also got mango and apple chutney. You're also getting your marinated, your garlic marinade in there. You imagine that on chicken, imagine it on prawns. Oh, on a little bit of prawn. That is how it's amazing. I've sold it to myself again. This is a sewing machine. Uh, so, uh, last but no means least, you've got the hot that we've got on the show as well. Your hot curry sauce that you've got, we are looking at uh, Bombay potatoes. You've got your classic, uh, uh, you've got your naga chili that's in there as well. Then you've got your chutneys, you've got your apple and mango, and then you've also got your tangy lime pickle. Then you've also getting your marinade thrown in as well, uh, which is your naga chili marinade. Um, and you also get four of your naan breads as well. All there is left to say is uh, thank you. You're an absolute star. Thanks, Dad. They have yeah. nothing to worry about. <laughs> yeah, I think we've, we've got there in the end, haven't we? You've, you've done, done, it, done really it well. well. Yeah, as I say, I mean, it's so easy to do. It's just highlighted how easy this is. Sometimes you watch, you watch, like, you know, um, you get these cooking programs on a Saturday, Sunday morning, yeah. don't you? That, I can't remember which show it is. But you, you get these programs and you think, well, he's doing that, but can I do that? You know today, you if I can do that, you can definitely do it. You, you can do it in an fine. hour yeah, as well. Give my love to the family. Yes, Give thank my you love so to much. Yep. And the thank wife you, and all uh, you know, what you need to start doing is checking out your baskets because you don't want to miss out on these cracking little deals. £18 and £99. The same item number for all three of them, 864065. Uh, right then, I've got four seconds left. Uh, start checking out your baskets. I'll see you in an hour's time. Right then, where's my knife and fork? What do you mean I'm not allowed to eat them? Stand back. Just stand back. Uh, coming up next, crafting with clarity. No, really, don't touch it. I'll bite your hands off. You dare. Stamperia are an Italian company. Uh, they launched in 1995 with stamps, stencils, paints, and an incredible product, the world famous rice paper. They were actually the first company to print on rice paper, and they're now absolutely renowned for it. The product range that Stamperia offer is really diverse. They bring us incredible stamps, obviously uh, the world famous rice paper, but they're always trying to bring new techniques as well. So they'll bring different mediums, um, beautiful moulds, so there's always something for every type of crafter. They will definitely have something for you to craft with, and everything you craft with will be top quality and beautiful. So make sure you don't miss the Stamperia shows. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us and crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects.
you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce, and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows with Stamps Away. Hello, a very good afternoon. Do you know, it's kind of groovy, but it's not groovy at the same time because we've got fresh cut dyes for you this afternoon. Now, we have got a guest with us as well. I'm just going to say before I do this, actually, if you were watching the last hour and you're sitting on the fence, oh, check those baskets out. My mouth is literally watering. You want to see them tucking in over there? Oh, amazing. They're not... Well, do you know what? I'm pretending because Adam, Adam was fighting over the food. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Oh, we can't. We can't eat at the moment because of COVID, can we? Oh, but it's, my mouth is literally walk, watering. Oh, check the baskets out. Anyway, any, if it's any consolation, if it's any consolation at all, I've got the next best thing. I've got Paul Church with us. He's here. Oh, hi, Paul. Hi, Catherine. How are you? Oh, I'm very good. I'm very good. So you're just very lucky you haven't got smelly vision. <laughs> because your mouth would be watering as well, it really would. Now, we've got fresh cut dyes here, of course. Um, absolutely amazing. We've seen some of these before, haven't we? These are returning favourites, but many people may have missed out on these. Really, really good savings as well. That's what we've got here for you. We've got different options as well. Now, Paul, just as I'm going to give the details here, we, just tell us about these. We have seen these before. There's so many opportunities, isn't there? Different ways of working with them as well. We've got a whole collection on the screen at the moment, actually. If you're wanting to go for this one, there is a flexi buy, a £7 saving here, and we've got that flexi over two payments as well. There's bigger savings, more than the ones we've seen on screen, because we have got savings that carry over, and the more savings on top, we'll go through all of those. Item number 243165, if you want to go for the large collection, we will break this down. But Paul, just tell us a little bit about this collection, because there will be people that have never seen it before. Absolutely, because we know that we have new viewers at the craft store every day. Definitely, and yeah. what we've done, we've brought to you, um, you've got the bumper collection and then you've got the individual ones and they've all got savings on, as you said. Basically, when you look at the designs on these, these have been illustrated by the, our good friend, the lovely Mel Turner. The row at the top, which is the room with a view, when you look at these, these are our aperture dies, and what I mean by that is that if you die cut it out of a piece of card, it remains within that piece of card. So it's not like uh, a flimsy topper type yeah. thing. You can turn it into a topper, but it's the effect of the beautiful paper cutting, but done so much more easily with a die. So the room of a view collection there, we've got four individual dies, which are about four, four inches square. And then what was really special, I mean, it's in all three collections we've got, we've got the fantastic quarterette dies as well. So it's the same four images, but they've been shrunken down to turn into little two by two inch dies as well. We're just having a look at the samples here in the black and white. They look amazing just in the black and white. We're just, I'm just about to get to the end, actually, to show you the quartet there. Absolutely wonderful. You can see that. Love the size of these, Paul. I'm a big fan of square cards as well. These work beautifully, but, of course, you can create far beyond square cards if you want to use, you know, tessellate these, as you, you've explained as well. I'm just showing everybody the samples for the top row at the moment. It is part of the collection, but you can go for these individually. This is your room with a view. Bottom of the screen there, 30. £37.45, 302700. Now, on that particular collection, you are already saving money. £37.50 on that one collection. That will carry over to the big collection. This is where I said watch out for those prices. The savings are always bigger than they appear on the screen. Now, moving along... We have got more for you as well. Of course, we have got the pets. We've got the cats and the dogs. So we're looking at the dogs there. Paul, again here, we've got the quartet, haven't we, involved in this one, which is wonderful. That's right. You can build those scenes yet again. Yeah, so with these smaller collections, the idea behind this was that we would have two of the larger dies. 
So we've got the My Best Friends and the Best Friends. So again, beautiful four by or just under four and a half, four inches square aperture dies. And then you've got the beautiful, again, the little quarterette ones. So you can build a, a row of little shops and houses. You can use them individually. You can turn them into bookmarks. They're fantastic little coasters. So if you want a really quick and easy card, these dies are fantastic because it gives you that beautiful artwork quickly, simply, and really elegantly. I definitely agree. We're just looking at the dogs here now. You can see that, and do you know, great snippability here as well. You could just take the little dog out, the characters out, if you didn't want the houses there as well. There's the quartet. So if you want to go for the dogs or the pets, we've got them at the bottom of the screen, 22.47. You are getting six dies because we have got as well the cats to show you. Um, Different item number for those. We'll go to the cats in a second. You've got the quartets in there. That's how you get your six dies because you've got the two larger ones and the quartets that we're looking at the screen at the moment. 585100. Now, the saving on that particular bundle is £22.50. Again, that will carry over to the big collection. So we do have the cats for you as well. We'll have a look at those. Same thing, I believe, Paul. We've got six dies in this one, haven't we? We've got two of the larger dies in the quartet again. That's right. And these ones, the comfy cats, they've got to be one of my fa say favorites. It's hard because what I love about this particular collection, especially the two larger designs, is that these are fantastic for paper piecing. So you can take all your scraps of paper and you can upholster the armchairs in different styles so you can change the look just by doing various different techniques. Definitely. Do you know, I love the cats as well. I think there's so much character in the images here. Again, you could snip out or add further cats. You know, you can do all sorts of different things. Just showing for now, the samples again using the black and white cardstock because it really shows you the detail that you're getting in those dies. But of course, when you work with these, with your cards, with your projects, then it's a whole different story. Bottom of the screen again there, if you want to go for the cats, you've got those six different dies there. It's another £22.50 saving. Again, that's character over to the big collection so all those savings individually are already taken off the big collection we're giving you that seven pounds on top so the actual saving is 89 pounds and 50 pence and it doesn't stop there because you're also going to get a storage folder as well which is well worth having Paul these are brilliant aren't they because it keeps everything organized everything safe everything together in a collection as well so a lovely little addition to the bundle there Absolutely. I mean, us crafters, we all love storage and to be able to have them in a folder that you can just flick through. As long as you put them back, you'll know where yeah, to find definitely. them again. Definitely. Right, as I give the details another time, I'm just going to go through one or two of the samples here. I'm going to pick these up randomly because we have got a mix. So if you're wanting to go, of course, for the big collection, you'll be seeing all sorts. We've got, obviously, the cats there. Uh, so one of the pet ones. We've got have a perfect day. You see, there you don't always have to use the full scene, do you? You can use however you wish. I'm just going to delve down into the bottom here and find one of the room with a view samples there as well. Absolutely beautiful. 243165 is the item number let me just bring this one in actually because I did say although we've got square dies it doesn't have to be a square card that's another example of how you can extend on those dies there and use them in conjunction with each other now Paul has got a lovely quick demo for us actually I believe so we're gonna head straight back to Paul right now Paul I'm gonna hand it to you Thanks, Catherine. So I thought if people are tuning in for the first time, first time they've seen clarity with fresh cut dies, I thought I'd just very briefly explain what we mean by an aperture die. So the, the idea of the fresh cut dies all came about was when Barbara, she's always loved the effect of paper cutting, but obviously it's time consuming and it's a skill. And she designed her own wedding invites and it, it was just, she was just blown away by the style. So Barbara being Barbara, she asked questions and, and everything else. And then all of a sudden, the fresh cut dies were born. Amazing. So let me just show you. So if I take, hang on, where have I put my dies? Ah, oh, hang on. <laughs> I've got them. Oh, you see, you've got your storage, Paul. No excuse. <laughs> I, look, I do love a bit of storage. Look, all up I here. know, very, very neat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you can see here, I've got them in here, and if you go for the bundle, I mean, I've got more than what you get in the bundle. I've got all other dyes in there as oh, well yes, from the Fresh Cut that. range. 
Um, so again, there's plenty of room in there. And if you do them back to back, then it's great because you can see exactly what you've got. So for example, I'll tell you what, Catherine, you pick a die, any die, oh, oh, from the, die, the big bundle. Die. Right. Um, one of the larger um, ones. One of the larger ones. Can, from anything yeah. from the big collection, can we go yeah. for the, this one here? I don't know if you can see me pointing. Can we show? Can we show? Paul can see me, can't he? <laughs> No. no. <laughs> Can't you see me, Paul? I th oh, I don't know the individual name. Right. That I one. thought Is Paul could see. The one with the two the houses top. and the fence and the fields and the trees in the background and the little windy number road. Number three. Yeah, I can see it now. Number three. You can three. see it. I knew he could see Country it. Country cottages. Now I can. Country cottages. <laughs> okay. So let's take the, the, the country one. cottages. <laughs> okay, so all of our dyes have got a very special coating on them, and what that means is it just allows it to release more easily from our from the cards or the paper that you're using. I'm going to take one of our card blanks we've got on the show. We've got black and white as a complete bundle, or we do some fantastic craft cards as well. So it depends on the type of look you want to get. So I'm just going to take this, I can pop this anywhere on there. This could be an 8x8 card, it could be a 6x6, a 5x5. Six, five five. But what it does is it just keeps it within that frame. So I'm happy with my position. So they're working all leading die cutting machines. So I'm just going to pop that on my plate and create my sandwich. And while we're doing that, let me just, I'm going to bring something in just to show you whilst I'm running that through. So this one oh, here, nice. you that. can see this is from the cats. See how you can snip out and you can upholster the furniture. And this is where the, the quarterettes tie in. So I've taken, there's obviously four in the quarterettes, hence them being yeah. called quarterettes. But then what I've done, I've, the one that I've dropped is the one of this in the larger version. Yeah, that works really well, see? Paul. It's, it shows that snippability perfectly as well, where you've taken that chair, that larger chair, out of the, the die itself. Absolutely. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to gently tease away the low-tack tape. And then I'm going to bring my little bin in, and I'm just going to flip it over, and I'm going to use my waste bin. Because I haven't got anyone here that's going to clear up the mess on the floor. Oh. So I've got to do it myself. <laughs> Look straight <laughs> okay. away, though, because so how beautifully that's caught. Look so that has just fallen out of the die instantly. Okay. Now, quick and easy cards. If I just fold this in half, what we also have on the show is our fantastic 12 by 12 designer papers. So the reason we brought out our designer papers, what I've done, I've taken a selection from the four different pads that we've got available, and I've just cut them into half, so it's a six by 12. And then if you fold it in half, what you get is a beautiful luxury insert. Oh, that does work well. So it changes the look depending on the colourway. It really does change it a lot, doesn't it? You know, we've got those available as well, everybody. Details on the screen. You want to go for those. We've got the saving today, a £10 saving. This is a pick and mix. Any two, £25.98 is the price, Three seven seven two six six. Oh, I like that one, Paul. OK, so let's go with this one. So as I say, I've... Cut it down to 6 by 12 just fold it in half. But again, you have that option. Because it's double-sided, you can have a softer, yeah. more subtle look, or you can go really bright and zingy and do it that way. Nice. Now, for me, when you go to these expensive card stores and you buy a luxury card, it's always got that double insert inside. Yeah. And when you open it, when you open it, you don't open that and then you open that. This all opens together, doesn't it? It does. So, I'm going to bring in, have you seen our new tape runners, Catherine? I've only, well, I've seen them on social media because somebody had bought so many, you were out of stock last time. <laughs> right. Okay, so this is a recent addition to the Clarity um, range of products and Barb spent a lot of time in sort of thinking about the, the makeup of them. Each roll has got 30 meters on them. That's amazing. Okay. And you're, so you're going to get 120 meters on the wow. offer we have on screen at the moment. Now it's permanent, it's super strong and when Barb was looking at the design of them, you can see here they're ergonomically designed. So when you hold them, 
it's got like um, grids at the not grids. It's got a, a grip at the top. Yeah. Yes, that's it. So that when you're holding it, it feels comfortable in your hand. But the key thing, well, one of the key things, but another, it's got a little flap on it. Oh. You see, so that when you finished. You just pop that over and it protects the ends. And you can hear so the click there lose... as well. That's right. And you're not going to lose the lid. Uh, you'll put it down and then think, where's the lid gone? And it all gets all gunged up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down the edge of that piece of paper. Okay. And I'm going to pop that just in place there. So now when I open the card, both pieces open together. Perfect. Love it. So if you're looking to make cards for charity, especially the animal ones, um, here's one of the little quarterettes just cut out of a five by five. Oh, do you know that's really sweet, isn't it? When you see it in that size as well. You know, you could colour inside on the chair as well if you wanted to, couldn't you? You could put stripes on the chair or something like that. Absolutely. You become creative however you wish. You could change the colour of the curtains. You could put glitter behind it, gilding yeah. flakes. You've got so many different options. The dyes just give you that fantastic artwork. Definitely. They are absolutely beautiful. You know, I can see why so many people have bought these in the past. Maybe it is the first time you've seen them. Remember, all those individual savings have been carried over. Was it £22.50 on one? £22.50 on another? Then we had one at £37.50. All those add up. And on top of that, we're giving you another £7 as well. £89.50 is your overall saving if you're going for the big collection does still get better though because we've got that flexi buy option as well so we can break the price down over two months so 41 pounds and 19 pence today another in a month's time as well and everything will be shipped to you including the folder the storage folder is also included if you're going for the collection now normally if you're looking at these dies individually they would be 14.99 each so you can do the maths for yourselves so 243165 is the item and we're going to get the room with a view, all those. Of course, you've got those dies. You've got the quartet that's involved there. Then you've got three each for the pets. You've got the dogs and the cats, each containing quartets as well there. What a great bundle this is. Now, if you do want to go just for individuals, we'll give you the details as well. So let's go with the cats first of all. There we are. You can see the details there. £22.47. You can see the twenty-two fifty saving. So they're a fraction under half price. Do you know when you think of it like that? You really are saving so much money. 585100 is the item numbered here. Oh, I've just noticed something else. Oh, have you spotted something? I can't say anything. It's there. Yeah. I don't think that was meant to be there, but you can split the cost. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. We have also got the dogs for you as well. Man's best friend. Of course, you can tessellate these. You can use those individually. You can bring in the cats and you can snip into these. You can add your collars, your glitters, everything in the background. It's entirely up to you. Again, £22.47. Another £22.50 saving. 585100. And then, of course, the top row on the display that we've got here, you're getting all of these under the next item number that whole collection the four of the larger dies and then the quartet as well so five die sets in total three zero two seven zero zero you've got thirty seven pounds and fifty pence saving here again below half price that's all you're needing to pay carrying all those hits there again they've been sneaking those flexes in today Shh. Uh, carry all those savings over add on that extra seven pounds and that's where we total that enormous saving of 89 pounds and 50 pence so if you are going of course for the big collection make sure you've chosen the appropriate item number for whatever way you want to break this down then we'll give you the details again for those wonderful glue runners as well these are really really good you do get four I think if we work that out it works out you actually only paying for three of those yeah four for the price of three so 450 saving today 752 238 is the item number you could see actually when Paul was holding that you know that how how comfortable it looked in his hand you know these are everything's been thought about that's because of course from clarity it's crafters looking after crafters so everything is really thought out they're busy as well absolutely 1346 is the price 7523 Seven three. Sorry, seven five two two three eight is the item number. Let's head back to Paul and see what else he's got up his sleeve for us this afternoon. Over to you, Paul. 
Thanks, Catherine. Okay, I've got a few more samples just to show a few different variations on the theme. And it will work across the whole of the Fresh Cut range die. So if you like what we've got on the show today, check out the Craft Store website and just search for Fresh Cut. And yeah. you'll see that there's, we've got loads and loads of dies on there as well. Wonderful. But just to give you a couple of sort of suggestions. So this one here is making a bookmark using the quarterettes. And we can see how it tessellates. The design has been specially created so that it creates that complete country scene. You've got the little car, you've got the little path going up to the house. So a really nice sort of gift. Then this was the one we had a look at earlier where we've used them in a vertical position. And again, we've got that sniffability and you can just have a play around. I could have done the cushion in a different color. I could go in here with my pens and pencils and change the color as well. Then we have another one with the room of a view. So again, that I've taken nice. the main focal one. And again, it's all about the design of papers, that you'll notice yeah. that it changes the look of them. And then you've still got this little scene continuing in the bottom. So yeah. these are great for men's cards, for birthdays, for anniversaries, yeah. new homes. Definitely. Retirement as well. I mean, it's not that far to Father's Day, is it? Just going back to the papers as well, Paul, using them with the dies. I've noticed this so many times when you've been showing us, and including this show as well, when you put the different colours underneath, particularly something like Room with a View, it, you can find that there's areas of colour that make it look like there's a pond, or, you know, you can see the road, or the sky. So, you know, it is important, I think, to sort of really try those papers out like you did show us, because you will get those different results and you'll see completely different things. Absolutely. So for example, <coughs> excuse me, I've got the Antarctica to hand here. So what you would do, you would take the die and you lay it over and sort of find an area that you want to work with. If you just wanted a single sheet so that you've got the Antarctica, you've got the Amazonia, but parchment is fantastic behind yeah. it as well because you get that translucency. Again, if you want a really quick and easy card, we have our petite toppers. Again, we've got that on a pick and mix option. Oh, and amazing. there's some gorgeous colorways in there as well. So when I, there's just a few more I just wanted to show you. So we had a look at those two there. We had a look at the, now this one here, this was a piece that Barbara created. So oh, when we nice. look at the actual die itself, that's what it gives you, as we showcased in that first demo. It yeah. can give you that. But what Barbara's done is that she snipped it. She's taken it out of the, the card and then cut them in half. So what it does is it gives you, look, oh, a really nice idea. sort of... And it tells a story as well. So it's like a little storybook. Oh, do you okay. know that is a real keepsake, isn't it? Something like that. It is. And it just... Just imagine that on the shelf, and that it's all fully open. I've and got again, to say, I love the papers the... on that one as well, what, Paul. What book is that one in? Do you know? I think that one is Indian Summer. Wonderful. I've got a feeling that's Indian Summer. Let's okay. have a look at my... Is it Indian Summer? I reckon... Yeah, it's the 12 by 12 version oh, wow, of this one. That. Indian Summer. This is the 8 by 8 version. Um, but I know, the reason I know it's... The 12 by 12 is because the, the design is larger, the pattern's larger than the 8 by 8. Amazing. So okay. both would, so we've, we've got, got the 8 by 8s on the screen, everybody, if you would like to go for those. I think that was beautiful. Gorgeous. Rightful. And then the other thing, I don't know if you've seen these either, Catherine, our stamp board frames and panels. I have. Do you know why I've seen those, Paul? Why is that? Because I bought them. <laughs> really, Catherine, you do surprise me. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> okay. And they so are wonderful. When we have a look at they're brilliant. And we manufacture these ourselves. Dave cuts these out. So you get the actual frames and then you get the panels themselves. Now, these are stamp boards. And so it's top quality. You can stamp on them, you can ink them, you can cover them, you can throw water at them. But just taking that four by four on a piece of designer paper, it's an instant piece of artwork. See, and then if I go smaller using one of the quarterettes, look, you've got a series of different 
They look so, Pictures. so smart, don't they? I can imagine those on a wall pull, whether it's contemporary or whether it's a tr traditional home. You know, and again, put them in quartets as well. They would look beautiful on a wall in sets of four. Yeah, because, and you'd have that scene going along the wall, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. So whether you go, whether you don't, what you want it nice and closed in like this one is or whether you want a bit of space around it you've got that versatility of the different sizes to be able to do that but for me again it becomes about the magic of the design but also those designer papers in the background love it again the papers that have been chosen there work so well there's there's a mood around that it looks like almost a stormy sky or you know you've got dusk in there because you've got the reds in the sky again it's the papers that really work so well with those different scenes now what we've got here this is interesting okay so this is the comfy cats and it's the same principle where the designs mix and match in relation to having the quarterettes with the main focal image. So I thought what we would do, I would show you, I'm going to use the dog version to show you that, that you can get the same result, but just with a different design. So again, you could do it with the room with a view, you can do it with the cats, or you can do it with the man's best friend. So in order to do this, I've taken one of our larger card blanks, okay. and we're going to go to my folder, because I know I put them back earlier. So let me just, here we go. So we're going to go with the little quarterettes, and we're going to go with this one here, my best friend. Oh, lovely. Okay. So, so the my best friend is going to be the main focal point of the card. Okay. So therefore, I don't really want to include that same one in here to get the repeat. So I'm going to use the other three. So these are the little quarterettes. So they're all little individual dies. Just make sure I've got the same ones. Now, again, positioning. You can put these wherever you wish to, it's entirely up to you. But what I tend to do is I start off with the, the main, the large one first, and we're gonna tape that down to stop it moving. Okay. Lovely. And then we'll just pop that there. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna position that one sort of central to there, and I think I'll have this one sort of central to there, and then have this one down here. Now you can think, oh, how do I know whether I put them on straight or whether they're crooked? If I take my ruler, this is the Percomano ruler, it's on the website, it's got lines on it. Is this so the what one with I can the steel edge, Paul, as well? It is, yeah. yes. Um, and it comes with the groovy grip as well. So if I put a piece of white paper underneath there, so we can see this. Okay, so you can see now I've got all these lines on here. So what I can do, I can take one of those lines to the edge of the card and then pop those in place. You see, so I know those two dies at the bottom are going to be in a straight line. And then what I would do is I turn it this way and do the same in that direction yes, as well. So it's only just, if you want to go really precise and, and accurate, okay. And then you can run that all through your machine at once, okay. As long as you tape them down, then there won't be a problem with that. Just make sure they are really Lovely. secure. Do you know, talking with tape as well, Paul, we're extremely busy for those tape runners. I'm not surprised. They they are fantastic. And I'm not just saying it because it is our product, because I've seen the sales since we launched them. We launched them towards the end of March and we have sold a few yeah. of them. And to have them at this special offer as well, four for the price of three, I don't know how long we'll carry that special offer on for, um, but it's definitely worth taking advantage of. It because certainly again, is. It is that sort of top quality and to have 30 meters on there. And the reason we Barbara had so much put on there was to, to save plastic because yeah. the more you have on the roll, the less plastic's being used. So again, just remember to pop that back over and you won't get the, the end all gunged up. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Okay. So. I've already run this one through the die cut machine because you've seen me do it once before and I thought yeah. we can just save some time doing that. But even just with a white background behind it, it really brings it out, doesn't it? It really so does. So you knew we were talking earlier about 
So this was a larger card. So I really, I'd need sort of like my eight by eights. So if you have them in the folder, what you can do, this is where we talk about positioning it onto our backing paper and decide which one we want to go with. I mean, that's quite nice with that illumination behind. Let me just bring it over that way. There we go. The so illumination. Again, it totally changes, doesn't it? And it's all down to the different colours, you see. So the greens. But these are fantastic for really good. Last minute cards, you've forgotten somebody's birthday you, and you haven't got hours to, to make a card, but you want something that's going to be elegant. These would be great for dogs charities. They would, um, wouldn't just they? Make Definitely. A batch. Yeah. Because you can make you can make your cards to sell, or you can make them and give them to charity. So all you need is some cardstock. If you take advantage of the 12 by 12s as well, which is on special offer, then so if you went for two of those, there's 48 sheets in each. So that's 96 sheets. Times that by two is 192 luxury wow. inserts from those 12 by 12. Yeah, it does make them stand apart as well. As you know, if you are selling and you're off, you've got rivals, so to speak, as well. You want your cards to look the part, don't you? And it works every single time. And it shows how important these storage folders are as well, Paul. You know, the way you can flick across those pages and just sort of hover over the top there to see the colours through. Remember, you do get a storage folder in with the big collection. Let me just show you. Obviously, we've got nothing in ours, but I want you to see the different leaves that you've got in there, the different, um, or the amount of those different leaves in there so you can put everything back to back as Paul has shown us see doubling up on those pages so to speak there as well keep them nice and neat on your shelf they will stand perfectly do you know it's it's just another well thought out process when it comes to clarity and the way everything works together to keep everything nice and neat remember remember when it comes to the big collection here you are carrying over let me see if I can remember this 2250 from the dogs 22.50 from the cat bundle. You've got 37 pounds and 50 pence from the room with a view. In total, carrying over is 89 pounds and 50 pence. And on top of that, we're giving you that extra seven pounds. So that's included, yeah, in total with its 89 pounds and 50 pence, including the extra seven pounds we're giving you there. 243165 is the item number. We've already seen from Paul how you can work with these, how you can tessellate these, how you can build those scenes, how you can build the stories, how you can snip in, you can snip out of them, how you can colour into them as well. Do you know, we talked about glitter as well. Everybody's got their own way of working with things. If you want to use glitter in the background, you can. If you want to use the beautiful papers, you can. If you want to use your watercolours, your pencils, your alcohol pens, you can. You could even, actually, you could even draw around that chair and cut a piece of fabric out with a pair of scissors and put behind there if you wanted to as well. Do you know, there's so many different ways. I'm just going to have a bit of a rummage through some more of the samples here as well, just to show you again the versatility. Now, this one is one of Dee Paramore's. Uh, we've got one from Andy that I'm going to show you next. There we go. Wonderful. Again, the black and white works so well, doesn't it? The quarterettes, one from Jane Telford here. Again, it works beautifully. You know, just as Paul was showing us, I was looking at these as well. And I think, although you've got those houses, but you could take the centre out and create two small, tall houses as well. So think about different ways that you could build little towns up. You know, it just goes on and on and on. And another one, we did see this one with Paul, or a very similar one, but I just think it works beautifully snipping out the larger chair, using the, the quarter ones there as well. The quarterettes there, absolutely beautiful. 243165 is the item number if you're going for the big collection. Do not forget about those papers. If you haven't got them or you want to stock up while well, we've got great prices this hour, please make sure you check your baskets out and go for those as well. Paul, I think you want to show us another demonstration so we can hand it back to you. Okay, Catherine, thank you. Yeah, so it was just really to complete the one that we was looking at a moment ago, where we've created this. So again, what I've done, I've taken a piece of the beautiful Toscana oh, paper, nice. and I've just trimmed it down so that it will fit nicely inside. So now, again, because it's double-sided, I have options, you see. So again, depending on what way you want to position it, will give it a different look. Completely. But I thought it was quite nice with the softer. I mean, when I say softer, it's still so vibrant. But again, it gives you a really nice finish to the card. So I'm reckoning, 
What do you reckon, Kath? I reckon... I, 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 honestly, I, I like that one, yeah. It's hard to choose because I like every single one of them. But, yeah, that, go with that one. Really like that depth we'll of colour at the one. top. OK. And then all I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my tape runner, I'm just going to pop it onto the inside of there, and then I can take my piece of paper that I've trimmed down to size, pop that in there, fold that over, and job done. And really nice and easy. Aww. But it just needs a little finishing touch, don't you think, Catherine? I think it so, needs a sentiment. Yeah. It does. So also on the show, we've got the fantastic Feel Good Factor stickers oh, from brilliant. Barbara. They're very sort of uplifting, and it all resulted from the shack, which Barbara does on Facebook Live on Mondays and Wednesdays at 10 o'clock. And it's all about staying safe, being happy and creative, and, and just, you know, just enjoying and keeping one another company. So you've got really lovely uplifting ones. I mean, I think this one's good. Away to the woods, away. <laughs> um, I'm so lucky to know you. Smile. I mean, smile yeah. says so many yeah, things. Yeah, just a simple word um, can say so much. So you've got the, the fantastic Feel Good Factor stickers. Then we've got a bumper collection where we've got the original barbarisms. Yeah. So fantastic. So again, when you hear that, when I read these, I can hear Barbara saying them. <laughs> Dreams come true, keep it simple, blimmin' brilliant. I mean, <laughs> again, and you've got them in black and white as well. The white ones you can obviously change the colour of by with your ink pads. Yeah. Then we've got the Clarity Christmas and Celebrations. So, again, you may think it's a bit early for Christmas, but it's never too early for Christmas. It never and is. again, you've got them in black and in white. You've got their happy birthdays, let your hair down if you've got any. Um, it must be love on your anniversary. And then we've got the Leonieisms. So again, really sort of mad <laughs> words, cutie, lush, donut. <laughs> again, I'm a round peg in a square hole. So there's so many different choices that you've got in here if you really want to do a quick and easy. So let's go with, I'm going to go with Rebel Without a Call. Was that one oh. there is just jumping out at me. See, and then you can take that, pop it onto there. And that and the fits perfectly done. there, doesn't it? Absolutely. That looks amazing, so, that's why it really does. So again, it's the same concept in relation to the layout but it's just different designs. Completely different. Completely. Love it. And this is why the big collection is so well worth having. You've got something for all occasions, all ages. You know, there's nothing seasonal about this. These will work all year round. Particularly, I'm looking at the room with a the view there as well and choosing those papers. If you are wanting something a little bit more wintry, then of course, you know, you can pick the choose the papers or the backgrounds to suit winter seasons. You can go with the spring, with the summer. It's all about how you work with those backgrounds. But the work has been done. Those dies cut perfectly as well. We've seen that when Paula's been cutting. We're looking at the top row. We're looking at the pets below. We're looking at those cats. We're looking at the dogs as well. All part of that full collection. All savings from the individuals have been carried over. On top of that, we're giving you that £7, which totals the £89.50 overall saving. And it gets better because we do have Flexi for you as well. So we can split it into two payments so you can really spread the cost. 243165. If you are adding in any of the papers, any of the glue as well, the glue runners, you can also put those in and spread the cost as well if you've got that Flexi basket open. Now, we've got some more dies as well. I'm just going to show you these. Now, we do have different item numbers for each set. So we're looking at the, ne the nested rectangles first. Nine individual dies here. I'm just going to flip them around so you can see the actual dies. $14.99. Wow. Look at the saving there. £10 saving today. 228474. That's a great saving. These are so worth having as well. If you haven't already got yours, do stock up now. Maybe you're missing a certain shape. Perhaps you're missing the circles. They're up next. We're going to bring you the details. Different item number, as I say, 782377 for this one. You've actually got 11 dies in this set. Still a £10 saving. Only $14.99 again. You're spoiling us this hour, Paul. Now we've got the hearts as well. Oh, these are beautiful. I mean, it's not just about cars. We're thinking about different home decor projects. We're thinking about gift boxes and gift bags as well. Another one at £14.99 with a £10 saving. You've got seven dies here. Really good-sized dies as well. 809508. 
Right, Paul, I've shown what I've got. What have you got? <laughs> <laughs> OK, Catherine, if we come back to the studio for a moment, to your left on oh. the front of the counter, you've got a beautiful sample on the bottom row. It's got a circle, a square. It's the black card. Yep. That one ah, there. So, yes. Yep. Absolutely stunning. Okay. Now, when you look at this, you'll think, how can you get those shapes? It, the die is a, a square aperture. Yeah. It's all about using those nested dies. Okay. So the one in the middle you, we, has been put behind a square aperture. So using the nested squares to die cut the, the aperture and you put the die behind it. The same with the circle. You die cut a circle aperture and you pop that behind it. Clever. And the same with the heart. Now, if you look, it took me a while when I first... That is the same image behind all three of it those It is, apertures. isn't it? Yeah. Do you know, uh, the, re the reason... Looking at the cottages, you wouldn't notice it. It's only because of the sun rays in there that I think you realise it's the same one. And that's a great example as well of how you can colour into the die cut as well to bring the colours through. It really is amazing using those different apertures, isn't it? It is. So I thought for this demo, what we'll do is we'll have a look. So here's two that I've done previously. Aww. And you can see, so we've got the beautiful cottages, you've got the, the trees, you've got the little cows in the field. But what I've done with these ones is I've used parchment. Oh, nice. So you get a really nice translucent look to it as well. So it's soft, it's very... Um, What's the word? Um, diffuse. Sort of, it's got that diffuse look. Diffused, ethereal. Is that the right yeah, word ethereal. as well? Ethereal, yeah, that's a good yeah. way of describing it. So again, really, really nice and really simple to do. So I thought what we'll do, we've got these circle ones here, and that card that we were just looking at was using the square and also the heart. So I thought, right, let's bring the hearts into play. Because again, these are great for your matting and layering. They're great. You can die cut your paper, your cards, your parchment. But they're also fantastic for creating apertures within cards. OK. OK. So let's pop these to one side. So if I bring in one of our white card blanks, and then I can decide which heart I want to go with to create my aperture. Now, do I want to go on straight? Do I want to go on crooked? It's all about just playing around. OK, so what I've done, again, just to save a little bit of time, is I've taken that heart and I've die cut. So again, even if you're just new to die cutting, the basic shape, if I bring in, let me have a look, let me bring on oh, one of my favourite ones. Let me just bring in Amazonia. OK. OK, so I can take my Amazonia and I can take the backgrounds and I could just pop a piece of that behind it. Love you don't it. really need, look, I, I, this is my favourite one, you can tell that I, <laughs> I keep all the bits. But again, just by moving it around, so whether you go with the papers, again, you've got some really nice scenic ones in here. I love the oranges and the yeah. greens. Really oh, bright and bold. But also, if you go with the petite toppers, See, these give you instant little pieces of artwork. These are the paper pads and the topper sets, Paul, that keep on giving, aren't they? They really do. Absolutely. Absol yeah, it is absolutely. I'm just going to let everybody know we've got queues on the phone lines at the moment as well. If you can use the website or the app, uh, it's the quickest route. Don't forget to add into your baskets things like the glue runners, the extra dies while we've got the savings on them as well. And if you're going for the big collection with the flex seat, you'll split the costs on everything. We have got busy as the hours got on as well. We are very busy at the moment. So we not don't want to take it away from Paul. So we're going to head back there, but just a little bit of a heads up. OK, Paul. Thanks, Catherine. So what I've done is I've die cut one of the, I just chose it. This will work with any of the dies that we've got on the show this afternoon. But I, the room with a view for me is very sort of generic. It'll be for a new home, as we said, a man's car. Us men are so difficult to make cards for. <laughs> but when you place it over the top, you see, it just automatically just changes the look of it instantly. It does, doesn't it? Do you know, even the trees in the background there, if you wanted to snip one or two of those out and have that more open there, you could do, couldn't you? 
Absolutely. Shall I do that just to show you the, the versatility? So if I take a pair of scissors, just so we can have a, a look on. So all you do is take a nice pair of sharp scissors and you snip away. You're, I'm pruning now. I'm chopping down a few trees. <laughs> I shouldn't really, but um, just for art's sake. As so long as again, there's no nesting just, birds, you'll be all right. No, I'm, I'm sure we're safe on these trees. <laughs> So if I want, so I'm going to take out the the top part there, and you just bring that in. But yeah, these do have fantastic snippability to them. So and you could keep those little bits and use them yeah, in your journaling useful. and and everything else. So we're just going to snip those ones out there, and then I'm going to come in. So again, get creative. Do it. if you're not sure well, on where to difference. snip. Yeah, if you're not sure where to snip, then die cut a piece of copy paper. Don't use your good car stock. Die cut a piece of copy paper and practice on that. And yeah. when you're happy with it, you go, then you use that as your template. But when we look, this is exactly the same image. That's made more different. difference than I ever realised it would do, actually. And if I wanted to, I could get rid of the, the bars at the yeah. top yeah. as well. So again, just have a play and see what you can come up with. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on the inside of my card. I'm going to decide exactly where to position that. So I reckon there. Now I know that the border here is going to show through the heart aperture. So I'm just going to be careful where I apply my tape. So again, I'm just going to go across the top. And across, I mean, this isn't, it's good quality cardstock, but it's not, the glue is sufficient to, to hold it in place. Okay, yeah. and I'm going to pop that just there. Now, parchment, Catherine, you know, you're, you're a groover. You know how difficult it, it is to attach parchment to a card once you've done your piece of work. Yeah. One of the great things with this tape is that, Depending on the, the parchment you're using, obviously darker colours are better, but it works fantastic on the parchment as well. So now, if I position that over the back, so I've hidden now all the, the joining over the back. You can't see you can't the tape see at all, can you? through the parchment, no. And test it first onto a scrap of paper if you're not sure, if you think it may show. And then we turn oh, that look round. At that. that would be beautiful in the lid of a gift box or around the sides of a box as well if you wanted to put an LED light in there. So you've got that, that diffused yeah. effect with the parchment. Beautiful. Absolutely. I mean, I've got a, a sample here. It's not with that particular dye. But yes, you could do that. You could create all oh, four nice. scenes, you see, by doing that. And with a battery operated yeah. candle inside, you could illuminate that. So, yeah you can experiment and sort of really sort of have a play with that. So again, just to finish it off, I've used some of the sentiments we've got on the show as well. Again, or you could stamp something. You could die cut another heart with the other layers to create a frame around that it as well. That would look nice, wouldn't it, as well, in a contrasting colour or just the black, if you've stuck with yeah. the, the white cards up there. Yeah, really nice idea. That's right. So again, a really another quick and easy card. Wonderful. Amazing. Oh, thank you, Paul. Wonderful as always. So much inspiration. Now, we're just going to remind you of one or two other things as well. We've been talking about the storage. You do get a storage fol folder thrown in with a big collection, but you can go for these individually as well. If you want a pair of them, here we've got an item number 735326-1396. These are well worth having. I mean, we've seen from Paul, you can fit more than one collection in there as well. Put them back to back, use them for your papers, use them for your dies, use them for whatever you wish. Actually, when Paul was saying there about cutting out dies from bits of copier paper and snipping into them to see how they work, I would keep all those things in the folders as well so you've got them for future reference so you don't forget how you can work with these. 735-326, busy on those as well. I think you can appreciate now how well these work if you've got them on your shelves in your craft room. Now, watching that demonstration there with Paul as well these are absolutely brilliant with the parchment far more than the parchment now we've seen how you just don't see the glue coming through you are saving on this you're actually getting four for the price of three you're saving four pounds and fifty pence is sixty percent of the stock gone during this hour alone thirteen pounds and forty six pence seven five two two three 
eight. There you are. Now, if you're not convinced already, just look at what you could be going for. This has got that flexi buy option for you. I'm going to go through those savings again because we can break this down. You can go for the individuals. The top row, this is our room with a view. If you're going for that there, there is a saving of 37 pounds and 50 pence. 37 pounds, 50 pence. If you're going for the collection, that will be carried over. At the bottom where we've got, of course, the dogs and we've also got the cats. Different item numbers if you're going for them individually, but all part of the big collection. On each of those selections, you are saving another £22.50. Again, those savings carried over to the big collection. So you put those together, and then on top of those savings, we're going to give you another £7. In total, it will give you £89.50 as a saving. And you're getting the folder as well. So all of those dies, all of those different ideas that we've seen, you are going to find far more ideas as well. Once you get going... Please, if you haven't gone for the papers as well, make sure you're stuck up on them. We've seen how you can change the view, how you can change the mood, how you can change the scene. Just from looking at one piece of paper and changing the position that you use. I just love, love, love everything when it comes to clarity and groovy because, you know, everything's been so well thought out. 243165 is the item number for the big collection with those two payments of £41.19. Now, I think, Paul, we might be able to squeeze in even more, you know. Have you got anything else you can share with us? I have indeed. We'll Wonderful. see what we can do. I mean, that is the benefit of the dies because you can make a quick and easy card if yeah. you need to. Now, the one we're going to look at now, obviously, I've staged it all just to, because I know it's always the way we, we hit time is always an issue, isn't it? It is. So, this is, remember we looked at this one at the beginning that Barbara did, where all of the panels had been cut down to create separate sections. I really love so that So I idea. thought it'd be really nice to do sort of like a gatefold card. So you open it up, oh. and again, look at the, the papers. And it's just using two panels with a little piece of paper piecing. Yeah. Okay. I love how now, they're offset as well. Do you know, it just adds to the whole design of that card. I love it. it just gives it a little bit of balance, doesn't yeah. it? So what that means is that you can mix and match. So, for example, you could take a piece from this one here and you could take a piece from this one here. So it hasn't got to be from the same die by doing that offset because you're not having to sort of line up to get the of tessellation course. to work. Yeah. So for me, I mean, this would be a fantastic wedding card. So you've got the church with the wedding car. Again, just sort of playing around with it. That's a great idea, actually. That would work very, so, very well. So I've already sort of made a start on it. So I created my gatefold cards, and the way in which I did that, these are our card blanks. So if I just, you just fold that in half like you would normally, okay? okay. And then if you open it up, and then just fold into the middle. Right, got you. That gives you your gatefold. Lovely. And then you would take a piece of the 8x8, I mean, or the petite card topper, just to pop on the inside. But I went with the 8x8 in the inside of my card here. Okay. Then I took more of that paper, and I've then trimmed it down to create panels. And again, you decide how you want to pop that on there. So if I take my tape runners again... Just go nice and slowly along the edges. And if you give it a little flick when you get to the end, it will give it a nice clean break. Do you know, Paul, as well, with the rectangle dies, oh, actually, yeah, the rectangle dies, I know it would be a different size to the card you're making at the moment, but you could actually cut your card bases out, rectangular, and use the different size dies to create the panels at the front as well. Absolutely. So, yeah, you could you could do this could be hearts as well because yeah. you've got those tiny little little hearts. So where's my heart? Oh, I was here. There. So, yes, yeah, so you could do tiny little hearts just coming down as well. Lovely. It's, see, for me, dies have always been a quick and easy way of making a card. But you can make take it further if you wish to. So look, I've got a selection of these that I've already cut out. Let me bring that white piece of paper back into play just so that we can see those a little bit more clearly they so, would you know, be lovely just... stencils as well paul if you just wanted to stencil through them stencils bookmarks you could do so many different things with them so again just because it's a square doesn't mean oh that one's upside down that's an australian one and <laughs> um, it doesn't 
you can yeah you can just change the look of them completely and again if you don't want the sunrise coming up or the the moon going down you can snip out different elements to them as well okay so we're just going to pop that to one side so again here's one that i've already trimmed down as well so that would just then go on to there and then for the paper piecing part of it i've got to do this bit live just to show i mean i went with white to make it really stand out so if i bring in where's that one so if i could i could bring the car one in which is the room of a view a drive in a countryside whoops so it is in the folder it says i'm just going to take a white piece of card and we can cut out the whole thing so that we're, we're not wasting it. Yeah, so of course. we'll just pop that on there. We've got a couple of minutes left, Paul, just to give you a time check. <gasps> Perfect. A couple of minutes, he says. Famous last words. <laughs> all of a sudden, Catherine, you know, being a, a demonstrator as well as a presenter, all of a sudden the time just disappears, I doesn't know. it? You, you think you, you're in a nice flow, and then yeah. all of a sudden. Minute to go. <laughs> I know. Just like the die cutting there as well. Something else I've just noticed with that card pole, the original one, the one that's finished, you've put the panels the opposite way round, how you've got them laid out at the moment. And again, it totally changes. It's same panels, but you've just flipped them. But it makes it look yeah. so different. It does. Uh, so again, you could do the same panel if you chose to as well. Yeah. It's all about having that flexibility so now if i spin this over i mean barb does a fantastic technique called trap the scrap and basically what we want now is the scrap within the die you see so I, we can see that that's all left normally we would throw that away but what i need let me just get my where's that gone it's hiding from me this will oh, do oh paul so 50 can... seconds 50 seconds yeah okay. quick so basically <laughs> let me just take, if i take one bit out i'm going to take one bit out i'm going to take a bit of glue and then you pop it in there and you just start to build up the color of your car amazing amazing Do you know even that little bit on the roof made a difference didn't it you can see how that's going to build so beautifully yeah it could be a snowy scene love it love it oh paul thank you Do you know it was an absolute delight again it was lovely to see this range again and many people as i said have never seen it before check those baskets out don't miss out don't you know, we've been very busy on the papers the gloves all those other things as well make sure you get what you need while we've got the savings take advantage of the flexi as well thank you for joining us we've got much more coming up though if you haven't gone for that sewing machine yet be quick that's coming up next see you soon yes it's final call for a britannia sewing one day special and then we're dressmaking with emporia i'm going to announce the winner of the giveaway as well then we've got crafty uk one day special at six Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps and we've got a great range of inks which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly inks are loaded with mica so they give you amazing results on your projects. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. We'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So 
to make sure you don't miss the studio light shows. Join us on Friday the 7th of May at 3pm to Saturday the 8th of May at 6pm for a chance to be part of our Stitch to Impress prize draw. Place an order for any item featured within any live soft craft show during this event and you will automatically be entered into the prize draw. Prizes will be added within each live soft craft show so keep watching the shows as the prize grows. Everything could be yours. Good luck! A very good afternoon, stroke early evening to you, I'm going to go with. I hope you're well. Uh, this is your last and final hour. Yep, yeah, four o'clock, your last and final hour uh, to get into our Stitch to Impress prize draw. Anything you buy during this hour, uh, you'll be automatically put in to the draw with over £800 worth of goodies. Uh, you've got patterns in there. You've got books from Search Press in there. You've got a blouse kit with fabric. You've got a point presser in there. You've got fabric shears in there. You've got pin cushions in there. You've got a sewing box in there. You've got wadding in there as well. You've got interfacing uh, thrown in. You've got a multi-tool thrown in there. You've got a self-measuring tape in there. Hand cream that's in there. A sewing machine worth £249 from Britannia as well and a sewing machine bag. What more could you ask for? All of that and more but all you have to do is buy during this hour to be put into that price draw and our Catherine will be announcing the winner in the next hour. Now you may be going for the one day special bundle. It has been phenomenally busy. Three quarters of the stock now has already gone. And once it's gone, it has gone. I've just asked the question and I found out the answer. Once it's gone, it has gone. This is going to be one of those shows once there'll be no magical phone calls, there'll be no more machines. Once this bundle has gone, this bundle will not be coming back in this configuration and especially for this price. Uh, before we introduce uh, George himself, I just want to read something out to you. And I think this got sent in during the 12 o'clock show. It was an email from Michelle. I think this sums it all up. I just wanted to contact you to let you know I have this machine and the embroidery accessories. I also have an embroidery machine that costs me more than double the cost of the two items together. I can honestly say that my more expensive machine is never used, as the Britannia one is far superior. It is a great machine and will sew anything I throw at it. And the price, you have an excellent value of money. Kindest regards, Michelle. I think that sums it all up. She has a machine that is double the price of what you would pay for both of these together. And I'll get onto that shortly. But your sewing machine that we have here is already busy. This is your last and final hour. As I say it again, once it's gone, it has gone. And I now know how many I have left, which is not that many. Will it be the stock or will it be the clock? It's going to be one of these. The price will go back up to £598. But I'm not alone. The man with the knowledge is standing on the other side of the studio. Uh, it's our George. Evening, afternoon. Good evening and good afternoon. Uh, so let's go. I didn't, I didn't really ask you this uh, last night. Let's go all the way back. What is your background? So I grew up in the world of needlecraft. So... Um, my family are involved, my grandparents were involved, um, and I've just got enticed into this thriving community of crafters. So, um, first off, when I was very small, um, just playing around on, on the machines, and then I started making quilts. And then from there, I went into the 3D world of bags and putting those together. And then more recently, I've started to make some shirts, um, as well and next it's probably going to be dresses 
Nice. So you really know, in theory, you know your stuff, you know your way around a machine, as it were. Exactly, yeah, both the mechanical side and also the application of the machine as well. Which is amazing for the sheer fact that the price that you are getting today, we've popped it onto three flexible payments for your £159 uh, and a couple of pence. But why pay the whole lot, £478.94, when you can split that cost onto three interest-free flexible payments uh, of 15965? What you're looking at there, let me give you your item number as well, and then we'll get straight into the machine, because that's what you want to know. Uh, 569982 is your item number. You get so many things in this. So you're getting the machine itself which is worth by far uh, the full amount of money that the price is going to go back up to. It's going to come with a three-year warranty included as well. Eventually, as well, it will also come with online tutorials. Online tutorials. So this is a product that's going to grow with you, whether you're just beginning or you're already at that expert stage. As Michelle said in her email, she has got a more expensive machine, but she doesn't use it because this does everything that she needs and more. You then, we're also, in theory, if you look at the price that you're saving, we're going to throw in the extension table as well for nothing. So you're going to get that extension table because that's £39.99 on its own. From that, we're also going to throw in the accessory kit that you're getting there, which is £59.95 worth of value that you are getting in on top. So that's just shy of £100 for free, but you're not paying for them. And then on top of that, if it was me and I'm not a Freedom member, I would also become a Freedom member as well because your postage and package on this is eleven ninety five, which is a phenomenal price. So imagine, delivered to your door. It's a weighty product, which means we're talking quality, but not too weighty, if you understand what I mean. But that eleven ninety five is perfect value for money. It's going to be couriered to your door from here to you. But with the money that you're saving, that extra £20 that you're saving, become a Freedom member. You get it for a month. And then it's free postage and package on anything else. Maybe you're going to order threads, materials that we've got running through the event as well. Right then, let's kick off with the good stuff. Let's kick off with the feature-packed machine that we've got here. Let's start at the very beginning. Let's start with our bobbins. Yeah. So, normally, old-fashioned way, we have to do them by hand. Does the machine incorporate the bobbins itself? Can the machine do all that? Yes, so the, it has a fully automatic bobbin winder on there. And not only that, it's got a quick thread, really, really easy to use bobbin winder. So I can show you quickly if you yeah, like. Let's do it. Yeah, 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 let's do it. Indeed. So all you have to do is pop your bobbin onto the winder there, like that. Flick it over like that. And then we just take the thread from here. And to f thread the bobbin, you follow the dotted line. So you go one, two, three, round there, underneath that tension. Underneath that tension like that. And then all you do, rather than threading the, the thread th through the, uh, the hole, which is, which is a pain, you just yeah. wrap the thread around there four, five times, okay. and it cuts off on a little blade. And then you engage that, and that will start to wind the machine. Well, look at now, that. I can either let that wind until completion, or if I'm just doing a small project, I can say, stop it there, and take that off. And that is now ready to go into the machine, and uh, we can thread the machine up. I absolutely adore this machine. I really, really do. Uh, so you've got your self wind bobbin winder on there. By the touch of a button, follow the patterns, it's all on there as well. Uh, it winds your bobbins for you. Right then, let's move on to the threading. Uh, let's move on to threading. Is the machine easier to thread? It's, it is. It's got um, a quick thread, uh, quick thread bobbin system. So um, you just got to make sure that your thread's spinning anti-clockwise, and drop it into the machine. Take it round the little guide, and that. It, that bit is done there. And then the top of the thread is as easy as following the arrows around here. So you just go one, two, three, four, five. Put the foot down there, that, then you'll feel that's in the tension. Six. Now this part on here is the automatic needle threader. Um, and it is automatic. So all you have to do is pull that down like that. Put the thread around there into the hook and it cuts off at the back there 
and then you click that and you've got that loop at the back there that you yeah. can pull through and the machine is now set and ready to go amazing so everything that's done for us so far we've all we've done is literally followed the guides so we've wound up bobbin We've thread our machine, we've put it through the eye of a needle, which is always the tricky part, because you normally have to get one of them little tools and you have to put the tool through, put the thread through, pull it all through together. If you've got a thick cotton, it never goes through first time, then it starts to thread. Uh, we've all tried it with VMV machines. Um, let's move on to tension. So, do we have to, depending on the materials we use, change the tension with a, a cog or a gear or a, a flick of a button? No, you don't. This has a fully automatic tension. So, whether you're doing uh, lightweight organza silks, right up to denims, and uh, and fleeces and canvases um, you don't have to worry about the tension however you can still override that tension okay. as you get more experienced um, and if you wanted to create effect there's lots of different things you can do it really is going to grow with us isn't it it's really going to go from it's going to hold our hand and then as we get more confident and you start reading patterns and the pattern go well you need your tension to this you can override that feature and go well i'll set my own tension this time that's it yeah it makes the more difficult it makes the more difficult work a lot easier that's amazing so now so we've got also tension on there uh the sewing function so let's actually see it sewing and so once it's sewed normally on the on the sort of I'm going to call it an inferior machine that I've got because mine's a supermarket machine. I was so terrible. I had this in my basket last night for hours. I was like, do I? I don't know. But then I thought, I have a show today. I'm going to ask all the questions. Uh, so, uh, where's we put the uh, fabrics through? Um, has it got sort of a uh, on the spot position? And so it'll sort of fasten off and then it's got a stitch on the spot and then it's got a, an auto cut feature? Well, that's it. It's got both of those things. So, um, first off, we notice when we start the machine, what you do is, as you lift the foot up, you see the light on there. That goes red. That means it is not ready to go. So, if you are a beginner, you're not going to go making mistakes starting the machine when it's not ready to because it won't do it. Okay. So, I can just pop that down like that. That goes green and it's ready to sew. But if I want to add in that stitch on the spot system, what I can do is press that button there. Now that is highlighted, what the machine will do is three stitches on the spot and then it will sew along like that. Which button did you press then? The stitch on the spot? This button here. Oh, the one over there. Okay. That's it. So, um, and then what I can do is carry on. So I've got my speed control on here. So again, if I was a beginner, I'd, I'd cap it at about halfway so it's not going to run away from you. Um, and as I'm coming to the end, if I press the tortoise on there, it slows the machine right down. So I'll stop that. And then that button also doubles up to do half a stitch at a time. So I can come oh, nicely right up to the end of my seam. When I finish, I just press the reverse on there. I like that. Press the reverse on there. Oh, no. I changed stitch halfway through, so it's not going to do it. Um, I'll show you that again. So, so stitch on the spot when you start because that's highlighted. So when I come to the end, press that reverse on there, and it will finish that stitch off, um, leaving that knot underneath. And then all I have to do to take the fabric out press that button, it cuts the threads, leaves them underneath, and there it's knotted Goodbye. both sides and tied off as well. It is a phenomenal piece of kit. It really, really is. So we've now seen it sew. We've seen what you can put through it. Uh, we've had a question in already. Let's go to your questions. Uh, say that again, sorry. How deep is the sewing space? Could it quilt a double quilt? Yes, exactly. So you've got a six inch underarm on here. Nice. Now, that's not the only important thing about an underarm because a lot of people take that sideways length, but actually the height is very important as well. So this is um, about an inch higher than your standard machine, which means when you roll up a quilt, um, you get a lot more in there. So a double quilt, absolutely no problem on here. So you can get your double quilts through there as well. And it is one of the big things, is the big, it's sort of the neck that you've got on there, because obviously that makes it um, really easy to start putting your quilts through. So we've seen it so. Uh, let's get to the more technical side of this now, because this is the one thing that, as I was driving home, uh, my nan phoned me, bless her, she wants everything I do. Uh, but she's, she's a sewer. She likes a sewing machine and she loved the machine as well. 
But she said, oh, it's, it's all well and good, Adam, but it's got that little computer on. I'm just used to my, I know what I'm doing with my hand winding one. Uh, she is, my, she's my nana. She's only just worked out to FaceTime. Uh, so uh, you've got your little com, um, com, sort of com, built-in computer. Yeah. Is it as daunting as it looks? Because there's a lot of buttons on there. Apps. But it's all quite self-explanatory. That's it. Yeah, there's a lot of buttons, um, but it's very self-explanatory. So um, you've got uh, four different options for your screen in there. So on the pattern here, on the I'm on the pattern screen at the moment. So what that will do is, as I go up and down on here, it then relates to the stitch chart on the top there. So for example, number 25 is is um, is this stitch here. That will sew through there. So the, the button below it is the length control, which I can actually adjust as the machine is going. How many stitches does it actually have built into the machine? It's got 65 stitches built into the machine, which you can elongate, um, shorten, um, widen, um, make them thinner as well, literally as you're using the machine. So I can change the length and the width while I'm going. And that creates a totally different effect in itself. Look oh, at that yeah. now. So as midway through, we started changing the uh, the sort of the height, as you can see there, and also the width as well. So it really can. So we say you've got 65 stitches built in, but you've probably got an infinite amount of stitches by the time you've manipulated them and you've changed them slightly. All those different variations and combinations, exactly. I absolutely do them. So all your stitches, if you're thinking, where are all the stitches? They're all in the inside cover. So your stitches are with you every single time uh, that you've got there. So all your stitches, you're not going to lose them. They're not on a bit of card that you have to fold in and put under little clips. They're sort of printed on. So you know they're always going to stay with you. So you get functional ones in there and you're also getting your decorative stitches in there as well. Um, let's go to one of the big ones because I know my machine doesn't do this at home. Uh, let's so Does it do buttonholes and things like that? It does buttonholes and things like that exactly yeah so um, the beauty of this machine as well is, is the buttonhole is fully automatic so it, it actually measures the size of the button you're going to do so I've got my buttonhole foot here um, and um, the button actually fits in there so it's going to do the same size buttonhole every single time so all I have to do is unhook that at the back there's a little hook at the back that you just flick in and then to pop this on I just just drop it on like that and okay. it's ready oh my word so no faff with a screwdriver or anything like that no that's it yeah so these the, the, it's got that hinge on there which allows it to to ride up over different fabrics and then I can even put a buttonhole onto a sheer fabric like this and um, that is extraordinary so on there like that. I'm gonna so I I've got my standard buttonhole here which is number sixteen, but I've also got four more buttonholes to choose from. So I'm gonna do a round edge button round edge buttonhole okay. which is number eighteen. So it measures it measures the size of the button that you're actually doing. So you haven't got to calculate, you haven't got to tell the machine anything. You literally put your button in and then, how, how, do you know the width of the buttons that we can use? Is there a, a good gauge in there? Yeah, that's it. So um, you can go right up to a 25mm button. Hole, button um, that will fit into the back. So this on oh there word. opens right up. So again, just press the thread trimmer so it pulls both ends underneath as well. And there you've got that beautiful buttonhole. Look how quick and simple that was. There's no puckering on that fabric as well because this fabric can be a nightmare. Imagine you're at the end of making something and you do your buttonhole and it snags the fabric because you can't unpick a snag. So um, you, you, can, you can be confident in the fact that this machine will do it without any problems. I, do, I really do. I, do. I said it last night. I think I've sold it to myself. I absolutely love it. 
I, because it does everything for you, whether you're at the beginning of the work, whether you're at the you start of your journey for sewing. Um, we said sort of in the introductions, and we said it last night, these are very popular in schools and for classes and teaching uh, for things like these. For the sheer fact, it's the usability that you get in there, which is absolutely uh, amazing that you're getting in there. And you're getting so many added extras, including including in the kit as well, that you're getting. So you're getting your extenders of your table that's in there. You've also got your extra feet that you've got in there. You've got your bobbins, your needles, your buttons uh, that's in there as well. You have got everything that you need. Oh, my word. But now 80% of the stock has now gone. These are some of the features that we've got on here as well. Now, we've already mentioned 65 stitches that you get pre-included into the machine itself. You've got that auto-tension function, which I think is phenomenal. Uh, so there's no more faffing, there's no more guesswork, there's no more flicking uh, through the manual to find out what tension that you actually need. Uh, you get the sample patterns and you also get the sk stitch control function as well. You also get your tangle-free bobbin winder system with safeguard, which cuts everything that you've got. Uh, you've got the foolproof needleless system that's in there. You've got the unique uh, um, slow speed, so you can go really at a snail's pace if you want to. So you're going to get those crisp lines every single time uh, with one touch of a button. You've also got that quick uh, quick set bobbin system that's in there. Just drop it in and make sure it's fed the red ra right way round. You've also got your LED lighting that's in there as well. So tongue twister, this is. And you've also got your hard case which we've not touched on but we will shortly do not fear uh, you've got your hard case with accessory compartment as well uh, we've heard from one owner already we've heard from our michelle who said it, this machine is better than her more expensive machine uh, that she's bought before and here's one from our becky my new machine up and ready to use so easy to set up and choose the variety of stitches 65 is what you've actually got uh, really looking forward uh, to getting back into the sewing after several years of having a rubbish machine i bought it on the internet uh, and it's expensive mistake and that's the perks of your shopping telly at the moment we can guide you around the machines uh, one from our sophie uh, got my new machine yesterday um trying out the embroidery unit as well which is an add-on that you can get you don't need to change the machine it just simply clips on uh, very pleased with my very first results from our sophie Right then, let's go back uh, to our George. If there is a question that you need uh, me to ask, fire it in, email studio at thecraftstore.com and I'll put your questions forward. Right then, what are we up to this time? Right, so stretch fabrics. Oh. Obviously, stretch fabrics are lovely to work with, especially in dressmaking. Um, good, um, they, they can be very generous stretch fabrics, but tricky to work with. So usually I would change to a jersey needle or a stretch needle, but all I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the needle in there use the quick uh, the, the the utility stitches at the bottom here just press that it's, it looks like a lightning bolt and what this is doing is for every single stitch forward it does half a stitch back and that is going to allow the fabric then to stretch so I'm going right along the edge here and again from a thin jersey to a thick fleece um, without changing anything obviously you can set it to that fleece as well. But that goes from there to there without a hitch. And then just allow that to come to the end. And what this is gonna do when I take this out is because of that small back stitch in there, it's gonna allow the fabric to stretch. So if I take that out, cut the threads on there. Beautiful in there. And you see that, that stretch oh, yeah. in there. And same on the jersey here, that stretch. Um, and then if you turn that inside out, it's a beautiful, tight seam. Look at that. And there, uh, you can't see those stitches at all. It's not separating. Um, it is a really prof professional finish. And that's that what I was going to say. It gives you that professional quality, which really you haven't really had to try for. Because the machine does it automatically. It's going to give you that professional quality. As a good machine should. You shouldn't be fighting with the machine. So many, A lot of really, really good sewers have a fight with their machine every day. And then they upgrade to something like this. And, um, and it's so much easier. And, and it allows them to grow as a sewer as well. Let's talk about the mechanics, if we can, just briefly on the inside of the machine. Um, for the sheer fact, 
You've been around for a while, Britannia. You know what you're doing when it comes to machines these days. So inside, you've really thought about the mechanical process, and it's not just thrown together. There's a lot of thought gone into these machines. That's it, yeah. So you can feel the weight of the machine. They are very, very sturdy, which is very important because you don't want a machine to bounce around as you're using it. You, you want to feel that sturdiness. Um, so these are metal frames, so um, all of the moving parts are held in, are, are connected with that metal frame. The plastic is to make it look really nice on the outside, and that is it. There's, there's nothing connected to that. The threading system is reinforced, so if you do decide to add on, to, add on the embroidery unit, obviously a lot of stitching going through there, um, and, and this will support it. They are. It really is beautiful. 85% of the stock now has already gone. I think the next stock update I give you will be limited stock and we're not far away. So, if you want yours now, £159.65 is what you're looking at with a £120 saving. Uh, your saving that you're getting in there is your extension table, which is very easy to clip on. You have no faff, it literally just clips on nicely. And you also get your added accessories in there as well. Uh, just hearing now, we've gone from 85%, we're now limited stock, which means we're green on screen. 10% is all I've got left. This offer will not be back again in this configuration. You will not see the machine and all the added extras back on your screens. You may see the machine on its own, but you're not going to see with all the bits and bobs that you're getting now, you will not see it. And we're now limited stock. I've got less than 10% left. 569982 is your item number. Uh, something else that we've got on the show as well is our embroidery unit. Now, this is one of those things that the minute you think embroidery, you then start thinking, here we go, this is a whole new machine I need to get now. No. Hold on. If you've already got your Britannia machine, that's any Britannia machine. Oh yeah, any machine that is owned by the big brand of Britannia. If you've got any of those, this will fit on to your machine. There's no faff, there's no plugs. It works off one cable. One cable into the back of your machine turns your impressive sewing machine into an embroidery machine. Let me tell you the features and then we'll go and see it in action. You have got over a hundred built-in embroidery designs. Now the key word there is built-in, which will make sense uh, four points down. They're pre-programmed in there and you also get them in the manual, which I'll also show you. You're getting four embroidery fonts included in there as well. So you've got your fonts and you've also got your pre-embroidered in there. You're then getting a 7 by 5 inch hoop area, which is a large hoop area to be embroidered on. That is a big old work that you are doing. This is the bit that I love. You've got a USB port on there. What's so happening about a USB port, Adam? This supports DST format files, which we'll get George to talk about shortly. But now that opens up a whole new world of where your embroidery is going to go to. So take those, I'll take your 100 stitches, I'll take your built-in 100, and I'll top you thousands, because that's what you've got now with this USB capability, and you get a USB stick thrown in as well, which is four gigabytes. You're getting a full automatic tension on there as well. Once again, same with your sewing machine, you haven't got to worry about the tension, and it's a one-size-fits-all, perfect for workshop. Basically, what you're buying into here is a business in a box, is what you are getting, which I absolutely adore, I really do. If I had them, I'm not going to lie, if I, had, if I had the money, I'd have the lot. I really, really would. I'd have the machine and I'd have the embroidery machine as well. Uh, going through your manuals, uh, you've got all of your um, uh, embroiders in there. Literally pages upon pages upon pages is what you're getting. But let's go over to George, the man himself, the man in the know about the embroidery machine. So, let's take it all the way back. We've got my sewing machine, it's on my table at home, it looks really pretty, it looks really nice. I'm going for the embroidery machine, I'm now thinking a lot of faff to set up. Well, you'd be thinking wrong, because oh. 
Um, all you have to do on this one, so this embroidery foot, that screws on. You want that screwed on because it's going to be nice and tight. Um, and you don't want any sideways movement when you're doing this many stitches. So, for example, the pattern I'm about to do is 6,000 stitches. Um, we've also um, put in five, um, uh, five bo pre-wound bobbins with this. So um, that comes with it. Pop one of those in and um, all you have to do to connect this, really simple, drop that, those teeth on there. Slide the unit on like that. Plug it in and switch it on. Oh, it's as easy as that. It is as easy as that. So now this screen here takes over from the simple screen we had before. You've now got another simple screen for your embroidery. So um, it, it reminds you, it makes sure you've set it up correctly. So yes, I have dropped the feed on there. Aha, uh -huh, you see, I've got that foot down. It doesn't like it. It's not letting me go further. Now it's ready. So it really does hold your hand through the setup, this one. So now I can, I've got my fabric hooped up here. So um, all I'm going to do with this, slide it in like that and clip that on like that. And we are ready to start picking embroidery designs. Oh my so coming over to the screen on here, i just turn that there. Um, you've got on your left hand side, you've got your um, over 100 back patterns built in. You've got your fonts on the right hand side. And then the, the, what opens up the world to thousands and thousands, infinite really stitches, is that USB section. So I'm going to go into the pre-done designs. And I am going to do number nine this time. So number nine in there. So that brings up the pattern. It gives me the size of it on the screen, which I can then change later. So I'm going to press OK on there. And that's set. I've got the, so this one comes with the largest hoop. So press OK on there. OK again. And now it shows you that pattern within that area. So if I wanted to, I can make that a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger. So uh, to do that, I just press that and I'm going to just drop it down a little bit to 90% of its size. And it gives you, again, the dimensions of the pattern as well. So I'll press OK. I love that. I genuinely love this because it's so easy to do. Yeah. It's so easy. That's it. That's it. And, and, and the quality behind it. So you can really use this on all different sorts of fabrics. What have you just popped in there now? So this is a measurement grid. Oh. So what I want to do now is place the pattern. So if I was to... I, you want to be accurate when you're embroidering. So um, I can now move it like this. For example put it in there and then when I'm when I'm um, want to see exactly where it's going to go if I just press that P in there now if I follow the line of that needle that is going to be the area of that design ah. you really can be precise where you want logos and designs and words and fonts exactly you can have it to the to the millimeter so now that's set up I can take my grid out on here. Um, if I wanted to, it gives me a lot of options as well. So I can mirror image the design as okay. well. So, and it shows me where I'm at on the screen. So that P is flipped. I can flip it left to right, up to down, like that. So if I wanted to do two designs, mirror image, perhaps two birds, whatever you like, you can mirror image them. Um, I can then um, tilt the design as well. I can tilt it by one degree each time. So that's 360 degrees of tilt on there. So you can really put it in any position that you want. So I'm going to leave it straight as it is. 
Um, uh, I, there's the option here. I can then save that onto my USB as well. So all those settings are then saved, and you can plug it back in, and it will, and it will um, bring that up again. If you've got some writing, some lettering, some wording, you're going to use "Happy Birthday," "Congratulations." You can save those in there and just come back to them. So now, if I press OK, again it tells me. So I need to drop this, drop the um, uh, the, the foot on there and just press go. So I think I found, I've, I'm going to go in, I think I found, it all sounds amazing, it really does, but I've got one question I don't think anyone's asked yet, so I'm going to ask it now, live on the telly, as you do. Uh, the words, so we can put words on this, we've got fonts, we've got four fonts in there. Yeah. I'm guessing with all the fancy stuff we're going to have to do, now it's got this precision, we have to do a letter at a time. So we have to put it in, put one letter in, then embroider that one. Then we have to put another letter in. Or can we do full words? You can do full words. You can do full words and you can do three words at a time as well. So you can set one, two, three and have, and have three rows. And then it's really, really simple, especially with that grid, to set it up so you can go, you can add more words to the right, add more words below. Simply, really, so really we've easy. Got Update on your one-day special. Last time we got here, I called you limited stock, which is less than 10%, which means we're at 90% of my overall stock. 98%. It's very rare I give you that precise details, but 98%. There are a few of you sitting with this in your baskets. You need to check out to secure it. What I'm going to ask you to do, if you're umming and ahhing, is pop it back on the shelf for me because you have got a queue behind you of nearly 40 people long. I think there's four or five of you sitting with you in your basket and each one of you have 40 people behind you waiting to take it off you. So if I was you, start checking out your baskets if I was you now. 98% of the stock has already gone on your one day special. Remember, this is an offer that will not be coming back. You're going to get a three year warranty. You're also be getting online tutorials which are coming eventually. Do not fear, it's only a, a few more weeks away and you will be getting them. You're getting 65 stitches, you're getting your auto tension in there as well. You're getting simple patterns and that stitch control functions that's in there as well. Uh, you're getting your tangled free bobbing winder system with safeguard that's in there. You get your foolproof needle threading system. You get that instant slow button that's in there. You get that simple quick setup bobbing system. You get that LED light so you can uh, really sew in all weathers as it were. And you also get that hard case with accessory pocket as well. I knew if I read that slow enough, we would eventually get to a sellout. We have now sold out of your one day special. I will let you know if any bounce back, which means it's still going through uh, the process at the moment. If any bounce back onto my shelves, I will let you know instantly so you can go and put it in the bank. So we're going to stay with the embroidery system at the moment as well that's currently working away. Uh, so it's got all these amazing features uh, that are built in. Tell me more a bit about the USB capability that's on there, because you've given us a four gigabyte USB as well, don't you? Yeah, that's it. So that four gigabyte um, USB can fit hundreds of designs on there, which you can. Um, there's so many ways to get embroidery designs now with the internet. Um, there's lots of free ones available online. Uh, you can create your own designs with the correct software. You can, um, you can even, if you were to draw a picture, there's people online who will take that picture, turn it into a 3D embroidery site. Embroidered, the embroidery design, send it oh back to you. And you don't even need to go and see them. It can all be done, just email it over, email it back, and, and you've got your bespoke design that you can then do. Um, DST as well is the most common file type in embroidery so the industry uses D DST which means there are masses available and it's um, a really really easy file type to, to use. I love it, I really do, I genuinely think it's one of, the, it's one of those sewing machines that, that will do everything, in theory it ticks every box, every box that you want a sewing machine to do and then when you get to the end of your checklist, we still give you more options that you could do. Oh, I never even thought of that. Oh, I never even thought of that as well. It gives you so much more. And it's the same with your embroidery machine that we're talking about here. This opens up a whole new world 
we really are talking, I know I say a business in a box and some people don't do it for business, some people just do it for the pleasure. But in theory, it is a business in a box, because if you're just doing it for pleasure, you're still creating stuff around your home that you would have to go out and buy necessarily. But now you can put names on things, you can embroider things, you can do things like cards. I've just seen these at the corner of my eye. You can start stitching through cards as well. We give you all the tools that you are going to need, because not only do we give you the actual machine itself, we're also giving you the stabilizer backing as well. So the minute you get this home, you can start creating. You can create as much as you want that in there. Uh, there is so much more that you can also do uh, with these that you've got. Uh, you're getting the hoop that's already in there. You're already getting uh, your small. We've not even spoke about the pre-round bobbins that you're getting included. You're getting five of those included in the kit as well. Uh, because as we sort of said last night, if you wanted to, you haven't got to, it's sort of a different thread that you use for embroidery than you do to sew. Yeah, so um, uh, generally in embroidery you'd use a, a, a thread with a bit more lustre to it, but now there's all different sorts of um, embroidery threads. Um, they, they, they tend to be a little bit finer than, than quilting threads, for example, um, but yeah, as long as it's a good quality thread, you can embroider with it good to go with this once again and look how smooth also i was thinking about this on the drive home last night as well when i was still umming and ahhing and obviously now i can't um and all no more because you've bought them all uh, but uh, i was thinking it's quite quiet oh yeah yeah it's exactly it's got a lovely working sound um so yeah it, it's a really good quality sound something that i didn't mention as okay. well is this screen down here um, obviously, when you plug that embroidery unit, it switches over control from this simple screen to this simple screen here. Um, but what this actually does is, the, the thing is, with being here, if this fabric was any longer, it would cover it up. So, they've thought of that, and you just pull it out to the other side of the machine. Love it. I genuinely love it. For three flexible payments of £166.23 or a one-off payment of £498.70. Uh, don't do that, though. Split your cost. Uh, one question I am quickly going to ask, because I did touch on it and I sort of glossed over the fact of it. If we've got any Britannia machine, this will work with it, won't it? It will do indeed, yeah. This one, um, yeah, it, exactly. You can plug it in. They come with this. It's ready to take that embroidery machine. So any machine, any Britannia machine that you already have at home, this will already work. So don't worry uh, that it's already gone, uh, the sewing machine's gone. If you've already got a Britannia sewing machine, this will work with you. Uh, what was that? We've already got over a hundred... Oh, there's a hundred designs in it. Uh, there's over... I was like, oh, over a hundred what? What are we going to say? There's over a hundred designs... I was getting very excited over the hundred designs that you've got in there. Uh, let me show you some of the features. There's so many features uh, that you're getting in here as well. Uh, over 100 built-in embroidery designs is what you've got here. You've got four embroidery fonts, which we've now worked out. You can do full words with this as well, non-stop. So you just type your words in uh, that you're getting in. Uh, from there, you're also going to get the seven and a half uh, inch embroidery hoop as well. Uh, the USB port that you're getting there, the DST with formats, which means uh, you can open up a whole new world uh, to what you want to do. It's full automatic tension as well, and one size fits all is the perfect place for any workshop environment. Uh, when I say workshop, I just mean your dining table, uh, to be honest. Uh, something else, though, something else I want to touch on. Now, I, I got all excited about these last night, and I didn't get time to see them. Uh, I know I did, we didn't get time, we were very busy. Uh, but we've got this hour to look at them now. So. Electric, electric scissors. I'm with you. Electric scissors. What would I need electric scissors for? Let's go and find out, shall we? Uh, so, we've got cordless, may I add. So it's cordless. It's a cordless design. It runs off a battery system, uh, which we have here. You get the batteries into the kit. You can run it off your mains or you can run it off the battery because you do get the charger and your mains cable is just there. That is the battery we've currently got in at the moment. And there are also two applications that come with it, two different types of scissors uh, that you are going to be using right then. Uh, the battery is rechargeable uh, that you want to go in there. Let's Let's go more details because I sort of I'm sort of lost in this sort of world. I just didn't know they even existed. What do I do with electric scissors? So you cut things. Oh, so, <laughs> but these electric scissors will cut everything, anything you put through them. Um, so um, starting off, really lightweight fabric, lovely look, awful to work with. But with these scissors, um, you. Whoa. It's, it, 
it doesn't slip, there's no slipping, there's not going to come out like that. So curves or straight lines in there as well. I adore these already. Oh my word, this is something so I need. So fleece here, not a problem. Like that, again, straight or curved, no problem. Just standard calico here. Again, so shoulder lines underneath the arm, on top of the arm. And you can go as slow or as, as fast as you like. Tight curves in there. I can go tighter than that. So I can go really tight. Oh, let's do it a little bit better over here. So like that really really tight wow. cur tight curves um i've got um a layer of wadding in the middle here absolutely laughs at it like that i love it vinyl oh here we go this is this is going to be the test so that's one layer you're really going to go through this on telly, like for two layers of vinyl? I'm going to go for two layers of the vinyl. That's two layers. Surely that's enough. No, re really? We're going to go for four. Pushing you off the vinyl hour. <laughs> right. It will do it. <gasps> that is 6,000 cuts per minute doing that. Um, and it just doesn't struggle at all. As I say, it's like butter. And I, it is one of these things. I'm quite, I'm quite amazed myself, just standing here watching. I was playing with this one while I've got it over here. Uh, but yeah, I noticed that you rested it on the table, but it's not left a mark, it's not left a scratch uh, that's on there. So you, the, it's, I'm guessing the safety features involved with this as well? Yeah, that's it. So um, uh, it only cuts right down to the very, very point. So it has to, it has to get between these parts in here. So um, yeah, really, really safe, these scissors as well um, also in the unfortunate event that you do hit a pin doesn't you know hopefully it doesn't happen to you but this comes with a spare blade so you can just click this off click the new one on and you're ready to go it doesn't and it's very easy to change as well really is I've literally just put mine together uh, that we've got here already uh, so it's simply a case of taking your battery at the bottom and your battery just pulls out and then you're getting two batteries in here, aren't you? So you, one is the battery that you're currently using, which runs off a main. Exactly. So that actually screws into the scissor, into the bottom of the scissor, meaning it's not going to come out mid-cut. But again, if you're away from a power source or um, you've really got to get round a fabric, then there's absolutely no problem um, taking this out, plugging that battery pack back in, and you can take it wherever you are. It's now portable as well. Uh, three payments on this one of fifty-three pounds and thirty thir uh, th thirty thirty uh, thirty-three pence is what you're looking at. Uh, three one nine seven three eight is your item number. The electric scissors. These are amazing. These are technically a game changer. Do they do fab only fabric or do, would they do paper and things like that? You should never use uh, fabric checking. scissors on paper because paper will, will blunt fabric scissors. It, it's a different type of scissor. So, no, save, save this for your, for your fabrics. But don't be doing anything else apart from your material <laughs> business. Thought I'd ask, just to be on the safe side. Uh, 53 pounds and 33... I can't say. 53 pounds and 33... Th 53 pounds is what you're looking at in 33 pence. I can't say 33 for some reason. I was so excited about the scissors. I was doing so well, so professional. Uh, 319-738 is your item number. Uh, remember, you've literally got uh, 10 minutes-ish. Uh, 10 minutes to get into that prize draw now. Our Catherine will be uh, announcing the winner during the next hour. You could be winning this. Over £800 worth of goodies is what we're looking at here. Um, there is so much in that little kit and one of you will be winning it. You've got things like patterns. You've got search press books in there. You've got fabric shears in there. You've got a point presser in there. You've got a blouse kit, a pin cushion, a sewing box, wadding, interfacing, a multi-tool, self-measuring tape, hand cream and a sewing machine worth £249 and that sewing bag 
is beautiful and it's huge. It's absolutely lovely. Uh, that's worth nearly £100. It's like a good going away bag is what it is. I've had my eye out in the corridor for a while. I like it a lot. Uh, but uh, all you simply need to do is place an order during this hour. You've got about literally 10 minutes left uh, before we close the lines on that competition. Uh, and as I said, uh, Catherine will announce the winner during her next Hour. Uh, to finish with, we're coming back to our embroidery unit. Very busy uh, for our embroidery unit that we're talking about at the moment. Remember, over 100 built-in functions is what you're getting in there. You're also getting the backing, the stabiliser to go with it. You're getting four, uh, pre five, sorry, five pre-round bobbins in there as well. Uh, so you are really good to go. The minute you get this home, you are good to go. And you also get that large uh, seven by five inch screen as well. And in the centre of the manual, you get this full on beautiful manual uh, that you're getting there. Uh, but it goes through all the designs. So I'm guessing the designs that we've got in the manual itself, obviously they're all in colour. Does the machine tell us what colours we need or does it just keep on going with the same thread. So what the machine will do, um, you can see on the, in the instruction manual there, it tells you a colour order. So um, it will do all of the red, for example. It will stop, cut the threads, and the screen will, will, will flash up to change the colour. So um, I've just now, I've just put in um, some text on here. I've put in George on there, first thing that came to me. Um, and and that will just go along like that. So it's going to do a letter now, and I've set this on here, so um, it, it will um, allow me to colour change between every single letter. OK. So now it's going to do a G. Cut the thread. And now I can change that colour, that, change that if I will. So with the quick threading system on here, it is, it is as easy as whipping that one off and putting the new one on. So, uh, from pink to purple. So, again, because it is so easy to thread, just two, three, four, five, round there, behind that guide, and then the super automatic, easy to use needle threader with no faffing around trying to guide that into position whatsoever. That just cuts off into there. That's threaded now and I'm just going to pull that through a little bit and um, screen is now telling me are you ready to go on to the colour number two? Yes I am. But would that say that anyway even if you didn't program it to and even if you wanted it the same colour, you'd just go, yes, my, my next colour's in. No, I have asked oh, it to ask me. Oh, so nice. if I, you, you generally wouldn't want a, a different colour every word, so you can just go across the whole word and it won't stop. But I want it to, I want a different colour letter in there. Um, now, obviously, and it will now you can't do see the letters. Here. It is doing the letters. It's just under the, uh, that bit of fabric oh. that we can see there. Now, it's all right, because we'll have a look at the end. It's all like a big surprise. But you can see it's working. So you can see how fast it's doing the letters as well. We've got this on full speed, uh, sort of the automatic mode. So once it's done the letter, does it always go back to the central point once it's finished its little project? Yeah, so what that does is for the cutting. So when you cut the thread, you want the, um, the bed to move, to pull all the threads back out there. It's still involved. Pull them nicely underneath. And then um, uh, when you re-thread it, it's not still using the old thread. So you want that move to pull the, the bobbin thread out so that it now is ready to... Um, to then come sense. back into that same position, fresh. Imagine if you've got jackets, kids' school jackets, kids', uh, kids uniform. We're getting to all that name, uh, sort of that year now where we start thinking about school uniforms and start putting names into uniforms. This would be perfect. That's it. Yeah, yeah. For anything like that, um, school uniforms, sports teams, names on the back like that. Is um, so much application for it. Uh, especially sort of them like American style bomber jackets that they wear in like high schools and things like that, where they've got initials on the front. Uh, yeah, like a, it's, yeah, like a Letterman jacket that they've got over in the US. Um, where they've got initials here, just just on the pocket, and sort of them bomber jacket styles. Um, I tried to get all of us some, but they all said no. Um, <laughs> I wanted our initials on them. I thought they would look amazing. Uh, but uh, you could start creating those. Literally, shirts. 
ordinary shirt, I could now start embroidering my initials onto cuffs if I wanted to, onto the lapels of my colours. Uh, if it's a white shirt, I could have it in black. If you go into that black tie event and you've got that boring white shirt but you want to add something to it, you could have your initials in black on both of your cuffs, just next to your cufflinks if you wanted to as well. Really, the world is your oyster. And look at the size of the frame that you are getting. Seven by five is the frame, which is, a, I've never really seen a frame of this size for an embroidery machine. They're normally slightly smaller. Exactly, yeah. They, they are um, a lot of, um, certainly beginners embroidery machines, are a 10 by 10 frame, 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres, which is four by four inches. Now, you just outgrow that so quickly. Um, you want that area to um, to expand your embroidery, do bigger patterns, do bigger areas, um, and 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 yeah, just do more. I really do love it. Right, we're going to go slightly maverick now. Is there anything that you want to show? We've got ten minutes left of your last one day spell. Oh no, we haven't. How long have we got? We've got three minutes. What do you want to show me in three minutes? We've got three minutes left. So, basically, I just want to say that with this embroidery unit, as you say, it's got a lovely sound to it. It's a lovely working sound. It doesn't rattle. No. With some machines at this sort of price, you get a rattling. And what that means is you haven't only got the big area to do the sewing, you can also put it on to denims, onto or get your really lightweight fa fabrics as well which can create some really interesting effect so a lot of people do lace work now which is where you get a water soluble topping and embroider just directly onto there put it through the washing machine that all dissolves and you're left ah. with just your embroidery your your lace um, it is it is a remarkable piece of kit it is uh, for 166 pounds across three flexible payments is what you're looking at you've literally got less than six minutes now uh, to get into that prize draw let me tell you one last time all the features over a hundred this is where we were getting that last time they, they just stopped over a hundred built-in embroidery designs is what you're looking at Four embroidery fonts in there as well. Full alphabets and QWERTY keyboards, so you get full stops and punctuation. Uh, seven by five inch hoop area, one of the largest that I've ever seen. Uh, USB port with, uh, that provides DST format files, which is one of the largest in the world. A full automatic tension is what you're getting on there as well. And one size fits all. It will fit any desk that you can put it anywhere on the go. Uh, and it's compatible with any Britannia style machines. Worth having a go at if I with you. 509464 is your item number. Uh, as I said, we are coming to the end of our event. Catherine will be plucking out the name from the Tumbola. She's done it before the hour, spun it around. That's how we work here. Uh, she's picked down. You could be winning all of this. All of this, over £800 worth that's in there. And no doubt, if you look deep into the bottom of that bag, there'll be a signed photo of Yanis in there somewhere, because he gives them to everyone. You have got books and patterns galore. Um, you've got a point presser, which is amazing. Look at the five-star reviews for the point presser. That It's the wooden thing by the TV. It is amazing. Um, I looked at them yesterday. Uh, what else we got? Fabric shears that's in there, a pin cushion that's in there, a sewing box that's in there, you've got wadding thrown in there, you've got interfacing in there as well, you've got multi tools in there, self measuring tapes in there, uh, hand cream, uh, sewing machines worth £249, and a sewing machine bag. Dig deep at the bottom, there will be a photo of Yanis. I can't promise that, but no doubt there is one. Uh, but everyone's got one. Uh, all that's left to say is thank you, George. It's been yes. an absolute pleasure. Cheers, Aaron. Uh, yeah. I've learned Lovely. so much about so, and literally, um, I was there last night and I sat and watched the show again. I was like, do I do? I had it in my basket and now I was going to get one after the hour and now you've bought them all. Slightly miffed, not going to lie. Uh, 509464 is your item number for your embroidery machine. Uh, start checking out your baskets if I was you and I will see you in an hour's time. See you later. Uh, yes, indeed, dressmaking uh, is up next. Oh, don't miss that. It looks lovely. It really, really does. Uh, the Crafty UK one day special with our Andy from Lynn. Come down, especially in the rain. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selective Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you.
Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, design of papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows. Hello, welcome back everyone. Yes, the time is finally here. This is the final hour for our event. It's stitched to impress. That means that one lucky winner will be receiving the giveaway. We're going to announce that near the end of the hour. So make sure you check those baskets out. You've still got the opportunity to be entered into that prize draw. Now, all you need to do, if you're purchasing during this live, it has to be during a live hour, and it is the last one anyway, you must check those baskets out and then you will be automatically entered now we're just showing you on the screen there what you could be winning this is worth over 800 pounds there's all sorts there do you know our adam's just gone through the whole list in the last hour as well we've got patterns we've got wadding we've got interfacing we've got tools we've got a sewing machine we've got the uh, sewing bag there we've got measuring tapes there's books in there as well oh there's even hand cream which is actually very important if you're working with certain fabrics as well absolutely beautiful so stay with us, check those baskets out and anything you're purchasing and make sure you've been entered for the chance of winning. Oh, I'm looking forward to announcing the winner. I always like these competitions. Right, this is all about, of course, dressmaking. We have got Emporia here. We've got a guest with us as well. So I'm going to say a very good afternoon to Claire. This time we've worked together, Claire. Oh, it's lovely to see you. And I love what you're wearing. Indeed. And in fact, you are wearing a dress that's been created from one of the patterns we've got on the show and also some fabric that we've got on offer as well. Yeah, so this is the Cassie dress, so I've just left them the sleeves and I've got the maxi, I can't really see them, I've got the maxi version on. Oh, we do seem to have an issue with Claire's microphone, apparently, so you may not have just heard what she said. We'll try and get that fixed, but for now, I'm afraid you're stuck with me. You're stuck with me. We will get back to Claire, and you will see that dress as well. Let's show you the patterns, because we have got lots of patterns on offer here. Now, we're having a look at them all. Here on the pod, we've got a bundle for you, so let's have a look at the bundle. If you want to go for all of them, all five patterns for £71.95, you've got a £3 saving. Item number 596462. What I can tell you as well you're looking at images on the front of the packaging uh, note the sizes on there from 6 to 24 or a smaller medium and a large or an 8 to 20 we also have on one of those as well but not only that there are different versions for these patterns as well so they will be included for instance the dresses could be turned into tops or uh, Claire is wearing a dress where she's extended the sleeve so you you are going to get more than you're seeing on the front of the packaging there five nine six four six two as I say is 
the item number there if you want to go for the full package. Now, hopefully, hopefully, Claire's microphone's working, so we're going to try again. Claire, good afternoon. Hello. Is it working? <laughs> yes. I think yes. I came unplugged. Sorry. Oh, I'm so <laughs> pleased. So pleased. Now, because we couldn't hear you, I was just saying about your dress and the fact that you use one of the patterns. You look absolutely beautiful in it as well. The fabric is available, but the pattern itself, which pattern did you say that was so created So this is from? the Cassie pattern. Um, ah. I've added an extra long sleeve and gathered it and elasticated the cuff and worn the maxi version of it. Lovely. Now, if I just turn around a little bit, Cassie, I've, do you know what? It's one behind we've got, the green one there. We've got another pattern here using the same fabric as well there. And in fact, this is another version that you can create That's from fun. that pattern. So a completely different dress. And it does show how you can easily adapt. Or oh, you have got the instructions to create these, haven't you, Claire? Yes. Are they all relatively easy to work with? They're all quite simple. I, I try to keep my patterns as simple as possible and quick to make. So Amazing. they're not too confusing for people. So if you're relatively new to dressmaking, then so you can, you can go for you're, these. Yeah, relative beginner. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. Now, many people have just bought the one day special as well. I'm wondering how many of those people are wanting to take up dressmaking. So this show could be absolutely perfect for you if you want something fairly easy to work with. And of course, the fabrics as well. Now, let's go through those patterns. We'll remind you again of those patterns. Now, you can get them all in a bundle, but they are also available individually as well. So there's the bundle. We're going to look at Astrid first. You can see sizes 6 to 24. Now you can, again, I'm just going to re remind everybody and repeat what I said. You're looking at the image on the front there, but you can create this in different versions as well. So looking at the version we're looking at now, you can see, you know, very similar to the one on the front of the packaging, obviously different fabric. You can see there's beautiful pockets on this as well. I'm just going to show you those. Uh, this is made in a nice stretch fabric as well. It looks as though it's going to be very, very comfortable. I'm just going to turn my friend around just so you can see the back. Now, Claire, I really like this because I, I do so. I can, I, dressmaking is where I started, and I can, I can see this is relatively easy to make, but it's got a beautiful shape to it as well. Yeah, we, we wanted it to be a bit more fitted, so yeah. it looks quite feminine as well. It really does, and that's what I love about this. And obviously, the fabric is going to be important for the patterns. Do you suggest certain fabrics? Yeah, for so the there's patterns? fabric suggestions on the pattern. So, jersey, sweatshirt, that's a nice modal jersey and with it. a bit of stretch in it for these if I just lift the sleeve up again, you can see this sleeve isn't set with a seam. That is all part of the front and the back, so to speak. You've got your seam lines along the, the hem there and down the side. But, you know, there's no separate sleeves in there. So that is a plus point if you want something fairly quick and easy as well. Really, really nice design there. So that is Astrid, $14.99 individually, item number 885091. Now, it is part of the bundle. Remember, all these patterns can be bought together. We'll keep the details for the bundle at the bottom of the screen. But in Individually, if you've got a favourite, of course, you can shop that way as well. Now, coming next, we have Frida. Now, I like this one, Claire, because, again, this looks very comfortable. I can see from the pattern we've got uh, lots of pleating on there, a nice open neckline as well. And I suppose you could fold back. Yeah, you could fold it, or area. you could have a little button if you... Yeah. Oh, sorry, I hit the microphone. If you're feeling a bit modest, you can do a little tie Lovely. there. Lovely. And, of course, it doesn't have to be a dress, as we can see here. Yeah, I top. love this top, actually. Anything that's comfortable, you know, that's got quite wide sleeves, I love the fact that you've got a little bit of um, ruching in here as well. You know, that's a little bit gathered. So the fall of that is very, very pretty. This fabric we've got available on the show as well. In fact, all the fabrics that you see in here are available. We'll come back to those. But that is a really pretty design again. And with this one, Claire, as so I'm going to give this one a turn around as well. Um, I can see that, you know, if you use a different fabric again, you could do some fancy stitching on there, maybe a little bit of embroidery. You could maybe add some piping or a bit of lace in the seam if you wanted to be a little bit more adventurous as well. Yes, you could do a bit of machine embroidery if you used a plain fabric, like they did on the sewing bee last week, where people embellished things. Yes, that yeah. That would be useful. Really nice, absolutely gorgeous. This just looks so comfortable. I definitely Perfect post-lockdown top to wear. Beautiful. I'm just going to draw your attention again to the, the opening. The top. This is what I was referring to. You've got a nice open neckline, but if you wanted to put a little button on there at the top, you could do. You could put a fancy button on as well and really make a feature of that. I really do like that an awful lot. $14.99 is the price of this one as well. One four nine eight nine three. Remember, and in fact, if we look again at the front of the package, and you can see the, the uh, well, it's about knee length, isn't it, the dress there? But there's ways that you can, you've got the instructions to do that as well. 
Now we'll move on to our next one, which is Cassie. Now, Cassie is what you're wearing, you said, didn't you, Claire? Yes. Yeah. Cassie dress, I will look at the details there. If I just, I'm going to just switch sides so we can see Cassie here as well. You wouldn't think, looking at the packaging, that this was the same pattern, but it is. You can see the lovely ties on the shoulders there as well, which is not only a nice feature, Claire, but again, it's a very easy way, you know, to make something. Yeah. You don't have to worry about too many seam lines, Yeah, you don't, have to, yeah, you don't have to worry about your, your seams because everything's sort of hidden, all the... All your sewing's hidden on the inside. Definitely. Now, there's some nice shaping on this one as well. You've got the dart in there, I can see. Of course, you've got your seam line. There's, this is in two sections, so you've got the top of the dress, then the skirt. In fact, you've also, you've got that kind of ruching there as well, so that's in different layers, so you've got the movement in the skirt as well. Yeah, so it's a tiered panel dress, so that one's got two. I've got three. All, all the sections come in the pattern. It's perfect buffet dress, they call it. It, it is beautiful. <laughs> and I've got to mention the fabric again as well. We are going to give you the details of that, but this is such a lovely fabric. I mean, you can see as I pick that up, how that will hang. You know, it's weighty enough to hang beautifully. It's a, a very soft fabric as well. Is it one that won't crease too much as well, Claire? Oh, uh, yeah, it's not too bad, actually. It's Wonderful. lovely viscose, so it's quite floaty, but you don't need to iron it too much, which is perfect. Lovely. We do have the fabric. In fact, we just brought the details to the bottom of the screen for you. So let's have a look at Cassie for the details. We can give you the pattern details. 1499-435-848 is the item number. You can very clearly see all the different sizes on the front of each packaging as well. Uh, they do vary a little bit, but most of them we've got at 6 to 24, so covers, you know, the vast majority of sizes that you're going to need. Now, we've got another dress for you now. Unfortunately, we don't have the finished sample here, but I do believe we've got a picture, and this is Kobe. Now, Claire, you did say this is one of your very popular ones. It is one of our most popular because it's the easiest one to do because is it's it? a front, a back, facings, pockets, and the belt piece. And So there's no um, darts. You're held in by okay. the belt as much yep. or as little as you like. Lovely. And again, can we put longer sleeves in there if we wanted yeah, to? Yeah, you can add a sleeve. You can make it as a top. Very now nice. Again, very awesome. comfortable. It's all about comfort for me. And just like, oh, I like that one as well. Look at the fabric there. <laughs> you know, that is the sort of dress I would wear. This is the sort of dress I'd wear to work, you know, with my boots and my tights. I really like that look. You could throw um, a denim jacket over the top of there, or again, depending on the fabric, you could dress that up for evening wear as well, using your jewellery, adding beading, all those different options again. So Kobe has a pattern there from sizes small, medium, through to large as well. 888-433 is the item number, just 14.99. We've got another one to show you though. We're not just staying with dresses, we've got uh, the, the trousers for you as well. We've got, in fact, Alice trousers. Now we can see the pattern here. You can see Alice trousers as we've got them on the mannequin as well, which are absolutely wonderful. So Claire, with this one, I love the fact that uh, once again, we can see there's pockets in this pattern. We've yeah. got elasticated waist as well. Now, obviously, this has been made to fit our mannequin. It's just pinned to the front, so I'm not, I'm not actually going to turn this one round because it might be a little bit bare on the back. <laughs> uh, but you can see how these have been draped from the front, again, with a fabric that will drape beautifully. Very, very comfortable to wear. I can see these are going to be amazing, Claire, for, you know, if you're going out for walks or if you're going out for the day to the seaside, perhaps. Yeah. You want that comfort, you want that coolness as yeah. well. They're lovely for travelling if we ever get to go on holiday again. They're yes. perfect for holiday. <laughs> Wonderful. And again, I presume with this one we can change the length of the leg? Change the length of the leg. You can do them without elastic at the bottom for a more formal looking trouser as well. Wonderful. Yeah. So definitely lots of options again. Really lovely fabric. 167504. If you're going for the pattern sizes 8 to 20, only 14.99 there as well. Remember, you can get all of them as a collection, that big collection with a saving as well. We'll bring the details back in briefly. Remember, we've, we're missing one of the samples here, but it doesn't matter. We've shown you that still. You are getting them all, and you can view that on the website as well. In fact, there we are. There's the collection, all the individuals, all the different details for you to so do have a good look. If you've got any questions as well, do email in studio at thecrossstar.com. We are going to look at the fabrics. Do be shopping ahead on those as well. We will be getting to them, but I think we're going to head over to Claire for a demonstration as well. We have got some books available. These are great. Oh, we'll have a look at those as well. I think these might be new today as well. I've not seen them before. Uh, we'll have a look at those, I think, in a little while. But let's see what else we've got on offer here. Scissors if you need them. Oh, the sewing machine, I think that's gone out. It's gone. Well done. Well done. 
think we might still have the embroidery machine. I'm not sure. But anyway, we have got lots on offer this hour as well. So if you're thinking about making your own clothes, I think there's something for everyone here. Remember, this is your last chance as well to buy something during the live hour. Check your baskets out to be entered into that prize draw. I am looking forward to announcing the winner at the end of the hour. Right over to Claire we shall go then. Let's see what Claire's going to make first of all. So I'm going to show you how to do the pocket on the Alice trousers. So it's a cutaway pocket. So that's what it looks like when it's finished. Wonderful. We're going to start here. So I've pinned the pocket panel to the leg piece. So all our seam allowances are a centimetre. So we'll start with that. And so all the way around. Did you say this is the Alice? This is the, the Alice, Alice trousers. Ones. Yeah. I've just done shorts yeah. version. <laughs> so I like the short version as well. So you could you could make them three quarters, you yeah, could have long, yeah. you could have elasticated cuffs on yeah, the You can legs. widen the leg, make them like palazzo pants or culottes. Oh nice. Yeah. And this fabric's lovely and floaty as well, so it's a nice summary. So when you've done that, you snip the curve. So that when you turn it around, it sits nice and nice and flat. It's just quite important, that isn't it? If you want a nice finish. To yes, because otherwise it, yeah. it, it pulls it a bit. So then we turn it over, give it a little press. Okay. What sort of fabric is that that you're using? So Claire? this is What's viscose. Content, I think. Bit. Yes. That's why it feels so soft then. Yes, it's lovely. And then we top stitch around that curve that we've just sewn. Okay. So that it sits nice and flat once you're wearing them, so it doesn't the pocket doesn't turn out while you're wearing it. So it's nice to have pockets in any garment, really. Oh, because I love a pocket. Yeah, yeah, they're really useful, aren't they? But <laughs> nice they big need pockets as well. They as need well. to be big enough. Yeah. So these are nice and deep. You can fit lots of things in here. So once you've top stitched that, we get the next uh, the other piece of the pocket bag. So there's that piece once you've sewn that Lovely. on. Lovely. So because these patterns, the style of them, the fact that they're all relatively easy to make, are they projects that we can do in an afternoon, in a day? Would we oh, be able to? Very definitely. Really? A lot of them only take an hour or two to make, which is great. So oh, sometimes so you don't want a big complicated project. Sometimes you just want a nice quick you, thing. You do don't, you? do you? Do you know what I'm thinking? You see, well, no, it's not quite the same at the moment, but this is how I got into sewing. When when I, in my younger days, when I was at work, I didn't have much of a wage. So I was very limited on what I could spend on clothes. And because I, I wanted to go out with friends a lot, I decided I was going to start making my own clothes. So I needed something where I could go to the market, because we had a great market for fabric where I lived, in the morning, in my break, and then I'd go home and whip up an outfit to wear yeah, at night Yeah, it makes you feel amazing that you I can know. do that as well. Yeah, no, yeah. definitely. And um, a lot of people don't have a lot of time, really, do they? Like if you've got a busy job or That's kids, so you don't have a lot of time to sew at home. So it's nice and quick. I miss the market, actually. That I used to go to. We used to have some great, great fabric stores. So just a straight stitch. What sort of seam allowance have we got there? So the seam allowance is a centimetre on, okay, on all our patterns, unless, yep. unless it says so. So that's the pocket bag. Okay. If uh, the pockets are very, very useful, but if we did want to make the trousers without the pockets, can you do that as well, or is it part of the building? Um, you just design? have to change the pattern piece to, to make the front piece go all the way so right, to match the you. side seam. Yeah. So the pocket bag is on. We're just going to secure it at the top so it doesn't flap over. I think most of us do appreciate those pockets, though. So. Yeah, I, I can't cope if I don't have pockets. Yeah. We're just going for a, a, a walk with a dog and you want comfort. A pair of these trousers would be beautiful. You can put the little bags and a few treats in your pocket. You don't have to take a big bag with you, do you? <laughs> so we're just stitching it in place. So before you attach the front to the back. OK, oh, lovely. Sorry, there. So 
So what was the very first garment that you ever made then, Claire? I can't remember. I think I made a skirt when I was a teenager. My nanny, my mum's mum, taught me how to sew. Really? Yeah, I made a skirt when I was about 11, I think. And I couldn't walk in it because it was too tight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, but you learn by your mistakes, don't you? And, and exactly. I think it is a great skill, and I think there's, you know, we we are wanting to bring in younger generations as well. If you did sew, or your parents sewed, or your grandmother sewed, or whatever, you know, you do learn from them, don't you? That was why I got interested in sewing, because my mum was a big, you know, she had a sewing machine, she did embroidery, she did cross-stitch, she did all those things. And it, it, it is nice, and I think encouraging the younger generation as well. In fact, I think automatically the younger generation are now turning to craft and, and dressmaking. And a lot of that is due to the programmes oh, yes, that are on the TV as yes, well. Yes, very definitely. I've got three boys and they're quite interested in sewing. My middle son particularly, he's, he's recently made his own. Oh. He made an Astrid jumper. We made Did it. He? We made it more boxy, so it's more boy shape oh. so he made one for himself and he did really well oh, i love that first time using an overlocker at the age of 14 he was incredible really? he just did oh, it i guess you're not scared at that age are you, you just get on with it that's so, very true that is the front leg lovely the pocket so we're just going to attach the i think we should have a bit of a sewing club here when we can and get all the boys involved at the craft store studios <laughs> I wonder if there's any that do actually sew already. I'm trying to think. Ross doesn't. Jimmy doesn't. Does Ryan? No, Ryan doesn't. You see, we need to encourage that. We need to get them involved. Do you, when you're not sewing for work then, Claire, do you sew at home as well? Do you, do you just if, constantly sew? I have sew? time. I don't have a massive amount of time. <laughs> But when I can, I do. That's not, the thing, I find it, it really relaxing, yeah. so I do. I love it. Do you, are you a bit like me? You get quite frustrated because you, work kind of takes over you. Everything's sort of work orientated, yeah. and then you've got all these things sat at home. Yes. <laughs> and you just look at it and think, I really want to do that. I really yes. want that time for me. Yes. And you don't always find that time. Yeah. Yes, and children and feeding them and looking after them as well. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just sewing the inside leg. Okay, lovely stuff. So just straight stitches all the time. Yeah, it's very about, simple. Um, finishing off any edges, have you used an overcast So I've stitch? used the overlocker, or you can use a zigzag on okay, your sewing yep, machine lovely. if you don't have an overlocker. It depends on your fabric as well. If it's one that yeah. doesn't fray so much, don't need to finish it so much. Or French okay. seams, that's a nice neat way of finishing things. Oh, we saw a bit of a lesson with Hayley Essie with French seams as well. If anybody was lucky enough to get the Sewing Bee book, it explains how to do that in there as well. Joe, there's anybody watching who's recently taken up dressmaking as well and you've made your first garment. I'd love to see what you've done. You don't have to send a picture wearing it. You can if you want, but if you just want to send a picture or let us know what you've made, we'd love that. Perhaps you're purchasing from this hour as well. What are you purchasing? What do you intend making? I'd love to know. And, of course, if you are purchasing, you'll be entered into the prize draw as long as you've checked that basket out let's just remind you what you're going to win this is it over 800 pounds worth there's all sorts in there patterns books we've got the sewing machine in there we've got pin cushion we've got hand cream we've got wadding we've got interfacing we've got the sewing bag in there as well wow oh amazing stuff do you know and there's still more you also get all oh, that wonderful self-measuring tape is in there as well yeah the hand cream oh everybody wants that hand cream that is also included there it is. One, what a prize, Claire. It's a great prize, isn't it's it? It's great, yeah. Might enter. <laughs> I'm not loud, am I? <laughs> so, your trousers. You've got two legs now, so the one that is that way round goes inside the one that is inside out. Okay. So, one right facing, one wrong yeah. facing. So, there will be right sides together once one goes inside the other. And that's your, your seams up. Are you all about comfort when you design the patterns? Oh, definitely. I like to design things that I'd like to wear myself or my friends yeah. would like to wear. Definitely. Especially after lockdown as well. We all need yeah. a little bit comfortable. I think the lifestyle that everybody leads now, we all have busy lives and yeah. we're dashing around. Even, even with lockdown, we've all been super busy doing yeah. things. Yeah. You, you want that comfort, don't definitely. you? Definitely. Yeah, we're selling a lot more stretch fabrics at our yeah. shop these days than we, we used to. So people are definitely wanting comfort. 
So that's why I'm particularly taken with um, the pattern over there. It was the second one. I've forgotten the name of it. Frida. Well, the it was, it's uh, Frida, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We've got the top on the mannequin, but you, of course you can make the dress as well. You can adapt the sleeves. I like anything that's got a prettiness about it. And I'm, I'm just looking across now because you've got the pleating or the, the ruching or the gathering there as well. You've got that lovely drop of that. You've also got the neckline, which I particularly like that you can alter that. I mean, you can have it closed, you can have it open, you can turn that back. You could put some binding behind there as well. We do have this fabric for sale if you do like that. Definitely, definitely go for it as well because it works so, so well with that pattern. The first pattern as well, Claire... Um, the Astrid, I love that because of the shaping to it as well, because I do like something that's got a little bit of shape. Yes. But you've still got it's the comfort element. so comfortable element. to wear. Yeah. I don't Very normally nice wear indeed. tight fitting clothes, but I love wearing that because it's, yeah. it's so comfortable. You, you, can, you can see it's beautifully fitted. When I turn the mannequin around, it's just got the perfect amount of shaping, but it's got those all-important pockets still yeah. in there as well. Lovely. Those patterns there, Frida, we're looking at the moment, 149893. That's in the white, the blue and the yellow. All of the patterns available together in one big bundle with a saving as well. If you do want the fabrics, we have got the fabrics available. We will have a look at those, but we'll go back to Claire in a second. Just want to make sure that, you know, you can appreciate what you're getting for your money here as well. Because there's multiple sizes on all of those patterns and different ways of altering each one as well. Can we make to sell? That's the point. No, they're just for personal use only. Right, okay. That's fine, because we can make ourselves <laughs> a whole wardrobe full of all yes. sorts of different adaptations. And you'll be the only one with that, and that's really nice. Actually, that own. is really yeah. nice. I like that. Yeah, lovely. Okay, so we're stitching together now the two legs. Yep. So one so inside the other. One inside the other, and then you sew in, basically, from the front to the back. Okay. I love the word of a sewing machine. Oh, we have had a question come in. Oh, now then, I don't know if you can answer this from the top of your head, Claire. We might have to oh, check goodness, on the pattern. A difficult one. We'll see. This has come from Anne. Anne is asking about the Alice trousers. Do you know off the top of your head what fabric amount would be required for a size 20? Um... No. We'll check on the pattern. <laughs> I think it might be about three metres. Okay. That's okay. We'll, right. we'll see if we can find that out. We do have... I don't know that... Yeah, we do have... It's on the back um, of the pattern. Well, yeah, I'll see if I can yeah. find a way of checking that for you, Anne. So do stay with us. Now, the fabric that we've got on the show, we do have three metre pieces. Now, the navy floral that is there on the mannequin, the one that, I, that Claire is actually working now. We don't have a piece of that in the studio, but you can see what Claire's working with. You can see the finished pants on the uh, mannequin there as well. And if you wanted to go for that, there is three metres in there, 32.99, But we will see if we can find out on the pattern about that size. Lovely. So, there we go. Just turn it that way round. Lovely. Done. There's your, oh, that's the back. <laughs> so there's your cutaway pockets. Wonderful, wonderful. So that's the, the basic stitching or the, the main yeah, I mean, part that's of the, the hardest bit. garment finish. You have to add a waistband and some elastic and elasticate the ankles and then that's Fantastic. It. Absolutely fantastic. Let's have another look at the Alice trousers then. That's the pattern you get in, of course. We've heard how you don't have to put the elastic in there. You can make them into shorts, as Claire has just shown us. Size is 8 to 20. 14 99 if you're going for this one as an individual. 167504. And you did see how quickly Claire put that together. Yeah, the pockets were already stitched in place. Things were cut out, but you can make these in an afternoon. You know, if you sit down and you're determined, you could be cutting out in the morning and wearing them in the evening. That's what I like. Right, let's have a look at those fabrics then because we do have three of those fabrics here. Now the beautiful pattern, uh, dressed it pattern that uh, Claire has created for herself, the outfit that she's wearing, is made of course 
with this particular fabric. It is viscose, although there's viscose in there. It is so, so soft. You will love this. It drapes beautifully as well. You could see that when I was over at the mannequins. It feels absolutely gorgeous. If you want to go for this one, this is your fabric bundle. It's two meters in size, this particular one. It's your palm leaves. Only $15.99 for two meters. Really good buy that. 149120 is the item number. That would work very well for the Alice pants as well then, wouldn't it? Yes. Or if you wanted to do the shorter version, of course, perfect for that. Right, moving along to the fabric in the centre. Now, this is this is that beautiful fabric that's on the mannequin to create... Um, oh, now, what was the first pattern again? It wasn't Frida, was it? It was Astrid, that's it, Astrid. Uh, again, you can adapt the pattern to suit, but this has got give in it. If I just sort of pull on that, you can see there's a lot of give in this, actually, but it pulls back really into shape, so it affords for you to put in that little bit of shape in there, but to keep the comfort, the pattern itself, if you are going for that alongside the pattern, you do have the pockets in there. Of course, if you don't want to put those on, you don't have to, but I just think everybody loves their pockets, don't they? So uh, do consider that. Only 9 99 for a metre of this. If you want more than one metre, of course, you can buy more than one. I can hit, feel a little sneeze. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry about that. 764702. I think it's a bit of heavy from those palm leaves. Uh, there we are. So if you want to go for the model jersey, that's, that's the details there, right on the screen. Now, I do, I did sneeze into my elbow, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> we've also got, we've also got the beautiful, beautiful white fabric. This takes me back. I've, I've, you know, broadly on glaze. I've stitched a lot of this in my time, especially for my own little girl who was not so little anymore. Uh, this is 100% cotton, two and a half metres for 38.99. I love broadery on glaze. It is, it's beautiful. Really do like it. 002573 is the item number. It's very delicate, it's very pretty. It's beautifully washable as well because it's 100% cotton. It just looks very nice, doesn't it? And it's very cool as well, especially with the patterns that we've got today for ease of wear and uh, comfort. Again, you're going to feel very cool in these fabrics. 002573, as I say, if you want to go for the white broad round glaze. Now, we do have some books as well for you. We did mention these. I think we've got some new todays. Let's have a little look. Now, this one is definitely brand new. I've not even opened this at all. So you're seeing this with me. So let's have a look inside it, as seen on TV. Uh, well, yeah, we're on TV, aren't we? So you've definitely seen it now. Let's have a little look. Do you know, I'm not going to show everything, obviously, but right at the front there, let's have a look. How to transform your wardrobe with sustainable style. Now, I like the sound of that straight away. So you can see all about freehand cutting there. You've got sewing essentials, techniques are in there, taking your measurements, and then you've got various different projects in here. So just at random, I'm just going to open up. Ah, I like that. Oh, I used to, you know, can I give something away now? You see, when, my, when I started sewing, it was in the 80s, when I was going to the nightclubs. Do you know it was in fashion then? Uh, well... On, on the TV, we'd got things like um, Dallas and uh, Falcon's Crest and what's the other one? Dynasty. That had Joan Collins in it. Oh! Dynasty. Dynasty. <laughs> Dynasty. We were wearing Dynasty style blouses with the peplums on. That's why it sprung to mind because this got peplums on it. Peplums are the little sort of flouncy bits. A little bit on the skirt. I really like a peplum, you know. Yeah. I think they're really, really elegant. Really elegant. I love that pattern, actually. That was really, really nice. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, that's mm. nice. Let me just tip that forward. Just try not to... I, I'd that's wear lovely. that. Yeah, a nice evening dress or a, a wedding or maybe a cruise. Maybe a cruise. Child's peekaboo back dress as well. So there's something for the whole family here as well. Lovely book. 18 99 for that. 355107. Very nice indeed. Uh, we've also got another book on the counter as well. Don't, I've been looking at this one as well. Oh, look who we've got here. We've got Rachel has written this book. We've got patterns in here as well. This is your work to weekend wardrobe. She looks very pleased with herself. I like her skirt as well. Yeah. Look again. We've got lots of wonderful projects in here, lots of techniques. I can see buttonholes. Oh, that's nice. I like that. See, I like something a bit tailored as well, you see. 
That's very smart. You've got all your patterns in here as well. If you want to go for this one, have a look at all the details on the website. £22.99, 527.943. Now, before we get back to Claire, we're just going to remind you all about our Freedom Club. Are you a member yet? Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Oh, Leanna's wearing a very nice dress there as well, isn't she? You could be making your own just like that. Let's see what else you could be making, though, because, of course, we've got lots of wonderful patterns in today's show. Now, these are easy to make. We've got all sorts of different styles. We've got comfort. That's the main thing here as well. Now, we do have a big bundle, so you can go for all patterns here. You have got a saving them, so all five. And just if you did come in partway through the show, just to remind everybody that's watching or if you've just joined us, what you're seeing on the front there can be adapted. So the sleeves can be adapted, the legs can be adapted, you know, the length of things, so from dresses into tops as well. So do bear that in mind. You've got instructions in there. We can see the different sizes in here as well. So Astrid, dress and jumper, sizes 6 to 24. Frida, sizes 6 to 24. Then you've got Cassie dress, sizes 6 to 24. Cassie is the dress that Claire's wearing, but she's put long sleeves in and elasticated cuffs, so you can see very easily how you can adapt that. The Kobe dress, sizes small, medium and large. And then we've got the Alice trousers, sizes 8 to 20. Actually, actually, I, we are going to look at the uh, mannequin again. We had a question, didn't so while I'm over here, I didn't bring my glasses in, but... Right, this was from Anne, size 20, you will need, depends on the width of the fabric, if it's 44 inches wide, 2.85 metres, if it's 6 inch wide fabric, 2.2 metres. So if you were going for 3 metres, you'd have plenty, Anne, if you wanted to go for the full length, uh, which is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Now, we've, oh, we've had another question as well, this is from Pam. Pam is saying, in days gone by... Patterns used to come out bigger than the sizes stated. Claire, this is a really good question. How true to size are these patterns? So I try to make them as true to size from something you would buy in a shop. So the Cassie dress pattern, yep. uh, the lady who wears that is a size 14, and she wears the size 14 in our patterns. Wonderful. So it should be. Wonderful. The other thing, actually, that I will say is, well, because of the comfort element and the design of these, I think you can get away with things that yeah, are a little a bit, bit bigger as well, them, yeah. so you could like afford to The trousers to are quite yeah, loose, definitely. fitting anyway. Yeah, it depends on how you want them. But, but what a great question. So, yeah, true to size. Do you know, that is really interesting, because I know in my time I've bought lots of patterns in, in the years gone by as well, and um, no certain brands that I could pinpoint, but, yeah, there weren't always how you would expect and that's why we have mannequins and we sometimes measure to mannequins and have tape measures and things but honestly with things like this you've got that room you've got that that little bit of play in them as well so let's have a look at these this is astrid so very different to the image we can see on the front of the packaging because you know the fabric that's been used here as well just to repeat what i did earlier if i hold out the sleeve there you can see that is all in one cut so there's no actual seam line joining the sleeve no difficulty with the curves there your seam line is on the shoulder and down the side if i turn this around there's definitely that shaping on this one as well. If I turn right to the back, hopefully we can see how this is fitted a little bit more to the mannequin. But the fabric that's been used, and we do have this available, I am just pulling it a little bit so you can see the give in there. And that just springs back into position. Love the shaping of that. You know, you don't have to pull it in with a belt. You can see it's comfortable, but you've also got the big pockets there. They are really deep, aren't they? I didn't realise they were that deep. <laughs> I thought, oh, these are generous, and my arm kept going. That is, <laughs> they're great pockets, love that. So that is our Astrid. Now, moving on to the next one. This is Frida. Now, on the packaging, on the pattern itself, you'll see the dress. 
This is the top version. I love this. I just think it looks so comfortable. Again, we do have the fabric available. Lovely design here. If you want that little button at the top, you could do. You could put some fancy stitching or embroider around the neckline as well. You've got the yoke in there. It's not just, if I turn that around so you can see, you know, it's got lovely shaping on the inside as well, not just a turned over hem, which is beautiful. So if you want to go for Frida as an individual, 1499149893. Then I'm going to flip sides a little bit because we're now with Cassie looking at Claire's dress and looking at the pattern that we've got on the pod there, you wouldn't think that this was Cassie, but it is because you can, of course, you can create a different version. So this one's sleeveless. You've got the ties on the shoulder there. This is great for summer wear, isn't it? Or again, throw over a denim jacket or a cardigan or a shawl. You've got the tiered skirt in there as well, which is beautiful. The fabric, again, we've got available. We have the dart in there as well, which is absolutely lovely. I like the back of this as well, Claire, because the scoop in the back, it's not too high, but it's just, it sits nicely again. You've Thank got you. some shape into it. It's lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, we've had an email. Have we got a picture as well? Right. Oh, I'm so pleased. Rosella, who's one of our guests here, has created, I believe this is Cassie. Um, I reckon that's Rosella's daughter. Doesn't she look pretty in that dress as well? Aww. This is the Cassie dress that Rosella has created. Oh, she's also got the pattern for Alice, but we don't have a picture for that. But she's purchased Alice as well and made Alice. That is lovely. Oh, Rosella, thank you for sending that in. Really lovely, and it's nice to know that other guests here, of course, everybody supports each other and creates from each other's patterns and things as well. Love, love, love that. And you could see how much Rosella, oh, sorry, I don't know her name, but Rosella's daughter was enjoying wearing that as well. It looked very, very comfortable. Oh, isn't that lovely, Claire? That's lovely. I love seeing what people yeah, make. Yes, so do yeah. I. Oh, right, okay, we're moving on because we've got more. Now, Kobe, we don't have a finished sample here, but we do have an image of it. And I do know Claire said to me before the show, this is, this is the easiest pattern, but also one of the best-selling patterns as well. So very nice indeed. You can make this in a small, a medium, or a large. And again, you can adapt this one. So if you want longer sleeves, you could do. The nice thing about this one is you've got the belt tie to pull in and shape. You can see different versions of it here as well. You know, great if you want to uh, make that into short dress to wear with your tights. If you want it knee length, if you want to make it longer, if you want to turn it into a top, you can do all those different things again. Once again, it feels, uh, it looks, sorry, it looks so comfortable to wear this one. I love the length of the neckline, the simplicity of it. I just love everything about this one. 888-433 is the item number. Right, we have got, I'm saying we, if you've got anything in your baskets or you're considering buying, make sure you check your baskets out within the next 10 minutes because that will be the cutoff time before we draw the winner for the giveaway. Just a little bit of a heads up there. If you've purchased, you've checked your basket out, you will automatically be entered. Now, we do have another pattern still to talk about. So we're going back to Alice trousers. These have been very popular. I am not surprised. I've got a bit of a question, actually. I don't know if it will work. I'll ask it anyway. Claire, because you've not put the elastic in the waistband of the Alice trousers or the shorts that you were making, with little ad adaption, if somebody's going for the full bundle, could they take the top of, say, Kobe and attach to the Alice trousers to make, yeah? yeah can you? Do, can you? Yeah, oh. Not too difficult. I like, I like the, the sound of, of that. See, watching you do the shorts, I was really taken with those. And the comfort of the... But then I love that little top, you see, and I love the Colby dress because you can see how comfortable that is. Yes, so do think about that if you're going for the full collection of patterns. Once you get going, have a look at ways you can adapt these and put them together as well, make completely different outfits. 167504 is the item number for Alice. She, Alice pattern has been extremely popular, 14.99 as an individual, but part of the big bundle, of course, as well. Now, details are coming up for the big bundle. Let's have a look at them. Right, we are very busy, actually. Uh, I'm just going to move away so we can see all of those patterns again there. Just because my big head's in the way, isn't it? Uh, 596462 is the item number. There you are, all five of them. You are saving three pounds on these. Do you know, I think you've got far more than the outfits that we're looking at there. Not only have we got the ones on the front of the covers, we've seen how you can adapt them. And now, I've just checked with Claire, you make those slight alterations, you can make different looks again. Merge them together. 
Oh, you see, you've got my brain going now. I've just planned my whole wardrobe for the next year. 596462 is the item number. Right, let's go over to the website. That's where you can see everything, including the fabrics we've got on offer as well. Different fabrics, different lengths in there as well, different bundles. Uh, there's different styles of fabrics. There's fabrics we've not even looked at yet, like the black and white viscose is in there. We do have books. We've got new books available as well. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, you've got lots of things. Don't forget, if you want to stock up on scissors and threads, you might find those. The pressing ham is on there as well. Oh, we haven't got the same machine because it's sold out. Very busy one day special. Well done if you got that. Yeah, very, very busy one day special. Maybe you're looking for patterns now to create your first outfits for your wardrobe. This is the show for you. If you check those baskets out, you will be in the prize draw and you may be the name that I am calling out by the end of the hour this is what you're going to be winning over 800 pounds worth there is absolutely all sorts in there okay let's get back to claire let's see another demonstration so claire what can we see next so i'm going to show you the tie strap cassie how oh, to lovely. how to add the facing yeah. to it because it's basically the same as the front okay so darts i've marked the darts there's the notches there we're going to sew down to this pin here I really like this fabric, you know. The more I look at it, the more I love it. I love the colour of it. I love the vibrancy of the leaves, the, the design of the pattern itself. But it's for me, it is the softness of the fabric it and is. the drape you get with it. It feels very floaty to wear. It does, yeah. The weather today is not really perfect weather for this, but it's, it's very comfy. Go one dart, now the other one. I think one. we're a bit fed up with rain, but it's going to keep raining apparently. Oh, but no. that's great because you can just stay in and watch us and get so much inspiration from our guests as well. Oh, I love it when the sewing machine talks to you. It's like it's talking, isn't it? It makes us noises. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I've done there. So there's your two darts. I'm saying that one a little bit wonky, but you're probably not be sewing as fast as that. So the front to the back facing after you've pressed your dart flat. Now, I really like the tie straps because you can adjust the neckline a little bit. You, you know, yes. you've got, because we if all you're have out just, and you're a bit yeah. sunburnt as well. You can always but pull up a little bit. that's a really good point. If we ever get any sunshine again. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure it, I'm sure it'll arrive. <laughs> it's waiting for me to have some days off. That's, oh, what, it's that's what it is for. then. <laughs> oh, I haven't got any days off for a while, so sorry, everybody. It's going to keep raining. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love the tiered effect on this as well. You've got that softness in the skirt with the tiering. And again, you could lengthen the tiers in there. Yeah, definitely. When I make um, a two-tier one, I lengthen them so it covers my knees because I'm not a fan of my knees. So. Yeah, that's a nice thing. So easy to adapt. Everybody's got their own uh, thoughts of what will work best for them. For their, yeah, their exactly. That's style, why their, how they lead their days, what they're wearing for, what occasions they're wearing for. It's all important, isn't it? This I was flying past. Yes. Right, so to add the facing, so we've got the dress that I've put together already. Okay. So the darts Lovely. there and the tears. So the same as the trousers, you're going to put one on top of the other. So you're going to put the facing on top of the bodice. Now, we've had another very good question in, actually. This one's come from Sue. Now, Sue is saying, how easy is it to sew viscose fabric? Because Sue has heard that it's not easy to sew stretchy fabrics. I wouldn't call this a no, particularly no, stretchy no. fabric. Not a viscose. Viscose this isn't stretchy, no. It's... No, so this particular, this fabric, this is viscose. Oh, is it gone? Are we sold out? Oh. oh. We've got some more. We've got the blue floral. Haven't we? We do, yes. That's viscose as well. It is a beautiful fabric. It is easy to sew. It, it is. Visco yeah. yeah, it's similar to sewing cotton. Yeah, slightly beautiful. slippier, but yes. no, it's, Don't it's not Don't be worried difficult. about that at all. The stretchy one we've got is this one. This is the, um, oh, I've forgotten the name. Modal. 
The jer yeah, it's the jersey fabric. But as long as you've got the right needle and the right stitch yes. in your machine, it you shouldn't use be... use a lightning stitch Yeah, it shouldn't be so machine. much of a problem. Yes, OK. Lovely. Who oh, was that one from again? Sue. Sue. I think Sue is relatively new to dressmaking. Uh, so, yeah, great questions we've had sent in as well. If you've got any more, do let us know. But so I would say, give the viscose a go, definitely. Definitely. I think you'll get on with that really well. Yeah, be brave, Sue. So I'm pinning the straps together. Sorry, this, this takes a long time, this bit. Because we've sold out of the viscose in the palm leaf, um, Claire, mm -hmm. if you were suggesting other types of fabric for the particular pattern that you're doing now, the cassie dress, would you say a nice cotton would work? Is cotton, there anything? Cotton lawn, that broad yeah. wrong lay would be amazing, isn't it? Yes, yeah. it would, wouldn't it? Yeah. That would look, yeah, that would look really nice. Yeah. I'm thinking as well, if you're wanting something maybe that you're going to wear in the evening, if you want it a little bit more dressy, is there anything sort of a, a, a satiny, chiffon -y type fabric? Would that work yeah, in any way? Yeah, lovely. I've, I've made it in stuff. denim. I've made Have it you? in needle cord for the winter. Love They're denim. lovely. Yeah. yeah. Anything you like, really. I've even made it in jersey. If you make it in jersey, you just take out the darts because, yeah. and maybe go down a size because obviously jersey stretches. Yeah. But it's it's okay Perfect. for most fabrics. Right, Ooh, I'll, I'll start everybody, starting. be checking those baskets out. Be quick. You've got about a minute left before we're shutting off the prize draw. Yeah. I wonder if we've got a drum roll this time. I bet we haven't. <laughs> I bet nobody's sorted it out. <laughs> so I'm just going to sew, I'll show you some of it, but I'm going to sew around the, the tie straps. Okay, so a slight curve again there. Yeah. Always snip on a curve then, Claire. If it was very slight, would you still clip it in one or two places to make sure it sits flat? Yeah, anywhere there's yeah. a curve, I would snip it. And the tie straps, I would cut quite close to the seam allowance because it's okay. quite a tight yeah. curve. Obviously, you might sew a bit neater than me. I'm going a bit fast with this. But <laughs> Basically, going to go all the way around all the straps, all the way around, and then snip curves and then turn it through. Okay, and then lovely. So here and then you're done. Perfect. There is something nice about making your own clothes though. You know that nobody else is wearing the same thing because everybody chooses their own fabrics. You know, if you do adapt the styles as well, you've got something unique to you. you and you make it your to body suit shape. You. Yeah. 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 So a lot of people struggle to find clothes in shops because yeah. of their different body shapes. So it's good. Nobody's commenting on what size. You're not looking at the size of it. You're just making That's it fit you. True. It's just your size, which is great. We've had a great event running now for the uh, Stitch to Impress. It's been really, really enjoyable, Claire, actually. And you're, you're the lady that's finishing the show. This is the final hour for the oh, event. Excellent. Which is wonderful. Oh, excellent. I hope it's gone well then. Yeah, it's gone very well. So right around the tie right. straps yeah. there. I'd love to ask this question. Do you sit or stand to sew at home? I sit down at home. <laughs> I just like, I'm just intrigued because it, it's only since being here at the craft store that I've seen people stand to sew. <laughs> and I, I like to ask now, is it because that's the way you prefer it or is it just for the ease of demonstrating for the viewers? And I know Natasha just will not sit down to sew. She always stands to, to sew. I only ever stand up to sew on the television. <laughs> <laughs> I think most of us sit down at home, don't we? Yeah. Stand up to cut out. It's easy yeah. to cut out when you're standing up. I think a lot of people stand to craft as well. Whatever type of crafting you do, whether it's soft crafting, paper crafting, I think a lot of us prefer to stand. Or do we? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got a favourite?
favourite colour, Claire, when it comes to clothes favorite that you make? Do you tend to... Colour. Do you go more for colour or do you go more for the design of a fabric? Um, blue I seem to go for Please. a lot. Yeah, but a lot of print. I like a bright print. Yeah. Yeah, I have a fabric shop as well, so I, I struggle when reps come to visit me not to just choose all the blue fabrics oh. to sell as well. Green, I quite like green at the moment as well. Green seems to be everywhere at the moment. It's really nice. I've said this quite often on air, but I used to hate green, and now I absolutely really? love it. It doesn't yeah. matter if it's bright green, olive green, sage green, dark green, bottle green. It doesn't matter. I just love yeah, green. Yeah, green is lovely. It's funny how you change from one thing you like at one point and then you totally go the other way. <laughs> Sorry, this is taking a really long time, the straps. <laughs> yeah, but it's nice to watch, actually, Claire, because we can see how quickly you can actually yeah. make this yeah. garment. And again, is this a centimetre Centimetre all the way around, around. yeah. Yeah, we're back to the back to where we started now. We have got Claire about three minutes left, I think, of the show or thereabouts. We keep going for now. We will have a recap before the end of the day. We've got that <laughs> announcement to make, of course. But this is coming along beautifully. There we go. So the straps have been sewn all the way round, not very neatly, but there we go. So we're going to snip all the curves. All the way around, and then you'll turn it through, and your straps will be done. Amazing. We can have a look at the finished sample again as well, of course. So, yeah, a nice, quick, easy pattern to work with. If you want to adapt it, you certainly can. Here is the finished item. You can see the beautiful tie straps there. You can see the different tiers on the skirt as well. If you want to change the length of those, you can. I particularly like this one because, again, you've got that little bit of shaping with the dart in there, but nothing difficult to work with. And, of course, you've got the... Do you know, you could, you could have a drop waist in that if you wanted to, or you could have that on waistline. So, again, there's lots of ways you can adapt this. I love how the back is scooped out as well. It's not too high. really like that because it's perfect for the summer, and you can adjust on those straps as well. Shall we have another look at Rosella's lovely daughter wearing the Cassie dress as well? Look at that. You can see that beautiful tearing in the skirt there as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's have a very quick recap of the patterns, and then we'll get to that winning announcement because... Oh, I can't wait. Uh, let's look at the full bundle. All five patterns, but much more than five outfits can be created here as well. You will get, of course, the Astrid dress and jumper, the Frida dress is in there, which, of course, we've also got the top version in the studio here. The Cassie dress, this is the one that uh, not only was Claire wearing, but that's the one that Rosella's daughter was also wearing. Again, you can adapt that. The Colby, which I really like, that's a very popular, very easy one. And Alice trousers, which have been extremely popular this hour as well. You've got Flexi Buy on this if you want to take advantage of it. 596462. Right, the moment has come. I hear there's no drum roll. What a disappointment. But sit down, everybody, before you faint, because somebody, somebody is going to win all of this. All of this. Wow. Look at this. Over £800 worth. You can see it in the screen there. You can see it in the monitor. There it is. You can see it a little bit better there. Oh, this is going to be winging its way to you. Sharon Copley. Oh, and Ryan was going to do a drum, drum roll then. Sharon Copley, I hope you're watching. I really hope you're watching. Well done. Well done. Oh, I'm delighted for you. What a wonderful prize. Yes. Oh, let's head back over to Claire just to say a big thank you for coming into the studio and finishing the event for us today. Some great patterns. We've had sellouts on some of the fabric as well. Do have a look at those books, but keep sewing as well. You know, this is getting more and more popular. If you're thinking about taking it up, these are great patterns to start with. Claire, you are hidden from me behind a monitor. I can just see you <laughs> waving. Thank you very, very much. Really enjoyed that hour. Well Thank done. You. Beautiful patterns. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Do stay with us, of course. We've got much more ahead. I'm just looking at the clock just to double check because this day seems to have disappeared. We've got the brand new one day special about to launch. It's our Andy from... Uh, UK, Crafty UK as well. So don't go anywhere. We've got lots of wonderful templates. I'm going to give you the menu that's coming up next. See you very soon. Bye-bye.
Yes, they're ready and waiting in the wings. It's Crafty UK One Day Special about to launch. Then we've got Mixed Media Steel's Happy Hour at 7. And then I'm back with Andy at 8 o'clock. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel, and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand-illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Cathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Cathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs. All of our products are manufactured in the UK and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri Design moulds are used in all areas of crafting, not just for your clays and your resins, but also their food grade silicon as well, so used for your cake decorating designs. Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows, I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums, ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar, and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace, and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia, and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers, and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows. A very good evening to you. I hope you are well. The time has just gone six o'clock, which means we're opening up the doors to another brand new one day special. And in theory, it is a brand new one day special for two reasons. For the first one, it is brand new. And for the second one, Crafty UK have never had a one day special. This is a first of a one day special and what they've also done is we've sort of condensed it down so instead of having five live hours we've only got four live hours is what we've got so in theory if you like what you see i would get in quick for the other for the other fact i've got so many configurations for you i've got large bundles i've got pick and mixes and i've also got individually as well but let's introduce the man himself <laughs> lost in a world of quilts, and look at him here. Uh, it's our Andy. How are you? Like, it should have been a sea of quilts, shouldn't it? I love it. Look at you. <laughs> look in the whole. Oh, a sea of quilts. I, I get it now. You get it's a it now. sea of quilts because of the templates that we've got. Let's start again. Let's do that again. It's his first one day <laughs> special. We can cut it out in the edit. No one will know. It's his first one day special, and he is lost in a sea of quilts. It's our one and only. It's Andy. <laughs> They told me they told me it was live. You mean it's not live? No, of course we're not. <laughs> oh, yes, all right then. We can do what we want. I'd never still I'd never have a job <laughs> if I was live. Um, but uh, this is your very first one day special. This is this is the first time we've done anything like this, and we've we've pulled out we've we've pulled out the boats and everything to uh, the oars, <laughs> not um, to make something totally different to what we normally do. Yes, yes, we made you templates. Um, but we've bought you something that does something very different and we've got a collection. So you, this has been, I think it's over two years ago, this sort of like popped into my head as an idea and it's taken, it has taken that long right up to 
this morning when we were still sewing one of the quilts. <laughs> you see, then this is thing. What, so what you're actually getting in this bundle at the moment is you are getting templates to make five. Well, you get to, to make five templates. Is what you're getting to make five little blocks. Is what you can create, and each one of them is going to take us on an adventure. We are going round the seas of an adventure. We're going uh, from the Atlantic to the Indian to the Pacific to the Southern, and then also the Antarctic as well. Oh, the Atlantic is where we're going. That we're going there. <laughs> but what we're going for? Let's go through and so Andy can explain what we're getting with each of the blocks here. So let's start with the Arctic that we're getting here. So in this kit. We are getting so many, so many templates to do so many so things. There's different, te there's different amount of templates in each one. So there's just enough templates to make the the particular cushion or to make the block. They all make a 12 inch block. So we've called this one Arctic Star. So they've all this called the, it's the Ocean's Collection and it's an Arctic Star. So you can do obviously do it in whatever colours you want. They're all based around that type of thing. They're all a 12 inch square and they're all a star shape. So that's where, that, and they're all named after one of the five oceans that there are. So um, that's, that's where it, that's where the whole idea came from. Because when you get all the American quilts and stuff, they were all named after the states and stuff. And I did, and I, and I did do something uh, years ago, of some, started to do counties of Britain, and it just didn't sort of like seem to work. So it, I looked like, I thought, what can I do? And then I thought, oh, oceans. How many oceans are there? And after a, a lot of up and down on the internet as to whether it's... Because <laughs> well, the internet obviously doesn't, doesn't decide on things, does it? It has uh, variations. So Very we finally true. decided there are five. So we made... We picked sort of like five of these things and adjusted templates. And then we discovered that two of the oceans have a north and a south. And this is what you've given us. So in the <laughs> next one, when we look at the Indians, so the next one is the Indian that you've got here. Uh, we will get to the North and South in a minute, but you've got the Indian. So these are your templates. This is what you're going to be creating. Once again, beautiful patters. Um, it's absolutely stunning. It looks quite three-dimensional. That, that was, that was the there. idea of all of them. I love that type of quilt. I don't, I mean, I, what the industry I worked in before I came into the Made Crafty UK was box making, so everything I touched was 3D. So um, I never wanted quilts to be flat. So when we came across these things where a bit of fabric looks like it tucks underneath something else and then comes out the other side, um, that was perfect for what, what we wanted. So, uh, you know, that they all, they're all on that sort of scale as, as in they try to make them look 3D, sort of like. They are absolutely soon. Remember, you can go for all these. I've got different bundles as well, so bear with me. Let me go through them first. Let's have a look at all of them, and then I can tell you how you can get them. <laughs> uh, up next, love this one. Now there's, now, there's two different ones with this one. This is Pacific that we're looking at at the moment. Uh, Pacific that we're looking at. Pacific. <laughs> I can never say it, and I knew it was going to come to this show. Uh, so I was dreading getting to it, because I never say it right. But what we're getting in here is you're getting the different templates. So if we go back to templates, so you've got... Let's explain what the templates are, because this sums it up perfectly. We've got white blue and we've got green in some of them so um some of the templates will you lay on your fabric and you cut round and the fabric will be exactly the same as the template that's some the white of, ones uh, that will be the white ones in, in these cases there will be some boxes where they're flipped over but there will always be different colors like that so then you come to certain templates like the on the edge um the bit the, the um the actual template is used in more than one space so therefore it needs to be flipped over so the blue ones signify this. So we, because we thought it, when I started to make them, it was very confusing to start with. And I thought this is, this is not going to help matters. We need to make things clear so that people understand. Because once you get your head round, it's all right. But at that initial stage, people will freak out and they'll, they'll have bought it. They'll put it back in the box and they'll go, oh, I'll never do that. No, I'm not going to do that. So we tried to look at all the things that could go wrong and then cure them. So clear templates cut with one side. The blue templates cut, they cut from both sides, or do you actually, because the, because the templates have got um, um, a, a, a silicon pads on the back, you would turn your fabric over. Yeah. So they're, they're marked up as left and right, so therefore them ones. And then, because we have this north and south issue, as in the Pacific is north and south Pacific, um, we have some green templates. So there's a slight alteration. So two of templates... Um, the A swaps for A plus and B swaps for B plus, which will give you a different middle, which t changes the quilt totally because, you know, it's only a single block. So. 
And all of these in three aids, all explained as well. There's full instructions in the kits as well, so don't worry about that. So the clear ones cut one way. The blue ones you sort of flip to do the triangles that you'd have here. So you'd do it this way, and then you would flip it, and then you do it. And the green ones are the totally different style to look in the middle here. So this is one style, and I'll show you the other style as the show goes on as well. Uh, so that's the next one. Up next, we are looking at Southern, uh, which is here. Uh, so this is our Southern uh, that we've got. I like the Southern flower. It's sort of like a flower-esque that you've got going on here as well. Yeah, I mean, like I say, it's, it's, you, it depends totally on the fabrics. I mean, you can do the fabrics of, of always in quilting by changing the fabrics and the colours. You can change how it does and how it looks. Um, but that has got... Um, there's different ways you can do it. Um, I've got one here, which is also the Southern. Um, it's but totally it's different. different to the one that you're holding, Adam, because um, here the grey has kept the same colour, where on there... The, um, the, the, the grey has been swapped for a yellow at the side, which hides, goes behind the blue. So yeah, there's lots of different ways of doing them. It really does. Um, and, by, and the colours and stuff. And, and you could always, I mean, here, you could swap this one here and not use the one the other side and flip it over. So you could make a totally different one anyway. So there's lots of different variations anyway that you can play with. So. And then last but no means least is your Atlantic uh, that we've got as well. Uh, like this as well, it all depends on which angle you put it on, depends on how it looks. Uh, you can sort of go your pointy star that you've got there, obviously if you hold your position square, uh, you've got the star on the angle. Once again, a really, really nice design that you're getting. Uh, but let me break down the configurations for you. For the sheer fact, you've got the entire one day special, which is everything, which is an 18 pound saving. So you get every single template that you see here, and you'll be able to split the price three ways as well. 31 pounds and 48 pence today. Uh, 31 pounds in a month time, then 31 pounds in a month time after that. Over three months with an 18 pounds saving. If you're thinking this is all beautiful, Adam, it's all well and good, but I haven't got that sort of money. Okay, let's, let's bring it down for you. Maybe you've got a pick and mix of any two that you want to go for out of your one day special. Choose any single two that you would like to go for. The choice is yours, £44.98, or two flexible payments on this one of £22.49 this time, with a £7 saving, is what you're going to be getting. 595-784 is your item number. If you're thinking, once again, Adam, I'd love to have a little go, but once again, <laughs> my budget won't stretch for two, go for single. I can do them singly as well for £25.99. £25 pounds a day and 99 pence. 147654 is your item number. We've sort of catered this one day special for everyone. Every pocket, every lining, every budget that you've got as well. You've got the big bundle. You've got pick any two, or you've got the single options as well. And there is loads more on the website, especially the new dinosaurs that we're bringing you as well. Uh, shop ahead of the dinosaurs. We are going to see them later on in the hours. Uh, we've got the USO finishing kit, always busy uh, for that one, the UFO finishing kit. Very, very busy. Uh, we've got the buckles back as well, sold out preview. Look at the five-star reviews that you're getting on all of these. Uh, five-star of the cats in a box are back as well. Uh, once again, sold out last time. Last time I bought you the parrot, that also sold out. We've managed to bring it back as well for 11 99 uh, Your parrot, I love the parrot template that you've got there. Uh, then we've also got your fabrics there as well. It's all well and good just talking about all of these, but what we need to do is we need to see them in action, and that's what we're about to do now. So, if you have any questions over the next four hours as well, please do let us know. <laughs> the, craft, the studio at thecraftstore.com. Uh, if I can't answer them, I will put them forward to Andy. If Andy can't answer them, we'll make the answer up. Do not fear. We will get there. We will get there eventually. Uh, but let's see these in action, shall we? So, where are we going to start? So, we're going to start with the Southern Ocean. Okay. Because um, that's just one I decided to start. Let's it was the first it. one that came out of the box, really. So, so this is this is the Southern Ocean star. So, there's... um. There's a, um, um, a sort of a quilt behind Adam that's in... It's been done very differently because they've all been done in squares and they've been knit together. So, <clears throat> as I said earlier, these are 12-inch squares. So that's how they're all initially made. But that would be... That's not like quite complicated to make all that bit. So they're actually broken down into 6-inch squares. So I've folded... So I, I, I can't. I can, yeah, I can just see my monitor. It's behind a camera. So there's um, there's um, the 16 square. So you're making that, and then four times. So then you're you're attaching another bit to it, and you're making two more of the same, 
and you do that. So we've tried to make it as simple as possible by breaking it down like that. So six inch squares going into going round. So again, we have all the templates templates here, the clear ones. This has only got clear and blue. So the most important things that are in the pack are these two pieces of paper. Because okay. these are the instructions. This is what I was going to ask. I've just <coughs> dug mine out as well. Is there instructions with every single kit that every, we need? Every single one has got its own separate instructions guiding you through it. And because my English is atrocious, <laughs> we've done lots of pictures in the middle. So they're stage by stage um, showing you how to put each bit together, which bit next bit to sew together, because it's important you sew them together in the correct order, because it's no good if you sew this bit to that and then that bit to that. So so you're going going all the way like that. So, yep, so there's, again, pictures. You can't go wrong with pictures, because no, you, can't, you, can't. you can't misread a picture. Well, you can, I suppose. <laughs> but it's all there. If you literally follow the pictures, lay yours out the same, um, if they do need help, though, can we contact you? Are you contactable? My details are on the back. There's an email address. There's a telephone number. If you phone me at midnight, there's a good chance I won't answer. Fair enough. But, but, but yeah, and you know, but yeah, ask a question. If you don't understand, don't ask a question. Do not, do not go and chuck it aside and say that's it. I, I'm not doing it. Ask the question because the answer is probably really simple, and you'll go, of course, and then you'll carry on and make it, um, and then you'll. Want to buy one of the other ones, you know? No, so, no, this is true. You know, so the other piece of paper. Well, you've got the instruction one, and then you've got this, which is, looks like a blank piece of paper. Oh no, it's, it's better. So you've got a colouring chart because you're going to want to. You you might want to do exactly the same colours as I've done one of these, or you want to do your own one. So you've got here to colour in. Um, I'd advise you to stick this under the photocopy and make a few photocopies of this rather okay. than this one. If you forget. You can always email me and I could always PDF you a new one over oh, if you were, you know, so like that. So again, it's double sided. So this side has got a colouring chart on and then the other side has a lay down for the template. So there's a plan in the corner um, showing showing where. So I'm looking at my fingers. My fingers changed. <laughs> yeah, this is mine. <laughs> So there's a plan in the corner showing where the templates go in the position. Then on the other side of that is a block with numbers on, so the numbers relate to the colours. And then down there, the other side, is, is a colour chart and it tells you how, th how wide the strips are to make things. Because we're not going to do this the old-fashioned way and just take a big bit of fabric, lay the templates on and start hacking bits out. We're going to cut it in strips, so we're going to do it really easily. So it tells you how wide the strips need to be, which template fits on that strip, and what colour that strip needs to be. So really, we're saving materials as well because we're doing everything in strip form it's, now. It's almost as I'm, I'm in the room with you making it. Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> what a lovely afternoon that would be. <laughs> what dreams are made of. <laughs> so, so here we have the one. So oh, I'll need, I'll need a bit of. I need a bit of paper, I need my instructions. So I've got colour one, which is this one here. So colour one, cut, and it says I've got to cut a one and three quarter inch strip. So I've cut that. Now, these have been cut off the bolt. If you'd cut, if you'd bought a metre of fabric, you can cut these off like this. So then you'll, I better move my iron and max. If I cut on that, we'll be in real trouble, won't we? <laughs> I'm have to move over a little bit. So we're going to cut now. Where you've got left and right ones, if you've cut your strips like this, so this is in blue, so this is a left and right. So where we've got a left and right, we can actually... I am going to have to stand up to cut because I can't... You stand up where you will follow I'll just you. Hopefully I won't be over the top. Uh, just so we know, 10% of the one-day special stock has now already gone. We are very busy for your one-day special. Um, also, you've had a lovely email in. Lovely email from Heather. He says, Andy's designs are easy to follow and <laughs> great quality. He's great at responding for queries too. Yeah. Oh, did you pay up? I must have done. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our Heather as well. Uh, one of you people sitting at home, it's exactly the same. Heather is one of you that's used some of the designs in the past and they really thinks they are amazing, which they are. In theory, you've broke quilting down and made it easy for everyone. Because, because I didn't start off like I wasn't, I wasn't taught by my mother, my grandmother or anyone to quilt. I mean, my mother taught 
my mother sewed, but my mother taught one sister to sew, the other one wasn't interested, so... Um, and I was out in the garage with my father, hammering nails in bits of wood and taking anything that we'd got mechanical to pieces, <laughs> and then trying to put it back together, so... <laughs> That, that was my childhood. <laughs> well, we, which is, yeah, it's true. It's what quilting is, isn't it? You cut it all up and then you sew it all back together. So, then. yeah, so th this is this is it. So I've cut here, so this is E. So we've cut a left and a right. By doing it together, and um, we've cut the two pieces together. So that would be E. So you cut, that's one block. So you get, you've got one bit like that. So then we'll take one of the other. Where's, what's the next one down on the list? So a two-inch strip in colour three, which is going to be the purple one. So if all you could is, if you cut little sample patches off, you could stick them with um, little, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, 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 paper clips. You could paper clip them to it like a little paper so you knew what yeah. colour swatch was what. Something else we have done, and I know it was on the show a few weeks ago, EQS. EQ8, not EQS. EQS is a, something different, I think that's a security firm or something. EQ8, it's the um, computerised quilting thing. So we have a copy and we've put some of these in, we will put them all in, but if you wanted that file, email me and I'll send it to you. There you, go, you know, there's a code on the back to so you've proved you've bought the template. <laughs> Very true, don't just email him saying I want a template. Um, and therefore you can play with all your colours in that, because all the hard work of actually designing it into the machine is, has been done. So I now want templates C, H and I. Now, I is a blue one, so that's cut from both sides. So that means before I um, move my fabric, I can put that on. So they've also, the, um, the templates have all got an arrow on them. OK. So this is um, direction of fabric. So if you want to, if you've got a fabric like this one here, which has got a, uh, like, a, like a line running through it, if you need to keep that running the same way, um, then, therefore, you can use the arrow on the template to line these up. We've tried to think of all the things that could go wrong, um, like that. So that's, that's, that's that. So I'm going to just stand up to just to cut this out. So, I once again, I want two of these. Well, once again, very easy to do. Remember blue, you can flip and reverse it. White, you cut one way, and the green it gives you a different centre. So there is my two ones of that. Can't separate. <laughs> Put the rubbish on the floor. I'm sure they've got cleaners here. Well. If not, I'll get it in the morning. <laughs> be fine, don't you worry. So then we I'm have a C, like... which comes out of this size strip as well. So we place C on. Now we've tried to be as economical with the strips. Now these templates don't necessarily measure um, exactly, this is a two inch strip, so the template doesn't exactly always measure exactly that size. So this is the strip you need to cut out from. Um, you may need to trim three sides. Um, it is important that you do trim all the corners off though. If there's a corner missing, it's done for a reason. Okay. I haven't, I haven't just sort of like, oh, I'm get running, running low on acrylic. I'll trim that bit off so I can get an extra off. one on the sheet. So, and so this one is H, so that then goes there. If you've got one of these rotating boards, then this is fab for this. I have, but I haven't got the room for it, so, <laughs> so I didn't bring it. <laughs> so that's H. So then next down the list, so we have B, G and J all coming from another colour. B, J and G, there we are. So they are in, I don't know what I've done with E now. Eh? Oh, it's here. <laughs> Let's put them on there before I lose them all. Otherwise we, we'll be getting to nowhere under that. So next colour. So once again, I've followed the chart. I've got a strip of fabric that's um, two and an eighth in width. And as B is symmetrical and flips left and right, I've got my two pieces of fabric together so I can actually cut both at once. Okay. Now you will see B, its shape, to start with you'd think it's symmetrical but it's actually got one corner cut off. 
Um, so it's not, and that's important that, that you get that in the right place. But by looking at the drawing, probably my head's in that, isn't it? No? No, you're fine. Not, not, not. You might see me ball spot. <laughs> <laughs> so there's two Bs. <laughs> you're gonna... I love when Andy's in because I don't get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> So, and then we need... I was also going to say, um, while, you still cut, while you're cutting at the same time, they've all got non-slip on the bottom of them as well, haven't they? Yep, they've all got a, they've all got a little silicon pad which has been fixed to them. This is, we don't spray the templates with anything, it's only in the corners, so they've all been, you know, they've been decided as to which bit, um, where they need to go, where they need to balance um, to do them. And obviously if you cut, like, the same one, here I'm cutting individual ones, but... If you cut this one, um, that bit will interlock. If I put that down there, no, up, up here again. <laughs> if you cut that, then the next one would interlock round. So you would save the fabric anyway as you're going along. So okay. you don't need, you don't need to use you know loads up. So that's um, that, and then G. So we need one more in G, and once again G is um, only need one in G, but uh, it's the shape is symmetrical. So although we don't want um, lot different one. You don't want one that you don't get one left and right because the shape is actually self. The two, although I cut two together when I turn them over, they're identical anyway because it, it mirrors itself. So that's G, and then we've got a two and a quarter inch strip in F. So one of these is a two and a quarter inch strip. So I'll put that there. So again. So well, you we're going to let you finish cutting out uh, because you are shopping ahead of me on the website, which I absolutely adore. Uh, but before I tell you about the little cheeky dinosaurs uh, that I've got coming up as well, which are absolutely loving, over 10% of the one-day special stock has now already gone. Uh, this is going to be a busy one, I feel. Remember, final call is at 12 o'clock tomorrow uh, for this one-day special. Final call is at 12 o'clock. Uh, £94.45 and 45 pence for your one-day special gets you everything think that you will see it was like a box set of soldier soldier look at it uh, love it uh, you're getting everything that you see here as well uh, let's talk about the box system as well because it is amazing at what you do because you could have gone all out and got a big snazzy packaging but you use old video cases which we all know are easy to store it's it's part you know it's it's the idea was you know recycling i mean this in this world we chuck away enough enough things don't we without um you know having to uh you know if we if we can recycle something you know and, and make i mean these will all go these are all going to landfill because there's no other there's no other use for them is there and and how many people i mean the amount because we get them from our the charity shop um sex saves them for us and we go in and make a donation and uh, but the amount of times we get a, a tape and we open it up and it's the tape is still sealed because they've never even watched the film Oh, and we get some interesting ones, things that I've never known, you know. I bet you do, but we won't go there. It's, it's 25, <laughs> 25 past six of an evening. So, uh, now, the, the traffic light system on the side, is this just decorative? No, no, we, um, we started that a while ago um, um, because we, we did find that some things we were creating were trickier than others. So we, um, we put a traffic light system on and it's guided by us. So we actually believe that these are all four of them i think are green yeah and one of them which is the one i'm doing this well is done. i think the hardest one um because there's more complicated way it goes together so a green traffic light realistically means that you're good to go anyone can do it you know it's it's uh, that is that is it there is nothing difficult in there at all um all the hard work has been taken out we have a few um we have a few um, orange, orange ones or amber, and we do actually have a couple of red ones, which I've never even attempted them yet. So, but, but one day, one day, <laughs> one day. Uh, still early. Uh, very busy for this already. Remember, you can go for your one day special, or you can break it down to a uh, pick and mix. Choose any two, or you can go for single options as well. But something else that I desperately want to show you are the dinosaurs. These are amazing. Uh, for the sheer fact, you are now getting a full set of dinosaurs that you are looking at here. £27.99 is what you're getting because now you can start doing things 
like this. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Literally with the little with the little dinosaurs that you've got on there. Then you can go from that to these. You imagine this as a throw on the bottom of someone's bed or a little cot blanket uh, that you've got going. How beautiful is this? You've got all the different dinosaurs on there. You've got your T-Rex, your tricer uh, Triceratops, your Stegosaurus in there. Uh, you've got your Do You Think He Saw Us uh, that's in there as well. Uh, there's so many. I don't know my, I don't know my dinosaurs. Uh, there's so many on there. Uh, I think they're all named, actually, on the sensor. Brackets, they are all named on there. So you can be a uh, sort of teacher's pet. Uh, so you've got your Brontosaurus, the one with the big neck. Uh, then you've also got your Diplodocus uh, that's in there, which I think could be so many other animals. Then you've got your Stegosaurus, uh, Trisanosaurus Rex, got to say. Uh, then you've got your Triceratops uh, that's in there as well. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Whether you're, I'm thinking whether you're a sewer, a seamstress, or you're a card maker, these would work for, because remember, they're templates. That's what you're buying into. Imagine drawing these onto your fabric and then stitching into them by hand, using your organzas and things like that. Because remember, they're just shapes. And once again, they come neatly packaged in your VHS box uh, that you've got here. London's Burning, Series 1. Uh, absolutely lovely. £27.99. and pence. Full instructions on the inside as well. You cannot go wrong. 907111 is your item number. Uh, something else that's busy that you're buying ahead is Pat the Parrot. You're loving Pat the Parrot. He's a big old jigsaw, uh, Pat the Parrot is. He, he, was, he sold out last time. He's an eight-inch parrot is what you're getting. Once again, cracking for card making. And you also get the little baby parrot in there as well, sort of like a little button uh, that you could use him for. Uh, 860634 is your item number uh, for this one. Uh, the cats are up next. Uh, we love the cats. Very busy uh, for the cats uh, that you've got here. Uh, love this as well. I've not seen... I've, I've seen these once, I think. Uh, love them all that you're getting. So there's so many of the different cats... Uh, so you've got the three cats there. Then if I keep going up, uh, you've always got the purple and you've got pink. It keep on going. You've got a little paw print that's at the bottom. Uh, love them all. They are your little cats. Uh, they were £31.99 and pence that you're getting in there. And you're also getting your little stitch marker as well. And you're also getting... Is that your trolley token? The good old trolley token you're throwing in? We always stick in a trolley token with a cat on, you know, sort of like... <laughs> love a trolley token. You can never find one when you want one. Uh, trolley token uh, that you want in there. No, it doesn't beat a coaster with your name on. I was gifted one of those earlier as well from our Andy. A lot, I'll have that tonight with me cup of tea. Uh, watch out, Facebook, 9 o'clock, I'll put it on. Uh, £31, 99 pence, 113342 is your item number for your little cats. Right then, uh, let's go back to the one-day special. Very busy, over 10% of the stock now has already gone for your one-day special. Special. That's the big bundle as that. Um, where are we up to, Andy? What are you cutting? I lost a bit, so I've just had to cut another bit. <laughs> there we go. So hopefully I should have a full set there. I think I've got them in the right order. So that's um, probably round like that. No, it's round like that. That's it. So that's um, roughly, roughly how, how they're going. Them, them are going in there. So if I then bring that in over the top, so... That's your, that's where, oh, and then you've got the, um, the E that's missing there. So that's your block. So you've been guided to make your block like that and all your pieces. That's going on that end. That's why it's not right. That looks like it's there. <laughs> Look at that. So that, there's, there's your bits. So you, you've, you've cut them all exactly as that. So then you lay them, you lay them down how they fit, which you've got a guide to do that. Um, then you begin to sew them together. So you take your the other piece of paper, which I really have lost, so it's underneath here. Would you say cut all your bits out first, or just do small panels like you're I would, doing at a time? I would make one six-inch block first, just to make sure that you're happy with the colours, make sure that you've got... that you've filled in the colours on the right section, and that okay. you're not... Because if you cut all your fabric out and then you find it's wrong, that's an expensive mistake. So True. you cut out one and we, we did a test one block. Then we went, if we were happy with that, we made another three. And once we were ha put that together and we liked it, because we hold them up and you, you think, oh, that fa colours are fantastic. Or you think, oh, I should have swapped that green for a red. That would be better. So then you do that. Once you're happy with your block, then you make, um, to cool. make whichever ones you want. So 
I like it. So where are we up to now? So we stitching together? So we're going to stitch some together. So, as I said, they've all got corners cut off. So this one, quite simply, the triangle has got the corners cut off. So it's important because when you sew, like, squares together, you just put one on top of the other and sew down, and when you fold over, they line up. When you've got an angle, it doesn't work because if you line up the edges... Um, and then when you fold it over, the, the, the line is not, they're not in line. So the corners, all the corners cut off, this is what makes it all work. So this bit here, we will just sew across here. So quarter inch seam, they've been set, set to run on a quarter inch seam. I will need that in. And once and then, again, if you were lucky enough to get your sewing machine from the last one day special, this sort of goes hand in hand. Uh, so if you're looking for a very first project to work, it all works on the green light system. Uh, so they're all green to go. Basically, they're all PGs, as it were. Uh, they're all <laughs> friendly for just beginners. Uh, yeah, in the world of films and VHSs that we've got here, they're all a PG film. Uh, they're all good to go, uh, apart from the one that we're doing now, which is sort of an amber, which is sort of a 12. 12A. <laughs> Adult right. guidance, maybe. <laughs> Andy guidance, that's what 12A means. <laughs> a little guide from Amber. So, so we've sewn we've sewn them two bits, those two bits together. So you've got simple that the triangle goes in, and, and those now line those two bits line up perfectly, so that they're straight. So that will help there. Now, folding your seams, um, this is entirely up to you. I normally press to the dark side because I'm a that fan of, of that film that we can't mention because that would be copyright. Well, Star Wars. That's the one. <laughs> Just checking. Um, <laughs> Just checking we're all on the same page. Um, but a lot of people press their seams open, as in the lovely Jenny Raymond. She would always say, press seams open. Now, I'm not going to argue with Jenny, because no. um, we don't know... Don't argue with Jenny. We don't you argue with Jenny, so... No. No, so no, that is going to the It's entirely your side. preference. I'm not here to, to teach you anything of that. So, so oh. the next thing I think it says... Um, we're going to sew this little corner one on. So these two, I've lost one. Who's it underneath here? The last person that crossed Jenny Raymond we found in a wheelie bin. <laughs> a bit, a bit's ran, this is the trouble with this, a bit's ran away. We're going to put the pick and mix details on screen. Maybe your budget won't stretch for the one day special. Maybe you want to go for any two. You can do that as well. £44.98. 595-784 is your item number. Uh, you've got the Arctic Star. That you've got on here. That's your favourite at the moment, the Arctic Star. I, quite, I think it's the colourway I like with the Arctic Star. Uh, then you've got the Indian Star. I like the Indian Star. And remember, the bits are smaller. They've got like jigsaw pieces to make them larger. That's, uh, the, only, like, that's the only one because I designed it all and it wouldn't fit in the box. And I thought, what am I going to do? <laughs> so I, I can't make one smaller. I can't make all you have four 12 inch stars and one. 10 inch, <laughs> so it's going to be silly. No, so I cut it in half and <laughs> jigsawed it together. No, it's a good idea. While you keep sewing, I'll go through the other three options that we've got on here as well. Uh, we've got through uh, Pacific uh, Star that's on there. Now remember, your blue ones are your reversible ones, your clear ones are your cuts one way, and your green ones give you a different centre. Then you've got your Southern Star as well, so with this one, you've got a bit of blue in there. Uh, so you've got a bit of blue, which means you can flip it both ways, and then you've got your Atlantic Star as well, with a bit of blue, and also your green stars. Uh, let me show you the fabric buckle as well that you are absolutely loving what you're really shopping ahead of me savvy little shoppers is what you're getting these sold out previous uh, 10 piece acrylic set is what you're looking at for just shy of 20 pounds 19 pounds and 99 pence these are for your buckles uh, that what we're looking on here now uh, five four uh, let me start that again four five two seven seven zero is your item number the ufo finishing kit Always busy. We'll go into this with more detail as the hour goes on. Do not fear. Um, nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Nine seven one one three three is your item number for this one. Remember what we don't cover this hour. Our Catherine will cover in the next hour as well at eight o'clock. Uh, so we like that one. Uh, something else that we're enjoying. Oh, that was it. Uh, that <laughs> we're just enjoying the no image that's there. Uh, so where are we up to, Andy? So we're still we're still sewing. You told me to keep sewing. <laughs> no, that's very true. I did. I would. I'd like. A, I'd, I'd like to finish star. I'd like to see what it looks like finished. I want a full-on quilt. <laughs> there's one behind. Minutes. There's one behind me. <laughs> <laughs> so which one are you working on at the moment? Which quilt are you working on at the moment? So it's the southern star. So the closest one, but to that is um. I haven't got a pair of scissors. The closest one to that is the one is the one behind you. The green. The green one. that's um. 
that one here, this. This, that, this is what we're... The green one, they've all got a bit of green in there. Uh, this one here uh, yeah, is what we're... Like, I was like, is it this one? Is it this one? Uh, this is what we're currently doing at the moment. But once again, even if you just go for your four panels, nice little table size for placemats and things like that. Oh, the, the just... I mean, the, the single 12-inch star makes a perfect... Perfect cushion, it's a perfect placemat. Um, you know, it's a case of, you know, if you want, you can turn them into, you know, a larger quilt, sort of like that's that's entirely up up to you. So, you know, is is you know, we've created the things, you know, you go as you go as far as you want with them really, sort of like uh, no, it would. It would be the very outside carpets are very big at the moment. Outside, like mats that you sort of roll out. It's very popular at the moment. Obviously, if you're doing it this way, you'd have to bring it in because it's fabric. Uh, but you could do a lovely picnic blanket with different stars uh, from around the oceans. You could have one in each corner and then one in the centre with just your fabric all the way round. Oh, how nice would that be? Uh, little cushions that you're going to use, little throws for outside because it's a bit, bit nippy outside at the moment. We might have lovely sunny days, but a little bit parky of an evening, especially if you're out today. It's tipping down the rain, so you're going to need a little blanket over here if you're going to lose the British weather that you're going to be liking as well. But even as Andy said, even to make cushions that you've got as well, it's something slightly different. And once again, with the green light system that we've got on the side of the boxes, it's approachable and easy for everyone uh, to use as well. Uh, right then, where are we up to? Still sewing? We're having... We're having... I had a slight machine malfunction, but I think we're OK now. We should have had... Um, should have had George on hand to uh, fix it, but well, George has gone home. He's gone home. <laughs> he sold out, he went. He is it. But it's very quickly rectified. So we are just... Sorry, I'm getting tangled in my uh, me foot switch. So you can see it's, uh, you know, coming together. So I think we, uh, we do that to that. So it does the, I'm guessing the instruction to break down what bit goes to what bit and what bit yeah, we Yeah, you time. know, we've done a picture and then um, uh, there's a picture of all the templates laid out. And then and I thought, well, you know, how do I explain that the triangle A goes to triangle B? And, and you're thinking, you aren't, you aren't going to know which is triangle A, which is triangle B. So I just took a picture of them all above and then we just joined two together. And then we took another picture. No, it works really and then we well. put a circle. We put a circle around the two bits that we'd done. So I think I'm tangled in my, in my thing. Ooh, so therefore, it's just a step by step, you know, guide guide to it. Sort of like. So that's on there. Uh, so I have now, I've currently got the uh, Arctic star that's here. But as you can see, uh, it starts all apart. And then, as you move through your alphabet, it shows you what to sew where. So you sew one piece together. So you're starting really on the corners is where we're looking. Because as we go to uh, D, we go down here. And you've got E, so we've done these bits together here. Then we've got F, so where we do this little triangle. Uh, by the time we get to H, we've done a full corner. Then we do the yellow bits over the next side. Then we're working on full triangles. So it really is step by step. Andy's really holding your hand along the way. Then it shows you how to put all four together as well. Uh, you're going to need everything, and everything literally comes uh, beautifully packaged, uh, all on. Uh, so they're all stuck uh, onto the paper. So you know where everything is. You know what each one goes where. You know which way arrows go because you've got all the templates in there as well. And you've also got the storage kit that goes with them with full instructions. Uh, almost 20% of the stock now has already gone is what you are looking at for your one day specials. Almost 20% of the overall stock has already gone. Remember so when we get getting... to 25, that means me and Jan are not, uh, on the 12 o'clock show. We're going to have to be finding something else to do, doesn't it? Well, you are, really. <laughs> <laughs> who's ja oh, Janice. Uh, Janice. Janice. Remember her? Who's Jan? <laughs> Jan. <laughs> who's Jan? Uh, uh, Janice. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to start calling her. I'm going to text her later. Hey, Jan. <laughs> so, again, we're just, just working our way around. Look, each bit that's got a corner cut off helps you line it up because some of them, you know, will, are going together just straight on top. Others are are going on at an angle so they need to they need to have these corners you need to have that little bit cut away um i don't know why i don't know why more templates don't have them but uh the, hey that's um that's just the way way of the world isn't it i suppose yeah, that you know, would make that, it easy for all of us yeah i think once again i think i could work my way through a pattern slowly 
Uh, if, if there was any machines left in the one-day special, I would have got one of those, which I said <laughs> I wanted one. But you didn't leave me one. And, and then I think I could quite easily sit and follow the patterns through on how to cut and then how to put together with this. Uh, so, we, I mean, there is, you know, we, we've made it, you know, like I say, is, is it just made it as simple as possible so that, um, you know, so that you can make something. I mean, as, as someone said the other day, I was on, um, uh, I got, I got collared into a Facebook Live for, oh. um, for another white gecko who were, you know, who were other people on. On, oh, I, mean, yeah. I nearly said the H word then. On the craft, it's written everywhere in the building, on the craft store. I'll have to say it before the, before the show's out, you know, just to, uh, just for old time's sake. Oh. But, <laughs> um, you know, I was on a Facebook Live of theirs the other day and they said normally um, something like this would either have to be paper pieced or foundation pieced, um, which, is, which is all right, but you'd buy a kit to foundation people or paper piece this. And once you've used your piece of paper, your papers or your foundation thing, that would be it. Um, you know, you, you're making one. Looks like that's having another play. Yes. <laughs> I don't think this. I don't think this cotton is very good. Oh. It's um. Uh, let me give you a quick reminder of the dinosaurs. Why? And he sorts out his cotton. As a little stern word. Uh, with the dinosaurs, we've got a quarter of the stock of our dinosaurs has now already gone. A quarter of the dinosaur stock has already gone. You're getting all your dinosaurs uh, that you're getting here. Five templates is what you're getting with all your little dinosaurs on as well. They all fit inside. Uh, your beautiful um, case that you've got in there. Uh, let me find the quilt uh, that we've got. I love this quilt. Look at this quilt. How cute is this? Imagine doing this in like pinks and your blues uh, that you've got in there, or imagine putting your name in there as well, like little bookends uh, that you've got. And I reckon if you um, sort of flip the pattern over, you could turn them into little stuff, uh, stuffed toys if you wanted to. Uh, sort of like little pads that's there. Uh, yeah, kids or grandkids, you're, you're laughing with these sorts of things. And you've got, what was that? What, what was that? Um, it literally sounded like something smashed under there, but I can't see anything. Uh, then you've also got your doorstops as well. Uh, absolutely love it all. Um, uh, but you can do so much more. Imagine that as a bolster cushion. I generally don't know. There's nothing under there. Uh, imagine that as a, just a little bolster cushion on a pillow. Half it down. Uh, so maybe you only goes half and you just put your initials on stuff. Uh, it would be still be cute. There's little cushions for little beds, uh, maybe, that you want to do. You can't go wrong. I love the guitar. Bow, bow, bow. Uh, that you've got with these as well. £27 and 99 pence. This is what happens when I don't go out. Uh, the set of four diabets. All oh, these have been busy. Busy, busy, busy bumblebees for these ones. Um, Crafty UK set of four diamonds uh, with no Y seam is what you're looking at for things. It's always busy for your no Y seam. Eleven pounds and ninety nine pence. Eight 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 three two seven is your item number. Up next, bit of nested. Nest, we love a set of nested. These are your nested tumbling uh, templates that you've got on here. Uh, really, these were really busy. I, I know we keep saying they were busy, but they really are. Every time Andy's here, everything is really busy because you love it and, we, and it normally sells out. It takes us a while to get it back because Andy has to make them all, bless him. Uh, £13.99. Uh, everything is made uh, by hand as well by our Andy. Nothing ever goes out. Uh, everything is packed uh, by him as well. And the lovely wife, and Mrs. Andy, as well. She's, she's left staying at home cutting because we didn't think we, we, we thought we might be busy. So. Well, you are. She's, uh, she's started now. She's going to miss the big game show with Alan Carr uh, because she's packing already over 20% of the stock has already gone. £13.99. 007 80, uh, 007 082 is your item number. He's still sewing. Let's go back. Yes, um, you were mentioning the dinosaurs. I, uh, you may have done. I may not have heard it. There's some fabric on as well that I sourced from Josie from Funky Needlework because that's what I made the dinosaurs out. Because when I was I was going to make them and I didn't know, I wanted some sort of like some fabric that was um. Is that sewing? Oh yes. <laughs> you, do, you get a lot of these, don't you? You're getting 12 fat eighths is what you're getting here. So, uh, sort of that boho theme again. That you're, it is the geek. So, uh, so she sourced those for me because I said, you know, I wanted something that would, um, you know, something that you could do the dinosaurs in. So, uh, oh, you mix with all the big wigs, don't you? All the big oh, names I, in the in the sewing world. We know everybody. You do, don't yes, you? Yes, you know. I just name drop, you know. Well, 
There's, you've dropped a few. Can we? We need to pick some of these names up <laughs> shortly. We'll be talking Mary Berries next, and all sorts. Uh, Anton de Beck. Uh, Twenty pounds and ninety-nine <laughs> pence is what you're looking at. Uh, for twelve fat eight, twenty-two by ten inch each is what you're getting in here. Of the lovely batik patterns, and they work well uh, with the dinosaurs. Right. So this is the last piece going on, and because uh, I've been slightly under pressure, and my machine is. Um, Playing up, it's probably very easy to fix, but um, on live telly, we'd, be, we'd expect nothing. We'd expect nothing less than Noise a machine control. to play up, would you? Sir? Every time someone brings a sewing machine in, <laughs> uh, we've only got nine minutes left. Oh, well. Just so you know. So, in spite of all the chit chat and everything that's going on, there is. Whoops, <laughs> sorry, they, they no, were on sorry, that, you, I moved well, it. <laughs> now they're coming to you, it's all right. They're coming to me. So there is one block. Oh, look at that. So you would, you, you know, you're making, you're making four of them. So, you know, right, so it's taken, we've had a, um, you know, a whole show, so, but it hasn't, I didn't start at the beginning, we've been starting and stopping. I lost two pieces and I had to recut them. We'll find them later. <laughs> so, yeah. um, and and they are, they're as simple as that, and it's, you know, sewn together. And because the corners cut off, things line up and, you know, and work. And it's a case of choose, buy one, choose your colours and decide okay, whether you're right. going to make a uh, massive quilt like one of them behind or or whether you want to make just a, you know, a, a simple, you know, placemat or something. We, we were the uh, idea, but we just ran out of time. We, we started these, making this six weeks ago, thinking, oh, yeah, we've got six weeks, we've only got to make... <laughs> five quilts that will be we'll be done you know so we'll be done with weeks to spare we'll better have a nap you know <laughs> and as i said we were sewing the, la the last bit got sewn at 12 o'clock today <laughs> thrown in the van and scurried to Bless peterborough <laughs> so we were going to do this as a placemat um and have four pieces so that would be your your placemat and you'd have them separate and then when you put them together on the table They'd make the pattern, but then they could separate to the four corners of the table um, to your guests, and then they'd come back to the middle. That would have been beautiful. And as I say, we haven't, um, we haven't done patterns for any of these things, but if someone wants a closer a picture of it or something to do, um, and the Indian star um, is the 12-inch star with a two-and-a-half-inch strip between it with some cornerstones, um, the table runners are three in a row, um, but if people want more information on them, you know, we can soon supply it. We haven't done. I mean, there is one behind me that is going to be, because this is a, this was made by Kim from Bigger Stitches. Now, the craft store won't know they're her yet, but they will do soon because she is another new person coming on. Uh, another one, I, another person I know. Another little name drop <laughs> that, none, that none of us know yet. Right then, uh, we're going we're to try and squeeze in another quick demo as well. So, Annie, if you want to set up for another quick one, uh, we're going to give you a quick detail and check down on these. So, what we're looking at, £94 and £45, is going to get you everything that you see here. 20% of the stock already gone for our one-day special that we're looking at at the moment. You are getting all five uh, of the blocks that you see at the moment. All of the templates in there. The blue ones uh, mean they flip so you can cut them both ways, so they're directional. The clear ones, you can only cut them one way. And then you've also got the green ones as well, which is going to give you a different look to the centre of that actual star that you are looking at. Um, £31.48 and pence across three flexible payments is what you're looking at for this as well. It's worth having a little look at. They come beautifully storage as well in old video case boxes that were going to go to landfill, but uh, our Andy's recycled them, so you do get them, so you know they're going to store beautifully. You've got the traffic light system on there as well. Don't be scared if you're a beginner, because the green means go. Green means anyone can have a little go. Amber means you just need a little bit of time. But the amber one, on, go on. the amber one that, we've just, uh, that you see there is the one that we've just done live in the studio. And that took Andy all of... All of Le less than 30 minutes, I'm going to say. It's 40, but it was 30 because we were chatting in between and I kept chipping in. Uh, so it's 30 minutes to do that small one, and then you just do another three the same. So what you're looking at, uh, 30 minutes, uh, an hour, two hours. 
Two hours and you've got a complete block. You've got a complete block like you see behind me here. There is so much scope with this when you want to get it home. And there's so much that you can do with it as well. Uh, start checking out your baskets. 524-924 is your item number. 524-924 is your item number. Maybe you want to go for a pick and mix option. I've got a pick and mix option available as well. You can choose any two of the designs that you see here. Maybe your budget will only stretch this. I've also put it on flexible payments as well for you. Uh, so you haven't got to worry about that. Uh, £22 and 49 pence across two flexible payments. 595784 is your item number to choose any two that you want to go for. So now you can start picking your favourites if you wanted to do the same. Indian Star has now taken the lead. You are loving the Indian Star option uh, that we've got on the show. Right then, uh, you've seen everything I've got. How long have we got? We've got about five minutes left. <sighs> OK, right, so... <clears throat> um... We've gone away from the stars. So this is the uh, the diamond no wise scene. So it's a favourite uh, of mine because this was the first time I was introduced to this horrible thing called a wise seam, and then all of a sudden we discovered this way of avoiding it. So to make a block like this, um, it makes this 3D tumbling block. Um, you've got this seam here to show this blue bit. Um, you're going to get this horrible wise seam, but it's done in a slightly different way, as in it's done in two halves. So we're taking the blue, and we've cut it, instead of a, a diamond, we've cut it in half into a triangle, okay. but enough with a seam on, and then, just make sure I get the, um, get it sewn to the right section. Um, again, corners cut off. Now, there is a line, you think, you might be thinking, how does he cut a triangle from a diamond? <laughs> <laughs> it's quite easy. There's a line on the template, so you put the edge of the fabric on the template, and then, um then you can just trim it off, trim it off in the correct place. So you end up making this. You're getting all the templates in here as well. £11.99, pence. Eight 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 three two seven is your item number. So we've just sewn that one onto there. And then there's the red one that I did, that I prepared earlier in any good craft show tradition. Very true. I'll see you just do them together. And now we're just going to sew them together. If I line them up. I should probably be using pins. I don't like pins. I normally have clips. I find pins sharp. Very true, and I wouldn't trust you with pins anyway. <laughs> <laughs> clips sound better. <laughs> but then when you're with a voodoo doll, what, what, what good are clips? Well... <laughs> This show's took a turn. <laughs> <laughs> we won't ask any more questions. <laughs> You're glad you've only got me for one, haven't you? No, I'm with you. Oh, no, I'm not with you tomorrow at Final Call, because Final Call's at 12. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. Make, this is make, it. make the most of it. Make the most of you while you're 